going yeah, metal live. spit it out. But it just got no. Also, I hope that that's I hope that's an idiom you you know that the we um there was a guy in high school speaking of idioms that don't translate necessarily that you're not aware of. Uh, obviously, when you are when you're in another culture or when you are learning a different language, you have to learn that language or uh, or culture's idioms because if you don't, then it could be funny. So maybe you shouldn't, so that we can laugh at you. Yeah. Um. We had a guy in high school who was from some European country. It doesn't fucking matter. But he was from European country, and he got really confused once when he was getting picked up, but not really picked up, right? Because someone said, someone was going to take him somewhere because he didn't have a car to drive here himself. So someone said, I will, I'll, I'll, I'll swing by and pick you up at seven. And he was legitimately quite confused by this. Because he didn't understand the idiom for, you know, I'll pick you up means I'll go oh, there in the okay. car and put you in the car and it take you. So it was very amusing. I see. Very amusing. Oh. We, there was a, we have this guy in high school. His name was Valentino. I remember it to this day. Valentino was from Italy and he was fucking weird. Um, Valentino once swung by. We were in, uh, we were in, Latin class because it took two years of Latin high school, and when we were in Latin class. Valentino he really liked Magist, who was the the Latin teacher, short for Magister. Um, and he would he just like randomly came by while we were in class. Valentino comes in, Lord knows from where he was supposed to be. He just comes in and he just starts talking with the teacher and kind of all of us, and he just starts hanging out. And it's kind of weird that he's just there talking with everybody when he should be somewhere else, and then. It must have been 10 minutes into his little visit and someone else comes into the classroom. <laughs> someone else comes into the classroom and he's like, "Valentina, where have you been? We've all been looking for you. We don't know where we don't know where you are. What have you been doing?" And so Valentino, in almost like a Borat like mannerism, he he looks he looks to McGeest and he says, "Do not worry." I will, I will tell her I had to take big shit. <laughs> and then they leave the class. And I don't, it was hilarious. Oh, Valentino, I've never, I'll never forget your strangeness. But that was, oh, he, he had it going on upstairs. He knew. Oh. And that was cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Discipline, discipline me, daddy. Oh, no. (laughs) Hey, everybody. Yeah, we are doing it. Yeah. Um, the dark side uh, and the light no, side. Saint no, George and the dragon. Apparently nobody can uh, can hear you, Mauler, right now. What, Mauler? Uh, they they heard the Valentino hear story, right? You specifically. Oh, thank thank yeah. God. All yeah. right, we're still good. All right. <laughs> yeah, I was say, sure. Mauler, wait, what? What? Oh, what? you can't, Mahler, You can't say you that, that live. My We're gonna get demonetized. Goodness. Mahler doesn't goodness really me. think that. He's just I saying that to. He's just. With this. He's just saying that to stir metal up. He doesn't really think that. Those. They're all. There's barely any left, and most of them died a long time ago, and they don't Holy think like that shit. anymore. So, Mahler, if you could, please. I'm sorry, Metal, that he said all that, but he he doesn't speak for it. the rest of us. We know that you're one of the good ones. Did it work yet? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, Mahler, are you back? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> it's it's, it's so funny because that. even the recorded version won't have it. So it's just like... <laughs> well, that's where, that's, the, that's where the fun comes in. 
Or All not, right. but, I mean, good for you, I suppose. Good catch, by the way, because I wasn't looking at chat at that point, so I would have gone for, like, a good well, 20 really minutes. Everybody <laughs> was screaming it. Could you imagine? Screaming it in the virtual sense. That is good, that they notice when they can't hear me. <laughs> that means I matter. So, Yay. The, I noticed that I could hear you, so yeah. I was going to sleep and you're going to cry tears of joy because you're like, I matter. Yes. I matter. Purpose. That's you all anybody really you. wants is purpose. Wonder. That's probably a line from something. I was going to try and explain the law. Not that there's a lot, but the once upon a time, when we were when we were talking about Joker, that awesome movie from 2019, we 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 were like, what if what if we checked out Cinema Sins and Cinema Wins at the same time, or well, same episode, I guess, and and see how they compare. And that I believe that was that the episode where we found that he blurred the blood on the wall. That that was Cinema Wins, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I think so. I yeah, he that, blurred yeah. the blood on the wall behind. That the, shit was so fucking name? funny. When when Robert De Niro gets shot in the, the face, he blurred the blood on the wall <laughs> like, mm -hmm. instead of the that actual was shot. Oh, that, that was, was funny. that was hilarious. That was oh, actually Winnie. hilarious. The one time he made us laugh with joy was completely unintentional. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> just to protect my monetization, right? It's like I don't know. I don't think we. I don't did. know. There's a guy there with a hole in his head from a bullet. <laughs> but at least you covered up the blood splat behind him. Muller is so loud. I've turned myself down. I'm gonna talk for a little bit more, and if you keep saying I'm loud, I'll turn myself down again. I'm keeping an eye on you guys. Okay. Wow. Um, I keep an eye on the, the guys. So there was that, but we didn't do any kind of point tracker in that one, in terms of how they were doing. I think we just concluded Sins won that. I can't even remember. Sins I think we did. Us. We did a tracker. Back on the Sin, the Joker so. one? I don't think so. Oh, the Joker one? No, no, no. Well, you think I, I forgot whether or not we did it for the, the MOM one? Yep. That was like the big deal of the episode. What do you think of me, Rags? Do you, do you think what? me well, senile? After, well, you do you think me... Metal. Yes. Don't ask me that. Do you think me a person to not have my audio working at the beginning of a stream, really? Okay. I would never say no, that. That would be cringe. Um, you would never do that. Ever. Okay. Especially not now. Anyway, we, we eventually did the MOM one, and that was where we actually tried to devise some kind of system where the, we awarded points based on... I think the overall thing was just accuracy. Um, accuracy uh, yeah. uh, modified by insight. I, I, I would try and argue it in the quickest way possible. Um, we were evolving it as we went. We're gonna we're gonna lay it out before we start today, and then we're gonna choose a film that we consider to be very, very, very top tier good, instead oh, yes. of one that was very, very bottom tier bad. Bottom tier bad, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I think because people are gonna want us to do like a mid one after this, which you uh, know I'm bottom tier. We'll have to figure out what have they both covered that we we consider like a five out of ten ish area. So that'll be interesting too. But for now, for today. We're bringing the fight back. They both enter the ring. And something I was saying before I got ding, ding. the realization that my microphone was, was uh, doing, doing a naughty was that the mm -hmm. world, if you guys remember, uh, enjoyed Cinema Sins for a time, maybe like a few years. And then, and then film people were like, this Cinema Sins guy, he keeps nitpicking. That's all he does. When, you know, I, I would uh, grant the people who are fans of the channel be like, well, is that his thing is trying to find all of the things you could complain about in any movie. And mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, so that's, that's relatively fair. And if he's trying to be funny too, he's like, oh, I understand, this, that can work. The problem I was having with him, and many people had with him, was that they weren't very good videos. They just, they just wasn't... Uh, there was that problem, and then the problem of, well, sometimes they're real observations, sometimes they're jokes, sometimes they're yeah. deliberately inaccurate. Uh, and then you get to a point where it's it's like, oh, okay, how am I meant to how am I meant to know or understand when you ever make a mistake or if it was intentionally incorrect? Like it, it just makes for a confusing watch. But for a good shield for yourself. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And um, he then got like hyper hated to the point where there were posts. Uh, in different places on the Saying internet. Saying that he was basically responsible for everything wrong with film criticism today. They, they would say stuff like, like they would say that Mauler is the result of someone like Cinema Sins. I'd be like, I never liked the mm -hmm. channel. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, I could you're just you're love Cinema Sins. Caught up in their, you were still caught up in their uh, web. <laughs> he he walked so that I could run, and that's that's just the truth of it. Um, Cinema Sins died in the Amazon while researching spiders. 
So oh my that god, Mahler, So that Mahler <laughs> oh, could... I, I was uh, I was gonna go with the angle of like Cinema Sins is this giant spider, and, and Mahler was like a, a flyer that was flying through, and he's like, oh no, I'm caught, and then Cinema Sins was like, haha, I'm gonna infect you with the flisms. Oh no. Oh, no, no, no. Random's here. The fly was like, help me, help me. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. That reference. Is Rex that a Simpsons points. reference? No, Empress New Groove. What no, are you doing? There is a Simpsons reference for a spider and a spider web that's saying, help me, though, isn't there? Or am I, is my brain lying to me? Um, yeah, that was when Bart was turned into a fly. Yeah. Well, like, it, that's, I think that's what the joke the is from. Yeah. I think Empress New Groove was, was parodying that joke. When the flies like help me, help me. And like, oh, see. that old mate! Oh my god! It's too many references at once. I exploded. Oh, Bam! No. That's we bad. got a, a Simpsons joke and an Emperor's New Groove joke, all in one. Truly, oh, were they was both referencing the fly? Was that how that works? Or maybe yeah, they're both referencing the fly. Here. Which is, yeah, I mean, so that's, that's neat. three references in one. Yeah. Damn. I mean, the the Emperor's New but Groove one you... may have been referencing the Simpsons. I don't know the Simpsons episode. I I don't even know if I've seen it, but I don't think it's referencing the fly directly, unless the Simpsons. Well, it would be the fly. for the record for anyone confused. It's the old fly, not the the Cronenberg fly. Uh, yes. Yeah. So now it's like a, the references are just pouring in. That was one of the jokes I actually kind of <laughs> like. There's a couple of jokes I liked from indeed. This Is the End. If anyone saw that movie, um, yeah, with yep. Seth, uh, no, fucking Jonah Hill's Seth character. Oregon. No, Jonah Hill's character. Who would say to uh, uh, Jay Barshell's character, I think, that he would like reference a movie and he's like, he's just like, oh, yeah, bro, your references are just out of control. <laughs> just <feel> the cringiest <laughs> shit. It's like, what? Because he was like trying to suck up to him, I think. I can't remember. That movie, I just remember being like a mixed bag of, oh, that's funny. And then, oh, that's cringe. But I also feel like I was the only person on Earth that saw it, but maybe not. Oh, Backstreet well, Boys it, were in so, it. You know. I saw it, but I forgot about it. That's the fair. Backstreet Boys? No, the other ones. He was about to oh. say Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen is in it, but I was talking about Joe DeHell. I don't think Seth Rogen says that. The reference thing. Uh, uh, guys, maybe. Yeah. So, the the Cinema Sins was hated. Considered s evil devilmen who reviews movies and ruins stuff. And to be fair, there's several videos taking him down, so to speak, that are pretty good. Um, I, I, I have my plenty of issues with him. I think we had covered him well before even, like, really getting into covering Cinema Wins, like, separately, you know, we'd cover them, like, we did the Infinity War video from Cinema Sins back in the day, I believe, and we were like, wow, this is terrible. And then we did mm. the very famous Rise of, the Rise of Skywalker Cinema Wins video, Rise where he the said... The Black Pearl, yeah. What? The movie. Rise of Skywalker, Curse of the Black Pearl? Where he what, said... What's the joke? What's... <laughs> there is no joke. Yeah, okay, moving on. Where he said, uh, What's wrong it, with you people? if you just pretend it's what you wanted, then you'd like it. That, that, that legendary. Fap line. Oh, a classic. And so, you know. It, just uh, maybe just pretend it's what you want when you watch it and see if that helps. It's see like, if that helps. I mean, I guess definitionally it would. If that was my brain work like that. That was wins. It's like fake it till you make it, essentially. Yes. Artificially well, was... put yourself in the mindset to where you will like it and you will like it. I would argue it's one of the, the craziest things we've ever heard from anybody because it's there's just it kills analysis. The, the, what is the point anymore? If Imagine just, that it's something that it isn't. Yeah, yeah. Just pretend it's something that choose, you like. Yeah. And, and if I can like. just choose what I like, then I mean, I will just choose to like most things. Um, Some things you don't choose to like, like cigarettes or cocaine. They choose for you. True. And so we we then fast forward again to being like, you know... So this is like, yeah, he's like cringe of bad stuff, but like, he's not like the fucking actual Satan of film review. This is insane. <laughs> and uh, and then you see people being like, wins. He's the one who's healing the world. He's gonna get us back on track because positivity in cinema needs to happen again. And you know, you're like, well, sure, uh, positive in cinema, but like where it's warranted. You wouldn't want to praise randomly, or rather, not even randomly, just completely. Because then that undermines and makes meaningless criticism and praise. All of it's out the window if everything is praiseworthy. But what if the channel was only praising what is praiseworthy and that there's always something to praise in every project that's made in uh, in the world of film? It's like, oh, it's possible. Marble Moon. What's 
may do it. What's what's to praise about Rebel Moon? Well, surely random film talk should have to answer that. He's the one that did the video. Random, yeah, that's right. You made a video. You are the resident expert of Rebel Moon. What is uh, uh, what's something that you would praise about Rebel Moon? A what is the camera fire, on? A, a song of child and fire. Mm. As far as I can remember, there is not a dead pixel this time around. Ooh, oh, yeah. good, 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 um, good. Yeah. So is it's that a, kind of attention steps. to detail that Zack Snyder is known for? Yeah, he paid attention to all of the pixels instead of most of them this time, which I guess is a step up. Like most of them are out of focus, but you know, it, it is at least a step in the right direction. Yeah, blurry is still present. B blurry is something you just can't see what you know what it is. <laughs> what a trash movie that was. Anthony oh Hopkins God, is in it. That's true. <laughs> there he was. Actually, that's true. Sorry, Anthony Hopkins. That genuine answer. Anthony Hopkins is the robot I liked. There you go. So. You know, that praise video wouldn't be long, but you could probably extend, you just talk about why Anthony Hopkins is awesome for about half an hour, then you'd be like, there you go, half an hour praise of uh, Rebel mm. Moon. <laughs> yeah, just just um, imagine if all of the actors were played by Anthony Hopkins. I know that, you know, they're not, but if they were, just, you know, imagine mm. that, and then you'll like it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I can imagine, like, a group of a dozen Anthony Hopkins carrying a, a tiny Anthony Hopkins into a barn so that Anthony Hopkins can begin to attempt to mass rape Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> oh, God, no. When Anthony Hopkins comes in to save Anthony Hopkins from Anthony Hopkins. I thought we were going with that. Someone deep fake that right now. No, all, the, don't. all the voices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Nobody, why would anybody? His mannerisms and everything, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I... that's, a, that's a brief history that makes complete sense, right? That's, that lines up everything. Sure. Sin, like sin's it. over praise is so lame and frustrating and so it's like you know what whether sin's or not we even hate, right? it, sorry and sin and you said sin's over hate you mean sin's over praise you mean wins right oh yeah i would have meant wins um the the i think my brain was just getting mixed up because i was saying that i wanted to say the over praise and over hate you know for for both when yeah yeah i think the intuitive position for a lot of people is okay but wins is better. And then we were like, I don't actually think so. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. We were comparing them. We were like, hmm. And so that kind of kind of birthed this series. I'm calling it a series. It's been this is the third time it counts. Uh, it's just that it's the, the this one and the last one were done, you know, with more precision. I'll put it that way. And uh, I'm excited for this one because uh, you know it's been it's been requested by a lot of people. It matches in a lot of ways. We were very happy with uh, the Last Wish. There oh, is. Yeah. A, a potential, you know, 10 hour video in terms of praising everything you get in that film. So uh, I feel like Last Wins. Wish is really good. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. It's, yeah. I got a real Netflix. soft spot. Oh, for the Last yeah. Wish. Compared to Last Time Around, when we're reviewing Multiverse of Madness, one of the worst films in, yes. just in general. <laughs> um, I mean, that really sets up Cinema Wins in a, in a difficult spot this time. I mean, goddamn, this should be easy, right? <laughs> but EFAP is nothing if not fair. That means that we're really fair. Yes, we so, want to. We want to give so wins. We're going to give him a full, fair shake. He's got a chance. Not even a fair shake. The full advantage. He couldn't couldn't be in a better position. There's there's just so many things you can praise about the production of this thing. Meanwhile, Sins, he's going to be relying yeah. heavily on jokes. I think. Well, I can't wait yep. to see what stupid shit he says. Damn. Or maybe you're forgetting the possibility that maybe The Last Wish is a real stinker and Ooh. we just haven't seen it this whole time. Hmm. Oh my God. Maybe we're just blinded by our, our love of the animation and the themes or the hot wolf and we're not thinking objectively <laughs> and our minds are all a slurry of nonsense. So maybe he'll show us the way. He'll show us the truth in a walk away with another big dub. <laughs> That's the thing though. Put a pussy on the brain. Sins from memory, even no, with films that are like the best ever, or rather films that are like mid, he'll he'll still have like a just all kind of jokey ish, maybe. Does he like ever get emotional? I don't think so, right? He never no. like, like expresses a thing of like, you know, fuck this movie, it destroyed the franchise, that sort of stuff. I don't think I don't does. think I've ever seen him do that, no. I the one thing I do remember is when he I think it was the end of one of his videos about uh we're talking like 2015, it would have been a superhero movie or something, but I saw it in someone's video where he says um, that Marvel shouldn't even bother releasing Civil War because Batman vs. Superman is going to annihilate them. Damn. Oh, fuck, I remember that. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> that is funny. 
good good comedy. Jeez, wow. Good old BVS. Yeah, that wasn't even like done. It was done oh, in a boy. bit of like you know we all know we all know the BVS is gonna fucking kick ass. And it's like okay. <laughs> I mean, it was directed oh, yeah. by the legendary director of Rebel Moon. Rebel so, I mean, Moon. Yeah. Uh, that's right. That was great. So why wouldn't more great be come from him? Everyone, watch Army of the Dead. It's so good. It's Don't. very good. I almost want to promote it because oh, nobody good. has seen it. Mm -hmm. Like Nobody's aware of what that was. It's like a hey, secret weapon the... you kind of know about if anyone, yeah. ever, if anyone ever talks about how amazing Zack Snyder is. You could be like, well... I understand that you feel that way, but have you considered have you... this? And then you pull it out of your pocket, like pocket sand. Oh, especially and you if you like face, sell it. The dead. And they're like, ah, oh. like yeah. all, all oh, this pocket sand on my face. Everything's so blurry. I can't it's... see anything. Oh, it's a whole team ah. of mercenaries with different characters and histories getting into a, a Vegas heist, but there's one problem. It's infested with zombies. If you sell that to someone who likes Snyder and they haven't seen it, they'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I bet they watch it. would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to ask you guys, what would you say is the worst Snyder film? Rebel Moon. Ooh, probably, well, was, probably Army of the Dead. Mm. I can see arguments for both. I think. Yeah, I don't know. it might. Yeah, it's up because to I would need those, to rewatch them, which I won't do ever. That's true. So. It's an advantage that he has is that I'll never watch his films to double check and make sure that they were actually that bad. <laughs> but. It's either Army of the Dead or Rebel Moon. It is between those two. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. If I was gonna rewatch one. <laughs> Maybe that's the way to answer it. Which one would you rather I mean, rewatch? Army of the Dead is shorter, so I yeah. would rather watch Army of the Dead because I do believe that they are basically, yeah, pretty close to being as bad as each other. But uh, I think I, that I think there's I a certain like unpleasantness with watching Army of the Dead, though. Uh, for me, I think Re Rebel Moon annoys me partially because of the meta of like, wow, you got this, huh? Like, well, for you, the wow. the release version of Rebel Moon is actually shorter than Army of the uh, Dead. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe Obviously, I would watch Rebel Moon then. In the extended case. version will be longer than Army of the Dead. Oh, yes, Why didn't they just right, release the, the extended cut. version first? No, because they're no, relying on the meme. Things. I think Fuck. I'm going to change my answer. I think Army of the Dead is worse. If I was going to rewatch one, it would be Rebel Moon. <clears throat> You ain't um, getting me to rewatch Army of the Dead. That's physically unpleasant. Well, do you remember watch. that part where they fucking kill that guy? Yeah. <laughs> like, the... the yeah, they, they sacrifice him to the so zombies as an weird, offering. Dude. Yeah. Oh, God. Our heroes, yeah, the, everybody. The guy from Sons of Anarchy. I can't remember his name. Well, we're, talking about, we're talking about Army of the Dead right now. No, I, I know. Oh. I, I know, sorry. The, the guy that you're talking about in Army of the Dead is also in Sons of Anarchy, if I'm thinking of the right guy. You might be. Um, I flushed a lot of that film from my memory. I just remember that part absolutely just just killing us. What the fuck is happening? It was the, It was a wild moment. I think that um, Army of the Dead is the only movie that has made me physically look away from the screen to the wall and focus on it just to make sure that my eyes were still functioning properly. Yeah. I literally <laughs> well, like had to take a short break from the movie to look. Pretty sure I had a headache brain. when we finished it, and that's you rare. Just something, you just see something in focus. I've watched a yeah, lot of movies in so... my time, and very few have ever caused me to have a headache. Yeah, that's why I think that I'm going to have to say, yeah, uh, thinking about it, Army of the Dead is worse because of how physically unpleasant it is to watch in a way that no other movie has been for me. Congratulations, Zach. Good job. Yeah, you, you did, did it. it. Mm -hmm. can't, can't wait for Rebe Rebel Moon 2 and Rebel Moon asking? 1 Extended. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and now I see that all of us are in to this... this uh, Whoa. Let's watch together. We can we can start up. We, we can rev it up. We're not going to start just yet because we should probably have a little preamble on just you know Puss in Boots: The Last Wish. We've talked about it on Ufab before. What a good movie! What an yeah, excellent mm -hmm. film! What a tightly oh, written yes. wonderment that it is, and that we we very much celebrate and recommend, and is in the running for best film of the year of twenty twenty two. I Does think uh, yeah, for sure, very possibly. It's it's, it's it's it like I said in the running probably doesn't win. But uh, top tier and uh, definitely in the running for best, DreamWorks Animation 2, which is a not easy thing to win. No, because up there you've got the likes of Trek, Trek 2, um, Kung Fu Panda, uh, How to Boss Train Baby. Dragon. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that movie. Yeah. How could you forget? It's He's very prominent in the DreamWorks uh, montage at the beginning mm -hmm. of the... 
Uh, yeah, he's I hate like the that, boss the baby, oh, man. God. The original yeah, DreamWorks. He's right behind Poe. Poe shows win. up and geek takes a bow, and then there's Boss Baby. And now they're like, oh, we gotta we gotta have the kid. He's gonna fly past all of our IPs before, you know, going to fish. Wonder because if that's Sims will hit him now. for that. Um, <laughs> it, uh, you know what? That's okay. He needs to he needs to get in the punches really... where he can. He needs yeah. to take every opportunity to score I mean, that's, on that. That's board. how that's how good the Lost Wish is that you have to look beyond that film itself to like the yeah. to find yeah. problems with it. This this might be the only time where it's acceptable for him to bitch about the credits. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Well. We, uh, because, yeah, because I was going to say that the, we, we, we sort of said that this is going to be difficult for, for Sins, but in the vein of last time we let Sins go first, because it was almost like home team advantage in a sense, and that Wins was going to have to crawl his way into, into trying yeah. to defeat him, we will do the reverse this time. The home team would be Wins. He's, he's got a movie that yeah. provides him all the answers, so there's no way he should lose this. And I genuinely like, if, 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 can we do some betting? I think wins wins. <laughs> I'd say I don't so see, too. I don't see how he he can't win. There's so much to compliment about the Last Wish by way of the character writing and how tied it is thematically, and obviously the incredible art and animation, the music. Like it, it's just an incredibly impressive film that is easy to. Well, it's it, what would be interesting is if if there was the feeling that he had gotten everything or a lot, you know, that there weren't major things that he was missing. That might be the more interesting part, like how. How comprehensive is the praise of the film? That's the thing, though. He's going to get a point if he can just say, "Hey, this was here, and then later this is here." We're going to be like, I "All like right, red. fair Ding. enough. He got it." Like, um, yeah. you know, saying the uh, "too hot, oh, too cool, cold, man. just right." They do that payoff like three different times. If he points them out, it's like, "Yeah, that's a point." Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and I guess to remind people, because yeah, there was the point system where I believe the way that it worked last time was. One point for just a correct observation, two points for an above and beyond, like, detailed, correct observation, zero points if it's nothing or a lame shit joke, uh, and then negative one if it's just incorrect, and negative two if it's profoundly, astoundingly incorrect. I think that sounds good. I yeah, like the way I yeah. wrote it, if anyone wants <clears throat> to use this to play a little game themselves with their friends, because I think this is quite amusing to have these two fight each other in terms of who can better represent a film and uh, really helps prove the point of accuracy being important when you're a reviewer um, uh, is essentially what Fringy said, but just with different words. Plus zero, or zero, I guess, for an observation. We do not give points if you just say, Anthony Hopkins is the voice of the robot. You're like, yeah, that's yeah. nothing. You're not, you're, not, you're not entitled to a... Yeah, just because you give yourself points for that doesn't mean we will. To give an no example of how you could change, like, like, so if someone said Return of the King uh, has Christopher Lee as, as Saruman, the ding for a win, we like, no point. But if they said that his death references him playing Dracula and they staked him, and that's the, part of the reason for it, and it's a really fun little, like, like fun fact reference, blah, 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 he'd be like, yeah, that's fair, that's a point. Like, even though it's meta and not necessarily connected, it's still uh factoid slash referencing insight you know they may have gotten it from someone else they may have gotten it from just reading it themselves either way as in like reading into the scene themselves but they'd get a point for that and then if they can actually say something that's just like whoa you just made like three different praises in three different ways all in one point and you gave it one win it's like that that will give you two points for that and obviously mm -hmm. the negative ones are just inverses of all of those when you're i hesitate to use the word lie when, when you've misreferenced or missed information or misunderstood and then negative two is when you do it dramatically like you've really fucked up which i don't think we gave many negative twos on the last time we did this right no uh, probably not we want to make sure that that's it's, it's like the plus twos it's difficult sure it's kind of special yeah mm. We what we did... actually had a lot of like nothings for uh i remember yeah there was just a lot of nope not nothing no nope, well, zero point didn't um wasn't he didn't he say like sam raimi and that was it. It was like Sam Raimi yeah, win. It's just oh, like yeah, you can't keep doing that. <laughs> yeah, you got no points for that. How many yeah, points you... did they each end on in the uh, MOM video? It was oh, uh, I can't I remember exactly. Can't it was remember, a massacre. But, uh, did wins even Sins get to won. zero? It was that Sins won convincingly. It was, yeah, he was uh, way ahead. Quite, quite I think a, I watched it three. fairly recently, and I seem to remember that wins. He was either on like minus two or he was on two. It was something like that. 
I believe he struggled to reach zero while uh, Sins was just, he'd run away with it. <laughs> okay. Which is, like you know, this... it's like, so the reverse should happen? It's like, mmm. But you, you can't trade. focus on the defeats of yesterday. You have to focus on the victory today. Who's so, victory? You know, the winner. Which one's that? Who's that going to be? Oh, you know. I, oh, we, you know, you know. Skip well, that's the funny thing. A lot of people out. are saying, like, when's he going to lose? I'm pretty sure he's going to win this. This is incredibly Other difficult for how... Sins. Yeah, uh, that's the whole that's the whole idea uphill. because Multiverse of Madness again, it's one of the worst movies in general. So that was very difficult for Wins. Conversely, it's going to be difficult for Sins to point out things that are wrong with this film. Yeah, I mean, it's... like conversely, it, it this really should be an easy win for Wins. But at the same time, if he's only going to praise things that aren't going to get him points, or if he's just going <clears> to <throat> keep reiterating the same thing or making jokes or whatever, then. And really, if he didn't yeah. keep in mind the EFAP scoring system when he made his video, then he's the only person to blame for that. Exactly. That's true, true. yes. That's um, cool. I would also, uh, I'm curious, do you think that it is more difficult to praise Multiverse of Madness or neg or whatever? Um, criticize? Uh, criticize The Last Wish. Um, assuming that you have to be them. accurate and all the rest yeah, of it. Yeah, I was about to say, assuming yeah, you have, assuming to, be you have accurate, to be accurate. Because yeah. if I was fucking around and mm. just trying to like focus on the individual components of Multiverse of Madness and then divorce them as much as possible from the totality of the story, then I'd say it's probably easier because you'd be like, oh, look at this Scarlet Witch in this scene and she's so sad and that's amazing I was about to say, acting. And it's the... all about you. Praise yeah, Framalam, you know I mean? we can rely heavily on a lot of the performances, and then you have to focus on the differences in each time, like different emotions, so you're changing it up a bit. Uh, costume design, you can talk about that for a while, and how excellent it is. Yeah. Set design for a lot and of sequences. Of cool shots, a lot of the, the special effects. Um, there's yeah, some edits, exactly. yeah, like you said. So, yeah, I think it would be much easier to praise MOM than, than shit on uh, Last Wish. Yeah. I'd say so. so what we've just proven by saying that is that Sins is at a bigger disadvantage with this one than Wins was, I think. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how... I, again, I think it's more so what's going to be interesting in this one is what is the nature of our Wins praise when the film is good? And also just kind of like the thing that that, that kind of format invites anyway, which is if you praise everything... Does that, in some sense, devalue the praise that you give to things that are actually worthy of that praise? You know, when you're like, when you have the attitude of, oh, well, you got to be positive about everything. Yeah. It's like, well, damn. Like, what happens when it actually earns that? <laughs> what What happens when the film is worthy of being relentlessly praised? There's got to be a film the sins, uh, sorry, wins could cover that would be like offensively bad that maybe disrespects something in history. And that you'd have to break character, would you not, to be like, this is actually a bad film. And the reason is uh, that it harms, I guess blah, blah, blah. would be more selective then, probably. Yeah, he yeah, probably just wouldn't cover it. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. All right, so one thing I want to do before we start is uh, we'll just do some betting, but like with actual numbers. So what, we'll start with, uh, well, me. I'll just like, use me as an example, right? So I'm going to go ahead and bet the wins ends up with, by our scoring system, 15 points, and sins ends up with negative... 20, negative 15, I'll go with. Okay. Uh, uh, and the way I've listed this, so because I can keep track of them, uh, Rags, if you want to go next? Um, no. <laughs> well, no. What do you mean, no? Yes. Participate. Oh, oh okay. I, oh, I, I was just being asked if I wanted to go next. Um, oh. Uh, oh okay. Let me see. I will say that Cinema Sins will get... Mm. Five okay. and wins will get. These are final scores as well, by the way, of course. 25. You think sins will get 25? No, no, wins will get 25, sins oh. will get five. Okay. Uh, Fringy? Uh, I'm going to say that wins is going to do better than that. I think I'm going to give him. I'm gonna give him forty, I reckon. All right. Um, and I mm. think I'm, I think Sins is gonna. I wonder how in the negative Sins might end up. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, Sins. Let's say negative twenty. Yeah, negative twenty. Mm hmm. Metal. Uh, I think Sins is gonna be negative ten, and wins. 
Hmm. Twenty-seven. Okay. Meme. Hmm. I think. I don't know. Something in my gut tells me that Wins is somehow going to pull some kind of fuck up here, despite everything going for him. Just because he managed to. You remember last time he managed to put wins for things that would be sins and things that he was somewhat criticizing. Yeah, I think I, I have a feeling he might fuck this up big, but that's why I give him plus 15. I was like, <laughs> I feel like that's a good amount of actual things you'll say, but it'll be counted by believe. the, I the fuck believe. up. Because <laughs> remember, I remember if it's our job to tell whether or not he gives it accidentally wrong praise. Like if he praises it for something it didn't actually do, we'd be like, oh, well, <laughs> that'd be a negative point if that happens. Yeah, hmm. so I'm going to be... I'm going to, I think I'm going to be conservative and say that at best he wins will get 10. Um, and, uh, ooh, the sins is difficult because uh, he did much better last time. But then again, that was a very negative film. So, hmm, uh, perhaps maybe a two for, maybe a two for sins, but um, I'm not entirely two sure. Two points. Um, yeah. It's like, two whole okay. points. All right. Yeah. And random film talk. So I'm kind of basing this on their performance in the MOM video. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Wins is going to get five. And I think Sins is going to... Uh, I feel like Sins might actually win this. Wow. <laughs> so I think so. Really? I, think, I, th I think it'll be by a hair. I think he has the potential to win this, but Interesting. maybe I'm just too cynical about Wins. So let's go with... An eight for sins. Okay, we have. I feel All like someone's got to be right. Like the <laughs> the idea yeah. that it could be wildly I'm off. I'm practically just guessing. I have no clue. So. Well, we all have some form of a rationale, but yes, uh, there's no way we're going to know what's going to happen here. We don't know enough about the fights to know how this will go exactly. They're facing it a lot on uh, really on uh, at the M O M one, which is not a good way to predict how it's going to go in total, but. You know, we're, we're, we're wins and sins aficionados to a small extent. We, uh, we this is, I'm sure we've, we've got this down perfectly, at least one of us. Like I said, as long as one of us gets close, I feel like we've nailed it. So, yes, we start yeah. with, uh, we're starting with wins, aren't we? Well, mm -hmm. This shall be interesting. Alrighty, well, there's nothing else for me to, to, me to say or to set up. I think we're all ready to go. Um... Let us let us venture into the world of cinema and the assessments of it. We're told, like I said, that this this guy, this is the one that's kind of fixing up film reviews. So it's kind of cool to see this in person and to to share it with all of you. Gonna be so exciting! Oh boy, yeah, dude. Here we go. Yeah, Obligatory mention of when he did this with Black Widow and there was screaming children. <laughs> When... <laughs> oh when... yeah, yeah, that's that was, right. That was fucking. That was perfection. <laughs> Even I'll admit that this is extra. But honestly, none of us can judge DreamWorks for this new logo. Marvel does it. DC does it. Why... We're oh, literally damn. starting with oh, a negative one. Oh, no. oh boy! Everyone you're else does it. Really? Why shouldn't oh, you? Oh man, man, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you out of the gate, you fucked up. God, you know what's wow. crazy? Had he said, um, I know some people find this to be extra, but I think there is nothing wrong with like the celebration of the work that you've done for so many generations all in one like bit if of imagery or something. Yeah, like if rather than, than, like if, than, rather than saying other people do, other people do it, they, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it, cuz I mean again, to repeat the point, like the original DreamWorks logo, like title screen, is is pretty great, honestly. It's uh, yeah. it's like really chill. Yeah. Um, and it, it gets you. It's chill, but <sighs> it also gets you hyped for the movie. It's it's um. Whereas this is, it feels like this is the era that we're in. Look at our intellectual properties. Look at Look our it franchises. Mm. Aren't you excited to see another? You know, How to Train Your Dragon. Aren't you excited to see another Shrek movie? Another Boss Baby movie? Uh, how there cool. are, I was just thinking, there's so many it's ways lame. you could you could justify this opening w in terms of an artistic choice, but he just you went for like the lamest uh, fucking argument in support of it ever. Yeah, which is super lame because it's like, cool, bro, we lost a better one in favor of this. Thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> but they're doing it, and you feel I, it feels like he's only commenting on it because he knows that other people hate it. 
Yeah, um... which they, <laughs> they, they dislike for, well, as far as I'm concerned, totally fair reasons. I, this is lame. It'd be like if they replaced the Pixar one with, I don't know, the Luxo Jr. running past, like, the Incredibles and, you know, Woody and Buzz and everything, and, and, and they were all waving high. Like, doesn't that just sound like the worst thing in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll probably do that at some point. I, I could definitely I see them doing that. Better. Because um, again, like Pixar is that that's one of my favorite introduction like title cards ever. Um, and I would be so upset if they ruined it. So it probably deserves a bit of explanation. It's like, so how would this be a negative one? It's like, well, it's it's bad argument in favor of uh celebrating a, an element it, that that seems to be what the argument would be uh, from our end, I guess. The argument yeah. is that the rationale that's used here is terrible. It's, well, everybody else is doing the bad thing, so why can't DreamWorks do the bad thing rather than trying to defend it earnestly? That's crap. So yeah, just to be clear, observation accurate, reasoning uh, flawed, I guess. Yep, negative one point. Mm -hmm. I think we're all agreed on that as well. That's what we need to make sure we do. Has everyone agreed on negative yes. one point? Yeah, I'm happy yeah. with that. Um, I agree. I don't want to... Uh, I don't. I don't want to be the one guy who's disagreeing, but I'm. Oh I'm God! Wondering, is this not Here a zero? Go. Is this not a zero? Um, the fact no, that it's I a think... rationale that a crappy rationale that takes away something that I think is way better. I'm, I'm happy to. I'm happy with also, the negative um, one on that one. We had many yeah, moments right. where the entire team were almost convinced of a particular thing, and then someone threw in a thought, and then we all switched to another one. So don't worry about that. Like always. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Feel, feel be free afraid. To, if, if you disagree, <laughs> definitely. So because. Because what you're saying is that he's correct in his observation, but his justification is terrible. It would be like if I said the, I don't know, the fight scene in The Raid is amazing, and here's why. And I highlight that the, the, the I don't know, the actors uh, don't look tired. Or something. It, like, oh, it, yeah, okay. You'd just be like, what? <laughs> that's a very stupid way. Um, even that, though, I, I should use a better example than that. Like, something that's not accurate as an as an argument like like marvel does it dc does it so why shouldn't like everyone know what movies you've created what a weird way to explain why we should have this because remember it's what you've lost as well yeah but is missing the opportunity to provide a good explanation worthy of a minus one because surely if well, he didn't miss the opportunity oh, and i guess and i guess wrong. uh here's the way to square it away this is the thinking this is bad, but everybody does it, so it's okay. Uh, not only is it okay, it's a positive win, because that's right. his system. He's going to say this is yeah, a that's positive a way to in favor it. of the film. Yeah, because he's it... framed it as this is bad, but it's justifiable, because oh, yeah. DC um, does it, therefore it's yeah. a win, so he's someone, flipping it. I see. Yeah, someone mm -hmm. that will help everybody uh, understand the rationale as well is that these are all in the context of a win. So yeah. it, it is a... And he's arguing this is concerned, positive. And as Spring just pointed out, he begins with saying... I'll admit this is extra. What he means by that is it's busy and cringe. It's bad. And yeah, it's <laughs> lame. It sucks. And it's part of bad trends in the industry. But exactly. what, if he, it, so... what if he ends up not giving it a point and just uh, points it out he, in general? He, he, doesn't he pretty much consistently always do the, the I point? I guess we can find every out every time. I'm just... second. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. And that's always, that's always a thing we'll keep a close eye on. We'll change based on, you know, because we can pause too early sometimes, but that's all right. Why shouldn't everyone know what movies you've created? That's not technically Puss in Boots style opening credits since he isn't in there, but I still like it. Oh god, okay. even yeah. adds a reason yeah. for why it's credits. Well, wait, what? <laughs> why would Puss in Boots need to be in the credits of his own movie? Shrek well, wasn't in the, the credits be... of Shrek. Yeah, the but Shrek, of well, Shrek. I guess they'd be pointing out, it's like, well, they got Shrek and Donkey and Fiona, but no Puss. Why isn't he? Why isn't he? Especially there? when well, this is, his, like this is his second movie, and he's a part of the Shrek right. movies. The second movie, and he's been part of the Shrek movies since... Actually, I actually agree with him on that point, which is why I find it especially yeah. funny that he, like, he makes a bad argument, then adds to the cringe of the thing, and then ends it with, I still like it. People are saying negative two. I don't think this earns a negative two. No, no, no. no, no this no, is a negative no, two. No, no, no. Something, no I think no, no. something negative that is really lame thing. is the notion that, like, oh, yeah, DreamWorks can't just say, hey, we're DreamWorks. You know us. So let's go. Let's start the movie. Yeah. It's like, we're DreamWorks. Uh, in case you don't know, here's the films that we made. Yeah, it's, it's a little it's insecure. Less, I think it's way less confident than the original. I'm going to uh, try. Logo, which is. Devil's Advocate a little. Um, what okay. would be the argument for it being negative two if I was to say he's just added an additionally, like, wrong... It's, it's, it's such a weird way of doing this. He's added another argument for why it's bad and then said, oh, well. 
I think I'm fine uh, taking both of these and just kind of packaging them together for the credits. Yeah. Um, well, I, I so uh, the reason why I find it interesting is that the, they are distinctly different arguments, right? One, everyone's doing it, so you could do it too. And then two, it doesn't match Puss in Boots. It doesn't even reference Puss in Boots. But oh well. But is it necessarily bad that Puss in Boots isn't in the opening credits for his own movie? I think it's strange. Uh, it's strange that, that he's for him not... to mention it. Well, definitely. I guess it's, it's interesting because in the case of um, like what they did with Wally, where Wally shows up in the opening for uh, Pixar, the Pixar logo, everybody like that would obviously be considered really cool that they went out of their way to incorporate Wally into the introduction for his movie. That that would definitely get you more points, but I don't know if there'd be like negative points. It's fine for... to not have it. Yeah, I don't think yeah. it's a problem. To I guess not it's have more it. so, especially if you're going it... for the simplicity of just Shrek, Fiona, Donkey, who mm. are the I guess the most central characters there are. Even though I would, but like Puss in Boots is own IP I would, now. I would, like, as in like it's a very is... very separate IP. Like it's I, doing. I think I would just make the case that Puss should Maybe... be there with those guys. Like yeah. he is, he is part of the you team. Should be, he should be standing um, on Donkey. He'd be simple. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that's where I would put him. I guess I can see it going both ways. Uh, well, and, um, and let's put so. it this way: the boss baby has earned his right to be in the <laughs> intro, but not Puss in Boots, really. I <laughs> guess because he's the. It's a new IP, and they want to. There are uh, as many. Know. There aren't there as many boss baby movies as there are Puss in Boots movies. Not even counting Puss in Boots' appearance in three out of four of the Shrek movies. And then Puss in Boots has his own TV show. Yeah, that's right. So, in, in terms and of the, his own interactive the, Netflix weird, yeah, game, that's same weird. Yeah. <laughs> his own interactive mm. Netflix. Game. Like I said, I uh, I don't. I think I'm comfortable. <laughs> oh, with just... and he was in Far Far Away Idol. Don't forget. So it's very important. True. Content on that. I uh, I think I'm still okay with it just being a negative one. I don't, yeah. I don't know if I want. To I am also okay, okay with negative one. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm fine with it being a negative one. Now he can do two consecutive negative ones, but I think it needs a bit more, you know, to it. Style of the season so right? in there, but I still like it. It's nice to be reminded that it's just a fairy tale, right? As the wishing star scorches the planet. Nothing. <laughs> no, that, that is nothing. Point. Yeah. That's, That's nothing. That's nothing. I don't even know what he means, really. It's nice to be reminded it's I, just a fairy tale. I mean, fairy tales have a lot of crazy stuff happen in them. So also, I'm not even sure the well, nature what, of this observation. I was, I I was going to say, like... you could go so many directions. What does he mean by just a fairy tale? Well, that, that, well what yeah, I'm about, I'm saying is just. the text exactly just the text says just. this story is a fairy tale. It isn't just a fairy tale. If yeah, a fairy tale is just oh, a fairy tale, oh, oh, it implies that it doesn't have. Yeah, it implies now, now it doesn't have it a message. Now you get toward how quality. I was feeling about that statement. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it implies Ooh. lesser quality. It yeah. does. It implies. <laughs> I thinking, think he would argue it implies that we don't need to take this as seriously, guys. But I would argue that uh, that's negative to the film. If you, you should take this movie seriously, it has good things well, to say that you should the value. Why, I think the reason why the film opens with it's a fairy tale is it's trying to appeal to what is often the nature of fairy tales, which is that there is some core central message that is really pronounced that binds everything together. Uh, even though it's you know fantastical world with wacky characters that you've got like yeah, so you're in a you're in a fantasy world and everything, but there there is like a big point here. Do we want to? Do we want to draw your attention to like some kind of meaning or parable or fable uh, that that they want you to pull away from it? That's my yeah, impression I'm, of why. I I'm happy to give it so. zero because we have no idea what he means by this. Mm, um, yeah, I'm fine giving it zero, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Doesn't yeah. sit well with me. Yeah, <laughs> if someone said, "Oh, Blade Runner's just a movie," you know, I'd be like, "Okay, watch it." I think maybe I think I agree it's a zero, but I think what he's potentially appealing to here is that. Uh, the uh, what would the word be like dissonance of the fact that oh, fairy tale followed by giant explosion is that what he's going I, for because so, so the impression um, that I get is that he's thinking he's thinking that fairy tales are like inoffensive and I chill, was going to say yeah um, which, this, this comes into problem hilarious. of understanding the history of fairy tales yeah it's hilarious some German fairy, fairy tales, tales are pretty, uh, are hey. pretty yeah. dark a lot of them, a lot of them are there, there are there are people who've made videos that are outraged at the state of fairy tales because ever, the west has like cleaned them all up into nice and happy when they're not all we watched that we watched we a video on that yeah the wisecrack well, yeah the real about, pinocchio story stuff yeah. you think about the nature of a lot of these fairy tales and what actually happens in them it's like wow that's that's dark gnarly yeah. horrifying in some cases red riding hoods you know grandmother getting consumed by the wolf um, is our are, are, we gotta, are gonna be getting cooked you know by the uh by the the witch 
Um, I mean, That's the right. we have metal here. Scary. He knows all about yeah. those German oh, fairy he knows tales. About that. I, I do eat all those grannies, yeah. <laughs> don't remember, little Hans. If you don't go to bed on time, then the Undenfliegenheide Flug Nachflugzeug will come out from under the bed and it will eat your fingers off. So make sure that you listen to me. Okay, good night. Yeah, what rack's that? Why does the granny in Germany speak in English? I, I don't know. Oh, that it. Well, it's more of a. It's more of a. She's bilingual. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think. Oh, we'll... nine. <laughs> We'll go with uh, zero oh. then, yes. Yeah, zero. We'll yeah. Go oh with my zero. god. Star scorches the planet. Puss, don't walk into the light. Although, I guess he does come to terms with death in this one. Spoilers! Did he have nothing to say about uh, Puss's little opening monologue? Nope. Um, wow. Apparently not. Weird. Uh, what do we think about... He's commenting that the imagery at the beginning kind of looks like someone walking into the light, which is symbolic of... Dying, which is kind of what the film's about. Yeah, um, what do you reckon? Heaven, I... That's a one, I think, maybe? I'd, that might I'd be, be a one. I'm, I'm, it's weird, because I think it probably is a one, but I'm not convinced for some reason. <laughs> I know what you mean, yeah. It doesn't feel... I think it's because it there's like, like not much analysis here, you know? It's just yeah. phrasing it... Well, I mean, it's a correct ob observation about the whole go into the light thing, but he's phrased it like a joke. I think might be why it feels True, a bit odd. that might be mm. it. I think that something he actually might have missed is that in that opening narration, Puss sounds older than he does in the rest of the movie. And I don't know if that's intentional or if that was just sort of how it sounds. I, I don't know. It's like sure he's recounting older. It's that he's doing his nice bassy voice that he has. Maybe. You know? Yeah, maybe. Hmm. But yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I got nothing for this one. I think the problem is, yeah. it's such, as was mentioned, it's such a flippant comment. It's like, wait, was that analysis or was that just... Mm. I mean, if he says it... And then... does coming to terms with death have any relation to stepping into the light? Especially considering that the message is that he's going to fight very, very hard for the life that he has rather than... You, you know what I mean? Walking into the light is often Walking into the light means that you're giving yeah. up yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 Hold on, he might Office have actually missed Don't something. walk into the light, fight to live. That yeah, that's right. Thing. That's right. Don't, yeah, step away from the light and everything. Yeah. If you <laughs> see a light, light, don't follow it. You know? It sounds like yeah, with Satlin on, he sh he'd have to have developed this a bit more for us to give the point. I think so. Yeah, mm. I don't. I, I think, think this so. Is too. I think he might yeah. have missed something with this because the end of this whole sequence, I guess, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it, is that he loses <laughs> his eighth life. So this is him walking into the light and losing his penultimate life, right? Arguably, yeah, about, we can definitely yeah, connect it that yeah. way. Yeah, I would. Maybe. If you had said that in your video and we were reviewing it, I'd give you a point. And you'd get a point. Yay! But, uh, he didn't say that. So. <laughs> he was this close. This is why I think Sins is going to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say, <laughs> Wins is fumbling the ball right now. But that's this. It's fine. Right. We've got plenty of movie left. Quarter, we get a lot started. of lot of we ball game started. left. This is why I wanted to be conservative with my guesses. <laughs> Yeah, I might have made a mistake. There's I've plenty of video left. left. <laughs> plenty <laughs> of video <laughs> left. Plenty of video left. Into the light. Although I guess he does come to terms with death in this one. Spoilers. Also, people saying it's really quiet. I don't know why that's happened. Give me one second. Uh -huh. uh... Mm. Let me look at my volume what you mixer. Go into here. Us. Sure. Google is yeah, it's at a hundred percent. So I don't know why that sh it's loudish for me. But let me crank it even more. See this chat? That's oh full God. now. Let me have a look on the on the levels here. Crunk it up. Oh, it's still walking to the light. Okay, that looks like on OBS that it should be okay now. So hopefully we're right. Although okay. I guess he does come to terms with death in this one. Spoilers. Papa, he stepped on my face. And we will never wash it again. Hygiene lessons and fanaticism lessons. Oh, zero, 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 zero. Wouldn't you just at least said, oh, that was a funny joke. It's just a joke. You wouldn't get a point for a funny joke, though. Yeah, I know, yeah, but he doesn't get a point for this either. I'm just saying. I would have Why said, saying I so wish weirdly? Puss in Boots would step on my face. That's what yes. I would have said. <laughs> Plus two. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess something that would probably be worth pointing out is it's like, yeah, we're just, we are having it very uh, firmly reinforced that Puss in Boots is a legend, renowned all around the world, and that it's, he's sort of cultivated it himself with all of his fantastical tales and songs about Wait, how awesome he is. You know, that you could try and make an actual, you know, point about just good writing. How was he at five? When did, did he just, like, jump up He just up three gave himself two. He just gave oh, okay. himself two for that. Oh, he did? Why? 
Wait, what do we do if that happens? Wait, but just because there. Because, because he said two lessons? Yeah, two lessons. So he gave it two, which is two zeros. That's why I said zero, zero. Oh. We would never watch yeah. it again. Hygiene lessons. And fanaticism yeah. lessons. Yeah, zero, zero. Uh, yep. God, I hate this format so much. <laughs> oh no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm a well, little bit confirmed here. I've um, given him a 60 point lead on cinema since <laughs> cinema already. I'm already wondering if that was a dramatic overestimation. Uh, um, anyway. But yeah, I just okay, caught award points for that. Sorry. You got to be more specific, more detailed, yeah, more analysis. If, if I got nothing. If you're trying to do jokes, you got to do better. Like, oh, well, yeah. Boots is a famous thief. We, That's why he likes loot. Did we say what our rule was on it's like let's just for instance say he told a, a joke that made all of us laugh would we give him a point for that no no okay um, I, don't think we can. I think it could i think we might it's like an inspiration token in D D, where maybe <laughs> we could put that in the bank for later and if he really needs that little nudge to get something into a point maybe we could hmm, give it i kind of hmm, i See, the thing is, is that I thought the goal here was to focus on the nature of the analysis because we don't give we don't give really bad jokes like negative points. I remember that was something we that can. We, were, uh, we can. Yeah, but that was something that I remember we decided not to do. Oh, last yeah. Time. Someone in chat pointed out it's like yeah, we, yeah. we last time said that was funny. Zero points. Yeah. OK, fair enough. Uh, yeah, <laughs> remember, it's not about the quality of the video. It's the it's the accuracy the quality of the argumentation. Yeah, pretty much. And the, you know, you, uh, but infused comedy is always a good thing. Go ahead, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, before you hit play, there's quite a lot to say about the shot that you've paused it on now, and I'm wondering if if uh, Wins is going to say anything about it. Or... Let's say, yeah. I mean, there's a big old skull right next to Puss there. Yeah. Well, and Ooh, the yeah. shadow from the light. The shadow. Man. Yeah. Yeah. The, legend the shadow is, is larger than, like a... than life. Yeah. Yeah. Why Walking is the, the governor the holding a skull death. in his portrait? Uh -huh. Kind of makes me think about death. Ah. Oh. Okay, um, I think I'll give, I think he can get a point for that. He might be able to get um, one, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I don't like I'm it, but yeah, that's a point. point. I'm yeah, pretty I'm, mad on it. I'm neutral. I I'm not I'm not thrilled with it. But, the, the, um, obviously, his observation he's trying to avoid being as overt, but he's he's obviously yeah. saying the film is about death. The aesthetic of yeah. the the portrait represents that. That's a move from the the designers to to put it in your mind. Mm -hmm. So I think death that's is behind yeah. him, death is watching him, death uh, is following him. Yeah. That would have been more of a point worthy. Oh, you could I make it so same... much more interesting in terms yeah. of the analysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the thing. There's something yeah. there, but I almost feel like he's not... I'm, I'm fine giving it a point if y'all want to. Yeah, let's give I think it a point. Yeah, so... yeah, okay. Yeah. I think it's a point, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> But it's not Death a it's not an enthusiastic point as you can beach tell. Balls. This no. whole thing has a rock concert vibe, so that tracks. Uh, uh, nothing. You get nothing for that. Nothing that for was that. a that was a nothing burger of an observation. Um, why? why so the analysis would have been I, instead of a beach ball, it's yawn for puss in cats. boots because cats. Yeah, cat. it, but like, it's would, would like you the would you argue are that full of milk instead of booze? You know. Would Would you but, argue that that is what he's trying to point out? He just hasn't. I think. I think words. if he had done more, I think like if Rag said, if he had pointed out, you know, the milk as well, like if he had just kept going, um, maybe that would get him something. Yeah, because he hasn't connected it to the cats. He just said yarn beach balls. This whole thing is a rock concert vibe. So he hasn't connected that to the cats. He's just saying instead of beach balls, it's yarn. The cats are implied, I guess. I think it's implied is what people would say. <laughs> yeah. uh, implied. Mm. Implied like an incomplete Well, um, <laughs> like the, the prior one, right? He said about death oh and the the oh are... is supposed to be us filling in for oh he, he's, I... he's saying the rest of the film is about death i'm against giving him a point because i think that throughout this movie there are uh specific things that each of the animal characters have to remind you that they are animal characters uh so i i think you should be you know specifically you know kind of connecting them to their i guess animal I get it forms or you know because uh, because with his praise there it sounds like he's praising the yarn balls because it's a party setting and not because it's a um it's, yeah it's, it's a not at thing. the beach but it's like a beach ball so they're made of yarn yeah I'm very much in the position mm. that I believe he understands that we know why they're yarn yeah, yeah. they yarn because it's cats and everybody knows that cats like balls of yarn. Ah, oh, damn. Does that mean he gets a point for this? Do we vote Ooh. if there's six of us? I would give him a point. Uh, it is an observation. It is. It's just... It's yeah. accurate, and, and it's just it's a design a choice from yeah, the people sure. who made this film that well, he's, he's... Yeah, alright, yeah. Yeah. This one... Well, I'm fine with us voting. We can vote if you want. Yeah. I'll give him a point, sure. Me too. 
I'm on yes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so on no. split. I'm, I think I think I'm on. I think I'm edging to no, just because I think it needs that tiniest bit more to to connect it. Even though I do kind of get what I, mm, no, I'm going to hesitantly go no, but I'm, I would be hesitant either way to be honest with this one. I think because we were generous with the skull one, I'm not going to be generous with this one. I think it's a no. We're well, so now that's now nice. we got to go to chat. It's got to go to chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the, the, the panel couldn't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do it man we can't do uh, it I would say the zeros have got it I was going to do a poll but I mean if we don't need to <laughs> like, look at I'll do a poll zeros. anyway those, <laughs> those fuckers know love polls I know I'm not impartial but oh we got a 7 in the chat so let's <laughs> get a, we got a 7 that, that so let's give it out. 7 points <laughs> yeah it looks seven like the seven zeros more than have zero. it Oh. I mean, you might as well do the poll, but I mean, it's a zero. And, and, and they, zero. they like it. They like polls. Look yeah. at them go with their polls. I, yeah, then you might as well do the clack. Do a no, Polish clicky. audience. Hey, Muller, are we allowed to vote? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, cool. There we go. Get your vote in there. Wow, that's a... Uh... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 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 <That's the soda. laughs> Dang. It's a show. Oh. Uh... No, fair no enough. Point. I love no democracy. Fair, yeah. I love the Republic. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, delegates. <laughs> okay, back to the. All right. Back to your Moving regularly on. scheduled programming. That. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yarn beach balls. This whole thing has a rock concert vibe, so that tracks. Who's ever been touched by a blade? Getting touched by a blade shadowing. Huh? He, he's he's uh, in, as he part of the lyrics of the song. He says, "Never been touched by a blade." He, he will be. So yeah. He'll get a point. Like, I think yeah, that's a point, point, yeah. Yeah, that's a point. Yeah, that's a point. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Hey, because chat are like, and it's like, remember, it's it, even pointing out the simplest that's and fine, easiest yeah, of point. things can still get you a point. That's it's good mm, enough. Yep. Yeah. Remember, this is this is his to lose. Yeah, pretty much. I think so. But <laughs> well, yeah, I, mean, I, I agree. Yeah. Let me end that poll as well. I think I think we know. Who oh, it helps heighten how shocking it is when he does get touched by a blade. I, I do agree. It helps. It plants that seed in your mind. Mm-hmm. The yeah. seed. Bring me the head of Booth and Booth! He's still got that Star-Lord thing going for him. Wait, Nothing. What? Nothing. What does that mean? I is that mean, Chris is an outlaw? What, is, what am I missing? Well, so, it, did, someone, did someone say in the Guardians of the Galaxy film, like, bring me Star-Lord's head at any point? No, I don't know. Maybe. They did something like that in I the Bible, know. but I I don't know what what's going on. So I, because I <laughs> he's still got honest, that Star Lord I, thing going for him. Like I don't know if he means. Uh, does he mean like ah uh, he's a bit of a renegade? You know, like he's a uh, he's he's with a criminal. I, he yeah, this is a zero. I have, the that has to be a zero. Yeah, because I mean this he's has, not. It, it seems like a zero. What what could it possibly be? I don't even know what he means. That is, yeah. like, that's actually I was going to say before I even give him points. I, I was trying to figure out what he meant. Uh, the closest I can get is like, oh, they're both like swashbuckling, um, fucking. Well, if it's that, then that's fucking nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he could have, he yeah. could have said like, oh, he's like Captain Jack Sparrow, in which case, like, okay, well done, that's a zero. You Should know how criminals want, should be right, caught okay. by law enforcement. This is like Star Lord, and they're like, uh, 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 <laughs> oh. uh, zero. <laughs> well, I get. Uh, it seems like we're all agreed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Zero. Star Lord thing going for him. So you've probably already noticed that this one feels a little different from the first one. Stylistic sparks and swipes from the swords clashing, little sound animations from the boots stomping, even the fire looks hand-painted. I worry we might be taking the wrong lessons from Mitchells versus the Machines in Spider-Verse, but I'm down. It's beautiful. What? What? Okay. What does that mean? Why are the wrong lessons? I make you, you had wrong. me in the first half. And yeah, then... but what? In the first Ooh, half, I was, so I was like... I, I still don't know if in, even in the first half, because what he's doing is he's missing the fact that the sword clangs are lined up with the beats of the song. Yeah, which oh, is, that's, that's something. That's even, more, he, he's missing a lot. He he's missed a lot. lot yeah. He can so, already. but and then, but yeah, with the weird, we might be taking the wrong lessons from Mitchell versus My guess, and my best guess as to what he means by that is that. It looks damn. I'm gorgeous. not sure. Uh, Is that it, it looks stylized my, and my maybe uh, maybe we just uh, just watch that one again, just because I want to. I really want to just drink it in because I have. I'm really lost on exactly what he was trying to say there. Oh, where does this start? This is good. Enough. He still got that Star Lord thing going for him. So you've probably already noticed that this one feels a little different from the first one. Stylistic sparks and swipes from the swords clashing, little sound animations from the boots stomping, even the fire looks hand painted. I 
worry we might be taking the wrong lessons from Mitchells versus the Machines in Spider-Verse, but I'm down. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what the wrong lessons would be. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. I'm it's almost tempted lesson. to give I think that a negative one. If you were an alien cool. and you heard him say that, you'd be like, compliment, compliment, compliment. Bad, but I like it. Yeah. yeah. That's, I think what I'm getting confused by is, like, I I feel like anything that I could try to come up with, I, I still wouldn't agree. Is he is he saying that like he he he's worried that the lesson that will be learned is that oh if you just use these kind of like older two uh, D animation techniques that people will just start throwing them in without thinking about it? Like he's implying it's in... the wrong lesson. Yeah, I he that's I this is I don't know this is this is Ooh. like I'm almost like a negative one on this. Is he potentially like, really saying like that. is he potentially saying that it's the wrong lesson from Mitchell's in Spider Verse? Because this is the sequel to a film that didn't have that kind of animation style, maybe? I, I mean, if that's the case, then he definitely gets a negative one. Um, yeah, because that's I a horrible that's argument. That's yeah. a terrible take. And that's I'm, what he means. I'm pretty firmly I... in negative one now. The, mm -hmm. that one, give it, let it simmer it's a little bad. bit. So this is the problem. It's like, what do you think? Out as a... I'm sitting here thinking, like, does he mean putting 2D effects on 3D animation is, is a wrong let? That can't is, be it. I I'm that's the best that I could imagine is that his observation that's... is that the thinking goes well as long as you do like sword swipes and motion lines and and stuff like that then it's like that's the lesson that gets learned oh just do that and you and could. it's the wrong lesson but and that that's yeah and that's the wrong lesson to learn I don't know why he would bring it up for this film though because this film this film looks yeah, amazing like, I, I, it's yeah. yeah it looks it looks yeah. great uh, it looks someone suggested like, is he saying that it can confuse perspective if you have two D and 3D and uh, that that could be the... No. Uh, well, then, that, then that's mm. definitely a negative one. Because that's... This is, yeah, this is, if, I think what we highlight here is that... I, this, you couldn't make it to the theater. I am trying to come up with possible... Like, and every single one I can think of is, like, wrong. So I, I just... I don't know what, what I could do with this. Uh, this is... I'm, I'm like negative one on this. Like, the only thing I can think of is that he's worried about overuse of certain stylistic tropes, but even that's not very strong. Well, all, all I would say but in that so case uncommon is that he should, he should reserve that for yeah. the films that actually don't do it well, unlike well, and the yeah. film that and he's if, talking about now that try and well. rely on it. And if he's saying, yeah. like, there's too many styles, again, I'd be like, it's according to who? Well, well yeah. I think... I, I what I what I think I'm finding frustrating as well is that I think that it is totally fine and logical to point to Into the Spider Verse as kind of the film that kicked off this new trend of oh we can we can like deviate dramatically from what is the established kind of Disney Pixar 3D animation yeah. style that you can deviate from that and still find success and that it's worth deviating from. Um, but Puss in Boots is not, like, Into the Spider-Verse is trying to emulate pop art from, like, the 50s, like, comic book art, whereas Puss in Boots is trying to emulate, like, watercolor painting, like, and, and uh, it, it's, it's going for a painterly style that feels more reminiscent of, like, it, yeah, evoking, um, further from the past, you know? Like, fairy um, tales. Almost like... Um, yeah, like fairy so tales. So it's, it's, I don't, I don't, I don't and, and of course, Mitchell vs. Yeah. Machines isn't gone from the same style either. If, if it's just like, oh, well, they're all grouped together because they're not Pixar, it's like, well, that's a weird, that's mm. like a weird sort of uh, way of grouping them because they yeah, are radically different art styles. They don't look the same. Someone suggested, could it yeah. mean style over substance? And it's like, yeah, but you have to explain how we have lost substance here. Because mm -hmm. this is, well, it's, it, it's a, this is a really well done opening action scene that, that the, the music is great. They got the, the sounds synced with the, with the effects. There's a lot going on. We get all these characters. It's funny. There's a lot of good gags going on. It, I mean, the song itself is good. It, it, there's like, there's no way that I, yeah, you have to work really hard to try and convince us that I, this is I style over what substance. I'd be tempted to is yeah. to, I think I think what I'd be tempted to give him a negative one for is I don't even know what the hell you're saying but it's making yeah. me you're saying something <laughs> negative it's making me Absol think no, about absolutely. the many ways that you would be wrong in saying it yeah. he, what, he, what I thought was happening he, with this is, was he was going to highlight loads of really cool animation flourishes and then say yeah. you know what that's like five wins that's, awesome. that's so cool yeah like and then we probably well, I, I would have given him a point for pointing I'm out the animation like, styles. Yeah. Like, I would have been like, yeah, fair. And I think it's fair yeah, to say, a lot of people don't even necessarily 100% register it when they're watching. It's like, oh, yeah, there are, those a lot of are it done in 2D. Yeah. Well, and in this is a busy scene. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, it's kind of the meme, right? People, because of Spider-Verse, were learning about the notion of animating on ones versus twos, that that was kind of a thing yeah. that a lot of people were unfamiliar with. Because, yeah, the reality is that people, it's not like every person has read the, like, animators 
guidebook that are know all of the the techniques that are employed and it's kind of it's cool right because these films have kind of invited people to learn more because they're like oh wow that's like really different from stuff that i've seen before um like yeah, legit, I, if, I, if I the line he's trying to say, yeah. the line i worry we might be taking the wrong list of submission of this machines in spite of this but i'm down if you remove that from the script he'd probably be getting a point here get a point now, well, also, yeah. if you remove, but I'm down, it's beautiful. This could be appearing in a Sins video. Yeah. Uh, mm. That's kind of the weird. Well, one. so what we're going to get in the Cinema Sins video is his uh, reverse. Like, he does the thing where he's like, oh my god, that's so good. Like, you get re you get negative Sins for this. You know that sort of thing? Mm. I don't know if uh, yeah. Wins has ever done the equivalent of that, where he's like, that's so bad, you're I'm taking a win away from you. I think he's done that. But he's not going to do it for this film. That's or at least so Raven. But, uh, well, uh, instead of everyone just announcing, I'd rather go from uh, left to right. What do you think this is? And I assume the vote is going to be between zero and negative one. So I'll just say names instead, because Discord can be weird. Fringy, what do you think? I think I'm going to go with a zero, that he was onto a one, and then he neutralized it with a really bizarre observation that brings him to a zero. Metal. <laughs> I'll say negative one. It's just so fucking confusing. I'm going to say negative one, because he's told us this is a bad thing, and, uh, and he's yeah. not given us reason for it at all. Rags. Negative one for those reasons. Random film talk. Negative one for those reasons. Meme. Oh god, I went on an arc with this one because when he started, it was like, "Oh, this is on a one. He might be inching towards a two if he keeps going." And <laughs> I then had the same the thought. Half <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on negative one now. <laughs> oh, well, then, yeah, that's a negative one. Then negative one for you. Yeah. It wins. What are you doing, man? <laughs> yeah. He's still, he's still I, I'm, in this. There's plenty of movie left. I bet on the right flawed. horse. I'm flawed that he fumbled the <laughs> easiest thing you can say about this film, which is it looks great. <laughs> yeah. I can't and... believe he screwed that up. Yeah. Just to be, just be clear, someone is writing these down, right? I am. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Just right. making sure. Warn, just making fair sure warning. Yeah. Though it's a bit late. I should have said this earlier. Like, I hopefully someone else could do one as well because I've I've been known to fuck these things up. So uh, if someone yeah. else can be a. Uh, tracking it i think if if any of you would be so obliged while we're going through to look through the previous sentence slash sorry wins and uh and reset do the counter again based on our scores like just to make sure it, all i'm asking is someone could double check me with my final results i'm probably gonna be off by one or something uh, uh let, me a, let me pull up a word doc or unless someone else wants to do it <laughs> Uh, I can't yep, be relied can, on. Okay, I'll pull up a word. I can, oh, right. <laughs> Wait, Rags, are you doing it? Whoever, I am, yeah, I can, whoever I can, can or will, I, well, I appreciate okay. it. If, if what happens if all six of us do it, we all end up with different numbers. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be honest happen. with you. Um, in the MOM one, I believe at some point I stopped counting wins because he's doing so horribly bad. Like, <laughs> we're just like, it's fine. He's just negative question mark. Be taking the, the wrong lessons came. from Mitchell's hold up, hold up. I'm, uh, So this is wins, and what's he at? Just so we're on the same page. So I've got him at negative two, but that could be wrong. <laughs> I think that's right. I hope you better not be wrong. Right. So the re the reason why I'm so started. I the, the, when we first were talking about this, I looked at the number. I was like, I must have fucked up. How could he be on negative no, two? I think it's because he's got yeah, he's got three negatives, a lot of zero. Uh, so I, he had, already like, lost. We're just started. We just started. <laughs> <laughs> he can he could snatch. No, Ra Rags is, is set himself up to, to record it. Right, is, he should be yeah. asking these questions. See, I, I'm all right. I got wins negative two, and then as and I'll change it as we he gets more or less points. Also, in before more, all hopefully. of chat shout at me for being wrong with all different answers. I've got he's <laughs> he's a negative one. He's a what? He's at zero. He's a, like, <laughs> we're like a minute in, and we're already. <laughs> <laughs> but we that's okay oh, we, every once in a while we'll double check each other's scores just to be sure okay jo okay we're just gonna s sit at negative i can't i can't rely on chat <laughs> it's impossible yeah, i love you guys okay but i can't now you're lying to us negative three thousand that seems likely yeah this is all right spider-verse but i'm down it's beautiful and hey, he's keeping his sword parries in time with the music. So that's oh, there you the right go. Oh, there, there we go. Right. Okay, there you go. Taking the right lessons from Edgar Wright. Excuse me. Uh -huh. That's that's a joke. I'm, I'm done sinking the. Yeah. I know oh yeah. We got to say it's a joke. I mean, like, point. sorry. Can we? That's <laughs> dancing. Just to be clear, you've described <laughs> dancing. <laughs> Edgar Ed Ed Wright, Ed Wright doesn't Ed get credit for dancing. The concept of dancing. <laughs> 
But <laughs> Edgar you Wright got a invented point. dancing rags. You, you I'm going to be point. nice and say, listen, he's a guy who watches, he's, he's relatively young. Maybe he's just like, Edgar Wright, I know him for the guy who did like the, the bar fight in Shaun of the Dead where they sink but don't stop me now. And I saw that video from every, every frame of pause that isn't us. <laughs> like, and uh, they explained <laughs> Edgar Wright does it all the time. Oh boy, whenever I see it, I think of Edgar Wright. That's, it's okay. He keeps the sword parries in time with the music. That's true. You get a point. Mm-hmm. Like how Zack Snyder invented feet. Oh, no. The right no, didn't feet, Quentin Tarantino you know. invent them? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He did, you're right. He did, but and then my Zack personal fan said he did. So, you know. Favorite new touch, the absolutely insane vibrance and oversaturation of the colors. Hmm. I don't, I'm not I don't think we give points for that. You have to tell us no, why that's not, good. Yeah. And I also don't think it's... Nothing. I don't think it's, well, it's not oversaturated, oversaturated. It's sufficiently saturated. Yeah, it's it's more it, it's like oversaturated means too saturated. Whatever the level of like obviously he's just trying to illustrate there's a lot yeah, of colors. Like why is a lot of color good? Life, why is that good? Yeah. Why is that good? You that's can't just point it out. You have to explain why it's good. Damn, you, you get nothing for that. <laughs> yeah. Optimism or just a stupid kid. Oh, uh, this oh, is going to be a zero. Say about me. Yeah, zero. Yeah, zero. zero. Yeah, zero. Yeah, zero. Of course. That's easy. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Wasting our time. <laughs> Wasting our time. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about the animation. <laughs> Some of it's on twos, like the giant, oh, but then we other go. times you we get movement on every one of the 24 frames. But skipping frames giving a similar effect. Watch the milk. Oh, but why is that good? You're just oh, describing man. what happens. You're, you're just it. describing oh, what happens. Good. You're not describing like how the frames change when they're in action oh, scenes man. and how they can My... even transition within the same cut. Like when Kitty goes off to fight everybody after uh, um, the mm. burrito gets captured. And once she starts going to the fight, she changes from normal frames to lower frames because she's entering combat, essentially. Mm -hmm. And it all happens and then, within and then the same also shot. Making observations of sometimes we hold really long on keyframes. We hold for way longer than... Like, like, there's the when when uh the big guy starts throwing the bell at, at Puss, he does like a flip backwards and he's facing the camera, and they hold on that for way longer to emphasize a keyframe. And it's like, well, why? It's like, oh, well, because the long if you can if you can stretch it out for longer than that pose like sticks in the viewer's mind, it captures more of it. We and feel also, it more. Just mm -hmm. to be clear, just so we're all on the same page, when he says animating on twos, I don't know what that means. Well, yeah, if you don't know what that means, then you're lost. It's like, what is... That's it's another like, fair I, point. You should probably... Yeah. And it's a, it's I, I a big opportunity to explain means. the quality of the film. Or qualities yeah. of the film. And then, of course, to point out that this is just unconventional in 3D animation. 3D animation doesn't do ones and twos, because they're not, they're not drawing individual... Like, they're not, they're not drawing the characters. Like, each time, it's not a new drawing. It's a 3D model that's being moved around. So it takes, like... It's like you've gone out of your way to kind of add this in as like a as a technique. Man, he's missing yeah. so much. Like mm. what easy points. It? Those would be easy hey, points. Wins, easy. listen. Uh, look, it's fun to make fun of you, but I need you to get to twenty five. Okay, <laughs> I really need this. Listen, right. listen, wins. Just get I to fifteen. Just sit so at fifteen. Can we please? That's, that's Maybe he's good. just getting all the bad stuff I out of the way. So did I is this a him zero? With five? You gave him five, yeah, so <laughs> I may have you're in the running right now. I can't now. believe you might... Uh, no, he'll get to 25. What, what I think is amusing uh, is yeah, that yeah, we've all scored him in plus, but that he is currently at negative. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I I, uh, I would say I'm now confident I'm going to be the most wrong here. Um, I gave him <laughs> He's got plenty of movie left. Well, we all thought that, obviously... Wits, wins with an amazing movie would get a whole bunch of points, but instead he's just fumbling every perfect pass that's thrown his way. I wish I listened to my gut more. I really do. Of the twenty-four frames. Oh, but well, okay. Frames Wait. Giving... What are we? What are we giving this one? Zero. He, he's zero. Zero. He zero. hasn't actually. He's pointed something he out that exists. That's there. It, it's. I don't he know. He hasn't explained why it's good. It's, it's, it's got to be nothing. a zero. But like th this same. Uh, technique happens at least one step, probably more than once later in the film. So he does have the opportunity to explain it then. Maybe. Not, not, not going to mm. now. Y yeah. Not for now. A similar effect. Watch the milk. <laughs> this guy shaking his hand. I actually did that in real life, which is why I noticed. Jack. Uh, I'll give Wait, him what? that because that's like an, op that's something that. Small detail. Got to kinda, yeah, that's a, like a really small detail that he's noticed there. 
I'm surprised he didn't oh, go yeah. to yeah, zoom and double. slow down to show us, you know? Or the yeah, big old arrow or something. That's kind of a blink and you miss it kind of thing. But, but I'll I will give him that one. agree that's a point. Because in much the same way that if he if he points out death standing in the shadows, you know, when puts He's got to do that. Up, Everyone does that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> He's mm -hmm. gonna... Oh, yeah, he'll get a point there. He'll get a point, yeah. All right. We have reached uh, zero. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> We've reached our starting position. Nice. Okay, right. I'm, not, I'm not just saying that because I'm trying Did to it. buff up these points that I can actually win. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Yeah, uh, so for anybody who's like, what are these? Like, absolutely, this would be the reverse of nitpicking. Like, if, if, if Sins points this out things that are accurate but small, yeah. it's like fine. But if he yeah. points out something accurate but, you know, cool, it's like, yep, get a point. Yep. Jack Horner's Pies. What a crazy Easter egg. Oh, my gosh. I, th that, I think oh, that's a point. So right? he gave that a point, and I think yeah, I give that a point yeah. because that is a blink and you miss it detail. Yeah, so yeah, yeah I'm not that. for it. And also, he's pointed out death. So yeah, yeah he's pointed the wolf. So that, get, okay, so he gets get, one for that. Oh, 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 he's back in the game, everybody. Okay. Wow. So is he? Does he get one for the sign and he, one he for death? His, yeah, because he gave him separate wins. So yeah. Uh, okay. So we're on right. two just, now, just right? as if, just as if he gave himself separate wings that were both inaccurate, he would get negative. Yes. <laughs> right. That's how. All goes. right. Yeah. Well, so someone All said, right. "Who cares about Easter eggs?" I do. I love them. I do. I, yeah. I, do. I do as well. Because Easter someone had to make. Someone made that. Someone decided I could put that in there, and it would just make the film a little bit better. And then they did it, so that's worth something. Yeah. It's death in the crowd. Also, people say like, "Oh, easy," and it's like that's why we said he was going to win this. Yeah, that's why we said yeah, <laughs> this is easy. Just like it was easier for Cinema Sins with Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, because you had like about ten thousand contradictions in that film, so it's just on a platter. Proud. The anime vibes are off the chain. Look, I don't only watch Attack on Titan, but it's a giant and there's a bell. Come on. Zero. Uh, zero. zero. Yeah, yeah, zero. You that's... said anime. I'm tempted to give you negative one for that alone, <laughs> but <laughs> zero it is. Everything about this opening battle is such a great setup for the rest of the movie. It perfectly illustrates how little Puss thinks about death. He's more concerned with the music and keeping in time with the beat. Then... Is that a clean one? I think that's a clean um, one. Yeah, yeah no, I think so. I'm fine with that yeah. one. Yep, I'm fine with giving that a yeah. yeah it's it's very be. much accurate. The, the, that's definitely what the film is trying to portray. Legend yes. will okay. never die. I mean, technically, he didn't say he wouldn't die, just the legend. So it's still an accurate song. Also, that's the eighth bell tone. Uh, so he gave himself a ding for that one, and I feel like there's something missing that pushes it to a to a point there. Feels more like a joke than a. Uh... Yeah. Because, of course, there's something to be said about the fact that this is where the legend dies. You know? The, the legend dies because at this point, now that he's on his last life, this is what sends him on the journey that forces him to grapple with that legend that he's concocted about himself and to sort of develop like a new framework for moving through life. So that, I feel like there's an observation anything, here. Anything, it's the opposite it's not... argument could be made. Yeah. That the legend does die. I yeah. wonder if he's trying to be a bit mm. uh, sarcastic, almost. Also, that's what I mean. Like, I just got big joke vibes. I didn't. Oh, oh, because he's saying it's accurate. He didn't say I'm gonna die. He said the legend. He said just the legend. So, like, it's not. Yeah, I think this is just a joke and not an observation at all. Actually, so I think that's a. I think that's a zero. I think it's a yeah. zero. Yeah. 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 I'm happy, I'm mm -hmm. happy with that. Didn't say he wouldn't die. Just the legend. So it's still an accurate song. <laughs> Also, that's the eighth bell toll in this scene, signifying his eighth life ending. Yeah, you got oh, it. Oh, that's for that. cool. That's a point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You get a point for that. Yeah, it's good. You, you definitely do. I'll take. Not I'm like not going to check, but I, I'll take his word for oh, it. Oh, I've heard of that. Case, that's fun fact. That's before. really cool. It is true. It's uh. It is true. Yeah. 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 I didn't even know that. Didn't know that bell did toll. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never not love Puss's full-on cat moments. Cat life. Also for those That's zero. Uh, and he not, likes not, the cat. If only enough. he had said they do an excellent job of animating Puss uh, in those moments yeah. to be just like you, like real life cats, like the, the, to the point where they probably yeah, studied I don't them feel to like do this it. Goes far enough. Yeah. It's not yeah. Far like um, when zero. I was on Metal's Forge talking about this film, I went on for about 10, 15 minutes about all the cat. Oh yeah, you did. How <laughs> well, well done they were. <laughs> yeah, so there's there's definitely more you can say than just look. He's a cat. It's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, no, I know. It's called Puss. He is a cat. Yeah. He is a cat. I he in yep. boots. Those of you who were surprised by the reveal that the wolf wasn't just a bounty hunter later on, look at the corners of these death cards. It's even got his sickles. Puss! Yeah, you got a point. I for like that. it. You get a point. Yep. Yeah, that's a good observation. Yeah. I like it. I He's like it. Now hit the random film Easy talk point. prediction of plus five. Yep. Oh, He's on wow, five. Okay. He oh is my God. boy. He's coming. Yeah, he's, he's, he's still in. 
He's on a roll. He's on a roll. Negative. This is what he needs to do. He just needs to point out yeah. the neat things and draw the connections, you know? The, the film is setting him up for success. Did you set the oven too high? <laughs> Gingy got leg transplant surgery with frosting stitches. Make it that yeah, that's, is that's how it's always good. been, though, since the first movie. Oh, yeah, because I added that in since... Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Because that, that was off. That was in Shrek too. He had yeah. Those. So he's he's already oh, always get... had those. So oh, Ooh, no, what does this count yeah, as I then? I think that might be a negative. Because I think is that like, definitely you... the case? It's it's been years since I've seen Shrek Shrek two. I was going to say my references are weak on that one. Me. Yeah, I think he's, he's had him since the first. Remember, Shrek. he lost his legs in the first Shrek. Remember? Yeah, that's you right. Remember? Yeah, Bob yeah. Bob was like waddling around with his man. Yeah. So I he's like mistaken it for something that's in this film when it's just consistent character yeah the praise like if you he, he was to get a point if he said they even managed to maintain continuity that Jinji lost his legs and stitched them back on with frosting if he'd yeah. said that that probably would have been a point but instead but he's acting like he's just now discovering it when it's been a thing it, for yeah. many years now that's Jinji. Mm -hmm. yeah it would be gotta... weird if it wasn't that so it, yeah it would be like saying that they remembered to keep his like purple buttons the same color like it'd be like that yeah, but to keep his hat i know, would say that, that it's a cool bit of continuity <laughs> instead of making his legs just whole um but at the same time that's not what he said so he's yeah. just wrong you know yeah. <laughs> oh no yeah discovering oh, no. that discovering something that's been there for many years now is kind of weird especially if you're trying to give it a win hmm I think we're, um, we're teetering here on zero to negative one, aren't we? Yeah, that's the thing. Um, Shall we vote? Trying... Mm. Um, and let, and let, go ahead, if anyone else wants to add to it. Ginger got leg transplant. Yeah, it, he's acting like it's the first time, like like they just did this. But like like y'all said, it this is consistent character. It's part of the design. It would be it would be a sin. It would be a ding. Um, or I guess a dong, a bad one. Is a thing good or a dong bad? I don't know. But it would be <laughs> bad if they didn't have it. Bad that would be dong. a continuity issue. So, um, um, is it up to whether or not he gives it a win for himself or not? He gave it a, oh, he he gave gives it a win. win for himself. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, if he, he gives, gives it a win, win, that actually, I think that bumps it at a negative one. I don't mm. think I don't see how you can give this a, a yeah. Win. If if it was like if I was reviewing The Simpsons, I said Homer's wearing his white shirt. Ding! It's like yeah. well, what? I was gonna say <laughs> right. Yeah. He the statement Gingy got leg transplant surgery with frosty stitches doesn't mean he's saying he got it for this film. However, the win does. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, yeah, like that's what I'm thinking. I'm yeah. thinking Reverses if he gives this a win, a, then yep. negative. You have convinced me it is negative one. Your hubris will be your downfall. Wins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm down for giving this a negative one. You shouldn't have given yourself the point. I'm also in the camp now of negative <laughs> one. So Just for reference, to... um, James Moore has apparently posted proof that um, he he did have this at the end of Shrek One. So it wasn't even Shrek yeah, Two; it was yeah. in Shrek One. He was in the wedding. Yeah. All right. That was out to get me. Oh. Someone said, like, it's... surely zero because it's not a malicious mistake. It's like, we don't. Wait, that's not. Judging the, on the nature of malicious. <laughs> that's what? That's we, we may <laughs> eventually come across one where is... we say, like, that was malicious. But, like, that's not really in consideration into accuracy. Uh, yeah. Like, how we feel about their emotional state when saying the thing i guess it might come up but uh, that's a, whether or not this was malicious is not really relevant uh, but obviously it's not <laughs> it's not malicious yeah. to be like yeah chinji has got leg transplant surgery <laughs> we are <laughs> cruel but we're fair yeah. so there you go through with frosting stitches make it your heaviest oh i keep the heavy stuff in man the he's room. skipping over <laughs> so much yeah, stuff yeah he is hmm. He really is. But what All right, is he okay? So this this should be easy. Um, clientele bar this would have to be, be prepared easy. for with special libations in Fantasyland. A little single origin hay smoothie for donkey. Okay. Uh, you don't get that's just yeah. a joke. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that's anything. You're, you're asking, wait, 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 what? Yeah, just, that's, that's just a little meme about like, oh yeah, in a fantasy world, you gotta probably have like fantasy stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So for your fantasy pain, stuff, like speculation, cream and hay. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a big old <laughs> nothing there. Yeah, that's what a big old say. zero. Those crazy fantasy worlds with their milk. How would you turn this I, into gaining a point? Uh, what I would turn into gaining a point is, isn't it awesome that even though Puss is animated in a lot of ways like a, a like a human being, you know, standing on, on his uh, hind legs and, uh, you know, gesturing with his hands, 
that he still instantly yeah, he reverts is back to being a cat. A cat. As he, he is lapped a... up the milk with his tongue, and it's like, yeah, yeah that's, he that's is an awesome. anthropomorphic cat. Detail. He's not a not a human. He's he's yeah. very clearly a cat, and, and the film doesn't want you to forget that. They lean into yeah. his catness. Make the observation that it's just a, it's throughout the film. It's like they never let you forget that he is a cat. With the way that, not just with how he looks, but the way that he moves, that would probably yes, he uh, like that like would give the observation. Like it, yeah, cause this joke, like it. this joke makes me laugh when he's like talking like this, and then he just leans over and starts lapping up the milk. Yeah, That's yeah, great. yeah. Puts a smile on my face every time. It is funny. Oh yeah. Um, what about pointing out that it's the the problem is here? I think I'm doing a little bit too much work for him because if if it was phrased as though um I I love the work they've put into the world building here that a uh, you know your average tavern will have options for creatures that are so unusual in like a normal world, but in this world they're prepared and stocked with all kinds of uh, drinks for all kinds of creatures and species. Um, I that's think kind of I think what is in what he's saying. One, I mean, because I think yeah. that the joke in universe isn't just that you know it's cream but the, the fray i keep the heavy stuff in the back normally refers to like the really rich yeah. and super alcoholic stuff the good stuff you know the heavy stuff whereas this it's literally referring to the the heavy cream, heavy cream that's yeah. the heaviest yeah. that's and i mean it's 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 you know it's 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 cream like that's not that mm. doesn't invite those questions about like all of the fantastical stuff that they might have it's cream it's a, it's a bar, you know. It's gonna have milk and stuff, like. So that's yeah. true. Um, I nothing. Uh, well, uh, so. maybe vote on this one just because I'm not. If uh, it, well, do we, does everyone just feel a zero? Is that what everyone's feeling? It's a zero. Yeah. 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 I don't have I strong feel feelings on this one. It could have been more, but I feel a zero. All right. Let's see where it is. See land. A little single origin hay smoothie for donkey. Okay, they are very hard to hear, but there are eight clock chimes, and on the eighth, the candle goes out, and then death appears. Oh, I Good observation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That reflection yep. doesn't make Me. any sense unless you're deaf and figuratively have push trapped. Yeah, you got a point. Oh, but yeah. he's not trapped because the top of the glass is <laughs> <It's> open. <laughs> <laughs> He's trapped within the, um, in the, sh in the shape of the I would have uh, gone with not trapped, but the, he's in death's he's palm, got him palm in of his death sights. hand. Yeah, he's in his yeah. hand, he's in his sights, he's not trapped. Uh, is, it a, uh, ooh, is it a potential reference to later in the film when he... I forget exactly if he is trapped in that like glass mirror maze thing? No, well, he, he, I think he, he extend it further, he, he doesn't have Puss trapped here. He wants yeah, him to escapes. fight. He has an option to well, fight, and I think he runs away. I almost get the impression in this scene that he wants Puss to run, um, because he enjoys mm -hmm. the chase and the fear, but he wants to kill him eventually. Yeah. You know? but, but he literally he says has... later that he loves the, the hunt and the yeah, chase. He, does yeah. he has made the observation of the visual here, which is that Puss is reflected in the glass. He has no. He also that. said it didn't make any sense for me, which isn't a very... Which... And kind of the way thing that he to say is a praise with the element. Inaccurate. Uh, well, yeah, and, and it is all... important to say oh, that know, you, his his take might, on this yeah. is that a death has post trapped, which is not my take which on this. Which is not the case, because yeah, he he likes the chase. He likes the smell of fear as he as he puts it. He 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 allows him to run away many times. Well, this this is more representative, I think, of how much control death has in this scene. Yeah, he's super comfortable. He's chill. <laughs> and that's different mm. from what he said. I, th I feel like this is just nothing. Yeah. It doesn't. Well, I, I, I'm inclined to agree. I think it was almost a plus, and then it went to zero. Yeah, I think that's why. Yeah, I'm I think this is one of those fumbly kinds of. Yeah, doesn't quite. Can't make anything of it. Oh well. What kind of bad oh, well. faith is this, Rags? What do you mean? <laughs> what, kind of bad, what kind of bad faith is what? No, I, I think we all. First off. I, it's focusing in on me. I know. I, know. Like, well, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. agree like, with you right, completely. There are five other people here who like pretty much said their own things as well. But to be clear, um, yeah, I, I don't. I you know we we said why. Yeah, I regret I so. nothing. I mean, another <laughs> another way to go with the reflection is that potentially the film is is visually showing that death has rather than having pushed trapped, he's he's in control. He's obviously a lot bigger than the reflection. He's holding the. Shot glass, he's in control of that, which isn't what uh, Wins has said, but that would be another direction you I could make. I feel like that's it. what I said already. I'm just saying. I, 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 oh, I, that <laughs> like, is what he said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it's, okay. good to con it's good to get confirmation that 
you know somebody else was thinking it and hell Walmart yeah it's an insane crazy person and the and i i encourage everyone to have biden moments i think that they're great they, they <laughs> show that we're all yeah. human and we can so all funny. Is it I'm, contagious? I'm not, sure this... <laughs> uh, I I'm not sure if this is like just another synonym of what Mola just said, but I do like the idea that, you know, he obviously he smashed the other eight lives later in the film. But within this scene, if you kind of look at it um, with the knowledge of what's going to happen later, it's almost like he has his last life directly in his hands, which is basically the whole his whole journey through that film is that death wants to take this one for himself. I see and, all yeah, those interpretations. It, I, I see all... is much more accurate. The um, it's funny how much it stuck with me. I can't remember who said it. It might have been Rags, but the he's not trapped. There's an open top <laughs> like, to the cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been staring at it like it's so true. <laughs> a little reflection can it's climb out of like, the cup. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Yeah, this is something that Ooh. he could have done something with, but he fumbled it through inaccuracies. I'm and... grasp yeah. something yeah. else as well. Yeah. The glass is obviously empty, so potentially. Uh, symbolically meaning that his life's his lives are empty. He's run out. It's He's running close on to the end. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 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 So I think all these interpretations are way better, and I think his was he has pushed trapped, which is not the case. Not really true. Yeah. So did he even uh, lock the door behind him? I don't know if we trap your push. I, uh, uh, as was said, I don't believe Death wants to end Puss in this moment. He wants to chase him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I it might help if because I know when. Uh, Puss escapes. Wolf says something in Spanish, and I don't know actually what it is. So when we get there, someone in chat can maybe let us know. I think he might skip it. Well, maybe not. We'll he see. might. He might. But uh, actually, hold it here. I'm keeping score. So pause it here for just a second while I use the loo. Real quick. Won't be but a moment. I assume everyone's this on board with zero for this one. Yeah. 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 This film actually does that quite a lot, where it has the characters speak in Spanish without having any mm. kind of subtitles. And yep. it's interesting, in particular, for what's ostensibly a kid's film, uh, that they would do that. Because you kind of get a vibe for what they're saying, even if you don't speak Spanish. So um, I don't think they needed to do it. It's everyone just... in chat is saying he says, run, kitty, run. So, again, not trapped. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Or you, oh, that's, it that's depends what he on says when he escapes. Yeah, and it's funny because okay. you'd be like, not trapped literally in this room, but trapped in the sense that death is coming for you yeah, and there's nothing you can do. Yeah. yeah. But uh, like I said, it's I just phrasing is not even close, I don't think. It's, it's not capturing what uh, I Wins thought it was, I don't believe. Hello. Nope. No. We've settled on a zero oh, wow. rags, not to your shock or anything. Uh, people are saying in chat, he says, run, run, kitten. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've, yeah, we've, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Figuratively have pushed track. Right. My compliments to your cobbler. I mean, I imagine he's a cord wainer, but tomato, tomato. Compliments. And Puss is drinking his ninth zero. shot there. Eight are already empty. Uh, oh, no. Okay. We hit pause, but nothing's Oh, happening. he might, I mean, he might be wrong. What What did he call it? A cord wainer? I don't, th cord I imagine he Googled that shit, because <laughs> I don't know what a cord wainer is. Uh, let's see. A shoemaker who makes new shoes from new leather. But they're not new. He's had them from a while. Uh, accord wainers can be contrasted with a cobbler's trade, uh, according to a tradition in Britain that restricted cobblers to repairing shoes. Uh, he might, that might actually, be a minus one, then. He might be wrong. Uh, because the I, fact, imagine. I imagine he's a cord winner. I imagine so he's a... Can ooh, that the might shoes, save him. Not? I imagine... the. Oh, yeah, I think the imagine saves him. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Carry on. Zero. Well, I was going to give zero you anyway, but yeah. You snatch yeah. nothing from the jaws of nothing, so you can <laughs> you carry on. But tomato, tomato. Compliments. And Puss is drinking his ninth shot there. Eight are already empty. Yep. Yep, that's fair. Yep, you have points. Oh, I like it. Six. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get it, get it. The wow, you skipped. Damn, okay, you, fine. You so did much. Skip quite a bit, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? Okay. A conversation, okay. man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tonal shift. The red that fills the screen when Puss is first touched by a blade. Puss does the same cart. I did oh, he give that a point. That was one point, and he gets a point for that. Yeah. 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 Let's train. He hasn't dinged yet. Mm -hmm. I think he's. Or did he ding? It, it, it went I up. Think he dinged. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Did, yeah. oh, did he go up? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wheel he did against the giant, and Death catches him midair. He also cuts his catchphrase off. Fear me if you dare me. Okay, I, I, I need to keep track I'm of wondering this. If you're just I'm, describing... I'm wondering, if, uh, I'm wondering if he's entitled to all of these points that Well, yeah, we're doing it one at a like time. I'm just, just trying to... Genuinely, it. all I'm trying to do right now is figure out where the fucking wins are. Because, like, the... So, there's a win at the end of every sentence. So, he yeah, gave himself like a win for the red. Cartwheel. He gave a win for the cartwheel. 
and he gave a win for cutting off the fear me if you dare. Um, but he did that say, one doesn't get a point because that's just an observation. Red that fills um, the screen when posted his first touch by a blade tonal shift. That counts as a point, right? I, 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 yeah, I I'll, say that one's a point. I'll that's give him that's that. the strongest yeah. point that he's got out of this yeah. selection, I'd say. Yeah, the um the cartwheel is just describing well, so an event he that needs, happened. Well, he needs to build it up more because, of course, the point being that it's like, oh, we saw we saw Puss do that successfully, yet here Death effortlessly caught him. Counts and at this point, him, we yeah. don't know his death yet, which uh, means it's like, oh, that's really interesting that Puss's strategies aren't working. This is where, it's almost like you could imply broadly that Puss's general worldview is beginning to uh to crumble, but he's not saying these things. No, he's just pointing out what's happening. Yeah, the cartwheel, uh, the knocking his sword out of his hand and interrupting his catchphrase all accomplishes the same thing, so surely that's one point collectively. Uh, Neo, from our perspective, yeah. not, not from Winz's perspective, I mean. Neo has sent a super chat that says, we should take points away for win laundering. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm... So, I, someone said as well, uh, um, I thought we were giving him points for observations. It's, um, funnily enough, the way that the, the thing is actually described is he gets zero for observation. He gets one for accurate, praiseworthy observation, which I know sounds like, well, isn't that like subjective? It's like, usually it's in conjunction with something well, else. So red, yeah, fills the, the hang on. red fills the screen, and then tonal shift is obviously the, the, the information that clashes or intertwines with it, what Fringy was referencing, right? And this is what I've been thinking about right now, is that the same cartwheel he does against the giant death catches in midair. Fringy was like, well, you, you'd have to highlight the contrast of the confidence and the power of it doing it before, and that death is now yeah, a foe yeah. that is way too difficult to take out. But in a sense, and this is where I have my trouble, I feel like Wins would be like, that is what I'm saying. And I'd be like, But it's eh. like, it's what, the, it's what the viewer is doing the work for you. You pointed it out, and then the viewer goes, yeah, and, and this has to do with my perception of the film where, yes, it's this and this and this and that, and there's these reasons why that's happening. It's like so he's let's... not doing all of the work that he should be doing, which is you connect it. You connect it. Don't let the viewer connect it with their own understanding of the film. You do it. Let's contrast uh, two different observations where we just had one a second ago, the eight empty shot glasses to represent his eight lives that have been spent. Uh, that's an interesting observation that is worthy of a point, but just saying, yeah, he does a cartwheel and death catches him. Well, like, so what's interesting is there's an insight miss here as well, is that it's his signature cartwheel. He does it in all the films he's in, I think. Because uh, I remember yeah. him doing it to oh, Shrek okay. in Shrek 2, and then he does it in That's Pacific right, 1 as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. So the the problem I'm highlighting here is Puss does the same cartwheel he did against the giant. It's like, well, that's it's his no, cartwheel. No, he does a signature like, move. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Which is again, um, this is why this is why I don't want to award a point for it, it, it. To me, it comes across as like it's so lacking in the potential insight. Um, mm -hmm. I'm inclined to agree. Yeah, it's less an observation mm. and more a description. So I think, yeah, I think we seem to be agreement on that one being a zero. So of so yeah, kind of of this of trio, he only gets one. I think I would I would even say that he's kind of balked it as well because you need to ramp up to this. It, like the whole point of the scene is that it gradually ramps up to the things that Puss normally does that work, don't work, and then it doesn't work. Oh shit, now it's actually getting a little bit more I'd stressful, go even and then he gets further. struck by the blade. I go further back. I think it's legitimately like intimidating when he pulls out the wanted poster and he taps on the dead and says, I want your autograph. Like, this... that's, pr that's pretty intimidating. Yeah, there's like oh, three sure. layers to that, oh, yeah. too. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. The uh, sort of surface level, just like, I want your autograph, and then it's like appealing to his ego. Then yeah. the fact that he believes him to be a bounty hunter and the bounty hunter's pulled out the thing, like, that's proof of it. But then the underlying subtext of, I am death, and I'm here to collect I'm, I'm your... Gotcha. He's, yeah, he's yeah. tapping on dead in the dead or alive. Yeah. That one would and have been the potential for a double point, him. you know? Well, because oh, as yeah. well, obvious. I mean, you know, he's death, right? Like, obviously. But, I mean, they don't reveal that until later. And he says a lot of things that have, I mean, pretty clear subtext of, you know, like, no one's escaped me yet. It's like, well, yeah, that sounds like a bounty hunter thing of like, oh, yeah, I'm a pretty good bounty hunter. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's obviously, it's like, well, nobody escapes death. That's the point. And these are just things that he's missed. Because he skipped over so much of this scene. Man, I don't right? understand. Or Gingerbread Man would just live forever, doesn't he? Wouldn't he? I'm guessing so. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure about the, <laughs> the biometrics of that creature or bio anyway, biology. Um, I guess this is something that is worth emphasizing because it's become apparent at this point is that wherever Cinema Winds ends up, he has failed in a sense because he is missing. He's just skipping over and missing so much that is that could buff up his points here. 
in this yeah. competition that he never knew he was participating in. <laughs> and if still... you're doing this for an <laughs> audience to show him all the wins of a movie and you're missing out on a lot of stuff, you're kind of not doing the movie justice. So I think there's a level well, of opportunity job. cost. That's a, yeah, you, there's a level of like, oh, you're, you're missing all this stuff that you could be telling people. And that's like, mm. Yeah, I agree with I agree with that. I think I feel like out of the three points that he's made, the the shift to red, the cartwheel, and the interrupting the catchphrase, those are the three that we're on right now. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We haven't really talked about the catchphrase one yet. I um, I feel like out of the three, he should be getting two points because I feel like the the cartwheel and the catchphrase well, so, is the same point that he's awarded twice. Someone um said, why is he getting a point for the saying the tone shifts? Isn't that just a, a almost blank observation? I think that you can give him the credit of um, the, the, the confidence is shattered, and that's a tone shift thing as well as like music or style and stuff, and like there's a lot of things that would come into it all at once, and he's praising the fact that visually speaking, it's been you know acknowledged as well. I think that's a one, that's not a zero. He, yeah, he give did one. say touched by a blade. He didn't just say it was red. He talked about the tonal. Yeah, and touched yeah, by a blade. Yeah, yeah, give yeah. Him a one. Yeah, uh, but I, I think he only gets one out of the three. I think that the cartwheel is tonal just shift, a description of what happens. Fills and the I think, screen. He's fucking shocked, dude. Yeah, it's, it's so really good. good. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, the red eyes. Wait, hold on. Uh, did he give himself a ding for the tonal shift? Okay, wait. Let's did he give himself let's... more dings than actually? I think he did. Get it? Wait, hold the tonal on. Tonal shift. The red that fills the screen when Puss is first touched by a blade. Okay, Puss does no. the same yep, cartwheel he did one. against the giant, and Death catches him midair. He also cuts his catchphrase off. Fear me if you dare me. Ex yeah, that one I don't think gets a point. Yeah, that doesn't get anything. You're just describing what a, what yeah. happened. You're not. It looks like he's about to give himself a point for a summary as well. You see that? Oh, excellent no. storytelling. And it's like, oh yeah, point. It's like, well, yeah, wait, you should have described the excellent you know, storytelling. You know, that would have been cool if you told us. It's good. But why is it like, excellent winning? Well, it's also interesting it too. If if he was to say his his catchphrase is cut off to tell us that this is like a bigger deal, and then he's awarded himself a point for pointing that out, and then a point for pointing it out, like why it would matter, which feels um like you you're getting that is point laundering. He's definitely <laughs> point laundering, but like point laundering. Because if he said if because the red one, I think everyone is agreed on. <clears throat> excuse me, but um, yes. this one here. So he's saying excellent storytelling to help us understand the stakes the bounty hunter is bringing. If he said that in conjunction with the cartwheel and the interrupting the catchphrase, all of then that, he gave a himself point. a point. We would be agreeing. Yeah, but he's given himself three, four, isn't it total? Well, no, he's it's, saying well, that, four, oh, yeah, including four, the red. But tone, think, cartwheel, yeah. catchphrase, excellent storytelling. That'd be four, right? Yeah, he's and we're his saying counter. tone gets one, mm. cartwheel and catchphrase don't get anything, and then it's excellent storytelling is kind of like, eh. yeah. Given right. that the so well, because I, the, go on, Rex. Sorry, go on. I think he only gets one point of the four because I think so too. the tonal shift you get, but you can at the end say, yeah, excellent storytelling here when you don't. Right like elaborate on it when you just sort of describe things that happen you need to be a bit more insightful and i'm the bar is not high for being insightful no, we've we've shown so, that but he's, he's just not doing it the amount of times he's like pointed he, out the the eight sort of symbology and we're just like yep that's a point yep that's a point like the, this, these are but here's the thing it comes across and, and i'm learning some of this stuff too this is the first time i'm hearing about it but it comes across as if he went to a video uh -oh. that says all the cool details uh -oh. of Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, and so he knows to say the shot glasses, the chimes, the sign, death in the crowd, but he's not actually being insightful with the story stuff. I'm just saying that's a feeling that I get. I think you might be right. I, I'm My, saying uh... it's a feeling that I get. It just seems really all over the place and inconsistent with what he's pointing out. I mean, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's it's you know it's which is hmm. I suppose I, I wouldn't <laughs> want to say that's that doesn't that doesn't like invalidate anything. I think what Rags is getting at isn't that because some people are like fraud. It's like whoa, we're not like saying plagiarism. No, 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 it's no, just that it shows that's why. Good to do. I think Rags is highlighting why there's insight in some places and no insight in other places. Well, yeah, yeah. it's like why is there insight into these individual details, but when it comes to providing like a general analysis of the film and, and what it's trying to say, that it starts to fall uh, flat. Yeah, he's he's picking up on the very very quick 
Easter eggs and the and the the chimes, the shot glasses, the signs. But like I said, we didn't. Uh, you know, no conversation of them at the right. bar top. It. And is this the nature of his format? Of that. Right. That like at the end of the film, he likes to do his big old speech about the film, like like he's actually going to provide his you know points more comprehensively. He's, maybe he did that but I highly. If we get to that point, and we'll have to see. But I feel like going through the now is the time to do it. You know. Mm. Excellent storytelling to help us understand the stakes. And, oh, just so clear, since right? we get since we got one point, Mahler, we're at he's got seven now. I'm or? at seven, yeah. With, okay, so. just making Ooh, sure. we're coming up on mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pick it up. Pick it up. And you thought Escobar was the scariest that Wagner would ever get. You don't get a point for that. Damn that's it, man. Point. That's yeah, uh, the, you, you missed. You I missed was so, so much of what was actually happening in that scene. I was like, he's getting course, a point. He's obviously getting a point yeah, here. And then obviously no. getting a point. Because I mean, how many details can you point to? Like the rapidly intensifying heartbeat. Heartbeat. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Like all of the hair standing up on the back of his, on his back, and uh, his and, life like, literally flashing before his eyes. Yeah. No way he out. skipped over that. Yeah. He has, skipped he? that. Crazy. He skips so much. You just be like, hey, he played Pablo Escobar. It's, That's okay, so yeah, zero wins, man. What are you doing? <laughs> if Sins yeah. fucking references it and takes away <laughs> Sins, like, <laughs> Jesus. That might oh, get him a plus no. two. It might actually. It might. I don't know. We're I don't gonna know what's going to gonna happen. We'll have to deal yeah. with it together. Him, yeah, him lowering his own counter to praise the Phil might get an extra might point. Him some points, yeah. We'll we'll have Winnie. to see that when we get there. Oh, but, is he oof. about to point out that this is what it, that he's translated this one? Corre, corre, gatito. That was run, run, kitten. Definitely more terrifying in Espanol. And How much do you get for translating something from a different language into English? You've got you've got to comment on why it's relevant. And the thing is, it's it goes against it goes against his uh, thing earlier, saying that Puss was trapped yep. by death. I, I, I'm more interested by the idea that it's almost like in his view, I translated it because I don't speak Spanish and I translated it to English but let's, and that's what it means. Point. But let's be what clear. A <laughs> language is literally meant to be understood. It's not hidden. It's not like it's not like a message or a play on words or an Easter egg in the back or something mm -hmm. lining up. So it's just the character speaking. And also not to be too Anglo centric, but like Spanish is just like a real language that people speak. You don't get a point for <laughs> for just no, no like, I think it, like, the words there has say. to be an additional step. It can't just be translated. He's, he's treating it like it's a hidden detail when if you speak Spanish, when it's you watch Spanish. Film, <laughs> it's just a language. It it's a if language. You speak Spanish, well, it means, you know it means nothing um, uh, Easter egg wise. When I did my soma breakdown, I didn't translate the like literal meanings of the words of the stations and then go, oh, look at that. Ooh, I, I, then I was like, easy. all right, I gotta kind of come up with a way for how does this apply to the station and the events that take place there? Is like, well, what, what? I mean, I, I doubt he's gonna do this for every time that a character speaks in Spanish, which is reasonably frequently. Like, it's I quite like a bit, yeah. Scene, I mean, this takes Spanish. place in Spain, essentially. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you know, like he's not, yeah, I, I don't get anything for this. Yeah, yeah it's so. um, <laughs> it if it was like a Latin word inscribed on a thing that wasn't given much detail or whatever, that's one thing to be like, oh look, they put the you know that that that. But nah, it's also he's not getting anything for this either. Andy Dufresne, nope. nope. <laughs> uh, no, this is zero. You went down the poop chute. It's a it's toilet. Not, it's it's yeah. Whatever. How big is whatever. how big are their cocks that the hole there on the front has to be so big? Jesus Christ! Look at that thing, monster. The Andy Dufresne would be proud of this exit. Toilet. Look at him inside the boots, a real puss in b boots. Stop. Nothing. What was that? What was you that? You get nothing, and you're skipping over so much. Why couldn't you just compliment us like, wow, someone, this is um, a cool artistic choice that they made here with the visuals? Someone highlighted that uh, he does do a sort of wrap-up at the end, and he might cover some of the yeah, things that he skipped over. Yeah, that's what I'm over. saying. Yeah. That's what, I, that's what I was saying. Because he did that with Multiverse, yeah, and it, yeah. it lost some points. It lost um, him so points. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This, this he one can might, snatch uh, this defeat one... from the jaws of yes, victory. Cause, potentially. Cause remember, he gives he gives himself points for his recap. Uh, I believe. Wait, oh so yeah. What is his recap? Which is... I, I don't remember. In the format that he has, he I'm like cinema. End. Cinema Sins will just go through it chronologically, and then once it hits the end, it's the end. Whereas with Cinema Wins, he'll do like a recap of uh of of who who actually just like have broad statements about the film that go beyond just like you know one or two sentences it's like a constructed argument basically so, his general okay. takeaway on the film yeah, kind of like a mini review kind of 
And he'll continue awarding wins kind of once he's I got complete he... character arcs and that kind of thing. And then I it'll believe be like 20 wins in the end. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because okay. so, uh... he'll be like, so, what, what did we learn? What, what, what was this film about? Skipped. That sort of stuff. Yeah. There'll um, be things that he, he may have skipped here, which again, you know, that, that can help him a little bit, maybe, but it could also detriment him. Yeah. Um, I mean, technically speaking, it's just like a matter of accuracy. It always is. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, what could are. you what could you pull off, Mr. Wins? And I, I, I'm going to say, very... Some people say, like, none of this is shocking. Like, I don't know, man. I'm a little bit shocked because this film is excellent. I, I feel like it's something we need to consistently reinforce. It's... This is one of DreamWorks' best films. Yeah, I would argue it's jam packed and filled with things to. You could be at yeah, like is, fifty points easily right now. It is gushing yeah. with points of praise. Like I feel like a blind person would be able to praise this movie more effectively than him. Oof. Yeah, he's mi he's missing so much. He's failing on so many levels, and yeah, it's really cool that he's pointing out these details about like the the bells and you know there's death in the background and everything, and that's really cool. Um, but he is floundering on like the broad story observations at the moment. Not accounting for double points. Uh, I I think Rags, did you say he was on seven points? Yes. He is currently. If you can, if, if you can believe it, I think we went into the bar scene and he was at five, hmm. and he somehow was only able to scrape two points out of that entire scene and sequence. <laughs> Insane. So, uh, so that means because he's currently on number thirty five, thirty six, that means he's got like think... one in five of his points is a point. When we were uh... not counting the negatives. When we gave it a rewatch, yeah, yeah, uh, last night, me Rags, before we get to that scene, I think Rags, you were like, "It's the scene." <laughs> it's, yeah. like, it's, it's the scene. It's the yeah, scene. Yeah, this is that, like one of the. It, this is one of my favorite scenes, just like ever. It's this like is this. The scene that this you, elevates but... this movie from being a fun kids movie to like, holy shit! Like we got blood, yeah. boys. Yeah, it's like oh shit, yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. exactly. Blood's like oh, we're doing something here. That's we're not fucking around. We're and like it's kind of story. blood and swears. It's sort of doubly annoying me because, like, statistically, there have to be people watching our coverage right now of this movie that haven't seen it. And this film yeah. is amazingly good. Mm -hmm. And he's not doing it justice. So, you would think that this film was no different than any of the films that he covers, including the absolutely abysmal films that he covers. Yeah. He's not distinguishing it from those films because he's, he's, he's got, like, the same Which general is methodology. I think it's damage, yeah. It's the idea that, like, oh, well, being relentlessly positive to the detriment of any, like, and all negative criticisms at all, that that's somehow a good attitude to have, when in many ways it is detrimental. Because at the um, end of the day, like, appreciation of good in some way reflects on the notion that there is a capacity for something to be bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, because the, the, I was reading chat as well, and it was mentioned that it's like he's not going to be able to praise it to the point uh, that you guys do it, sort of thing. And it's like, no, no, no. He has had moments where we've given him points for such. He just doesn't yes. most mm -hmm. of the time, and he often gets he's things really wrong. Out. Yeah, well, so he either gets things wrong or he just doesn't. It's true. It is his job. You know, our standards are high for a YouTuber of this size, and you know everything. How many but, subs does he have? I don't know, not too mm, many. A but lot, I think. <laughs> he's just he's missing like, he's missing a lot of really obvious stuff that deserves being pointed out. Two point one six million subscribers. Jesus oh. Christ. And that's okay. the thing, by the way, this is the standard like be like, so why do so many people fucking love his coverage of Puss in Boots then? They'd just be like, Because he said it was good. And they also think that it is good, so the video is good because mm -hmm. it's, it's, it it's how it works with so many things, like basic good. affirmation of your your experiences. That's what a lot of people look for in videos. Which, by the way, not even criticizing that. I just feel like we could do a hell of a lot better than just affirming people's points of view. It's like, can we? Yeah, can we level the, the, up a bit. It just go back to the blood. You can even point out, it's like, oh wait, this is like a funny movie that has a lot of good comedy in it, but also really good drama that tells a proper story. Because so many people say, like, oh, it's a comedy. It doesn't need to make any sense. It needs to be tightly written. And this one is tightly written and re very funny on top of being, oh, yeah. like, super, super tight. <clears throat> well, yeah, how do you yeah, deal yeah. with that tonal like, balance? Yeah. I mean, the scene, yeah, exactly. that scene broadly <laughs> is, dread, is, is, like, dread-inducing. But there's, there's more than a few jokes in there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That's a I can see how this would legitimately walk. scare a kid, which and, is and, good. Scare the yeah. <laughs> And this would, would be, uh, I would give him two points for that if you would point that out. Well, uh, <laughs> what you need for any kid that gets scared by it is watch the rest of the film. And by the end, you won't be scared. Yeah, people yeah. will remember the, the ending. The ending is yeah, the ending is what they take with them. You know.
boots. Uh, Stabby Tabby. Tabbies are the best cats, and if you can get one that stabs your enemies, who could complain? Zero. <laughs> I knew his darkness to his eyes. Zero. 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 It's, no is that, what, is, what is people's favorite cat? Like, you know, I don't know. Breed. Cat lions are oh, up there. Well, I, I, mean, I think he meant. Yeah. Oh, not, domesticated. Not, uh, um, <laughs> lions. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, lion, fucking, why lions not? are indeed pretty cool. What is everybody's <laughs> favorite <laughs> cat actually beyond domesticated I don't cats? know, I'm like, curious. the kinds. I, I, I just don't know. I kind of like I the like... Sphinx cats. I think they're really weird, and I kind of like them. There's something about, the, they just are kind of weird and, and strange. And they I look at them and they're species. all pruny and you just want to be like, man, you probably, you probably are a strange thing to hold in your hands. Um, Things look cool as well. I like they, tuxedo they cool. cats. I like tuxedo cats. You could put a tuxedo on any tuxedo cat that doesn't cats, count. So I agree. <laughs> Sabertooth tiger um, baby. Don't care if they're baby, out. Oh, but yeah. If, if we're talking about cats, what are, <laughs> what are everybody's favorite let me look. I gotta look at a, a list of. Okay, so we, got, we got two smilodons here. We got two smilodons. Do you need to look oh, at a list? Can't you just? Well, no, like of domesticated cats, I do. Oh no, I don't I'm. Really I'm, know, like, the I'm asked, Can you not tell by the answers of smilodon that I'm trying to? <laughs> That's why That's I was a... confused here. But I was looking up the chart that has all the cats, like the Japanese yeah. bobtail and the chartreuse and the. Um... I th I think that there are there are so many good choices for the coolest cat you know the coolest cat species. That's um, yeah. cats out there. Something <laughs> that I would emphasize as well because I think that when you ask cats broadly, people start thinking about lions and tigers and and mm. cheetahs and ocelots and stuff and and bobcats and lynxes and all all manner of cats. But I feel like I want to come in and remind people that domesticated cats they're pretty cool. <laughs> like they're pretty mm. cool cats. All right, I've got I, three I'm of gonna... them, so I agree. I got a few I'm going to throw out there uh, that mm -hmm. I really like from this chart. Um, I like the Egyptian Mao. I, okay. like, I like the Sorrel. And I like the... Ooh, I like a, the Siamese. That's pretty Siamese cool. cats are really cool. Yeah, they're, like they're, they're neat looking. I like their patterns, yeah. So there you go. We got some neat ones in there. And a, but of and course, a, yeah. Abyssin, yeah. Abyssinian. Those are kind of neat. And there's a a lavender cat. He has his little tiny short stubby legs. Good rags. Now now I need to know if we were talking about cats in general, what's your favorite species of cat? Um You said lion, it right? It would probably be like a lion or a mountain lion. So like a lion or a cougar. I, I okay. really like them. And panthers are up there too. <laughs> they have this you know, you know this thing about them. I guess. Yeah. Uh, two fucking two people in chat said Smilodon is not a cat. Uh, I googled it. It says uh, it is a cat. The most yeah. widely it known genus of saber toothed cat. cats is Smilodon, the saber toothed tiger, a large short limbed yeah. cat that lived in North and South America. Um, there's there's follow up question that says people also ask is saber toothed tiger a cat or dog? <laughs> <laughs> cat or dog. Wait, what? Dog. However, yeah. since. Since we are talking cats, I want to give an honorable mention oh. to <laughs> hyenas. Um, oh, yeah, they're more closely hyenas related, are more to, closely cats. related are, to cats. That's right. And dogs. Even though even though hyenas yeah. are special, and as in they are the only hyena day, uh, they are under Fila day um, and not uh, Canada So mm -hmm, there, there are several Smiling answers virgin. related to whether or not Smilodon is a dog. Is there something here I don't understand? Are Was people it... <laughs> No, they're just wrong. They're but just look wrong. at it. <laughs> I, I, don't wanna, I, like, I don't want to get too etymological Look. or physio-magical or anything. Sorry, Leywin Hook, but um, th look at it, you know? Some of them are pretty clear. What, what I will say is that saber teeth have evolved convergently <laughs> several times throughout history it's... in various animals, but uh, that doesn't make Smilodon a dog. No, wait, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, just to be clear, I, I don't know why he said Leeuwenhoek. It's Carl uh, Carl Linnaeus, not Leeuwenhoek. I, I don't know why he said that. Maybe it's L -word. I just like this question. Uh, are there any saber-tooth cats still alive? And it says, no, they went extinct 8,000 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. That, I, I guess I kind of understand that. Yeah, like, it's, it's perfectly reasonable to ask. Because they don't yeah. seem like crazy. It's like It looks like a big cat like we have, but with a, you know big you know, pointy teeth. I, yeah. I think it's just no. funny, no matter what the, the the question of what animal, where they say over like nearly ten thousand years, you're like, oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, missed him by a while. No, I mean, again, another consider... little fun fact: the 
uh, thylacine, the Tasmanian tiger, is a marsupial. It is not a cat. Mm. It's yep. yeah, it's it's not even close to a cat. It's uh very, 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 very different from a cat. It looks more we... like a dog, but it's not. It's a marsupial and it's gone we... forever. And speaking yeah. of like animals that have been extinct for thousands of years, like obviously the Smilodon is not like unheard of to think that people might not consider that, but if we look at the timeline consider that while the Great Pyramid was being built, m there mastodons, were there were mammoths yeah. that were still mm -hmm. roaming the Earth. So yeah, that's, that's a really... For the mastodon's time. a cool name as well. Yeah, mastodon. Good band. Yeah, it's yeah, a good band. <laughs> I will uh, also, r r because uh, in terms of the answers of cats, Siberian tigers are pretty awesome. They're uh, very they cool. They are really cool. I'd oh, like to mention yes. ocelots as well. I think ocelot? ocelots are cool. My favorite ocelot is Babu from Archer. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> no, Babu. Babu, oh. he's an ocelot that Archer befriends. Is that okay, I mean, Rags? Is that okay yeah. with you? <laughs> is what okay? That's what I thought. Ocelots um, are great. That's and also, uh, bobcats are pretty cool. I like bobcats. I like I Frank like Robert cats, Cat. Basically. Oh, cats are really, really cool. Name. <laughs> They're really cool. <laughs> <laughs> cats are cats are nifty critters like puss and boots because exactly. i think here in arkansas we have bobcats mountain lions and i think we have black panthers but yeah in australia we've just got domesticated cats <laughs> that's fucking that's up the wildlife <laughs> pretty much <laughs> yeah so it, it's really interesting when you see like those big cats in captivity and they've been raised around humans and they basically just turn into giant versions of house cats and they do all the same body yeah. language and that's, everything. That's 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 oh, also, interesting about cats is the similarities. Shout out to, to jaguars. Jaguars yeah. are pretty neat. Yeah, jaguars. Yeah, they're really leopards. cool. Okay, they're, so they're, like cool. they're like jungle cheetahs in a way, said, but they're more like it, big cats. And... You said it the right way. Why do so many Americans say jaguar? Jaguar? Do, do Americans say Jaguar? I thought yes. everybody said Jaguar. Nope, a lot. I've never heard, never heard, heard Jaguar it, in my life. And I've talked I've, about it oh, many yeah, years ago. Oh, yeah, sort of say it. People, people do oh say God. Jaguar here. Yes. It Don't might also be say because... Elimenumenum or something. <laughs> Elimenumenum. No, we say... <laughs> no, wait, well, that, one. that one doesn't count because, like, we spell them differently. They're, they're spelled ah, differently. Okay. So, um, uh, but as far as I know, people... Say jag jaguar, a lot Stop of time it, here. I hate that. And I think one of the reasons is because the car. Well, so I, I was going to say, um, think just so Fringy gets a refresh, sort of a pickle Rick when he's fighting the the <laughs> bounty hunter slash guy called, and he calls him Rick calls him jaguar. And I remember being, I I thought he actually was saying J A G dash wire, and I was like, that's an interesting oh, yeah, name. And then the subtitle was jaguar, and I was like. Okay, now I'm confused. <laughs> like, I think it, I, I guess my I just default to Jaguar. So yeah, yeah I I think that's to, that makes it, Jaguar it's a is the one that's confusing Jaguar. the hell out of me. Jaguar. Yeah. The Jaguar I don't get because if you look at the word J A G U A R, I believe. So I don't know how you get Jaguar out of that. It might just be that because most people see either speak it more than see it written, and because of the cars and the imports, maybe. But don't the cars People have do. jag? Don't they have it written like beneath? I will be right back. Um, by the way, you can continue if you need. Maybe to. I'm not sure. Okay. It's got the logo on it of the jaguar's head, but I don't know. I if, thought the uh, logo for jaguar was uh, a jaguar. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just the jaguar. Yeah, <laughs> like completely. Um, the Atari it's the, jaguar. It's got the word underneath up, the pouncing. Am I mixing that up with a uh, puma? Well, no, they're both they're, they're both up? very similar. The jaguar logo is a pouncing jaguar with the word jaguar underneath it. Yeah, I'm not saying it too much, and it doesn't sound like a real word. But, uh, yeah, puma's, I think, the same thing, in, in essence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me okay. use puma yeah. logo. You know what's another, because uh, someone's mentioned yeah, it's in similar. chat, it's a, it's a much more un, uh, like, lesser known cat, the sand cat that chills out in the Sahara. It's a tiny little cat that roams, roams around in the desert. Oh, Ooh. these guys, yeah. I hear they're like, they, they, yeah, they they're really neat, yeah. and they're like really, really, really small. Oh my god! Um, they're, I wanna, yeah, they're I tiny. Want I, I think they're the tiniest before. cats, aren't they? Aren't they the tiniest? Uh, uh, they are the smallest cat. They're the smallest cat. Yeah, they're really yeah. small. That's pretty neat. I remember, oh, and there's also the the Scottish Highland cat as well. I saw a video talking about them that they're like a really uh, they're like a very rare species of cat, but that they're partially becoming extinct because um, 
because of, of breeding with domesticated cats, it's like diluting the uh, Scottish uh, Highland cat. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah they look really neat. Yeah, they look neat. They're, they're, they're a bit more chongous than a domesticated house cat. They're, they're a bit bigger. I gotta say, it, they are cool, but there's there's nothing beats the 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 chill energy of the Scottish Highland cow. The real with the, oh, the hair yeah, over the eyes and everything. Right. There's yeah. just, they, just the, they look so fucking chill. They, it, it reminds me of that dog from Looney Tunes. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, with that, yeah. <laughs> hey Frank, you know they do the little check. I thought you were check saying out, yeah. Scottish Highland cat, and I had that image in my head. It was kind of funny. You heard of because uh, people are mentioning the palace cat. Have you guys heard of that one? You know the palace cat. Uh, no. Let me double check because I think I know what this is. I just, oh, I it's a very, palace, a palace very, palace. very yeah. expressive. Oh cat. yeah, they look oh, like they're yeah, frowning cool. all the time. Yeah, yeah they look so. like they're always <laughs> upset and perturbed. I know very little about cats, and looking up all these different types of cats is really illuminating. I never knew they existed. Yeah, we should there's, give us all these. There, there are yeah. cat, cats are <laughs> seriously like some of the most cool animals. Like cats are yeah, awesome. Cats oh, are great. Yeah. Cats are cool. Especially Ding. in their many configurations and varieties and all of the like the all of the niches that they kind of fill out with the same like general overarching skills and traits. But it kind of varies because you know some cats like tigers are really good at swimming. There are a lot of cats like leopards and, and jaguars that are really good at climbing trees. Obviously, lions with their like social structures is kind of interesting. And then you got the yeah, like it's and, and mountain lions and 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 lynxes, you know, roaming around well, in the snowy areas. How do you feel about uh, the Khajiit? Do you have any opinions on them in general? Wait, what's uh? Well, they have ways if you have coin. <laughs> exactly. All right, that, that's, I've got uh, some pretty. The, I think I right, got some strong from, opinions uh, on the Khajiit, right? but I can't say them on the stream. <laughs> they're, they're oh no! Skyrim, right, they're like the cat people. Yeah, 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 in yeah. Elder Scrolls. Right. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, but we were talking about like real like cats that exist <laughs> in the real what? world. <laughs> you know, we're talking about the Khajiit. They're like they're like I, the I charm, we, but shitty. I know we spun off from. Uh, I know we spun off from Puss in Boots here, but we were talking about because there was about tabby cats. You know what? Actually, you know what? So shout out to Jizargo, everyone. Just I want to give a big <laughs> shout out to Jizargo because Jizargo, for those of you who don't know, I think he scales. I, I don't think he for a lot of the companions that you can get in Skyrim have like a cap for how strong they can get. But I think Jizargo doesn't have a cap. He's one of the few followers who just keeps scaling as you, you know, level up, where some might stop at like 30 or 50. So shout out to Jizargo. What a you just wanted what to a say Jez a underrated of times, companion. To be he I, probably uh, did. I have no idea yeah. about this so this is from Skyrim, right? Or what's the what's the, the name of the Oh Jizz Kajit... is everywhere, not only in Skyrim. There's a Khajiit in, um, like, near Solitude, and he's an asshole. He gives you a quest to go and kill someone, and then he tries to kill you. I, I can't swear remember. What, what's his name? He's on, like, a boat. Someone in chat might know. Unless I've I misremembered this horribly. I, I can't remember which one you're talking about. Because uh, you're not, you're not if, talking about Maik the Liar, right? That's, that's a different guy. He's, I don't he's, he's think so. Guy. Yeah, it's, the, it's a different guy. Um, uh, apparently I'm thinking of an Argonian. Never mind, sorry. Oh, you're talking about De Deja? Deja? Something like that? Uh, uh, uh what what what's her name? Uh <laughs> No, it's he it's the guy sets you up to go something and his sister tries to kill you, right? Lights out. Ja Jari Ra is his name. Jari Ra. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Okay. Hey, yeah, Pernia, see, have I, you seen I... how obscenely huge Maine Coons can get? No. Yeah, they can get like ouch. Well, uh, they, they can get pretty, pretty big. I got a couple of examples in uh, the group chat. They, they're they're mm. like, they're very big. They're very big. <laughs> they get wow. very, and so very what, wait, so what's the deal with them? They're like just normal domesticated cats or are they yeah, like Yeah, they're some... just the biggest breed of uh, domesticated um, cats mm. that I don't think have any wild. Like they're not like Savannah cats, which are like half domestic, half serval. Um, so these are just like, they just get really, really big. Wow, <laughs> okay, just, geez. Yeah. Some of them don't buy yeah. like, you like that. Like, no, once, that is basic. Once I start to get really big, it's like, oh, all right, careful now. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. They're, but they're also like ultra docile. Like they're really, really chill. Ah, okay. Um, right. Really chill personalities. Uh, ragdolls are even more chill, but uh, they, they, they're, they're, they're called. Ra Do you know what ragdolls are, Fringy? Uh, they're pretty, pretty cool. They no, build, they're known that as ring bell. So they base they're the fluffiest cats you'll ever meet. They're pretty big as well, and they're called ragdolls because they go limp in your arms when you pick them up because uh, they're just that. Oh sociable. wow! All right, geez. 
<laughs> yeah, they're they're really like they're like um the Japanese spits of the cat world and the um karma. Um let's see, I'll, I'll get a photo. They're really cute. Um Oh yeah. Yeah, that's look at him. Look at him go. Oh yeah. <laughs> and they wait, grow for you... four years. What wait, what sorry? Are you so the so usually cats only grow for like the first 12, 16 months of their lives. Ragdolls grow for four years. They have a growth spurt of four oh, years. Oh, wow. Jeez. Man, oh, and also that's... for those in chat, the reason we can't return to the video is that Mahler is not here. Not true. Just... I said carry oh, on. <laughs> I, I was about to ask. <laughs> I think Mel was the only one who listened, but that's okay. Well, that's I assume okay. that when you said carry on, Wait, it was you were doing something. I thought you, were I thought busy you meant on carry thing. on without tangent about I cats. I said I gotta go, but carry on if needs be. Oh, I, I so you did you go. Carry on with the tangent about cats. Ca what? <laughs> I it was, was, was worthwhile. Was worthwhile. Look, I, Mahler, I, Mahler learned, is having Mahler's a having a moment. We should just carry and on. I'm, I'm smiling, <laughs> thinking about all these cool cats and their yeah, yeah. Yeah. world. Yeah. And um, it was actually really convenient because I came back at seemingly the settling of the cat conversation. So it'll work out. Did unless you had any opinions you wanted to share about the Khajiit, but yeah, I think this is a smaller Biden moment. I let the I said they could continue without me. No one will oh, never let no. you forget. Oh. All right. I mean, it's okay. So, I know you guys need me here, because otherwise, what's no, the point, No, we didn't right? want to carry on without you, because oh. we, you're also one of the scorekeepers. So you and I are the most important people on this stream, because we're yeah, keeping was, track of the score. Yeah, that was my thinking <laughs> as well. Yeah. You were keeping track of the score, so... I was going to just... Anyway. You know, ask Rags when I got back what I missed. But to be fair, he, I was listening the whole time. He I very about much Chisargo enjoyed and the Smilodons. Um, I, I loved <laughs> listening to the cat conversation. And shame on anyone in chat that's like, "I'm here to talk about movies, not cats." Like, you need to open well, your open your podcast. view. I think, I think what I would have to emphasize to you at this point is, with me here, you just have to be used to these kinds of tangents occasionally you say this up. like I'm you're really not sorry. you haven't been you've been yeah, here for ages a pro animal <laughs> podcast no, I, I we, are, we love our animal like kingdom to remind the people about part. this you know it's we like, do. Yeah, myself and rags are very pro animal too remember that big old As conversation we had about animal, um what was it what was it the <laughs> the wolf versus the bear i forget which which was it brown bear? tiger versus the bear it was oh. the grizzly bear yeah, versus the bear versus Siberian the tiger. Siberian tiger, which yeah. was an interesting conversation. Which, which we it, had so much gorilla. feedback on, all kinds of references and discussions. It was great. It was great. All from a super chat, yeah, no, just asking good, who would win <laughs> or what would win. <laughs> they, got their, they got their fucking money's worth out of that one. Boy, let me tell you. Bear wins. Um, but yeah, I think we're ready to carry on. Yeah, I let's think. carry right. on. Let's, let's see how, how we right. yeah, do. Tubby, tubby. Like, yeah. Well, he gets zero for this one, but Tubbies what about the are next the best one? Cats, and if you can get one that stabs your enemies, who could complain? <laughs> I knew his darkness. Why would you need one that stabs your enemies? No judgment, cats though. are like expert. High it was a joke, Fringy. Use... <laughs> yeah, why can't you stab your own enemies? You fucking wuss. God. They, they, can, stab their, they can stab their enemies with their retractable claws. Like, except, for, uh, <laughs> except for Kitty, because she got hers removed, oh. which makes me sad. Yeah, do not, not declaw nice. your cats, or I will hunt you down. That's like one that. of the the better parts of the first movie, because there's so little to remember yeah. of the first movie. But that's a part where they like do get a bit serious, and you're like, oh shit, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Puss, Puss in Boots one is like very just, eh, you know, it's like eh, and then this one, my god. <laughs> yeah. Get one that stabs your enemies. Who could complain? I knew his dark and mysterious eyes were enhanced. No judgment, though. We can't all be Nestor Carbonell. Eyeliner is such a beautiful thing. <laughs> um, I don't think that what? that's worth much, that he's saying, mm. oh, isn't it funny? Puss in Boots has, like, eyeliner. How much is that beautiful worth? Um, uh, I'm trying to see the point? eyes so I can, like... Carbonell. You can, you can see like it. You can see it. See there? You see? Well, yeah, that's oh, what I was trying to get the pause on. Yeah. Just yeah. a little bit. Um... Uh, is, is that enough to get you a point to point that out? No. no. If he'd said that he was wearing eyeliner because of the whole ego thing, then yeah. maybe, but he hasn't yeah. done that. Well, he, yeah. I assume he's not, right? I assume that he's trying to argue that the designers have put black around his eyes to emphasize the sadness. Isn't it running, though? Or am oh. I... Cause it, it's running because it's eyeliner. It's being washed out because he's crying. Yeah, yeah. And oh, if that is... That's, yeah, you're right, then. If that's... Yeah. He needs to definitely put... That's... that's like the point to make at that point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's uh, zero points. Oh, yeah, it's hey. a visual indication that this is him at essentially his lowest emotionally, but 
Yeah, the uh, first one. Instead, we got a picture of Nestor well, like, Carbonell. Like, uh, I don't know who that is. It's, it's, uh, you can make the observation of something to do with ego that he yeah. deliberately does this to maintain an image and an appearance and that that's being washed away, but he hasn't made those observations, so that's zero. Zero points! Unless uh, he's taking points. the route of he didn't, job easier. he didn't want to be judgmental because some people use it just for... <laughs> You know, like I <laughs> yeah, but sure. But then you miss the observation. Yeah, the there's film, just no so. observation at that point. So. I agree. Yeah, he missed point. hide behind makeup. This is the bit where he's like he's got rid of all of his clothes and he's not. Right. You know, he's yeah. he's naked and now he doesn't even get to keep the eyeliner. Like that comes off as well. The disguise is completely gone. Yeah, and he's mm -hmm. he hasn't mentioned that. You would be getting a yeah. point for that. Oh wow! Yay! But, yeah, you would be getting a point. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> such a beautiful thing. <laughs> right back to gleaning. Wow, really? you skipped over him digging the... Because that's skip... one of my favorite jokes in the film is when he but turns he gives... around while crying and starts kicking the dirt yeah. onto yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and then he tries to sing and he cries and he can't do it and, like, the eulogy yeah. of everything and, and... And the introduction of Mama Luna is hilarious with the yeah, health that's department. Right. over that, too. And instead it's like, look at this cat who's licking his balls. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. okay. I, I, I feel like we missed a lot. Has he but skipped yeah, the bit where he's peeing in the toilet? No, well, I, well, he's not there yet. Not yet, okay. yet. But yeah. this, um, I'm not sure how to feel about this in terms of, like, is this point worthy? It's not... Um, no, it's just a cat being it's not, a cat. You know the one where he pointed out the guy in the crowd? It's like, that's easy to miss. And it's, it's, um, it's like a very human reaction, which he points out that he had as well, where... The guy gets the Spanish splinter, and then you might go oh, in your own thumb, mm -hmm. sort of thing. But exactly. like this one yeah. is, is is more so. Look, he's so, he's so unimpressed. He goes back to cleaning. Like, look at that bird mm -hmm. back there. Oh, look, it flew away. Whoa! It's like two points. Yeah, that is. Uh, yeah, that more. That's what they do. You know, um, really... some people have said like, you better not award a zero point five. It's like if if there were a zero point five, we would still or something close to it. We would. We would try and push it Still to, does it get zero. to the, what I was going to say is, does it either get to, is it closer to the zero or the one? And I would say this is closer to yeah. one. Uh, sorry, closer to zero. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, I, was, I was a bit closer confused to zero. there for a second. It's like, what yeah, happened? Yeah, this is a zero. This isn't, yeah, this is, no. Especially with what we skipped over to get to this. Like, this is what you're commenting on? Ugh. Strange choices. Lame. Right back to gleaning. No. How do you know it's gleaning? Yes, he's back. Huh? What? Uh, I mean, it's it's he's funny, back? but you've got to you got to explain why if you're going to be getting a point for this. Yes, he's back. I'm assuming because it's a reference, right? Is it, uh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh wait, is that like the toy, the cat? No, I don't know what he means. I don't get it. He's talking about the cat doing the 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 thing, yeah. right? The stun, like, oh shit! Back from what? He was in the um, first movie. Shady yeah. Thing. Oh, um, okay. But I, yeah. I, what I'm, I'm just thinking about is like, is that, is that a point? Well, see, here's the thing. Like, I didn't know that. I was actually going to say, I feel like that proves it's not a point. I think it proves it's not a point because he didn't even, yeah. you'd, you'd have the clip, surely. That would do it. I needed least. you guys here to tell me what that was a reference to instead of saying, yes, he's back. That cat with his hand up is in the first Puss in Boots movie. Yes, yes. I think so. Well, oh, okay. I, I mean, I'm not sure it's the exact same cat, but I think so, yeah. <laughs> okay. What, that can't be a point then, because he hasn't. That's not what he said. Yeah. Well, well I didn't he said know he's that, back. And I had to have you guys tell he's me back, about it because I didn't know. No, yeah, well, no. That, I, I think that's yeah. fair. Yeah, he he needs to put a bit more effort. In. He has to go get fetch yeah. the visual. It's easy. Just go get it. Mm-hmm. Put in a tiny amount of work. I mean, I like the editing for the most part in these. I, I just, but like, it's in favor of you know, eh. a really amazing <laughs> script, huh? Anyway, yeah. stupid mittens. Charlie Kelly would like a word. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I think nothing. I mean, I the clip is the funny, reference. but that's not your point. Funny, so that's his clip, point. But it's it's, not, it's, yeah. yeah, it's Charlie right. gets a point. Yeah. You do not. That's right. You get nothing. <laughs> There's a reason that puss or pickles is the. Jeez, we're still at seven. He hasn't made a point since we left the town. <laughs> oh, he's geez. about to say something that is uh, a little bit strange. I'm just I reading ahead Ginger Dabby in there, and it's because no one would ever give up their orange cat. Oh, this is what this is what I don't understand. The whole idea of yeah, look at how positive we are. It's like you know what you're implying, right? <laughs> About other cats, how so, they're kind of lamer. And this less is kind of being cool. This is kind of low key you know? racist. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> what are you well, doing? Well, so Once, I'm in the department of uh, I'm, I'm in the I'm in the abyss of between zero and negative one right now, and I'm figuring things out. Okay, so first of all, I need to detect the tone of this point. I think there's a reason that puss or pickles is the only ginger tabby in there, and it's because no one would ever give up their orange cat. He sounds orange like close to serious. Better? 
You could easily well, rephrase what he said and put that in a Sins video. He, he could be saying, isn't it convenient that he's the only ginger cat here? Well, because of course, the actual reason is that by making him the only one here, it makes it so that he stands out. Yeah. You know? True, like yeah. His character design, if all of the other ones are variations of like black, grey, or y y compared to, to him note that he's not from with, here. With, Maybe he's yeah, like, it, uh, like exotic. He's not actually want, from this place. It's, it's he the, traveled you don't want these other designs to encroach upon Puss, because he's the main character. So you, but also, you know, try to make sure that he still stands out because he is kind of out of place. Well, and That's also how like uniform the they are there. This is where it all goes to die. Yeah. Like nobody exactly. has grand adventures here. As opposed to whatever this weird observation is about how like, oh yeah, all these other loser cats getting surrendered. Not like, uh, loser. You know, loser not yeah. Loser. Everything you could say about this, he opted instead to say, well, no one gives up their orange cat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah but they'll like, get rid of the okay. black ones. It's like, okay, Whoa. just calm the fuck down, wins. Zero Our points piece. here, all right? This is nothing. God. Nothing observation. I mean, I was, like I said, I was I was, uh, I was, in the abyss between zero and negative one. I'm thinking yeah, about I, this. What do you think I'm is kinda... nudging it to negative one here? This is just an insane observation that doesn't make any sense. I, I think it's meant to be a joke that because he said before, like, about tabby cats. I think that's all he's trying to do. But, like I said, if it's, you listen it's to him, it's going to be a running joke. Doesn't sound very jokey the way he delivers that compared to his other jokes. I presume this is a joke. Deadpan that, joke. Yeah. It's got to be. Yeah. It has to be. He can't think earnestly this, this be saying. All right. That this is bad because he's a people... feline supremacist. Be in there, and it's because no one would ever give up their orange cat. There's the obvious change of his beard, but the more subtle shifts, like it Puss does. Going I, I get what Mahler's feet... saying. His tone is clearly different. Mm. I just feel like I get a I different sense joke. when he's it's telling his jokes. It's a joke in text, but he says it in a way that is odd for the rest of his deliveries. Maybe when he recorded the VO, he forgot that it was written as a joke? No. Uh because -huh. he really <laughs> believes it? Could be. I don't think it could be. Yeah, it's an odd self-report on his um, <laughs> racial attitudes towards Felis Domesticus. <laughs> a lot of people in chat felt it deserved a negative one, um, but I think... The the we vibe is zero here. I, I don't know. Well, um, the thing is, I'm not fully correct. convinced of zero is negative one. I f I felt like I was like the closest to it. So all right, we can. All right, we we'll, we'll do zero points. But I'm watching you win. Yeah, we're yeah, watching. Oh you. my god, there's definitely a watching you. There's uh, it's that people. Which one? The one that's kind of glaring. And he's got the... yeah, yeah, it's like it's, you're not breaking the law by saying that word. But I don't yeah, have to like it. Yeah, that's people sus for sure. Yeah, that one. Just change the on thin ice. Yeah, you, you guys got him in chat. Actually, you could use him if you want. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, there the people sus. See Jack Attack put the sus on the Tism guy. <laughs> Oops, there goes gravity. But the more subtle shifts, like Puss going from walking on two feet to all fours, even his ears are down more often now. Puss yep, you got a point. Yeah, that's a point. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's a plus one. Mm -hmm. Good good lad. Yep, good job. Good Some Boots job. has always used the wanted posters as a way to introduce characters, but we're really up in our game now. The sky uh, you didn't say why, so oh, you don't have anything Oh, come that. on. Pointed, There's so much to praise about it. Missed, and then look at the bottom, out, the tabs. Yeah. There's nothing written. The There's no information on them. Bottom. None exactly. of them are taken. There's a tumbleweed. And of course, the fact that it's, it's got wanted with un written there and like text her. Yeah, like, which he's yeah, underlined, that's... but he's not like given anything for it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, also, you, you missed out on the joke. You the fact it, that that... You, no point. The fact that that was the best image that they could capture for this dog that they're trying to get yeah. rid of as well is yeah. really funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you get zero points. If if we were rating based on the offensiveness of this missed observation, it'd be a negative one. But he, um, we're not, so it's zero. The thing is, he comes so close because you know his brain is in the same dimension, but it's not... Area, yeah. But, mm -hmm. You know, it's like, they always do wanted he posters for introductions. Down. Look at how they've done this one. Isn't that really cool? And then you're like, oh, yeah, tell me about it. And then he's like, anyway... It's anyway, like every time he's up to bat, it's foul ball after foul ball. He's not <laughs> I mean, scoring any points. Like he's making contact, but he can't do anything with it. He can't convert that into something productive. And, and, and like I said, people point out, like, he's not like you guys. He's not going to go into like He has before. Sometimes he does. He's an adult making videos on YouTube. He has two and a half million subs. And plenty of time, too. And plenty you of better. time. Now. Yes. The scars on Perito's belly make me even sadder because he must have had a family at some point. Or maybe it's just the nice vet taking pity on him. Well, what do you mean he had a family? We mean? know the story. We know, we know his yeah. origin story. Yeah, and that's why I'm confused. What? Why does he say he must he, have had a family? Is, yeah. is he talking about it like he, in the present tense, you know, of like as, as, pretending like he doesn't know what's coming next? 
because we know the story. He's foreshadowed. He, he hasn't all done, the yeah, he hasn't stuff done that before. Yeah, he has foreshadowed before. That's true. Damn. <laughs> Uh, ha he has scored one point since we left town. And I'm confused on this one, too. If maybe it's just a nice vet taking pity on him, but it also makes him sad because he must have had a family. The vet performed back alley organ surgery on him? Or, like, he was he hurt there and he got What's stitched? the implication of that Stop, first sentence? Or... That, um, is he, like, you're scarred because you, I guess he didn't have a family? Well, that's sad. Wait, wait, well, Mal, just be clear. Mahler, don't you have... You don't you where don't you have one? Cause you not where where's yours? Cause mine's on my right side. Where where is your family scar stitch? Um, I didn't get one. Cause we all have one. Everyone who has a family has a, the, the 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 stitched massive scar. Mine's just on my right side. You can't mm -hmm. see it because of the fluff, but but I, I assume you have one. I'm Someone really said he's saying Perito couldn't have done the stitches himself. What does that have to do with whether or not you have a family? It's not medically qualified. Again, what does that have to do with whether or not he has a family? I don't understand the connection. And then, as people um, pointed out, it's just like, it's so weird to sort of phrase it this way when he confirmed has, had, had came from a family later. Um, <gasps> Cat! A family would take him to a vet? Okay, so the, the reason I guess I'm confused here is like, the you could infer all kinds of things from the fact that he has a scar. Yeah, what's well, that to do with the vet or any, like, what? what? He's phrased it in a really <laughs> silly, well, not silly, but a really, he hasn't I... explained it, because the, the, the reason why he has a scar is probably because at this point we know that he, he had a family because we saw the wanted poster or the unwanted poster, which means that I... he was probably abused by his family. Or otherwise, be living it rough, you know. Yes, yeah, yes, exactly. Yes, he's yeah. just he's living a, a rough life. He's got a scar, so yeah, because uh, he's really, I guess, I like... focusing on the stitches and saying it must have been a medical professional to do so, which isn't even necessarily true. Yeah, that's it what I mean look about like this. Like, professional work there. As far as I was concerned, the scar was just indicative that yeah, he's he's suffered life? at some points. Yeah, he's you know, which is obviously we get confirmation on that later. Yeah. Uh, so is this a zero? This is a sadder because he must. This no, it's a negative one. The scars yeah, on Burrito's belly one. make me even sadder because he must have had a family at some point, or maybe it's just the the nice vet taking pity on him. His I point is he had a family, and the point he's making here doesn't rely on that because the scar doesn't have anything to do with the family. And the scar is not the stitches. It's the scar. The scars on Prito's belly makes me even sadder because he must have had a family at some point. His his point like, is that the family what? would have taken him to get medical attention, and now they're gone. So that's sad. You know, they they were there, now they're not there. Or because the only other option would be that he got injured and some vet that he stumbled upon took pity on him. Which again, it's just so weird that these are the two conclusions he has about what that scar means. Even though what Fringy said was basically what I feel is exactly what the film's intending to say. Look, he's got a scar. He's had a rough life. Yeah. What it's else like, could it's there a, be? It's a it's a detail of like on him. I. And and that is not what's being said here. And instead, it's weird stuff about families and vets. Uh, especially weird when we he, we get the story later. So. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> I'm very uh, lost. I guess nothing, or is it? Uh, how's words? Yeah. You what? I just zero. <laughs> All right, we can, uh, we can do zero. We can do zero. Yep, zero. zero. Yeah, yeah. Do you do you not find he must have had a family at some point to be a particularly? Stupid line. I'm I am baffled by it. Is, it yeah, that's the thing. I, I am it's, very it's, it's like, that's quite baffled. stupid that it crosses into negative one territory. I don't like, even understand his point. Because be he must have had a family. This is I like the, it's it. the the inverse of insight. You know, like it, it, it's. It. I, I think I it goes in opposition one. to the references from the film. So I, I think it counts to minus sure. one. Uh, in which case, that would push it into negative. I, I, the reason why I'm going to zero is because I just fun. I do not understand what he's trying to say here. Yeah, I, I he, get the it. point. 
the point is pretty clear I think, about I think what we've, the film wants to means, and he goes in a different direction with it. He no, doesn't I, point I out what the film is trying to say. We, we've talked about all of the things. I'm, I'm so lost. No, I'm, on, I'm, I'm I'm almost, I would argue I'm solid on what he meant now, which is the, the scar with the stitches implies that he used to have a family that took him in whenever he had injuries. That family is no longer here now because he's here. That's sad. Where did that family go? And then he says, oh, well, or maybe a nice vet took pity on him, as in he's a lost dog wandering around and some vet did the surgery slash the medical attention. Mm. That's that's what he's saying. And of course, right. that, the reason why I'm like, what the, the fuck are you talking about is because later in the film we get information on the yeah, state yeah, of his no. family. And then secondly, yeah, that's not what that. that necessarily means. That he doesn't... At all. Yeah, so like, a, yeah, yeah, I think I, it's a minus I, one. I see. I I get you. I think I agree. With minus yeah. One. yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you got you. You I'm convinced me. It, yeah, had a family at some point, or maybe it's just the nice vet taking pity on him. Puss is so traumatized at this point, he sees the silhouette of death, even though it's actually Papa Bear. Yeah, easy, but yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you, he needs. Wait, it. So, this, so he skipped <laughs> over. He skipped over the Goldilocks and Three Bears introduction. Oh fuck! Oh, you're really right. Really, Winnie. Yeah, he really, over Winnie. Hmm. And I, he skipped over Mama Luna. He skipped over Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Um, mm -hmm. He 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 skipped, mostly over, skipped the, over one of the best scenes the in the whole film. He, mo he yeah. mostly skipped over Pareto's introduction. As True, well. he does. Yeah, you know, yeah. The whole thing that he's because of course that like there's a lot to be said from the fact that he's drafted a disguise to look like a cat just so that he can belong in this place and have some food and companionship. Well, and doing he um... that. No hable inglés so that follows up with I don't yeah. speak English either. Or yeah. Spanish either, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. English either. All, what the... Come on. Excuse me, my darling. <laughs> I love that we had an entire scene oh. of the three bears where right. they didn't talk right, and right, Raymond Stone's Cockney London accent that much more endearing. I mean, that's what they did, yes. It's a so. subversion, I guess that's a point? Yeah. I think he gets the yeah, point, he's establishing contrast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. There. Good job, Linus. Yeah, sure, you got a point. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta slow down, otherwise, because he's he's now at memes <laughs> prediction, pretty much. He's nine. Oh, no. Okay. Uh -huh. We need more negatives. Hat on a hat. Just notice we, we need more positives. <laughs> Well, how about that? We need a lot more positive in your point of view. No, Hannah that's not a zero. Yeah. Uh, hat <laughs> on a hat. Just noticing that Puss still has the scar from where death touched him with a blade. Uh, uh, yeah. Continuity observation zero. Uh, that's mm. uh, uh, zero maybe. I don't. It, I don't. It's it's right on his forehead and everything. I mean, it's like it was bleeding. We saw. It. I don't know how much credit you get. It's kind of like the gingerbread man's legs. Like at what point is you don't pointing out basic continuity? I think, um, is it... Maybe if you'd said, "Ain't it?" fucking cool how subtle it is and yet it, they made sure to keep it there because it's important and it you know it's going to be on his mind for the rest of the film as well that that moment is something that kind of adds to it more than just that's the scar mm -hmm. yep, he's, yeah, he I got that I'm, a few yeah. minutes ago yeah um, uh, yeah because someone just said like right. small easter eggs like i don't know if that's an easter egg, <laughs> that's that's... An easter egg. No, that would be it like, would be a mistake if it wasn't yeah. there that's like saying his beard is an easter egg you know it's just it's part of the character design at this point in the movie. Yeah, so I think zero for that. Yep, yeah, the, yeah. It, they've met the bar, which is to not contradict. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> not, <laughs> yeah. Not, not have a contradiction, no points so, yeah. for being right. It's got to be a zero. Where death touched him with a blade. You ain't well freaked for brains. What a nice way of saying such a mean thing. You got Nothing. Wow, mm -hmm. he skipped over so Wait, much. Where? Oh yeah, you're oh, right. Holy moly, yeah, we're already oh. okay. Wow, um, he really did. He's already down the pipe. Wait, hold on. Has this skipped the introduction to Jack? Uh no, not, not yet, quite. No. It's he not skipped not over basically. Yet. He skipped over uh Puss, you know, discovering the wishing star and then Re deciding to but on, um, back up again. On this point, had he said, "What a nice way of saying just a mean thing," which is very much indicative of the relationship the father has with the son. That a lot of the things he says could be interpreted as pretty derogatory, but he always tries to cushion it in a way that's less overtly yeah, offensive or something. Yeah. yeah. If he'd said that, I would give him a point. But this is just yeah, yeah, eh. this is nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get it later with uh, you know you do have dingleberries. <laughs> you, 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 do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. You do. <laughs> you, you do. Yeah. <laughs> you do. You do have them. Yeah. <laughs> you do have them. <laughs> Saying such a mean thing. You got this. Encouragement. 
I mean, if he made a comment right. about him, why did he say it like character like, something? Q2. But yeah, nah, it's zero, zero, zero. Nope, hate this. What? Wait, what? Why what? is that a thing? You just didn't like. You hate it. Like, just, it's, like, it's gross. Sort of thing? Yeah. How is it? Oh, yeah, he said gross. nope, hate this, and gave it a win, and then gave it a win. <laughs> I guess. Is he it's, saying that it's like, oh, it's, it's good, good that we hate it? Establishing that we hate it. Well, he didn't say any of that, so zero. <laughs> it's just yeah, nothing. No, exactly. yeah. You get a zero. Yeah. Uh -huh. Listen, chat, like, minus two, minus one. He's like, no. <laughs> he, it's nothing. He just said he didn't like it's it. Zero. Well, he hated it, but yeah. <laughs> Jack is so big his wanted poster doesn't fit in frame. Puss in. No, that's about. Uh, no, that's not even true. No, that that's a negative one. That's just a normal. That's what a normal yeah, one two poster would look like. Yeah, he, he does, does fit, fit in frame. frame. That's normal. So yeah, that's he fits. Actually negative. But the yeah. entire poster. I mean, you you can just you can just roll the camera a bit further back to fit the whole page. But that, I don't. Yeah, this is. I that's, think I this agree. Is this is a normal is, wanted incorrect. poster. This is yeah. normal. This is just an incorrect observation. This might be a negative one. Damn it. No yeah. one else. Yeah, none of the other yeah. wanted posters had the entire body of the individual in there. Just normal. You, 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 That's also you lost true, yeah. a point for the wanted poster. <laughs> How do you find these? <laughs> How did cool. you do that? Well, he, Come he on, says minus his one. wanted poster doesn't fit in frame. Not that he doesn't fit in his wanted poster. Just uh, yeah, but he said Jack is so big. Yeah. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense because that's suggesting oh, that the photo of him mean. is so big that it makes the poster big. Yeah, that doesn't yeah, make any oh, sense. That's, that's, oh, <laughs> it's just closer. Yeah, negative it's one point. That yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's negative one. Oh, it's got to uh, be. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Is in Bastet, the Egyptian goddess? Is that? What? You don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah. You could have pointed no. out that that's a cat and he's a cat, but you didn't even go that far. Okay. I, mean, I don't even know what to say about that comment. It's just a picture of It's just some word. Yeah, it's just a, a little meme. So nothing. Okay. Egyptian God goddess? Damn. Is that the Beauty and the Beast floating flower? Bay? Yes. You don't get. You don't, you get, don't get a point for pointing out all the, the way. <laughs> yeah, the way you get a point at the like the closest would probably be like. So this is another awesome bit of detail from the animators because the, and, and a bit of respect for you know outside influence and then showing it in its source and then showing it here. Instead, we just said Beauty of the Beast. Yep. Then, then you gave yourself a point, <laughs> so you get nothing. I feel like we're in for an influx of zeros yes. because this scene has so many references to different things. It'll like that. depend on his context. If he gives us something insightful about yeah. it, instead of just saying Beauty of the Beast, Aladdin. Oh, because of course, that, that, Beauty says at this point, filling the hole in his heart, you know, with all of these trinkets. It's like, okay, character observation. Yeah. There you go. You got a point. The True, baby, but like, yeah. flower? baby unicorn horns, half as heavy. Look, maybe he's not totally evil. They could be cabin in the woods unicorns. I don't know what that means. Cabin in the it's woods unicorns. The, there is a unicorn in the end of cabin. In the woods. Again, does that's mean, just a reference. So you yeah, know, just a reference. Yeah. But does he mean like that? They could have been. They could have belonged to creatures that are more evil. Is that what he means? Maybe. Maybe, like, maybe yeah. he's like, well, they. Yeah. Does that justify they, ripping well, their even... horns out? Yeah, which also doesn't work because they'd be babies. They'd and be babies, yeah. And... yeah. So it doesn't. Um, hmm. this yeah, is... yeah. You know where I'm pushing you, right? <laughs> yeah. That's a bit. That's a uh -huh. bit weird, actually. And also, yes, yeah, so saying that if, the death of unit... if it's an animal from Cabin in the Woods, it deserves to be killed and have its unit. It's horn. Yeah, I. Hmm. This is borderline on. It's okay to abuse them if they're from Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> <laughs> Evil babies. Look at the whole <laughs> six I... Ooh. Mm. I think I know what he's saying, but he I know what he's saying. It in such a stupid way. I need well, to that, get this. Okay, in case anyone thinks we didn't I fucking feel like it's negative one. In case anyone thinks we didn't get it, he's saying it's not so bad to harvest the horns of a unicorn that kills people compared to a unicorn that's all nice and stuff. But it's not the unicorn's fault in Cabin in the Woods. And it's weird that they're baby unicorn horns. So you surely are not okay with that, Cinnabawids. That's right, because it isn't okay to kill baby Hitler because he hasn't done anything <laughs> wrong yet. Nor is it okay to harvest baby Hitler's unicorn horn. But true. I do it all and, the time. And let's, let's just look at the optics of this joke here. This is the scene that is meant to emphasize just how extra evil he is and what is the caption. Look, maybe he's not totally evil. <laughs> <laughs> so it said unicorns had their chance. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, don't. Fuck. Yeah, I don't like this. It's like obviously it's a throwaway joke, but th that doesn't really change anything. I mean, throwaway jokes can still be wrong and or 
like creepy and weird and it I'm might be one for a vote. I could be argued either way. I'm stuck but right is, now. Well, this matches with his like. Remember, we got Peepo sus on him for the the. <laughs> no one throws away no one the <laughs> And I feel like this this extra animal comment. I think Wins has some demons he has to fight <laughs> regarding his treatment of animals, which I there personally am. Uh, I'm not too keen on. All right. What's what's the, the verdict? How are you feeling? Toxic positivity. I, I imagine that it's either it's either a negative one or another zero with a peepo sus, <laughs> which would make it a minus one because it's two people sus. <laughs> See, that's what it? the peepo sus is for. <laughs> peepo sus is <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> like you have anti inspiration. I think like I'm okay with, with that as a rule. I think I'm okay with that as a rule that if you get two peepo suses, <laughs> then it brings it yeah, to just two a peepo sus. Yeah, two peepo sus yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Two peepo sus mean a negative one. Um... <laughs> Motherfuckers trying to get to double the, digits, so we keep what, stopping him. <laughs> well, wait, what's the what's the peepo for? What, so, what's the inverse of the peepo sus? Uh, um, I don't know. Just is it regular peepo happy? Kind of like, like a peepo, peepo yay? salute or a peepo yay? <laughs> I feel like peepo yay is really strong. That's just like yeah, it's it's already it's there. Sus is technically peepo sus, but positive, as in like I'm not <laughs> sure you're you're doing the right thing, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is, is it going to be this? Do we have the, the, the coffee one? Okay. Pepe okay. <laughs> well, surely that's too positive as well. Well, yeah, yeah it's it's, it's a light positive, but like in, a sus is a light negative. Well, sus. But... <laughs> you can apply sus when. <laughs> Um, sorry, okay, chat. We're so laughing at our private chat filled with funny emojis. Okay? <laughs> just imagine that we're putting funny peepo faces while we try and figure out what yeah, I the love this guy. inverse of the peepo sus is. That one is great, yeah. <laughs> he's he's off to oh. do some business. He's off to work. He's off to work. <laughs> Everyone, no, we're going to take a break and look at funny peepo emojis now. Yeah, take a break. We're already three yeah, hours in like five minutes. Mola, that one's funnier if you put the gun next to it, though. All of them oh, are funnier with the gun. <laughs> Wait, no, what? Meme, now, now put the unicorn next to that. What if we do P-O-A? Oh, I gotta put the unicorn next to that. Oh, the A, that's... Yeah, that might people be a, a it's go. like A. Yeah, a. Let's yeah Again, a. How, I don't understand. How isn't that already big positive affirmation as opposed positive. to, like, 50-50? Mm. What's the, um... <laughs> okay, maybe it's not like an outright laugh, but like a peepo he <laughs> You know, like a little. Yeah, that's like okay. He, like he's even trying to stifle it just a little bit by putting his hands over his little mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I've always thought of that laugh as quite, quite encouraging. Why he's he's having a lot yeah. of fun. Uh, mm, yeah. Kind of mischievous. He, I feel that way too. Yeah. Yeah, he um, is having a bit of fun. <laughs> we. It doesn't have to. I, I like I said. It could just be. It could be just a positive sus. When oh, it when... could be okay. Peepo Pat, right? Like you know, you're doing your best, and you did something good. You know, so don't worry about it too much. You know, like yeah, you get maybe. a little bit of credit. Maybe Peepo Pat. But in this case, are we happy to make this into a negative one? <laughs> yes, <laughs> because two Peepo <laughs> sus is equal. Two Peepo sus equal a negative one. Yes, we're not using a, a decimal system, okay? We're using a peepo sus system. Yeah, it makes it's complete one point. sense. <laughs> I mean, we a, can use just a, a flat one, peepo glad. It's you a know, one just point like a little sus. light smile, like a, a light yeah. sort of smile. Yeah, you could use a peepo glad for just the peepo glad thing, seems fitting. You know? hmm, yeah, but in this case, yeah. <laughs> All right, so two peepo sus equal negative one. Two peepo glad equal a one. I don't think we're going to use the people glad much, honestly. Probably not, but it's there in case we need him. He's there in case we need him. I still don't understand He's why it wouldn't be sus like... both ways. Maybe, Is oh it... yeah, like sus. Oh yeah. Good. Because we don't want to confuse negative sus with positive sus. That's probably why we don't want to do the sus, yeah. Well, that, yeah, that's just memory at that point, I guess. Our mm. speciality. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, you could always, me and Rags taking notes, we could always note positive sus or negative sus. That's right. Oh, this is going to get too complicated. Let's do, I, I'm okay with people sus, people glad. I am okay with that as well. Very well. People do we, sus, people we have any you guys go right ahead. <laughs> His money and bopping along. Emperor Geppetto is pure evil. Uh, what? Is that a it... neat detail that he's pointed out that in the background he's counting money? It's almost that not even in the background. Example? Maybe yeah, this is exactly. maybe this is an example of people glad. <laughs> ah. Oh boy! Good, it's a good, see, it's a good thing we had him. Yeah. I'm glad we established the system. 
But if he said, if if Wins said Pinocchio is dancing in this scene, same thing, right? Yeah. Or, or are we it's saying it's that. worth a point because it's in the background, kind of? Yeah, but that's I, it's too it's prominent. It's too prominent. It too I think prominent. I'm inclined to agree it's too prominent. It's like you're supposed yeah. to notice that if you simply look. Horns. Geppetto counting his money and bopping along. Emperor Geppetto is pure evil. He, he's also saying he's pure evil. Like that's why yeah, that's I mean, there. Is the evil to count the money and bop to the fun song. Who's Emperor Geppetto? Is it's that a reference? He's like an yeah. emperor because he's an evil man trying to make money off of uh, Pinocchio doing his dance. But I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Is, does Geppetto show up at the beginning of Shrek? I can't remember. I can't remember actually. Um, he's in. Yeah, he's in. It's been years. I'm a little Shrek, wooden boy. Yeah, he's giving Pinocchio oh, yeah, to the guards there, or something. There. Yeah. Very yeah. beginning, yeah. He says, but, like, I've like, got a magic puppet. How much How much do you want for him or something? Yeah. I don't know if pure evil really, you know. Yeah, we, we need it's more. Kind of we don't dick. know the backstory. Yeah, maybe Pinocchio was a fucking dick. Like in the <laughs> Guillermo <laughs> Del Maybe he's an annoying Pinocchio. cunt. <laughs> Constantly he's talking. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. So, I didn't um, carve you a little wooden heart. Pointing out the detail these counting money is like neat and fine to me, but then following up with his pure evil is a bit like, wait, what? What? I mean, okay, yeah, let's, the evil one has been weird. Huh? Yeah. I almost think Especially... that it brings in a Peepo sus that, that counters it all and it's just zero. <laughs> I agree. This is both yeah, Peepo no, sus and Peepo glad at the same time, right, which cancels out right. to a zero. It's really an strange that he would call Gepe Emperor Geppetto pure evil when this flashback is is about Jack, who essentially is pure evil. Hmm. Mm. Oh, wow. Geraldic yeah, pure evil. Great Finally be the master of all magic. Simple premise, Jack doesn't have any magic, so he steals it all now. That's, you get nothing. Uh, I it's think not even, it's that's not that, it. It's not it's that more he has that. it, he wants to make sure no one else has it. He's the yeah. only yeah. one Yeah, because magic that. was precisely the thing that took attention away from him when he was younger. Yeah. Yep. Like you, this, that doesn't deserve a point. Yeah, you're he right. He doesn't really yeah. want it to want it. He yeah. wants it. To, yeah. Zero. Zero. He's zero a, point. It's a simple premise, and he managed to be reductive even with that. That is <laughs> actually kind of impressive. Lame. You can just barely see Kitty before she opens her eyes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Observation. Uh, uh, people glad. Like, you sure I'm not uh, wrong? I. I it's just, a something. I, I just. Yeah. You can see her. Yeah. Yeah, you can, but she's right there, so, yeah. you know. It would be weird if you yeah. didn't see her and she just, like, transmogrified out of thin yeah. air to I just, think, like, I, exist. I, I think people point. glad it's too much for this. Yeah, it's I basically... Well. All right, zero. It's just, it's, yeah. It's zero continuity. Point. Yeah. Yeah, it's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it fits zero underneath point. the Again, same if, umbrella. Again, if he had at least said something like the design takes efforts to bind her into the darkness, but that yeah. it's and very if much... If, if your eyes yeah, are like on it, you can viewer, see it before she's revealed. Exactly. Like, it rewards you paying attention to not necessarily what's the focal point of the scene. If you let your eyes wander and you're a very observant good boy, then you can sort of pick up on things before they happen. Before she but that's not what eyes. he said! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no! I misjudged the situation! Astute observations. Also, can't you don't. It's not. You, no, it's not astute. No, no, no that's, joke, right? that's just an observation. No, no point. Zero. No point for that one. I believe Jack did sisters with matching face snake tattoos so dirty. Zero again. They were. I. I can because that's he's what evil. he's like. Also, zero they were murderers. Also, they're murderers. Zero. Yeah, they are. They, they seem to be thrilled by. to tell Jack about all the murdering that yep. they had to do. So, so is that a zero with the peepo sauce? I, I know the scene's not over. It was just that Radom Phil Talk was like, this is going to be filled with all the references in the room. It's like, he probably won't even <laughs> do that. <laughs> yeah, I had too much faith in the guy that I thought was going to finish this evening with five fucking points. He didn't cool. even mention the Noble Phoenix. We'll see. The we'll see. Phoenix. Maybe he'll do it at the end. Your faith and Maybe. die. Shh. Of shame. Please mock me quietly. Banter is still top notch. Also, how dare she? That's a beautiful beard. I you don't get. You, you don't tell get us why it's top notch. It's good dialogue. Yeah, tell you us don't get why. The point for saying that. It's you dialogue's are... good. Point. Oh, great observations. <laughs> supposed to be dead. I got better. As easy as turning back from a newt. Uh, zero again. Oh zero. my God. Yeah, we're just wasting uh, all these opportunities, but zero again.
hate. Will he get to the the glorious ten points? We're, we're waiting. <laughs> Talking fairy tale. No clue why Jafar is on there, but this might be the most brutal thing I've ever seen in a kids movie. Jafar. What? Okay. First off, this is, okay. This is, now what? I called you racist about what? the animals. But I think you might also be a little racist with the people, too. Just because you see a brown man with a beard doesn't mean that he's Jafar. I, I don't know what to th I, This is a negative one. Arguably a negative two. I don't look anything like Jafar. Dude, I, well, negative my negative comes in at the, this is the most brutal thing I've ever seen in a kid's movie. It's like, we've already had yeah. more brutal than this in this film. Yeah, he's wrong about the movie, and he's a racist. Mm -hmm. Negative two. Mask with the phantasm. What the hell? <laughs> I think I'm. Th I'm thinking this is actually I'm negative th two. I'm thinking this he is the negative two. Le I, let it, I want to play it all again. I really want to listen to yeah. it. Uh, the delivery, okay. Talking fairy tale. No clue why Jafar is on there, but this might be the most brutal thing I've ever seen in a kids movie. Carpet is the that most innocent. Is even Jafar? I know! It doesn't make a soft brown man with a beard and he's like, God, Jafar, I am, uh, it has to be. I am happy to say negative two. I'm just shocked you didn't say it's three. Bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. My, I was not expecting this this evening. Jesus. <laughs> that means that we are back down to five points. Oh, yes. I have six, so I might be... Uh... Uh, 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 it's impossible to really say anything other than whoops I've got six you've got five so mm. chat whoops, right, we'll, we'll which we'll sounds more on. accurate <laughs> well we'll get to the end maybe we'll fuck back up together wait yeah do we want to lowball it because he's racist <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave the scores as they are. Okay, Maybe I just realized everyone's spamming five, and I'm like, that makes sense. I was like, wait, but they're a little inclined after what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just we'll just carry on. Yeah, we could we could just carry on. I stand by it, but a mustacheectomy is also brutal. And that's what happened. So zero. Yeah, yeah, that is yeah. happened. Yeah. And I've only had this happen with the zipper of my jacket, but oof. Also you have brutal. a beard in the zipper of your jacket? Oh, it wouldn't be a beard, it would be your pubes. You got your pubes caught in the zipper. Where do you wear underpants? Well, it's, you, could, you can have zippers on a hoodie rags. Yeah, but the you hair that's getting caught in the zipper. Oh, chest hair? Beard. Chest or beard? I mean, yeah. If I have a zipper on, if I have a hoodie zipper on, I can. Yeah, that's I could, fine. We can, we can move on. We don't yeah, have to dwell on just this. Zero it's just nothing again, yeah. Yeah, it is, is a nothing. zero. I mean, yeah, giving back to the people. No, the observation well, is not sorry. that. There's sorry. so much better things to say no, about that sorry. moment. Wow. Oh, we just zero. skipping all of this. Cool. Oh god, and you yeah, know what happens right after it? Is he gonna get that at least? Down. Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. No one says their own name like Puss. I'm not sure there's any name Antonio couldn't make sound badass. Also, watch Giddy's eye roll. Dang, his upper eyelid. No, zero. Oh, we're almost yeah, just to can't, praising can't Antonio Banderas' performance. Almost. We didn't feel like he quite almost got there. there. No, yeah, I don't think so. What was his wording? So, just to clarify, Puss can... giving back to the people is not anything. Um, it could have been, but it's not anything. No one says their own name like Puss. I'm not sure there's any name Antonio couldn't make sound badass. It's 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 like it's it's maybe people glad he's saying Antonio Banderas oh, is very good at voice acting. <laughs> yeah, but it's not a particularly in depth yeah. or detailed, you know. Yeah, he's saying why. Because if we rephrase what he said, he's saying Antonio Banderas is good, and therefore it's a win because he said his name sound and it sounded good. Like that's not anything. That's an observation. Hmm. If he was saying it was like, I think like, you're right. Uh, um, it would. It, he'd need to give us why Antonio's doing a good job. Yeah, it, it, here it's literally just he said the name and it sounded good, which isn't it true. Really he needs anything. to talk about the the acting, like the what he's doing. Why is it good? Yeah, yeah. Zero. Uh, <laughs> what else you got? You couldn't make sound badass. Also, watch Giddy's eye roll. Dang. Giddy's eye roll's gonna be a zero as well, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, it's we too can't. Obvious. It's too yeah, obvious. It's, I mean, she's a character that is existing and reacting to things around her. Mm -hmm. she, yeah, it's it's a bit that's too not, yeah, not, it's not it's subtle not or enough. interesting enough. Yeah, 
It's not like a secret, subtle expression that belies some kind of interior thought. Of course, thought if he was making attitude. good observations, he'd be like, oh, it's kind of interesting, because at the end of Puss in Boots, they were on good terms, so what's happened, you know? We're getting a whole bunch of that in this scene that she is. Oh not yeah, happy with I don't know that. Yeah, and I don't. I wouldn't know that. Any of that. Yeah, he's not mentioning any of that, so he's yeah, missing all I, the observations he could make for character. I haven't seen Puss in Boots one, so they I wouldn't know that. So he missed off of that. And that's in that film. So if he was oh. actually doing observations, yeah. he could go. Yeah, it's interesting that uh, our introduction to Kitty that she is really unhappy with Puss. I wonder what happened. I wonder what we're going to learn, you know, but we're getting a blast of that right now, but he hasn't even done that. So, like, if you this... point out the eye roll, what does that mean to anybody who doesn't, like, know, you know? You're not, you're not providing any insight. Well, Why is it someone said, she rolled her eyes? Someone said these are all just neat picks. They're not even that. They're, um... No, it's not that. It's not, it's not, it hasn't yeah, risen to that level. Yeah, yeah like, pick. It, you can't say, isn't it interesting that Luke spared his father here? Wow, it really shows how much he cares for him. It's like, that's not a neat pick. That's just the thing that obviously is happening. A neat pick would be like the, the bells chiming and the number of shot yeah. glasses on the table, that yeah. kind of thing. Her rolling yeah. her eyes is just, it, it, it's a thing. That's just her. Like, she has to be doing something. Just because your eyes aren't focused on her necessarily. Like, she, she's, she's alive and moving in this film. She's going to be doing, she has to be doing something. It, it's a good thing that this system is basically an opt-in scoring system where you, you aren't penalized for not doing things. You're only penalized if you choose to play the game and suck at it, you know? Mm. Or else Violent. this would be, oof, he'd be in a chasm of things missed and opportunities lost. Yeah. Covers his pupils at first, and since the whites of his eyes are red, he looks like the devil. The whites of his eyes are red. So they're red. So he's saying uh, he's, that the yeah. first time we spot him, you can't quite make out the pupils, and so it's just like red eyes, which makes him look like the devil, which is kind of, to me, missing the aspect of... It's a more... It's super intimidating to have him have fully red eyes. I don't know that we're supposed to be referencing the devil I here. Think, um, I think that the, the, the point that he needs to make is that this is this is, should be nudging you more and more towards understanding that he's a supernatural entity. Yeah. He's yeah. not just a bounty the hunter. Missed opportunity that sucks is that why did he show up here and now in this moment? It's like, it's because Puss in Boots up to this point has been lacking confidence. This is the first moment where and he's now, like, uh, I gave back to the people. I succeeded in the, in the heist. I'm winning. Yeah. I feel good, and then there's death. Puss is coming back. You know, Puss in Boots is back again. Uh-oh. Because, of course, he's pursuing him because he hates the legend. He hates He hates that. He hates the ego. He wants to punish him. So the, uh, so the coins in the that. eyes comes after this moment. He's just complimenting yeah, the fact yeah. that um, if I can roll it back a bit more, you can. it looks like he's got fully red eyes at one point. And since the whites of his eyes are... There. Same. Yeah, there yeah. it goes. So that's just because, yeah, the brow is... It's cool. Know, it it looks really intimidating. Cool. Yeah, I don't know that it's supposed to be referencing true. the devil, though. Like, he's supposed to look like the devil. As opposed... We had this with the... Death and the devil are two distinctly different characters. Yeah. yeah. Satan doesn't come yeah. for you at the end. Satan doesn't have the scythe. It, yeah, Satan is not death. ...are red. He looks like the devil. And I mean, Sharon's coins? I know it's a fairy tale, so the rules are loosey goosey, but I feel like Puss have should have figured hair. out that he's not just a bounty hunter. body's covered in hair. Why? Why would he I don't even necessarily uh, think that also, out yet? Also, look how far away Puss is at this point. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's just noticing that he's put the two and coins also, on there. Why would you even assume he's a fucking also, supernatural being? Also, Why would you? A could do this to fuck with you. Yeah. It must be Charon. <laughs> <laughs> it must be the Greeks I, were right. <laughs> I, you know what? And he's, he's, he's impugning Puss's character here. He's saying, like, why hasn't Puss figured out that he's deaf yet? So I think this might be sliding towards the negative territory. No. Kind of, because you wouldn't have assumed mm. this if that was you in the yeah. situation. You see what I mean? He's saying, I feel like Puss should have figured it out. That's a, That sounds like a character criticism to me. And you know the that Fringy's being objective here because this be is duck. this is killing Fringy's prediction of plus yeah, 40. This is <laughs> prediction, but oh, I think this no. is sliding towards a negative. This... It, and is it negative two because he's wrong on like it's a few should. layers there? Or? I, I'm not. Look, all right, we don't need to go that far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should have figured out that he's not. Also, well, let's inspect a little bit. I know it's a fairy tale, so the rules are loosey goosey. What is he saying? What does that mean? Yeah. So that people don't actually have to behave like reasonable people would, because right after that, it references what yeah, but, Puss should have. Figured you're right. Out. Like it sounds like he's saying. Puss not realizing this is okay, I guess, because it's a fairy tale and rule. You know what I mean? This is like that's yeah, even though he should a, have. That's a negative one. 
That's a definitely I agree. A it's a negative one. Yeah, I, I don't want to go as far as negative two. I agree. The no, you have to save points. that for racism. So, uh, <laughs> or, yeah, he is just a bit. Just for, for just so we're all on the same page. He was at a seven when we left the first town after initially meeting death. We're to a four now. I've yes. decided I'm going to adopt your four instead. I was at five, but I feel like uh, I think you did. You took yours down with more confidence than I did, so I'm going to adopt. I it. merely adopted the four. <laughs> you created. It. Um. Just a question: Are we are we thinking anything for the sh reference to Sharon's coins? If that is even explicitly what it's supposed to be, because I think he... it um, is because the whole point coins of for the, the coins ferryman. on the yeah yeah to pay Sharon the ferryman. Um, but the fact that since sorry wins hasn't elaborated means that we're just treating that part of this as a zero. Yes, that would be he's, zero. The way he says, and I mean Sharon's coins. He's like that's he doesn't even seem like he knows. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Is this not a continuation of his previous sentence, which is about the eyes making him look like the devil, and now he's referencing the fairy? No, this is a new point. It's well, a new it's ding. A new... It, it, he started yeah, it with a new, it's a new ding. It's a new ding. Yeah, remember, he's, he's pointing That's out great. Sharon, Sharon's are coins, coins are great. supposed to be the clue to Puss that this is obviously death. <laughs> it's like, ah, what? Okay. And then someone in chat said, I mean, it's death. weird that he showed up, but I don't think I'd assume he's dead. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I assume he put, I, What's I assume funny maybe he's being cheeky. Is What he's fucked up here is, is that a lot of people in the audience may have assumed he's death m m even earlier than this, but it's because we're watching a film. Like, that's that's very different. We know a story's being told. We understand the references. If you've picked up everything, you're like, oh, he's death. But, like, in the only... puss in, in the universe, this is a fucking bounty hunter who's after him. That's, that's as straightforward as it needs to get. Yeah, yeah this probably happens quite a lot. In... To this? Yeah, it's very Also, possible. as people are pointing out, Sharon isn't death, and it's just like, yeah, I mean... That's true. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. Negative one. He, yeah, he was yep. almost, he was climbing up to 10 at one point, but we have fallen. He almost got to double digits, and now, uh, I, I don't know, maybe it's a Lance Reddick reference. You were the chosen one. You are. You are you were the, <laughs> this is bad. Guys, I said he was going to make 25, and originally I thought I was lowballing it. Mm -hmm. I think, so, yeah, if he finishes this on, like, really low points, does that mean that you guys have got to find, like, an even better film than this to give him a second shot? And an even better <laughs> film than Puss in Boots, the last uh, one. Well, this, 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 this gonna, this probably gonna be, well, no, order. next one is mid, and then we'll, we'll reset, because I, I feel like everyone's gonna want more and more Cinema Wars episodes over time, but yeah. the, um, because I find it particularly ball. amusing to watch Cinema Wins praise a shit film. It's so funny. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> yeah. As we said, this was home turf. We are closing in on what well, like like we're not quite at halfway, but we're getting there. Yeah, and if he's getting... at four points now, then the average tells us he will end up at about ten. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, the fact that we're this uh, far away and our point system is you know negative two to positive two, and he's at a four, that means. He's really not actually that far away from zero. Oh yeah, he could he could be racist at any moment. He's one, oh yeah, he's one he's one minority away from a two. So we've got to we've got to find out what's going on here. That's no, don't do it. Don't you just say it's a reference? Good way to end up melancholy. Or, you know, have a Siamese dream. Melancholy. I don't get it. Why did you misspell melon? Um, am I missing a reference here? The, I, I, like I, I don't get a reference. I mean, he's referring like... to melancholy, the word for sad. Or, you know, have a Siamese dream? Tangerine dream? Uh, Siamese oh, it's a Megamind dream. reference? Si Smashing Pumpkins Mel reference. Melancholy? Yeah, Smashing Pumpkins, apparently, but I, it, it can't be a reference to that, surely. Smashing pump. Are those songs by them? Siamese Dream and Melancholy. Are those? Oh, okay. si yeah, Siamese Dream and Melancholy are both the names of albums by the Smashing Pumpkins. That's what it's referenced. There to. you go. He gets uh, well. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's no, meta. That's not about. Yeah, the movie. it's got that nothing to do with. I was gonna say, oh, okay. giving him a point for that. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah, that's why I was like, oh wait, yeah, that's right. That's just a, a reference he's doing. That's not actually. That's that's all him. Yeah, I mean, I guess clever, I suppose, but you get no points. Yeah, it would be the same no, as he told a good joke. We'd be like, that's nice. Zero. <laughs> Aw, those aren't horses. Now we know where Jack got his display horns. I don't... No. Those are... Um, well, no, because they were babies. They were already... Like, maybe, was, he... was... maybe they grew up to be... Well, yeah, uh, that's what I mean, though, but that's not... Time. 
That's, that's not um, anything really. It's like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, um. Be blinking yeah. your ears, but... <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think of what would we have said if he had said if you slow down you can actually notice the horses attached to the carriage or uh, the, the, the their horns have been the shaved off so they you know but like I, I don't know. Mm. Is that a people glad? <laughs> but, uh, but, hold on, the way that you I didn't notice it. that when I watched the film, so that that could be oh, a blink those are horses. sort of thing. Mm. No, why would you have unicorns and be like, oh, that's not a horse? Well, no, I mean, he, the fact that he says, now we know where Jack got his display, we already knew that. He already said they were from unicorns. Yeah, so yeah. The, 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 that's why my brain's having so much trouble with this. I was like, that's not the comment. We, 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 we were explicitly given origin of the horns. What he could say is all of the weapons of the baker's dozen are, like, aesthetically, like, cooking equipment. The cheese grater axe and might the, still, Rex. the rolling the whisk. pin mace. You yeah, might the whisk. still. You never know. He might. He might. But uh, what are we doing with the horses? Here? I, um, anything or people glad? Like he, I feel like if he had phrased it as like, "Oh, here's a blink and you miss it," pay off to the unicorn factor. I, I think I'd earlier. happily give him a point if he put it that way. But instead, he's he said something that's made me feel weird and like, what? <laughs> we already knew we got yeah. them from a place. It's like yeah. that's just not how you'd phrase that's true this. Because that's well, that's just flat out incorrect because we knew it before, and he's saying now we know. So that would actually make it incorrect because we knew before. So I'm not gonna. I, I feel like zero is this. Like... Zero is fine. Yeah. yeah. I, if if he had pointed it out, that is like a neat thing. I could go people glad, but yeah, because of the. Does now, he have no, any um, people glads wrong. in stock, by the way? No, right. the last one canceled out the people sets. Right, right. <laughs> we know where Jack got his display horns. I don't believe you. That's okay. As long as you believe in yourself. What? Is he deranged? Yep. Self confidence can come off like that sometimes. Bad dog. What? What? Huh? He's, he's self reference. No, that's not self confidence. He's telling her that she should be he, so. She should yeah, be shouldn't even. The, the, he's referencing himself. Reference? He's saying that, like, I'm relentlessly positive, and uh, some people would think of me as deranged because of that. He's not even. Oh, the movie's okay. irrelevant at that point. He's just. Oh. Um, so he's saying that he's Pareto. Or that he. That, I mean, you know, to be fair, that's his channel. I constantly talk positively about every film. Yeah, but. But the difference is that Pareto is like, it feels more earnest though. More authentic. Yeah. It's yeah. Like more Pareto considered as well. Pareto has it, yeah, insight. The, the, the more, the, or the more relevant part would be that Pareto wouldn't feel compelled to say that. No. You know? He'd just be like, ah, ha, ha. you know, that's something called that before. Anyway, moving on. And Pareto actually pushes back on some things. Like, he does. like when they try to name him at the he end, stands he up says, to the villain. Yeah, no. yeah, he does stand he, up to the does, villain. That's right, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, Cinema Wins doesn't stand up to the villain. He affirms no, the he praised existence. the Rise of Skywalker. He praises right. the yeah. <laughs> you are not like Pareto, which actually means that this. Fuck. Pareto would say, what? "What a stinky movie the Rise of Skywalker is." <laughs> yeah, yeah I didn't Wins like that say, one. Wow, isn't it great that there's <laughs> lightning here on this planet? Ding. Look, mm. look, look. Pareto didn't didn't um, praise unicorn mutilation, baby unicorn mutilation. Sorry, um, I'm just gonna point that out. Oh, um, yeah, this is what I mean. It's I like, feel... oh, yeah, self confidence. Is, is that what he meant? He's is talking he about himself. If... You think that's what he's doing here? If yeah, yeah, he's yeah I think he's referencing the channel. To Pareto, that's okay. Then as I don't long like as you it. You believe in yourself. What? Is he deranged? Yep. Self confidence can come off like that sometimes. Um, uh, that's, that, isn't, that, isn't that an insecure statement? You know I'm what not I mean? deranged. I'm self confident. Yeah, like. Uh, are you sure? You think that's what that actually is? Okay, yeah, alright. I mean, if you're completely deranged, then I guess you would be confident because you wouldn't have any perception outside of your own... Yeah, that's a that's a tangled statement. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, Listen, I'm happy that... to just leave a, zero, leave a zero, leave a zero and move on. Yeah. Yeah. We can just move <laughs> right along. I don't think he references himself. You're kind of doing the armchair psychologist. I mean, to be fair, everyone constantly does armchair psychologists. So I don't know. It's like, it doesn't really matter. Like, in terms of deciding someone's motivation. And then secondly, um, I don't really take any issue with him referencing himself alongside elements of Pareto. It makes sense because of the nature of his channel. But at the same time, it's just like you could do it with more elegance, I yeah. guess. Yeah, Pareto's better than you. Know your fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Bad dog, stupid dog. Hey you, you there, get out! 
Leave it. Drop I it. love this Big bit. Rat, small yeah. pig. As many names as Puss, they do have a lot in common. He can... How many Nothing. names does Puss have? No points. I, I don't know. Pickles, Puss. He has two. This... There's so much you could have done with this yes, fucking as well. Yes, <laughs> um, I'm so trying to remember, uh, was there a meme about like Puss having a bunch of names in the other films, or...? I have no idea. Uh, I can't remember. Like, is he trying to make a really tangential reference to multiple lives, or...? Oh, chat's know. right. Stabby Tabby. Stabby no, Tabby? that's what oh. he called him. That's what... Oh. That's, yeah, uh... that's, uh, that's what Wins called him. Oh, well, I'm pretty Stabby sure he Tabby's said in film, Stabby right? Tabby in the film. Oh. oh, okay, okay. Well, even that's so, a title, it's not three. a name. I don't remember that's him a... being... Oh, he has titles? I can't quite remember. Somebody... Yeah, El Macho Gato is another one. El Macho Gato, La Creatura, Leche Whisper. Yeah, so he's got a bunch of different names. Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. But I, mean, um, what's the, brings... but I mean, how much is that worth as an observation here? I think that, that, that like what would have gotten a point, I guess, Rito is like has... it's an inversion of of the reasoning behind having so many names, right? That he's celebrated as a legend, then Perito is listing mm. them off as all derogatory, like mm. you know. Yeah, he did. How he like that. in like they're in that, like they're supposed to be does inverses that rise of each other. To the, or... does that rise to a, a, a one. Well, he's not elaborating. Well, he didn't say on. it. He hasn't so. said anything. Yeah. Yeah. All of mm. that was us. That wasn't him. We had to figure out the jigsaw puzzle. He just <laughs> put the pieces on the table. And he's like, I don't know, fuck, dang, you figure it out. Zero. Fuck, be trusted. <laughs> the slow pull. Yeah. yeah, no, it's it's a good joke. Yeah. Um, zero. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, any more work. Correct, but you get no Yeah, he, he slowly tries to pull it. That's what happened. Yep, zero. Mm. Yeah, dog knows what's important in these transitions. Another zero. Yeah. Wow, yeah. you've skipped yeah. a tremendous amount. Holy shit. Oh my god, Wait. wow, yeah. Whoa. He's please? not wrong. Poor little guy got caught in a cuteness crossfire. Nothing uh, again. Nothing. Wow, Why did he go racing him? by zero just again. Whoa, yeah. man. Yeah. Whoa. I'm so confused why he skips certain bits and then pauses on like that just to say it was cute and then keep going. Not because only does he only on say YouTube it's cute after playing that he watched before he made the clip of that being the explicit point. You know what I mean? Like what? Yeah. You're not even yeah, pointing something point. out that wasn't said in the scene, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. For instance, he's not pointing out that this is a setup. Yeah, that's that true. He's gonna learn how to. to, to Maybe do he'll it. cover that when he gets to the payoff. Mm, that's yeah, wishful yeah. thinking, I know. Yeah, when Maybe I first, uh, just quickly, when I first watched the film, having now seen it three times, I didn't really like that scene. I thought it was almost a bit. It was like they were milking a joke for too long, but it also feeds into two totally different scenes later in the film. So, like, position-wise, it really, really works. And it's not and a it, waste of time at all. Yeah, and it enhances the competition element that is still present between Kitty and mm -hmm. us, yep. yeah. trying to outdo each other. Exactly. It might seem like random bad words smashed together. The map really reflects what each of them fears. For Kitty, yeah. it's being alone yeah. because she can't ever trust anyone. And for yeah. us, it's dead. It... Yeah, you got a point. I'm fine. You got a point. Like it's, it's honestly, not, he's, like he was nearing two there, but he gets one. Yeah. Why nearly two? Yeah. Because yeah, well, actually, so when I said he was nearing, you... is because he sounded like he was going to develop it further, but then he stopped. Yeah. I think nah, there's enough data okay. points in there to be like, she okay. fears this because of this, she fears this because of this, he fears this because of this, he fears this because of this. The lost souls are like his lost lives, and that's that's done. Yeah. And then mm. Pareto is like, you know, that, that. You, you, there was enough. Well, there yeah, because he didn't say anything about well. Pareto and the fact that his is reflective yep. of his serenity as yep. an, as a person that and and that all of the ways that he. Well, I mean, we're not up to the scene with the flowers, but the fact that navigating through it is about. Just chilling out and essentially going with the flow and, and being very uh, zen. Make us rich, but, rich yeah. enough to hibernate all the year round. Somehow having the bears from East London makes them more adorable. Just at a pub in Stratford being bears. Nope, you don't get a for mm -hmm. saying that they're British. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if, if you'd anything, at least funny. argued it. that, oh, now I'm really starting to think. It's like, did you even say those things just because like some video told you that that was the accent origin I... sort of thing? I know I have planted the seed. Because like Girl. you'd think you'd have more to say if he was able to recognize that, but, but mm. it's just like oh they're so they're so homely because it sounds like they're in a pub. You're like <laughs> <laughs> first off, I don't know if he's been he's been to a pub, but uh, it's it's not I don't know it's strange. Well, you get all kinds yeah, of crazy to, characters. Want, it's not exactly. A, if you ever go to a pub, 
you're probably going to find someone who's like, man, if I had a wish, I'd get the most purple jacket <laughs> you could get ever. <laughs> or maybe you would because he's horrifically drunk and intoxicated. So maybe at a maybe. pub, you would actually hear someone saying that. If I had a wish, I jacket pantaloons. All I smell hmm. is bullshit. Shush sensor. Just skips over the scene and talking about, he's talked like barely anything about Goldilocks and the three yeah. bears in terms of yes. character because that's the scene the plants the seed of like, hey, so what's what's actually the deal with this wish? What are you uh he just what are you looking for? He just did it again. He shows a clip of shushing here and then he says he's shushing here. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no Zero points. Zero. In it. <laughs> and then throw me in a river. <laughs> Petito's story makes Disney tragedy seem like a walk in the park and he literally Uh Bambi watched her mother die. It's mm -hmm. true. She got fucking killed. Simba watched. Uh, Simba watched his Mufasa father die. Die, and he yeah. believed that he was responsible. And he for believed it he too. was responsible. Exactly. Are we going to talk about and Quasimodo? We gonna talk, <laughs> like, <laughs> well, we're not saying it, we're not saying it ain't bad. We're just saying perspective. Cusco got betrayed by Isma, who had raised him. You know, got to throw that That's in. That's true, yeah, and they so. got turned true. into a llama. <laughs> a llama. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Supposed Bambi's to be. a boy. He's supposed to be dead. <laughs> I said she. Bambi is a boy. <laughs> is he going to give a point for this? Really can't be kept. Better down. not. Better not. Oh uh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, that's, the, okay. It almost scratches the, the point to, to highlight like, that, like, despite such horrors, he's able to maintain his. I think but you need more. I wish he, he needs to develop it more than that. I don't think and it's enough to just point out what's down. happening. Well, because, because this it's, ties it's, into the need, map. Well, the thing is, is that you need to point out because it's 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 not enough. What's what's helpful in terms of watching it is like, well, what's the deal with Pareto? Why is it that even though all of these bad things have happened, that he can't be kept down? It's because he's always looking for what's the positive angle in this situation. Because it's it's the one in here, right, where he's like, well, jokes on them because I got like a free, you know, I grew mm. into it, and so I got a free uh, jacket, like a free sweater out of that um, event. Wait, wait, wait. And that that's consistent throughout the film that he's always like, yeah, but I got this out of it. Yeah, and I have this, so why, what, what reason do I have to want for anything? It's not good enough Mr. to Glass just say up. like, yeah, his story's yeah. sad, but he's happy. That's not good enough. And because it's odd, I looked to the chat and there seemed to be some discourse here. Just to be clear, Bambi is male. Bambi's a guy, yes. Bambi is a, a male character. He's a, okay. You can see the horns on his head at the end. Someone was seemed to be very confused about that, but yes. Mm -hmm. I saw. I actually saw a meme the other day about Bambi, about the voice actor was able to like go to war and serve all these tours in the war and do all that without anyone figuring out that he was the voice of Bambi as a kid. And I was like, that would be an interesting story. You're like in a combat zone, you know, fighting for the country, and you got your guns and tanks, and someone's like, oh shit, were you the voice of Bambi? I want to make that a movie, and then there's like a a, a spirit Bambi Reloaded idea that follows. <laughs> right. well, maybe that's actually that's probably in poor taste to call it Bambi Reloaded. Um, never no. mind, I never said anything actually. <laughs> I, sorry. Damn it, Rex. Literally can't be kept down. Yeah, that tracks. Took the stone right with the sword in it. Aww. That's uh, a correct observation. Yeah. Oh, the observation, man. the obvious the, observation. The, the observation to develop he's... is that he has no respect or appreciation for any of the. It's 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 like well I got it so you know it's got the stone but whatever when the whole idea is that you need to be worthy to get it but he's not yeah. even interested in the notion of of worthiness he just, just he, wants he to can have get it so he wants else. it and he has it yeah yeah the fact that the light from the the sky appears and then stops yep. and then appears and then stops <laughs> how far he gets it out of the bag the fact that you can clearly tell that him having it he th he's more invested in how aren't I cool for having it. Like, yeah, exactly. Rather than earning it, because this tells he's not he's not developing the observations about Jack. He's not he's not developing it. Well, well even the fact that um, that the stone around the sword is still destructible because it does start to chip, uh, indicating that he wasn't even bothered enough to get a pickaxe and uh, get the rest of the stone off once he had extracted it. You know, there's a lot of there's mm -hmm. a lot of layers to this one image here, and he's just. He's, he's scratching it. He's scratching at it, much like yeah. uh, Jack scratched at the stone. With the sword in it. Aw, Mama Bear goes right for Goldie to cushion her fall. Yes, that's a point. Yeah, uh, there you go. Uh, you got that uh, one. There, there we go. go. You yeah, get it. A little clap. It's really oh, obvious, clap. but fuck, you need it. <clears throat> yeah. 
Shows, Zero's is he, keeping he, it like, in. Shows how much she cares for her. Oh, like there you daughter. go. He is making the observation. There you go, Rex. The weapon, see? Yeah, yeah there we did it. Max was a cheese grater, and now he's bones. Oh, I don't know. What? I don't know Excuse how the me? now he's bones plays know. into it. Now, I don't even. Now he's bones. And now he's bones. I don't. Well, you don't grate bones, do you? Does, does he believe that that's how he died? He had all of his flesh grated from his bones. Is what, it, yeah, is the, that what he's going for? I, I, was, gonna, I was just going to ask the simple question of what does a cheese grater have to do with becoming a skeleton? <laughs> yeah, I'm, so. I'm already ha I'm already on the fence by giving him like I mm. like I feel his like the observation about was a all cheese the weaponry. I, I feel like that counts as a point. That's, that's yeah, but but how does the now he's bones does that detract in any way? <laughs> Boneless cheese. Well, point? now he's bones has to be a zero, right? <laughs> Boneless cheese. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> bones. <laughs> Make sure to debone your I cheese. Debone my cheese before I grate it. <laughs> <laughs> Was he literally just pointing out that he's he became a skeleton? He didn't mean to connect it to the cheese grater part. Because the way, what if anyone's missing? Why we're confused? It sounds like it's it's a it's like his axe was a cheese grater, and now he's bones. You're like, what is the bones? Is that the cheese grater, and now he's bones. What is the connection here? Well, him is being because... bones is correct, but it it, it may. It... Do cheese, does You're cheese have wrong, calcium? Like bones? I was noticing the axe to cheese grater a point more. Like, well, uh, maybe I'm working a little harder for him, but the fact that it's a repurposed cheese grater into an axe, that's cool. That's representative of yeah, the, 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 the baker's, baker's dozen. dozen. Yeah. yeah, which I, I'm assuming is what he's trying to point out with his axe was a cheese grater, but maybe I'm doing a little well, bit too much work he for point him. Out, why wouldn't he point out all the other weapons? I don't know. He might they do all that. Have, subtler, they all have the same aesthetic, but he We're just We're about says, to see more of them, I But think. But this one is the most obvious. It's Did we come to a conclusion on the cheese grater point, and now he's bones? No, can I'm we get rid of it? It hurts my head. I'm at a, I'm at a zero <laughs> for it. As I said before, this yeah. is the most prominent and obvious in your face picture of the weapons when he should be like oh then all of the weapons have different themes you have the whisks and the the rolling pins the pizza cutters and all that sort of stuff so but he doesn't he didn't take the opportunity to opportunity to do that earlier no. when all the weapons were in frame and when he even said the baker's dozen you know because i don't think he's even referenced that they're called the baker's dozen no he hasn't and they're chef themed and the weapons are too but this is like, it's so obvious in your face. Like, I don't, you don't get a point for being like, oh, look at the thing that, that's in the center of the frame that we're supposed to notice. I don't think you get enough credit. You have to expand on it. Go through the other weapons. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on board with it being a zero. Yeah, I, I, can, I can live with that item. Frame. All right. It is a zero then. Let us <clears throat> continue. This was a cheese grater, and now he's bones. Quality of your character. I'm your conscience. Jiminy Stewart Cricket. It's like all the old good time movie moments rolled into one. Wow, is that all you zero. got? That's the zero. zero. Yeah, zero is nothing. Come yeah, on! Have voice reference pretty, to yeah. Pinocchio or... Like, he didn't even let the full line play. He, he started the clip, like, a quarter of the way through the line. It's like, uh, Maybe it's for whatever. copyright or something. Uh, Could be, yeah. Uh, <laughs> perhaps, yeah, maybe. Boss flamethrower, right? Never would have clocked John Mulaney as being able to play pure evil, but he's killing it and killing this you poor wouldn't. baker. Dark. Well, she's they're rolling and they're putting out the fire. I don't know. That's not good enough to just say he's doing a good job. Yeah. I think. Would, did we give points for like just the way it worked in MOM? I think you had to highlight like an actual performance thing, right? It couldn't just be the yeah, rather than just like ah, good, and then yeah, point. That's not good enough. There's no insight. I agree yeah, he's good, but you're not explaining to me why. You definitely yeah. gave points to um, uh, Sin. No, it was one of them. Wins. It would have been Wins when he was talking about Elizabeth Olsen's uh, performance in specific scenes for specific reasons. But that's mm -hmm. not what this is. Yeah, he's just saying he's good. Yep. Which I agree, but, you know, we not all know. Not good enough, damn it. Not good enough. Yeah. You gave it once for good performance. That's something I was thinking about. Did we give it as like a catch all? In retrospect, that feels like it's no different to like animation good or which mm. you have to go in deeper deeper than that. Um, you know, anyone who says that you can't go deeper when describing a performance is a complete cop out. So yeah. 
Well, it doesn't. It doesn't matter if we're it, or yeah, it doesn't matter if we're consistent between now and when you guys did MOM, as long as we're consistent between this and wins. Sorry, sins. We're refining the process. Uh, you are right. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I feel like we need more. Just being yeah, like, the, yeah, this the actor key... is doing a good job. You know, it's not enough. Most <laughs> actors do a good job. The key is just treating sins the same way when we get to him. That's the, that is yeah. going to be the yeah. Trust anyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a don't trust anyone lesson, and Perito just can't help but be in awe of how awesome the swipe was. That's amazing, my beautiful. No, no, it's not that just... he doesn't even notice it at first. He does. He's just so kind of. He's he's uh, a bit vacant, and he doesn't even notice that his his, his shirt that? has been taken off of him. Yeah, but because yeah. she's trying to make a point that oh, you shouldn't trust anyone because that's stupid. You shouldn't just trust anybody. And then it's like, Look at the see, I space. I stole your shit, and he's like. Huh? But instead of going like, oh, I get it. It's like, oh, that's really impressive. You can do that. You're great. Because he's a Frito, super, super positive yeah, lad. This point is just, it's just a description of what's happening. There's nothing deeper than a description of what's yeah, happening. Because you could at least say like his values as a character um, puts the skill above the fact that she's just stolen something from him. You, like you could at least say that, but it just... It's like he's in awe of how awesome the swipe was, even though she was trying to teach him not to trust anyone. I don't know. Um, especially with how overt, overt the scene is, like he couldn't couldn't maybe give us more than that. Mm. Awesome the swipe uh. was. That's amazing, my beautiful beard. It is. No. Nothing uh, again. Uh, there are so much nothing in this nothing burger. Holy crap! Yep, we're halfway. <laughs> oh, uh, this is not. This is bad. We're at. We're at six. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. He I, might. He might get a machine God, gun of points at the end. This is so he easy. Might. It should have I mean, been so you, easy. Come on. I'm still like. So I, at one point, this I was like, unprecedented. Thinking you'd get I'm too shocked. many, but. Now I'm like, okay, you need to speed up a little bit. I what said 15, I, okay? <laughs> I guessed 25, and I thought I was lowballing it. I was almost like, now, nah, I'm going to change mine to 35 in, or something like that. In order for him to win, it's going to be that CinemaSins <laughs> has to tremendously screw up. He does. So, no. uh, he does. last time when I said this, he was getting like 1 in 5 of his points were right. Now he's on 1 in 14. Oh my yes. goodness. He's made it 88 worked. points, and he's on 6. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, random. We trusted our guts, and we are being somewhat rewarded. Uh, it's that so self confidence, yes. <laughs> and yeah. It, so, what is that about? Self confidence is mistaken for dimension or uh, being deluded. Deranged. Deranged. Like yeah. This is. Uh, this is something oh like yeah. That. So someone had highlighted um, the by win count. It looks like they, they. Funny enough, they could have just gone and found out the actual answer to this, but. Their fear in chat is that there's going to be a bigger total win count for MOM than The Last Wish. Just by oh, time boy. and wins. Which is, oh, yeah, look at the. Uh, you might be right. That's really Jeez. sad. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. <sighs> oh. No, oh it plays. You, 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 you're not going to shoot a puppy, are you, Jack? Yeah, <laughs> in the face. Why? A plus delivery for just the most despicable line. Kind of have to admire a completely irredeemable baddie who just has no idea why bad things might be bad. I don't even know uh, that that's wait, the takeaway. No, wait, 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 no. wait. It's not that he doesn't know what's bad. He knows he, it's bad and he doesn't yeah, he give a shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh you fucking love doing it. He fumbled it at the finish. end. He fumbled it at the end. Up. He knows that he's you bad. He literally up. says later on, he when he says you're an irredeemable monster, he says, what took you so long? He yeah, knows yeah. that it's bad. He, he, he doesn't Jack care. Horner is a super, is really one dimensional. He's great, but he's like, <laughs> he's, he, you misread oh, Jack Horner. Jack Horner eluded you. Has no idea why bad. And he might said be it's bad. an A plus delivery, but he didn't tell us why. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a negative one. He he got it wrong. I think it's a negative one because I think he's actually like gotten him wrong, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, Jack yeah. Horner knows that. How do you get Jack he's... Horner wrong? He, th one of the things that people point to that they like about him is how straightforward he is as a villain. He's he's, he's entirely self interested. Uh, he yeah. he wants to be the best and have the most and win. Which, of course, is interesting as a balance because death is like what's well, like death, right? He has his his agenda and his motives and uh, and a specific reason for disliking puss. And Goldilocks, it's like, yeah, she is an antagonistic force in the in the film, but obviously her motivations are pretty straightforward as a as a goal that is is 
misguided, but not like evil or wrong. And then of course, when you have him in and it's just like, oh yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's just evil, right? It's a good balance. He's but the most yeah. evil character in the, the, he's the evilest. He's the, the evil movie. character. Yeah. He milks that one dimension for all it's worth. And thank God. Mm -hmm. Even look at his, thank even God. look at Jack's face at the end of this <laughs> clip that plays. Yeah. So... <laughs> there's that, but there's also, Unicorn look at the fucking design. It's glorious. Yeah. How, how the features <laughs> all being so small compared to the totality of the face. Yeah. And then you got good old Jiminy Cricket there. Things might be bad due to standing yeah. in a skull, <laughs> not the confetti. So wait, is that it? So we wait, go standing one, in right? a skull. Yeah, that is was he? negative one. So I, that's like, right. That's a one. I'll give him this. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Right. Moments after we were shocked, he was only at six. Yeah. He's at five <laughs> now. So. <laughs> but he's clawing his way back because yes, look, <laughs> he's standing in a skull. Look, that's, that's that is. I think I, I think I'd I give him that. Get a point. That's sufficiently. You get a point. Yeah, it's subtle enough. I, yeah, you might not. So. Yeah, you might just be like, "Oh, those are trees back there, and he's just on rocks." I, I, I'm all right, giving him a skull, yeah, a one for that. Skull. He saved Love himself from getting Jack Corner wrong. Only to turn around and see <laughs> death. So Wait, he said what? he, he, said he loves this as a zero. There's nothing there. He yeah, said that there's confetti and then there's death. I love it. Only to turn around yeah, and see that's death. nothing. Could you at least say the word contrast, please? So Maybe you should point out that the confetti is human people. I don't know. Wait, wait. Oh, what? Wait, right, what's he about? Let's, let's play. Now, let's oh, play by it. the way, let's, before we do it, just bear in mind, I'm the positive guy. Anyway, let's see what he says now. <laughs> <laughs> when you say you're the positive guy, you mean you want him to win someone? No, it's just he's, it's he's positive. He's relentlessly positive. It's not like he's going to say something that has massive negative implications. So many animated oh, no, movies don't have films. any villains these days. Like, who's the bad guy in Encanto? Exactly. And then this movie has two groups of what, baddies, wait, what and then you, the literal he just in no. They're not baddies. The Bully Lex and Three Bears aren't baddies. If he's using I mean, it well, to interchange yeah, with antagonistic, yeah. They're antagonists, but, Yeah, you know. they're three... This, in this but film, he said that's villains. Villain. Oh, they're definitely not villains, did, but like he did say villains, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh well, then he's well, just he, wrong. No, but he said so many animated films don't have villains these days, and then this movie has two groups of baddies and the literal incarnation of death. Yeah, he's grouping them as villains. They're I definitely not villains. I... Goldilocks is an antagonist. She's not a villain. Yes, villain I... implies a, a greater degree of malevolence than she has. To be honest with if you, someone... I think the um, I don't know if I'd call death a villain. I, uh, I don't well, call him a villain, I call know, him an antagonist. I'm happy to call Horner a villain. Yeah. He's definitely a villain. Horner, yeah, oh, Jack yeah. Horner is the only villain in this movie. The uh, yeah. the villain is death, is, uh, death is an antagonist, and so are Goldilocks and the Three Bears, until they become essentially deuteragonists. Um, yeah. But now, I in Kanto, what's, what's the deal? Um, does that have a villain? It's I haven't seen an antagonist, so I can't talk on it. I never saw it. So. But you are right yeah. that instead of talking about how great these are, he's decided to say other things are worse, which is interesting. Well, yeah. no, which, it's which, not again, just that. He's, allowed he's overly to do that. simplified them. He said, oh yeah, just a literal incarnation of death is a villain. Oh, the Goldilocks and Three Bears, it's a group of baddies, they're a villain. But, uh, when that Both of those are not true. And we need to see what that label was, because I'm guessing that after he recorded it, he's like, oh shit, whoops, better well, put something in there. What I'm highlighting is that he doesn't need to include criticism of Encanto. No, why else. does he need to shit on other films to to make the point? The point of the channel is to not do that. It's to be positive, but he does it. He does do it, and in weird ways that are like oddly negative. Well, yeah, though, yeah because like, was, we learned the wrong the lessons. Wilsons. Remember that? Yeah, because yeah, like Spider Verse yeah, and the robots. That's right. Wilson that's right. Yeah. What, what's yeah, the text? Yeah. What did he What did he flash on screen there? Movies don't have any villains these days. Like, who's the bad guy in Encanto? Exactly. And then, oh, fuck's sake! It's it's like <laughs> one fucking frame. Ah, uh, <laughs> goddamn it! Oh, Do you want to just fuck. annoy us? I mean, clearly it's I mean, Abula Alma, but she comes around to not being evil. What? What the? F well, wait, wait, wait! Oh, you wait, can't wait, even wait, use wait. it. So go also, back, it, go it, back it, and edit it, your it, video, you wait. fuck. Also, is she is she evil? Is that I have, character? Evil I wish I'd seen the fucking movie there? because. I'm, I, trying I, to, I so, oh, I'm trying to remember exactly how it goes, but I seem to remember the, also, that character being similar to the Mama Coco character in Coco, where she's definitely an antagonist, but then she's like, what she's doing makes complete sense, and she's doing it for the right reason. She's doing wrong things for the right reasons, and then she realizes why, so, I think, is how it goes. All he wanted to get across to us was the the antagonists are really well done in this and film. And he has managed and, and to now get us to a point where he's like mislabeled everything in the film and made a reference to something that even he's not even sure should have been referenced. Yeah, I think this is a negative too. This seems like this an is awful. Aspire. 
This he's is also, an astounding lady. This bad. might be a negative too. <laughs> he seems to be appealing to the fact that uh, the Last Wish is better than Encanto because it has three v villains, whereas Encanto doesn't have any. Which that doesn't, which again, which is, is, is so because, wrong. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, this is just so wrong. <laughs> that can't be your criteria. And even if it is your criteria, he's wrong. And you're tearing I'm... down other things. I thought it was good to love movies, not shit on them. Negative yeah, two. Yeah, he's lucky we max I'm out at negative two. Yeah, yeah, this is... <laughs> fuck me, I cannot believe this is unprecedented. All you needed to do... <laughs> a, a better observation would have been if he wanted to be negative as well in his thing. People say, you know, Spider-Man 3, three villains, oh yeah, it fucks it up. And here you have three antagonistic elements that are balanced incredibly well in less time as well. It's from shorter than Spider-Man 3. Yeah, and each of yeah. them serve it different be... purposes. They all reflect yeah. different elements of the protagonist. Like, it's it's so easy to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, if anything, it's even baby. more impressive in The Last Wish because you've actually got, like, five villains because you've also got Geppetto and you've oh, also got Jafar. That's right. <laughs> also, if I was to... <laughs> <laughs> Also, I'm not even sure as a statement, so many animated movies don't have villains these days. It's like, well... Is that true, my man? If you were to actually sit down and lay them out of like animated what films that some, come out recently, well, the bad uh, movies we've watched the, recently. The well, I already mentioned had, uh, villains. Well, you mentioned Spider Verse. The Spider Verse. Spider Verse. And definitely obviously, villains. Spider Verse has villains. That new Wish movie has the villain, right? Who? <laughs> it was who I hear was right all along. But uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, we got. I've already mentioned it, but Pinocchio. They had villains yeah, in that. Villain. Yeah, mm. more than we a had few, the actually. fucking Italian fascists yeah. in that one. That was pretty fucking bad. Um, and the whale <laughs> he means monster. Disney Pixar. Well, if he meant that, he should have said he Disney have and said Pixar that. films don't have villains, not animated films. He said animated movies. Yeah, yeah. but Toy I mean, oh, wait, it might not be over. Villain. His point. Toy Story Four. Yeah, Woody is the villain. Um, that is true. That <laughs> is true. So uh, let's see. So Fuck Buzz, that movie. Buzz, Buzz is the villain. Fuck that movie. Friend. <laughs> so Woody and Buzz are pretty bad. Uh, just, I just wanted to make sure that it ends here. He doesn't, he doesn't continue it, because I have a feeling he might. Exactly. And then this movie has two groups of baddies, and then the literal incarnation of death. Nice change of pace. Death. Oh, that's oh, it. That's okay. Okay. Nice yeah, negative two go. points. Negative two. Negative two. What insight yeah. to follow all that, by the way. Nice wow. change of pace. Yeah, okay. Oh, all right, man. I mean, like, <laughs> it's a nice change of pace villains, yeah. in a completely different way than the like, opposite. Like ugh. he said, he didn't even know about the Encanto thing if he was making the right point or not in the top right. What the fuck was that? Yeah. Yeah. And also, the yeah. idea that a character comes around to not being antagonistic doesn't mean that they are not an antagonist in a film. That's stupid. <laughs> you can have stories where the villain comes around and they're yes. still the antagonist of the story. What the? What kind of weird? This is what I mean. He is lucky. He's capped at negative two. There, there are like many degrees of wrong yeah, encompassed in this least, point. Yeah, there's at least. I mean, Darth Vader is not a villain. Yeah, because he comes around in the end. <laughs> a, bare bones would be three. Was if if there was no cap, this just the sentence if, if, alone if, on its face yeah. is three wrong <laughs> because of death and the three uh. bears and Goldilocks, and then animated movies don't have villains. So that's three right there. Just like on the face of it, he's saved by our our merciful negative two <laughs> max merciful system. Negative two cap. Oh, oh boy, Winnie, god! Winnie, wow! Winnie, incredible. Doing? In order to Winnie. have more than negative or positive two, we'd have to institute some kind of a like voting slash like maybe chat intervention. Negative two and a like... sus people. <laughs> Negative two and a sus people. Oh yeah, that's right. That's technically the lowest you could go. Yeah. Yeah. Negative two and a sus people. I think that's, I think that's. He's achieved yeah, the most that. negative I'm... score. Ever. Yes, in the sus people this... modifier. In this Literally unprecedented war. in the <laughs> <laughs> negative two and the... okay. And he yeah, was trying two to praise the film. He was trying <laughs> to steady crap on it. <laughs> so, All right, so this scale down is only... PS. So for reference, so, so this... it... go on. Sorry, go on. So, so, so this scale's only existed for like two efabs, and already he's broken the scale. I'm, I'm... <laughs> well done. Look, well done. A, a, a well, couple it? years from now, when oh, we've damn. done this like four or five more times, we're, the power creep is going to be insane on the points that we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. People will be making like negative threes, negative fives, and uh, the occasional oh, plus two, you know? So also, there's but, nothing you know sus what? about it, though, so how does that work? So, like, the sus at this point is just operating as a point five. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I currently have Peepo sus on. I have Treat it more as a PS sus points. of three. Like, like it's two, but the sus is there to be like, you know, you should really have a three, a negative three. I'm just saying. Yeah. You, know. <laughs> you are saved yeah, by has... a technicality of the rules that we made for you. <laughs> yeah, Winnie has strayed beyond the known limits of our science, so we have to apply our Peepo susses in order to fill in the void where more numbers may or may not exist. Oh, uh, Super Chat just came in first. Live EFAP since November, just graduated from Air Force Basic. So happy to be back and catch up on all the missed content. Oh, hey! It hasn't been, we remember it's, you it's, back. it's not <laughs> out yet, but we, we did a Super Chat catch-up recording. It's gonna be out where we got your Super Chat upon your leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so that's why it's like oh you're back <laughs> like, yeah we're i like it. it's just funny that you'll hear us reacting to your return before you'll hear us reacting <laughs> to you leaving <laughs> so welcome EFAP is a non-linear uh phenomenon it's non-linear storytelling is what it is and that's how it we're goes complex also, nice name by the way han shot last nice name oh that hey. it's, it's true and another hint if you're unsure who the wolf is, he's not present on the map. Also, Nostalgic Pines gives us a hint at what Goldilocks really wants. Uh, does it, does it, does it tell you who, who the wolf is by the fact that he doesn't turn up on the map? Does that tell you that he's dead? We can't see the whole map. We can't it's see the whole map. We well, also, but like, if, if you, beside genuinely speaking, first, if, right? if, if all you had was uh, no reference to the wolf at all, but you knew about this map and how it works, and I said, the wolf doesn't turn up on the map, so what does that tell you? Like maybe it's a yeah, some it's a head enchantment or something. Yeah, you know? I'd be like, yeah. is he an illusion a or spell or like mm. he's a part of the the sister? He's a part of this. Like he's not like a he character. Got, he's a yeah. Like he and, made and if someone said bleed and grabbed him, so he is corporeal. And if someone said like, no, no, he's death. I'd be like, what? <laughs> like, well, how does that tell you he's death? What do you mean? Yeah, so, like it tells you the same as with like the red eye thing earlier, where you couldn't quite see his pupils. It's suggesting to you that there's more to him than meets the eye, but that it does not tell you that he's death. No, it's. I mean, I, really, I, the main way that you figure out that he's death is because of a lot of meta stuff that he has. Kind of scythe weapons. He walks around with a black yeah. Uh, hood. Yeah, all of those, and then of course the things that he says, where he's like, "No one's escaped me yet." And just the fact that he is mysterious, that all of that as a viewer leads you to, oh, he's dead. But Puss, I mean, he, he lives in a fantasy world, you know? Like, there, there could be any number of reasons why this character is the way that he is. Yeah, that he could be the death. Tufacabra mm, or the sickles, El right? Lobo Muerto or something like that. Well, you, I thought I said the sickles. Uh, you yeah. said scythe. Um, oh, scythe oh, oh right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. It's sickles. Well, it, and, yeah. It, yeah, it's fair enough. I mean, they often serve. They they're serve similar the ish. Function. No, they're very yeah. similar. Similar ish. Uh, yeah. yeah. They're like, it's like it's like sickles true. are the scythe kids. Basically, yeah, yeah they're they're for the same thing. Um, do we? Is it worthy enough of an observation that death isn't on the map to get him a point, or does do we need more? Um, well, I think, no. Uh, I don't. I don't like this as an observation at all because I don't think that we always see all of the maps. We don't even know for sure. And then, of mm. course, just that he's his observation is that tells you who the wolf is. We're just like, no, it doesn't. I I do agree. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. This would I've even, you, I've even seen some people say out... like, no, it's death because it's ever present. It's like there's plenty of forces are ever present. You don't know that like that, that doesn't guarantee yeah. he's death. That's not how that works. As Fring's yeah, already gravity. pointed out, there are so many better references to figure out that he's death than this. Yeah. If all he had said was, uh, you you might notice that death is you know the wolf chasing puss is not on this map when everyone else is. And if that's all he said, I'd probably be be okay giving him a peepo glad. Yeah, but I think yeah. I think that saying that this should tell you what he is is, and that is the context of pointing out that he's not it present. Would... He's saying that tells you who he is. Yep, that makes this neutral. You do not get it, and plus, and a people glad would have canceled out the sus that he currently has. So that means he's on. <laughs> he's on. He's he's got four points, and he's on thin ice. So <laughs> also, that three's a Colin. Wait, is he? On, he's on four. What was the point he got recently? I thought he went down to three. He's, or did he not go down to he three? He got a minus um, two. On, yeah, so he was at six before. He's now at four sus. Okay. Pines oh, gives Lord. us a hint at what Goldilocks really wants. Voy a hacer a todos alfombras go back. I'd like to see that again. I think that was I will make every... What do you mean you think? Just fucking you, Google you it. You don't think. You checked. Just check it. And well, Wait, the, we, so, so on well, one hand... 
on one hand, he's going by his rudimentary familiarity with the language, which is like, why wouldn't you just check? And on the other, he did check, but then said, I think? He's, he's like, ah, oh, you know, I'm not sure, but I'm Unless he's just it into a meme. Yeah, he's just memeing. I, uh, I, truly hope I'm I want to go back a little bit. What are we supposed to do with that? Point. Hello? I guess it's just a joke. We're going to do like... nothing, but I think Rags is right. I think we might have missed something there. Yeah, I want to see yeah, the, the, really the transition. The Goldilocks transition. I think that was, I will make everyone bath mats, and I truly hope uh, I'm good. You got to go back further, right? Yeah, let me go back a little bit further. Should Voy a hacer a todos alfombras de baño. Oh, I, I didn't go back far was... <laughs> Let me right. go back. It, the thing is, when I like when you pause it, it shows the something such and such paused it over the fucking time code. So, all right, uh, pay attention to the icon representing Goldilocks and the three bears. Okay. Oh, I thought. And another hint: if you're unsure who the wolf is, he's not present on the map. Also, Nostalgic Pines gives us a hint at what Goldilocks really wants. Okay. That was what I was like saying. her icon. That was another think point. that was like her icon doesn't change. But her and everyone it... else's does? Is that what the thing is? No, it was he was saying that on the map it's it's like foreshadowing nostalgic pines because that's what she's it's telling you what her wish is yeah. before you know for sure which how much is is that is that enough to get him a point? Um I thought it was just that they were a group traveling together. Um, no, it's the location on the map, nostalgic pines, because that's what she's that's what she's after. I um I thought that that doesn't count because we already did that, like, earlier. He already pointed out that these, that. these mean there. Mm hmm Hmm, yeah. Hmm, zero, I guess, then. Oh, well. All right, I just if wanted it, to make Funnily sure. enough, he says, it gives us a hint, but if he'd actually gone into it with analysis, I probably would have given him the point. Like, reference what didn't. she's interested in. Or saved it for a moment and waited until we get there to better make the point. Hmm. Pines gives us a hint at what Goldilocks really wants. Voy a hacer a todos de baño. I think that was I will make everyone bath mats, and I truly hope I'm correct. You don't have to guess. You could just ask someone or... I don't know. Just like, like zero. someone with your reach. It's okay, whatever. Zero. Yeah, yeah that's zero, yeah. <laughs> All right, how's he gonna screw this one up? <laughs> All right. There go. are so many wins to be claimed here. Let's Ooh. see how he does. I'm not also, looking forward for a to this movie. They really nail what a panic attack can feel like. Your heart being all you can hear, the muffled sounds. If you've had one, you can imagine the tightness in your chest and that weird feeling like your skull might explode out through your ears. Just me. That's point. I'll yeah, give him a point like, for that. Sure. Yeah, sure. That, that, yeah. The, the main the main takeaway on, is yeah. that he's saying the animators and the they special sound effects they've captured a lot of the major points of what it feels like to have a panic attack. Yeah, is he going to no, mention sure. the payoff to the therapy dog? Looks like he might. Maybe. Aww. Rebecca Welton would still be my choice when I get a panic attack, but Pedito gets to fulfill his dream of being Yeah, you dog. got a point. All right, there you Hooray. go. Hooray. Did it. Hooray. Climbing Hooray. back up the ladder. Yeah. All right. He's, good. he's got a go. combo. He's got two in a row. Is that the first Damn. time? Two in a row. I think he's done it before. Oh, he had a incredible. good stretch of a couple. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, you blew it. it. I'm supposed to be a fearless hero. Really, Roy Kenting his feelings. Ted Lasso, you've seen it? Watch it. Been... Oh, oh, wow. Why God. are you? Why would you skip over this? It's fucking important. Like, for yeah. talking about his character. <laughs> yeah, this but, is her. Right. And also, this is her pretending, like, she hears, but she pretends not to hear it. Yes, because this means him. he skipped yeah. over his whole story about leaving her at the altar. He skipped yep. that. The She's here talking story, to him yeah. now. But it's just, it's super important to talk about because it's, it's still kind of where he's at. The notion of, like, well, I'm meant to be the legend. I'm meant to be the hero. I'm the legendary Puss in Boots, you know? That's like, that's just he's some... still... He's still, he's not quite there yet. He's still latching onto the idea that he needs to be that larger than life person, even though he recognizes that, because he's not, it's, it's the thing that he leads up to later, right? Was the legend big enough for anybody else? Was it only big enough for me? And then hard cut to him looking over, uh, leaving the church. Yep. Something I'm oh, noticing well. is that I had a thought about sins being that we're probably going to get a lot of, I think I even said this, we're going to get a lot of jokes because he can't fill the video with criticisms as easily as he would be able to MOM. What I'm finding is, and to be fair, that could still be true about sins, we haven't seen it yet, wins is stuffing the video with rad, like just shitty jokes, and he's actually yeah. using them on scenes that are rife with just like analysis yeah. options. Why are you wasting all of these on... I like Ted Lasso. Do you guys like Ted Lasso? I don't even know what that is. It's a show. show. Um, 
All right. That's <laughs> awesome. I think. Well, I'm assuming that the character in an episode at some point or several expresses how he feels overtly, and that's what Puss just did in one of the most important scenes in the whole film. And that's all we're going to say is that that's something that he did. Yep. Because we, we didn't even do it in an overt way. We here. did we it with a fucking reference. Uh, uh, yeah, it's that's uh, it stinks. Yeah. By the way, the payoff of him getting the Gatito blade that was skipped over too. I mean, it's just that's true. Yeah, a he lot of stuff has been skipped yeah. over. If we're talking opportunity costs, is if we weren't penali if we were penalizing for that, he would be. Well, have you noticed horrifically negative? A lot of the way this video is constructed only works if you've seen the film and understand it. Absolutely. Pretty much. Well, the whole if you, death. If they hadn't seen the film, then you wouldn't understand so much of this. Mm-hmm. This is not good. Worse pickles. But who told you the name? Ha! Commas, they matter. I guess not in spoken words, but still. Zero. 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 Made some Moving points. on. Also zero for that one too. Oh, zero. Just your view. Yeah. What you see. Also, commas right still matter when you're speaking. You. Yeah, it's the house, but actually, it's her family. She already has. And the nostalgic oh. pines can yeah, be yeah, right. the lotus eaters, but I see it less as a challenge and more of a reminder. Good. Yeah, that's a point. Yeah, that's a point. Yeah. 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 Where are you? Where are you at, Rags? I'm at seven. Yeah, same. Are we back in the, the random meme going... zone? Can he escape? We're just. Hand... That's not it's enough. Zero. Not enough. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's too guess, obvious but... to be. Yeah, get you credit. Meme, did you guess hmm? ten? I guess ten. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm not sure he's going to beat that at this rate. Oh, we'll see. He yeah. can get so he's in between our two. I, I got it so wrong. I'm hoping. Holy I'm sitting at fifteen. I'm hoping we can just just get there. Come on, buddy. Also, of course, Humpty would have checked out the fairy tale book. It was the required reading for the Golden Goose heist. That uh, you know counts what? as a point, I think. I that's think so, point. yeah. That that's requires a, a bit of, like, you know, it, looking I mean, into... it requires recalling a reference to a previous film, which feels like that's yeah. a, an amount of effort that's that's worth commending. Yeah, yeah. and it's a, yeah. that's a good Easter egg, so... Yes, and he created is. the visual to make it even clearer, yeah, the yeah. Wait, is... effort... Is there more to it than the fact that he's worked out that it says Humpty on the library card? He's saying that's... that it matches the events of the first film that Humpty would have uh, brought out this book. Yeah. Okay, I really don't remember the first film. Nobody does. But, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> the book. Yeah, it was the required reading for the Golden Goose. And yeah, it's Easter egg. It's funny. It's, 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 yeah, yeah. Ha, egg. Heist. And would you look at that? The first letter has a message. Yeah. Uh, yeah wow, see, it yeah, was so yeah, quick yeah, on the screen. You didn't give me a yeah. chance to. No, uh, it's it's just. But this is the one where it's like, hmm, yeah. <laughs> this one got around. He yeah, he, this he, one, he didn't find it himself. <laughs> but that's fine. He's pointed he, it out. Still, he it's cool. He gets the point. He gets the point. Yeah. yeah you get a point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing you got from another video is in yours, so you get to have it. Yes. I don't think there's anything wrong with finding stuff like that out from other videos. Yeah, no, it's it's yep. cool. It's just you know, it's a yeah. shame that they like essentially. But he's at nine points, so if we took well, those I wish, away from him, I wish he, he were be... more insightful. I wish he could provide something that someone else would then put into their video because of what he said. That would mm. be cool. Yeah, the elements of this being on a scoring system is such that if we removed those points that he got yeah. from probably another video, then he would be, he would not be doing well point wise. Also, so, yeah, the pointing out why? Why did he capitalize the E? I'm guessing because it, it was capitalized, capitalized in, the in the yeah yeah, in the yeah. On the book. So it's with oh. every snowball as the E. So yeah, that's still weird. I don't know why you would do that because it's not. But a... also, oh, he fucked it up. There should be a period. You already have it. Period. The last line well... begins with an ellipsis. Hmm. Ooh, ah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. You already have it. Period. Gets a complete sentence. You do. Hmm. Hmm. That's fun. I think he still gets the point. He still gets the yeah, point. Yeah, we can't, can't be stripping yeah, a point yeah. from him for missing a full stop. Yes, you can. <laughs> because <laughs> punctuation. But wait, no, 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 wait. This is a negative <laughs> one. Because just a second ago, he was talking about important fucking punctuation was. Does oh my that, God. But the commas. <laughs> So because he gets that, does he, what, he he gets a negative because he You highlight out. a it's comma, nice and then a s moments later, you you get think, the punctuation I, wrong. I don't think that... That's fine, that, that, it's fine, I'm just You're upset. saying, you're saying that upset. that, as the contradiction is so bad, that it not only erases the... No, the I'm fine, okay, okay, I was just negative. being, I was just... That's I was okay, just I understand, you're, you're a bit angry. Because cool. this is your language. 
Show it some goddamn respect. <laughs> okay, right. he, he might have just missed it. However, he might. Yeah. Well, you know what we do when you miss things? What? We burn them. We we. I mean, we we don't get points if you miss things. But oh, he he hasn't true. only missed something. He's also spotted a big thing. I mean, I that's say so he spotted it. I don't that's think fine. he no, spotted he, it, but he that's can, fine. Let's, listen, he can have the point, but I don't have to like it. All right. All right. True. All right. Okay. Yep. That's noted. So he did gets the point. So that means he goes up to holding nine. a grudge against someone for doing something you also did must be love. No. <laughs> you get no. You get nothing for that. In no, fact, I, no. you've just. There's so much more interesting things to talk about. Talking about. <laughs> But I, oh well. can I, I don't know. I, I'll throw this out there. Do you guys think that she was telling the truth there? Because um, my read on that is that she is not. Like, I, I don't buy that she's telling the truth there at all. I think there's there a couple are, of reads, but that would be a defensive uh, thing from her, right? Like, you didn't hurt me well, that so much. Why would, yeah. yeah. You know, why, otherwise, why would she be pissed off in the first place? Exactly. And like later in the film, she, she says, like, something along the lines of, oh, I can't believe I fell for it again when she catches yeah, him. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Which, Like, if she didn't fall for it the first time, then why would she say that? And if that's the case, that she is lying, then that's surely a minus one. Uh, oh, this one's... Possible that she didn't wanna... uh, it's partly it's subjective. It depends on what you guys think. I don't think that she would be in a position, because if her issue was trusting people by saying what the truth would be was that she was left there, it would give the implication that he hurt her and had the power to hurt her and made her feel like vulnerable in that sense. Which Could... is not something that she would want him to necessarily know. The problem with what I'm about to say is that it could justify his analysis, but it's not analysis he's got. So if one was to argue he doesn't show up, Puss, because there's no room in his life for anyone beyond him and the legend, and that's something that he comes to terms with by the end of the film, she doesn't show up because she doesn't believe that anyone is going to be trustworthy enough to, to put herself on the line to be vulnerable sort of thing. And both of them understand like and move on from the, those flaws by the end. Like, Could one not say that, yeah, they both didn't show up for both of their character flaws that they both work through in this movie? And that she's mad at him because she knows that he was he didn't turn up and she knows why but that also she didn't show up. I'm saying that that is what could be considered a fair and matches interpretation. The problem is, of course, that what he said here is is nothing. Yes. Yeah, this I can. Is... I can buy that as an option. Yeah, definitely. Because it's unclear, I think it's fair to say that he missed the mark. And he didn't. He, he wasn't even. He didn't look into it in an insightful way. To be like, well, this means that, you know, considering there was a priest and guest, this was planned beforehand, and that means that if she didn't show up there, the but that's the but then puss it. Like, like, he didn't go into anything like that. Man, There's just I don't, like nothing here. We never want to ban anybody for sharing any opinions, right? But someone just said, are we honestly psychoanalyzing a kid's movie? <laughs> Fucking cringe, no. man. Oh, are you psychoanalyzing oh, a YouTube stream? <laughs> just. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, so gross. Give kids' movies more respect. Jesus. Fucking hell. Um, but yeah, this is uh, probably a zero for me. What is anyone else thinking? I'm at yeah. a zero. I'm at a zero. I think. I'm at a I'm zero. At zero too. But yeah, I think I'd say zero. I, yeah, I think what I was saying is not necessarily the read you're supposed to have, but I think it's a read that you can have, so I'm happy to go zero and maybe hey, a people sus. If it's justified by the stuff in the movie, I think it's totally fair. The problem, yeah, the reason why I'm not yeah. giving him plus one or zero a ne negative one is because I think he's he's literally just a, the door of analysis of she said that and and he's done that. Hmm. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> Must be love. That's what I mean. Is there's nothing here, so it's just like yeah, that's zero. It must be love. With your one true love. Who? Yourself. I mean, she really knows him. Uh, yeah. oh, you. Uh, she really yeah, oh, 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 yeah, zero. Oh. yeah zero. Zero. heart shaped lens flare I guess these two were feeling it you know I never had much as a kid I'm sorry I, I, I didn't even hear that one I was just recovering the heart, the lens shaped. Flare heart shaped where yeah I'm not seeing it Maybe go back another couple seconds maybe it was a, a fleeting thing she really knows like him. love itself Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll give him a point, point for that. Yeah, 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 point. Point. yeah, yeah God, that's really oh, oh, he's reached double digits. He's reached 10. He's, he's reached me. Yeah. That's how many fingers I can wow. count on if I had them, but I don't. But I'm a dog. But sometimes I have them. I'm like Duchess and Aristocats. I have them when I need them.
Parents flare? I guess these two are feeling it. You know, I never had much as a kid. Just loving parents, stability in a mansion, <laughs> driving big goods enterprise for me to inherit. Useless crap like that. Man, Jack is really the perfect encapsulation of that word. I, I won't say that rhymes with schmishmillage, where he's never really known. Oh, <laughs> Didn't say say more interesting things. Much Ish hardship village? and takes everything he Privilege? has for granted, but still needs more and thinks uh, his life is unfair. I guess. Wait, no, that's not privilege. Having pri no, no, having privilege is independent from your attitude concerning your privilege. If like it's a, it's about being ungrateful, not about yeah. being privileged. There are plenty of people who have privilege who are incredibly grateful for that privilege that they were born into. Or, you know, they got lucky, and they do good things with it, or they keep their perspective. This isn't privilege at all. This is being ungrateful and selfish. I also find this interesting. He still needs more. That, that's definitely not what you should say. He doesn't need more. He wants more. He like, wants you could, more. You could say that he believes he needs more, but you've, well, you've said, what you've said is, but he still needs more. And then, and thinks his life is unfair. Um, Maybe there wasn't there wasn't room to put the word believes on the screen. He'd have to make it two slides. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> well, then, unfortunately for him, that changes what he said. <laughs> Never really knows what's hard uh, and takes everything he has for granted, but still needs more and thinks his life is unfair. And yeah, then <laughs> the shish millage, which doesn't. Why can't you just say privilege? What's really the fear? Yeah, is that a bad YouTube word? I won't say that rhymes with schmishmillage. Why wouldn't you say, like, shrivilage or something like that? Because it isn't... Because it isn't privilege, so that's wrong. That's just flat-out wrong. Um, I'm just... When, it should, it needs learned. should be swapped out for once, and thinks his life is unfair. I'm still stuck on that one, like... Thinks his life is unfair? I... Maybe thinks he like thinks it's unfair that the magic puppet stole away what attention was yeah his. like it, do you think that's unfair okay, so what i'm trying to figure out is whether or not i think this is one or zero well if it if he's describing it as privilege and it's not i'm hmm. at zero because he doesn't need it he just thinks he does as you said and this isn't what privilege is this is being selfish and taking things for granted which he says but he also says privilege, so... Yeah, which you can, as you pointed out, you can be that, like, at any level of opening, you know, material in any way, both, like, high and low. It's more so about he, he the character. Uh, I'm at zero. I think I'm at zero. Um, um, I'm at zero as well. Yeah. Yeah, zero. I'm leaning towards minus one, but I'll go with zero. Yeah, I know. It. I, 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 you know, there's a part of me that feels that as well. It's like a, yeah, it's just like a, it's a, a bad what, what makes this for... worse is we know that he missed, like, his character analysis of Jack Horner earlier as well, so he's a bit, he's a bit wonky on it, but I'm, I'm, uh, this is close enough that I'd be like, uh, well, we'll just go with let's, zero. Well, let's consider that he, uh, he does have a peepo sus in the bank right now. That is true. Let's that keep it true. there for now, I think. I was going to say, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not siding with this right. being CPU with Seth Eisen. I'm just going with zero. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Really, zero the win is for Ethical Bug shaking his head in disbelief. I've been waiting. I said... Uh, zero. Yeah, oh, so he's saying, he's saying that the win was for him, not for any of the things you he see, just said. Analysis-wise, the reason this is good is because the bug is good and Jack is bad. Consistent. Jack is yeah, saying was... things that are bad, and so the bug is, is like, not happy. Because yeah. he's good. I'm not happy either. Yeah, it's just the consistent bare characterization of, you know, the conscience cricket, essentially. You don't get a point for that. That's, no. It's like Kitty soft paws when she rolls her eyes in the cart. It's like, yeah, that's just, it's a character there. That's what they'd be doing, you know, just saying what they would be doing. Bug shaking his head in disbelief. I've been waiting for a shot with all the bakers to see if they really did a baker's dozen of bakers, and I think I've cracked it. There are eight in the bridge, one driving the carriage. Three get exploded by unicorn horns, and one is skeletonized. That's 13, a baker's dozen. You don't get a point for that. That's easy. Point. It's just a basic math. Is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't well, get a point. All, all he just said 13. is the baker's dozen. They are called, like, group of 12, and there are 12. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If they were the well, farmer's dozen, dozen thing, yeah. and they all had, like, hoes and... Yeah, you don't get shift to that. Yeah, Baker's Dozen's 13. Yeah, Ooh. there were 13 of them, and they well, so he, he wouldn't get a, He wouldn't get a point if he said they're all Baker's, because 
I mean, they are, but like, who is, that's not really anything. That's true. Yeah, bakers doesn't. They're they're actually bakers because they because you know, yeah, they are, zero zero. They are. Point. They have traits <laughs> people that are saying are negative thirteen. Their title. Also, yes. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, uh, I, when I said twelve, I meant thirteen. My bad. Or horrible perfection. God, you you don't get a point for that. You don't yeah. get a point. It, it is it is amazing. It's a great joke, but you didn't talk yeah. about it or why. I think yep. it's a better name than that, honestly. Oi. Team Friendship comes oh. with a better name. Zero. <laughs> Yeah, deep friendship. Yeah, it's great. All right, yeah, zero points. Moving on. You climbing us when we just crimed you? No, no crime back. Well, oh, we the skipped the whole. The oh, oh, we skipped wow. all the bear stuff. Why is he skipping all the bear stuff and Goldilocks stuff? Yeah. Don't so know. Goldilocks really and the bears have me crying every time I watch this movie, and he's just skipping all the the. the this is not fair. This is this is not right. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> in this film, there are loads uh, of there are loads of gags that they they pull out of the um. This is too hot. This is you know too yeah. cold. This yeah, is just yeah, like, yeah. And he has yeah. missed every. He's missed all of them. them. That's how they're introduced. Well, you know, the footprints. If he, he made, missed, if, he if he'd put it in the fucking script, he would have been like, "Do you know in the original <laughs> story?" <laughs> we'd be like, "Oh no!" <laughs> also, no murdering inside whatever you designate base. Nothing. Yep, zero. Moving on. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Oh, that is just right. such a fun oh, nod to the original is. fairy tale. Oh, oh, See, where exactly what I fucking is? said. It's literally uh, their uh, introduction. Uh, uh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm almost. Are you I, it makes me upset I know, now. I know. I know. It's, it's almost like it's poetry. So, it's so lame that it Why? feels like oh, a D and a negative. Me. Like it's it it does feel weird to but like such a fun nod to the fairy tale when we're like the movie is starting to get to the end and that's how they were introduced. Where were you? Like it's literally this you? footprint's too big, this footprint's too small, this footprint is just right. <laughs> and then here we are at this scene is like, oh yeah, it's like the fairy tale when fairy he says tale. it's just right. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Come on. Zero. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, Zero. Hey, the thing they did in the first movie. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> like, he, <laughs> we we have already established like it's it's almost worthwhile to give a point for something like that, but he made it literally the worst version of it. He's like that yeah. was in the first movie. <laughs> like, Ugh. I don't know the context of it because remember when we yeah, rewatched this, I was like, what's what's this about? He did, and he provided. Goldilocks has that expression. He provided almost what I would oh, call yeah. enough for the Humpty Dumpty reference. So I think this is a zero because he just said it's in the first movie. He just said it's from the movie. Yeah, I agree. I think I agree as well. Zero. Because point. wouldn't this wait wait if I now haven't seen the first movie, but wouldn't this be an indication that Puss and Kitty are now working as a team again, and that well, they're united. I mean, but he didn't do that. That's the problem. Yeah. Is it, he could exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what he should have said. Yeah, that's what he should have said. Yeah. 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 Zero, what he said. Yeah. And I haven't even point. seen the first fucking movie. I just surmised zero. that from this movie. Zero. Boo, um. Zero. Anyone else getting the sense that he doesn't give a shit? I uh, I do. I really do. Uh, what I'm what I'm curious about is in the ending because um. It's, uh, I think usually in his ending is when you get an indication of how he actually feels about the film. Yeah. Right, behind behind any of the sort of, ah, yeah, no, I'm positive and super positive and cool. Like, it's usually by the end, the way that he talks about it, that you start to be like, ah, so you actually didn't like this film, or, ah, uh, you're not that interested in this film, or, oh, you did like this film a lot. Yeah, I guess we'll see. But this does feel, like, obligatory. Like, it didn't even make that much of an impression on him, but it's the film that everybody's talking about, how much they loved it, so he had to make a video on it. Because he it's just, it he's, not, yeah. he's not providing any substantive, meaningful commentary on the, the film itself and what it's about and why it's meaningful and how this, well it's it's crafted. This movie is marinating in setups and payoffs and clever lines and references and thematic through points. It is full of it. And he is, like like I've been saying, the opportunity cost here is, like, the loss is insane. The fact that He's at ten. We're at, we're at ten. He's got, we got like what a third of the movie 113 left. One hundred and thirteen rags at the top right. I left there. That's uh, one point uh, per minute because we're. I mean, we're eleven minutes in, not ten. But I that's mean, you're like... basically yeah. Yeah, oh, it's just geez. giving me like big. Um, this is just a kids movie vibes in terms of how much he was digging in when he was watching. Like he was just kind of pointing out stuff without even thinking about it. Just because you're a film movie. guy on YouTube. I expect better end. of you. 
Damn yeah. it. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's kind of funny because the Cinema Sins formula runs into the same problem of the Cinema Sins formula mm -hmm. that because you need to make them on any film and you have a very restrictive, well, it's simultaneously restrictive and bound by no rules at all formula for wins and sins and also presumably targeting some amount of length for many reasons why you would want to try and hit a certain length on a YouTube video. Uh, but then it, it's just, yeah, like if you don't give a shit, then it starts to become really apparent. It's just crazy how many observations he's missed. It's insane. This was the easiest one. This film is amazing. It should have been effortless. I don't understand how he's missing <laughs> his operations. We would have given him our guesses. You saw the guesses that we all gave. I yeah, we would have given like a hundred points by balling. now had he just <laughs> talked about thoughts he had about character payoffs just even yeah. a little bit. But he's. I feel like the scripted version of him is less insightful than he probably would be if you were watching the film with him and he was just speaking out loud. Probably. Oh, God damn. No, that is a crap name. Hard disagree, yet somehow Olivia Coleman no, still gets the No, Olivia's lead. correct. Boring! Boring! Oh yeah, friendship, it's fun, I'm the positive guy. Oh, Boring. A... Well, Moving on. It's so funny Zero. when she says, oh, that's a crap name, Zero. but she's been so kind Zero. and everything throughout the yeah. whole movie, and she Zero. just cuts it down, like, it's a crap yeah, name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Zero. Moving on. Well, nothing but a low rent Cinderella. Oh. Low rent always seems like the worst insult, and I don't think I even really get it. I haven't got the the why rent is, is low. Why is that a win? A, why is that a why win? That a win? win? You don't why, get it. Why did you you don't, do this? The, the rent is low. It what? implies a lack of quality. <sighs> why is it hard to get? <laughs> I agree, Metal, I agree, metal so much. I, I agree oh. with those groans. What? Okay. It's cheap. What? That's the point. I, does, um, I, but like, I, is that bordering on negative one? Like, what? What is hard? That's just the words. I don't. I don't low understand rent. why cheap means cheap. Win. Low rent <laughs> really seems Win. like Win. the worst insult, which it 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 isn't. It's not even close. Well, and of course, I don't it's not the worst think insult. I even really. And I don't think I Win. even really Win get for the it. film. This makes the film better that I don't Friggy understand it. something. That's I true. Think you're right, He's Friggy. Countering... I didn't understand what was just said, Dan. Like, That's true, he gets fuck? a negative for that. Yeah, he's, I think he this gets is a negative. His format. He's no, going against yeah, no, he can't yeah, possibly yeah. have knocked himself back off of double digits. Single digits. And he's <laughs> no. still got that peepo uh, sus. Wow, he's out of meme wow, territory. Wow, wow. Good job. Good job. He's now in the in-between zone of uh, random meme. Man. I haven't By the got way. dingleberries. No, you do. You do. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love Unless that. you're the Charmin Bear, you, you all do. With such perfect delivery. Why? Charmin. Why is it Tell perfect? us zero why. points. Nope, zero. zero. Ray Winston delivering yeah, that, like, caring face. but honest, even in the face of him having a fight with his other, you know, daughter at the time. Like, he's not even picking a side or trying to denigrate him. He's just trying to be honest with it. Like, it's a problem that he needs to be mm -hmm. dealt with. But no, we just get perfect delivery. Like... Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, alright. What's he gonna say here for all the swearing? <laughs> he just wants friends to rip with. Oh. You don't get a why, 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 why? Zero. You're not even gonna point out, like, isn't it hilarious that this wholesome uh, uh, creature is just cussing those guys yeah, out like the, crazy? That yeah, he's like, so comfortable with it that it's not, he's, he would be like us. He's like a free speech advocate of, like, the context would matter. He's just having fun yeah. and he's trying oh, to get in on what this whole family are a part of. Because he like loves connecting with people. Bear, the Papa Bear's like, ha, I like the cut of his jib, you know? I like the cut of his jib. Yeah, they're all, yeah, they they're all kind of happy with him after it. this, rather than, like, angry yeah, or anything, because exactly. they're impressed. It's like, this guy is, like, funny. Well, yeah, because we should adopt him, that's what Mama Bear this, says. This yeah. isn't mean-spirited, it's like, haha, I'm part of the team, I get to make, I get yeah, to, the... you know, poke fun and make names, but it's all because we care. We care about each other, which, again, is building his character. That he is a relentlessly positive force. And that he's but so invested in like, connecting with people and being with them that he'll sort of absorb whatever their uh, their vibes are and try and reflect it back yep. on them. Exactly. Yeah. He swears Which then for is, justice. Is, is, so uh, swear it's is. super meaningful in terms of uh, observation because it's kind of like the problem that Goldilocks has, right? Well, I'm not a bear. So, like, how can we be a family not realizing that what binds them is their shared traits and, and care for each other? That it's, it's like it transcends, you know, those sorts of bounds. So really, there's a lot to compliment there for what seems like just a funny joke. Just like a straightforward funny gag. But oh, oh well. Oh, well, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, win. Ding. Yeah. What's that in oh, chat? This sad. part is cringe. The puppy isn't funny. You're wrong. He's You're hilarious. Totally wrong. <laughs> yeah, the puppy is fucking hilarious. You mm -hmm. get a peepo sus. <laughs> you get a peepo sus. Yeah. Everybody spam your peepos. 
Yeah, like just because you're not you're you're in the chat, that doesn't mean you're safe. <laughs> but it really is bonkers how often it takes an outsider to help us humans see how dope our situations are. I think we can give okay. him a point for that. Yeah, I'm okay. fine with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm alright with that. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, that's fair enough. It, I mean, it's, it's it's what happens in the scene pretty overtly, but it's it's slightly mm -hmm. enough, I think, into analysis of they don't. God. Well, certainly, uh, Goldie doesn't appreciate exactly the situation she is in okay. as much as. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, yeah, see how dope our situations are. Ooh, using their own speech patterns against them. Low blow, soft boss. Is that a callback to earlier in the film? I You've forget. You've been crimed because he said. Did, did so. the bears no. say we're gonna yeah. we're gonna crime you? No one crimes us or something. That's a yeah yeah. That's a line. Crimed. Yeah yeah the the yeah, um said, uh, yeah. you crimed us. So the kid bear. We he says that a lot. You. No yeah. crime backs. Okay. Uh, so does he get a point there? I'd say that's a point so. then. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that counts. Yeah, more of that. Yeah, sure. Climbing up to that juicy 15. We're almost there, Wins. <laughs> oh, wow. He needs to work off. on the juicy 12. Okay, let's... The one point out of time. <laughs> the juicy 12. He could be back to 9 before you know it, before he sees a minority and things go off the rails. No. So, you gotta... <laughs> you never know. Or a cat. That's true. Um... Mola, we keep losing live due to brief buffering at times. You need to check whatever it is with your PC. The thing is, I've got it on my phone, just to make sure, and it doesn't buffer on there, so if... I'm not buffering. Then when... that means you're buffering. Yeah. I've or, got or, or... the stream up as well, and I don't have any buffering. Oh, check your Dang. internet, bud. <laughs> yeah. Self report. Right. Get that dragged. You got low rent internet. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ding. Buzz. The stream is the game. It could always be worse. Be thankful there isn't a giant statue made of... Yep, reference. reference yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what's funny, okay, Springy? Yeah. I was, I was gonna for, say reference, and then I was like, oh, it looks like he's done something, and I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, yeah, he didn't point out the other references, like Wizard of Oz. He didn't do that. Well, um, he doesn't... We, we, remember, we, we've had several moments throughout this film where we were like, oh, he'll do this, and then it's like, oh, he didn't even do that. He just skipped over all of it. It's like, hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, uh... Not because that's a really good one. I'll get you my kitties and your little dog too. It's like, oh, that's good. That's a good reference. That's a good joke, you know. But no, nothing. I don't know, like a collection of highly flammable and pliable willow yep, branches, yep, yep, something yep, like yep, that. Zero. Yep. Fucking wussy mood. I refuse to support them as they are. There are so many wins he could get here. On him that is both unhealthy and unsustainable. But <laughs> wussy mood is, is an absolute scorcher or, of a burn. You shouldn't be a wuss. Being a wuss is bad. You mm. should not be a coward who is afraid. The problem is idiot. that he's missing, he's absent all of the additional context and explanation that he needs to provide, that he's in a hall of mirrors of his past lives yeah. that have like a warped perception of who he ought to be. So when he makes this observation, having skipped all that, yeah, and once again, it's assuming that you've seen the film and know what's happening here. Because if you hadn't, it's like, wait, why is Puss on his own, separated from Kitty? Like, how did Perito get captured at all? Um, and he's now in this in this room, being confronted yeah, by his it, past lives about how he's a loser. There's something to actually appreciate how they manage to move character positions around based on the um, the map changing, which is like a, yeah, a rule exactly. they set and they stick to throughout. And yeah, of course, right. yeah, like the reason, yeah. you wouldn't say, "Oh, how convenient that he gets a wall between him and her." It's like, "Oh, well, the, the this this cave thing, like it's supposed to trap him in the wall of mirrors. Like that that's like a element." And of course, yeah. mirrors, it, right? It's like specifically designed for him. The map designs yeah. it for the person. This is a heavy right. self-reflection, like, design. Like, mm -hmm. it seems to me that the map's whole point is to convince you you don't need the fucking wish before you get to the wish. Right. Yeah, pretty much. But he hasn't which even is, highlighted that yet. Why, I'm hoping he will. Which is why Perito doesn't have any any obstacles, because he has no interest in having a wish. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Better well. Wait, sorry, that was a zero, right? Yeah, just nothing. Yeah, yeah. Zero. zero, yeah. Even if mm. you knew that's a killer reveal. I'm even why? Tell me why, right? Wins. Yeah, why? <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> I don't think. Tell me why. Tell me why. Zero. You don't get a point for just saying, "Oh, it's good." Death straight up. Scariest cartoon villain of all time? Yes, I'm counting the Secret of Nim. Zero. I don't know. Radigan yeah. is. Zero. Yeah, Radigan is pretty up there. Well, when <laughs> right, when he loses his shit, yeah, yeah. he's, uh, clock he's tower pretty has... scary. And I mean, we got the Horned King, but you know. A I mean, star transition down to a house rock formation. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's a zero. Yeah, yeah. that's 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 what's on screen. What yeah, the zero I. was you know, zero. zero I. Yeah, Helen yeah. Keller could have seen that. A family. <laughs> that's what a proper family. Also, her storybook called her human family a proper family. We'll get what? That's what you're going for? What? Um. I'm not sure how she I feel would, about that. Because I, don't I know. think I will give that I'd give that a one I think because I'm, that's a I'm direct to reference to the because that's a direct reference to the storybook that she spent so much time reading. So that kind of wording mm. would be kind of ingrained in her for what she wanted. Could it also act as a slight explanation of why she would be skewed into referring to the humans as proper? Yeah. As right. opposed yeah. to coming directly mm, yeah. from yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So I'd I'll, say that's uh, the point. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's the point. You got it. There he got the juicy twelve. You did it. Mm -hmm. You got the big juicy dozen. Can you get to a but baker's dozen, it? though? <laughs> if he we'll finishes say. on 13, that would be so good. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty How good. unlucky. Someone said he called death a villain again. Shouldn't that be a minus one? I don't, I don't think I would no. take that much issue with anyone referring <laughs> yeah, to death as a villain. <laughs> he's being consistent with what he said before. And while I disagree, I, he's being consistent. And I would probably say... It's, like for interpretations and discussions on fucking narrative story and everything, I was like, yeah, I just feel like it's a little bit more complicated than death as a villain in this film. You might qualify with whatever sort of system you come up with, but the fact that you know you would argue his goal is to kill Puss in Boots or the representation that he believes him to be, and then by the end of the film is like, fuck's sake, that one's clearly gone. He's not here, so I'm leaving. But we'll meet again. It, it just seems like a sort of it doesn't. Yeah, it's. it's He's he's an antagonistic force. He's he's death. Death he's doesn't a... like you know it. The death is often personified as being kind of uncaring. Death can be personified as you know a, a, almost like a universal force of justice, a great equalizer. There's a lot of different ways to yeah. look at death, and it isn't normally. It's not unusual to portray him in in a, in a complex kind of way as well. But in order to call. Like, if you call death a villain in this, like, I don't agree, but I see it. You know, it's not a big deal. There's definitely discussion to be had there concerning the nature of death. But the bigger thing would be calling Goldilocks and the Three Bears villains. And if you want to do that, then Puss is also a villain. Because his reasons for getting the, you know, the wishing star as well are, if anything, more selfish than, you know, the Three Bears and, you know, even Goldilocks. So, um... And Kitty just wants someone she can trust, so she wouldn't be a villain. Um, but this is what I meant about categories, by the way. Death is a villain because he enjoys making Puss afraid, chasing and tormenting him, and on top of that, he is frustrated that he can't kill Puss in the end. I don't think that makes you a villain. Those categories that that depends about context. Like, um, yeah. you can have a hero character want to make someone feel afraid. That doesn't mm -hmm. make you a villain the second that you do that. It depends on what's happening and why. Um, yeah. the fact that he refuses like he's essentially out he quits the fight death at the end because he doesn't believe the Puss in Boots that he was after the one he wanted to humble is there anymore in a sense you could argue that death was the one person that Puss needed in his life like to, to get him yeah. through to the next part of his life and that in a yeah, way death kind of doctor... wanted that because he doesn't want to kill this Puss in Boots death yeah. and Burrito both they're, they're like the two cosmic forces of nature that prompt him to like change and develop by the end of the film yeah that's right because even when the doctor said you're down to your last life puss was like i don't give a shit i'm gonna keep going because i'm fucking amazing it's not yeah i'm puss in boots i'm untouchable i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing but happy happy to settle on antagonist i would even settle on baddie i'm like sure but villain yeah, i'm like Ooh, baddie, careful with yeah. villain like yeah villain is like you can't like it's the I, highest I think... category of you know, I think that. the problem is that people sometimes, when referring to it from a writing perspective, will just use antagonist and villain interchangeably when I would say that there is a difference between the two. Yeah, yeah like, absolutely. death in this is definitely not evil. So I, I mean, I, I don't know if you guys disagree with this, but I would say that that disqualifies him from being a villain. Because if he was I mean, evil, if... he would just go out of his way to just kill Puss by the end, when he, and he changes his mind because of why he was doing it in the first place. Because it's, yeah, I mean, someone said like this... he's 100% a villain because he wants to take the last life of Puss not naturally. It's like, so why doesn't he then? Because he doesn't believe that the Puss that has earned, like, not taking his life seriously is there anymore. Like, it's so much more complicated than he just wants to kill Puss. Yeah, he literally says that, you know, he, he's ad admonishing uh, he wants to Puss for not valuing any of his lives. Yeah. Yeah. 
but now that he has sort of like reclaimed, like he's created a new legend for himself, one that respects death but affirms life, it's like, yeah, now now it's like, well, this isn't what I wanted to destroy, so. Right, you know, so it's like, like he doesn't take his life because he enjoys the HUD. It's like, no, he's leaving at the end of no, this he's film. He's leaving him because he now, like, he puts his kind of gained his respect, essentially. It's just like, yeah, yeah, you're yeah and he's not wasting the life, life which is exactly. another reason why Death seems to be someone who would have good values in that he's like, I go, I'm more biased to go after people who don't appreciate the things they have, which again would tie in with Jack. Case, you know? Get you that wish. Now that's true love. The good. You the... don't get a point for that. <laughs> her, her caring about her daughter. You don't get a point. Bad and the Goldie. Thought I was being all clever, but it's literally the title track to the score here. You don't get a point for that either. Yeah, you looked at wrote... the soundtrack and saw the name <laughs> for the song. That's not the point. Yeah, yeah the be... best you could do would be like this: the the name of this track that they play is the good, the bad, and the Goldie. And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's neat. Also, really love the snorri cam on the map. You're the snorri cam. I mean, it's, 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 it's like, like, why is it good? What does it do? What, what, how does it make an audience feel? What does it tell you about the scene itself? Like, give me something. It's, it's accentuating how much everybody is chasing oh, after the map. Skipped, he skipped the confrontation between uh, Puss and Kitty. You know, when when she finds him here after he ran off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then talking about how like and she then was. Then she's like, "If you want it so much, here you go." Now. Exactly. Yeah. God damn so it. many things we can do here and talk about. Oh, he skipped so he... much. I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> he still got the. Uh, oh. He still got the aftermath. He still got, he yeah. still got the aftermath. Yeah. Nori came on the map. Oh boy! You're the smash. I'm the crab. Saving the smash. Baby. Zero. Zero. What, why, why would you? I, even even, I thought, because I'm apparently stupid, that he was going to be like, "This is a callback to how she said that." You did that. <laughs> but he yeah, didn't even no. do that. He just said, "Saving the smash." It's like, yeah. yeah. He also missed it when it happened the first time. Oh. Man. One life is enough. What a nerd. <laughs> What's the what? What? Zero. what even is Zero. what's even he's, the he's, joke? He's crying, see? He's crying because he, it. he, it's touching his soul. Pareto, he's so wise and oh, it's getting me in the feels. Zero Man, points. He's, um, he's starting to remind me of Marvel, just as a person. Mm. Like I uh <laughs> he's, he's sitting on the couch with you, you're watching the movie, and you're actually like feeling something, and then he's like <laughs> Oh, it's kinda <laughs> like a, this feels pretty good. <laughs> You're like, Zero. are you okay? Like, and he's like, yeah, I'm fine. You're like, are you? Do you want to talk about like how meaningful what Perito just said is? And he's like, <laughs> huh. any emotion good. that yeah. isn't humor, uh, humorous dismissal <laughs> is lame. This is uh, like that's the impression I get. It's like, why are you so averse to taking this seriously? Why do you have to fucking couch uh, everything in jokes? Why is the film YouTuber also, treating this with such dismissal? That's seeing where he's at, I can see all the stuff again. Why would you not talk about? Is he is he actually going to skip the whole lives flashing before your eyes again and how yeah, they he already did it. the inversion? Because he skipped past the imagery. I don't know what the fuck to expect anymore. Tim, so right right else right now. Yeah. Lives flashing before your eyes. Oh, there it is. No. Just one. Love that reveal of Kitty and Perito when he raises his head. It's also the second time it happened. Well, uh, that's that's okay. all. That's, Is that that's it? Your, Is that's that your it? commentary on he's this. Still, he still may have got himself a God. point, so though. So. He did get him a point. He did get a point. He did. He yeah, but still, I'm annoyed. I'm, I'm, I'm just lord. I'm floored that he decided <laughs> he got that was one. He Come on. <laughs> Oh, Wait, is so that is that a point? Is, is that a point? Are we sure? Just just saying that. He didn't that... explain why. He didn't explain why. It was just he's just saying yeah, what the visual is, right. but he's not explaining you know what, what yeah, it because he's, because, he's found... because Well, wait. He said the that. Why? Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm doing the work for him, aren't I? Because I was about to say, like, <laughs> well, he's, of course, he's talking about the life, the one life that matters is all of Pareto. Yeah. And uh, Kitty Soft pulls that the, the, they're the ones that reveal what he looks up. So that's what he's thinking about. That's what's represented in the animation. It's like, but it, but he didn't yeah, say any of that. That's what we Oh, wow. Really? Before your eyes. No. Just one. Love that reveal of Kitty and Perito when he raises his. Man, like, he didn't <laughs> say anything, did he? No. He didn't say anything. No. That's, that's the strongest zero. Like the most decisive zero that I think he's had <laughs> tonight. 
<laughs> it was like you, you're snatching nothing from the jaws of points. I don't know what to say, man. It's, like, you just, you it's so funny it. that like I, I understand exactly what the point is that I just jumped to him having made well, the point. You know, like, yeah, exactly. Because you're like, case, oh wait, that was my and, brain, not his. And in, in an attempt to provide some semblance of analysis of this great film in here, initially. The lives flashing before his eyes is just, you know, it's it's on its face the normal thing of, holy shit, like, this is my life playing out before me because I'm about to die. And it's all, there's there's elements of other people in the mix, but it, it, it's, it's just a recounting of a bunch of his different lives. Whereas in this case, he's finally starting to rebuild and reconstruct his worldview to where he's realizing that what he has is enough, that there's no need to be clinging to the notion of damn man now that i could die it means that like everything is worthless and there's nothing to be gained from my life because he's had all of these positive experiences on this adventure reconnecting with kitty getting to know Pareto and befriend him and realize that there's enough in his life right now and that he must fight for that life and so yeah when he looks up and then you see from behind him, oh, look, it's his friends, his friends, the people who he now realizes in part because of something that Pareto told him that like that is enough, that these are his friends and that it's worth fighting for this life because he has that, he has them. And But th 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 why is this in the actual, like, wh why isn't this in the critique? Well, <laughs> it, might be, it might come later, but again. Maybe. Th th why waste all of this time saying nothing or making crap jokes? Oh yeah, look, they're behind him. Point. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, 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 my <laughs> eyes also function. Well, Thanks, I was going to say, is it is it actually? To make sure I'm not hallucinating. Is it point worthy to note that he's managed to pick up that he moved his hat two different times in the film, which revealed two different sets of people behind? It's just like he doesn't deserve anything for that. No, <laughs> he he hasn't said why it's important. In our no. brains, because we like the film. Oh, yeah, I don't think to project that onto him. Well, That's not he's fair. gone mall. He's gone full death mall. Oh, fuck Zero. Him. Evaded. Yeah. Yeah. Evaded all over the screen, and then Puss ran around and fought him, and it was He pushed his fire. mall everywhere. Say hello to my gatito blade. Are you going to talk about why this is good? Oh, okay, look, there we go, gatito finally. Blade. And you gotta love that Kitty's gift saves him. Wow, yeah, but what? Okay, that, so yeah. no he's, fucking points dead. because he's what you're dead. supposed to point out is that when he fights directly with death, and death's got the upper hand when he gets his big old mall reference out, is that he loses. I, uh, as far as I remember, he loses the sword, the hat. He takes like a notch. I think he even takes a knock to the belt. Or basically, most of what represents the legend that is Puss in Boots gets taken from him in the fight. And what saves him in the last moment is the the blade that she provided as a friend in yep. this story that's oh, getting wrapped so hard. Friendship, friendship saved him. Working together, allowing yep. the legend to encompass more than just him, which is something that's been explicitly tackled as a point a few times in the film that he's ignored. Like he hasn't included that. So no, yeah, no point, no point, zero, no point, and I'm upset. I'm also upset. I'm why? Upset. Why so shallow? Well, I mean, Everything yeah, is shallow to the point. There's not even a puddle. It's just dry. Now, I'm starting to get pissed off because I am it's really just now a wet to get parking lot. It doesn't give a shit. Ooh, Death's red eyes reflected just like it was Puss's green eyes in the first fight. Okay, you got you know, the point. video. Who pointed that out? They get <laughs> you a point. Good job. <laughs> you can have Everything one. You for watch that. whatever video it is. You can have one. You can have it. Yeah. Whoever question. you are out hey, there, thank you. Work this time because he uses his foot instead of his blade. I know. Why would that? I don't why? even know that that's what we're supposed to take from that. Yeah, no, I, I don't think yeah. so. Why would why would his foot be better than his blade? <laughs> why? why, why he's, he's got boots. Oh yeah, puss in boots. Yeah, I wish to. Right. Maybe she had. Maybe he has a foot blade like Echo. What do, What do you wish here? I wish to check the movie a moment. You guys, you you guys go. I just want to Good. see if there's anything else in that scene drink. that implies why that was successful, other than it was his foot. So I mean, me it moment. was broadly the end of the fight that he had outplayed him at this point. Once he had used the uh, the the blade that Kitty gave him, that when using both of yeah. those together, he managed to disarm uh, death and like basically kick his ass. Yeah, yeah but I'm looking for if, I using... want to see if there's anything more specific. Well, the the thing is, is that obviously there's a much more there's a much more um, metaphorical aspect, which is that in accepting the inevitability of death, but striving to fight for life regardless, 
um, and to fight for it aggressively that because he has that attitude that that broadly enables him to win, you know? Like he's entering into the fight with a better frame of mind to actually defeat him, whereas in the first fight it was just terrified of what he was <clears> going to lose rather than, you know, fighting for what it was that he he, he wants. You know what I mean? Do you get what I mean? Well, yeah. so like yeah. I said, I'm looking for if there's anything more specific. There isn't. That that, that So that would be my reasoning as well. It's just that uh, at this point he's... Because the thing is, uh, Death doesn't even go to grab him. No, he doesn't. He's not even trying that. So the idea that his foot comes first, which is very grabbable, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. This, uh, this is just a matter of momentum is on Puss's side in this That's fight right now. That's right, yep. So yeah, I think I think Cinema Wins himself was just like, I don't know, he, he won this time because he went foot first. Which is just a weird yeah. thing to say. Oh, jeez. No, I can never defeat you, Lobo. There's something very self-confident about calling Death Wolf in the sentence where he admits he knows Death will ultimately win. Why? Tell me why, mm -hmm. yeah. Tell because me you why. Because you didn't, so you get no points. Zero. You're ruining this for me! <laughs> Death fails because it's not fun. Death is that friend that wants to it's it's ah uh, it's not you 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 know you don't understand no points. it's the, what he wants <laughs> what he oh, wants fuck. to destroy doesn't exist yeah. minus Puss is successfully pushes successfully re <laughs> like because of course we've talked about it before this film is a great example of a deconstruction then a reconstruction yeah we deconstruct what Puss in Boots believes himself that he needs to be the legend larger than life. And how that's flawed, like that's that's a flawed perception of himself, and then that's de uh, destroyed. And then over the course of the film, we reconstruct a more sound framework for approaching his life, which is that this life is enough. There's th this life offers uh, great rewards if I'm if I'm willing to essentially open myself up to the world, allow more people into the legend, the story that is my life. And that in realizing that, he finally has the means to not necessarily defeat death, because he can't, because I mean, he even he acknowledges that it's inevitable, but at least confronts yeah. death in a way where he can, you know, at least for now and for probably as long as possible, fight to preserve this life. When if he had maintained his old worldview, death, he would have lost. He would have died. But, uh, but I, it's not, I it's just not got back. What am I reading? Fun. What? We'll play it again Death for Rags one sec, let him... Please do, because the text is not in so confidence. No. <laughs> Death fails because it's not fun. Death is that friend that wants to start a band but never wants to help load the equipment. Negative one, you're missing the fucking point. You're lucky it's not a negative two. This is like, you're misunder... Like, you're not even getting the point of, essentially, the... Like, the, the central axis of um, Puss's character growth and development and the role that Death plays in that. It's like, I... For yeah, you for us to get here to the terminus point. of the arc, and for you to be like, yeah, death is just bails because it's not fun. Death is that friend that wants to start a band. Death. He's actually really lazy, and he just wants to piggyback off of other people's you know, work. Like, first off, that analogy sucks because it's not even accurate. But two, it makes me think that you... Maybe you should have watched a video that explained the movie for you. There's not just take shit. There's not enough of those fucking videos in the, the world, unfortunately. Um, there's got to be. No, you, you're right. This is at least a negative one. Yeah, I, I think. think there's no, I, I agree, and I was I was actually going to say because um, something of an interpretation I would have of death is that he takes no pleasure in killing people who appreciate life. It's not something yeah. that he wants. It's not something he likes. But he takes absolute pleasure in hunting down people who don't give a fuck about living. They take everything for granted. I imagine he would have enjoyed fucking killing the hell out of Jack Horner, but like that shit was taking care of itself, I suppose you could argue. And especially the whole, he, he brings it up, right? The cat's having nine lives thing. He's like, what the hell is that? Like that, yeah, that doesn't seem fair. I, it's ridiculous. I would say every time watching you fuck around, exactly. Because again, all of the deaths was a lot of the deaths were really stupid. Like, they were, yeah, they were just. Complete disregard and reckless abandon. Yeah. What I was going to say, like, elfish in it. Was like, the, uh, yes. When he says <laughs> death bails because it's not fun, that is a very crude, almost like maybe you could put that on the end of saying everything else we've just said. There's no fun in it for him to take out someone who is appreciating like or something like that. But that, but then he follows up with, he's the friend who wants to start a band but never wants to load the equipment. Yeah, like like if death is being an unreasonable douchebag. Yeah, or something. it's like you you, are, yeah. you you don't understand what happened. So I yeah, think, negative one. I saw, Death is taking advantage of the work other people do, is what he's saying. And that's just wrong. 
I I uh, I saw someone say negative one and a peepo sus, but that would make it negative two if we did that. We do uh, have a peepo right. sus. I think it's just negative one. That's right. <laughs> in my in my heart, it's negative forty four, but it's <laughs> negative one. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, so is it just the negative one, and he keeps the yeah. sus, or does the yeah, sus he's still got a negative sus. two? Yeah, negative one, but he's still got a sus there waiting. Yeah, all right. Oh, Watching. always waiting. Agreed. I picture the you know you know people peak or whatever it is. Uh, I picture the the right now you got you got peak, but then it's not that people; it's the sus people. Yeah, but he's yeah, peaking. Like, he's peaking from under yeah. the yeah. Also, that is a wonderful image. That is a really good meme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at peepos. This is why people tune in. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're nearly done. Meme is very it. happy to be looking at the peepos. That, yeah. Um, what boring shit are you going to say about this? I haven't talked about Death's Whistle at all, which really ties a bow on his whole vibe. It's, a reference it's that spaghetti to... western tone that also paints him as indifferent to your oh, suffering and you... severely frightening at the same time, even as he's walking away. Oh. No, I thought it was a reference to the harmonica in Once Upon a Time in the West. I think the I'm willing to give him a point for that. It feels yeah. like he had to engage his brain for a little bit. So mm. okay. I allow a point. Okay. So. Um. Though <sighs> indifferent. I don't mm. know. I don't. It's he's not, not indifferent. Well, no, it's a, he's, he's definitely not indifferent. He, he, yeah. It's, he, it's he weird to say indifferent because it's on both uh, both elements of like one. He enjoys the pain. Of someone he's hunting, yeah. if he wants to hunt them, what? and then he does not enjoy the suffering of a person if he's not even oh, interested in right. hunting them. You know what? I think I no fuck it. He doesn't get a point. He's not indifferent. He is very motivated. Yeah, that's what was. That's what made yep. me draw it back. I was like, Ugh. Uh, he's yep, not. That's he's wrong. Not, yeah, he's not indifferent. Zero. He's very invested. Dare I say? Well, for you, I mean, is zero the correct response? <laughs> Was it indifferent when he put the coins on his eyes and pointed at one? <laughs> <laughs> put it in a post well, medicine. Here, it might as well be cheeky. Mm, I think it might be a negative one. It's yeah. weird that he would say, like, yeah, this is like the spaghetti western tone, but he doesn't reference the harmonica from Once Upon a Time in the West that, um, what's his name? The Death Wish guy plays, um, Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson, yeah, his character uses. So I. I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like if you're going to dig into your own brain about it, he's like, wrong. I always got a sense as well that it's representative of how he's a flowing force, like in and out. There's nothing that can stop him. And but, it creeps um, in and fades out. Yeah. You're, you're, you're un, I, I guess you don't think about death all the time, also, but it, it shows up and it goes. And... Remind you that he's coming for you. <laughs> he's to get you. Um, it pains me that he describes death as indifferent to suffering. Because that's just wrong. It's certainly wrong. not this yeah, interpretation that's, that's, of death. That's wrong. That's not a zero. Yeah, that's negative a negative one. one. Mm. Back Holy down to crap. 11. Oh, boy. Oh, my uh, God. We're at the finish line, and he's yeah. he lost he's, his still, dozen. There's still a chance to get to 15. He could, that's he's right. He might get up to 25. I could be right. Holy some Alice in Wonderland snacks to make him the true Big Jack Corner. He gets bigger because he gets bigger. He didn't set up the payoff. He didn't even yeah. do the setup and payoff thing. They, they, didn't. Yeah. they no, specifically show the lingering, yep. slightly lingering shot of him with a... Zero. Yeah, and then they don't. Zero. Yeah. Ooh. Teamwork. I had a feeling. Wow. I had a feel. I wish yeah. I'd paused earlier because I was going to say, is all easy going to say that they work together? And it's even worse <laughs> than that. Teamwork. <laughs> Yeah, teamwork. You team, couldn't even have yeah. said team Last friendship or it's anything. One word, teamwork. No, nah, just teamwork. Yeah. Oh. And hey, it's the worst callback ever. Oh. Just the, okay. he, th he thinks it's painful. It's right. painful. It's painful. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. It Zero. is painful. It looks painful. Yeah. Oh, he missed the phoenix and and uh, Jiminy no. Cricket. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or miss, the, uh, missed them. Yeah. He can't, or maybe he, he saw them and went. Uh, I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, I don't get it. I just don't get it. It's, so. just more, it's just more teamwork. You know, yeah. he's already said teamwork, so he get, why has he got to say it twice? Yeah. No, oh. he's he's an independent agent who is working <laughs> independently to the rest of the protagonists. That's kind of this true. Is, he's in this for personal reasons. But, well, that's kind of where I was going with it. It's like, maybe what if we don't see him covering something? It's because he just didn't get it. He saw it was like, I don't really know. Why is, it, why is there a phoenix? What's that from? It's because the fun fact video he watched didn't talk about it, so. Could be. 
What did I do to deserve this? I mean, what specifically? He's <laughs> down. The opposite of T2. Oh, yes! I know! <laughs> oh, yes! I've also oh, seen man. films. It was so subtle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. And it's also oh. a reference to the fucking fact... To the, it's a double reference, you fool. It's a double reference because His he thumb. does the... It's, yeah, the thumb into the pie. Signature yeah. thumb into the yeah, pie. The... That's right. That's right. And, yeah. And the first mm -hmm. thing you see of him is him doing a thumbs up before he sticks it That's in the right. pie. So That's right. Yeah. Both of you were more insightful off the top of your heads than this clown in his edited video with his millions of subs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Zero point. Zero. Oh, wait, actually, is he is he putting his thumb in a pie? Oh, there you uh, go. Oh, he did it. Oh, you oh, 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 managed oh. to do it. Oh my oh, god! I spoke too soon. Oh. Oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Everything. Wait, so what, what, that's still I zero. Think he I gets what do you think? Up. Didn't you get a point for that? I guess he does. I praised them for it, and then he said it. So I guess. <laughs> well, he wait, gets whoa, a wait, wait, wait. I think that one could say you can get praise for noting that it's an inverse on T two, but we've we've established that pointing these things out. That's why we're so annoyed, is because he gets him nothing. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, and, and then you say that's too obvious, but like of, it's, it's more obvious that it point it's the pie entry. thing because it's from the same movie. Mm -hmm. did, he, did he award Ooh. himself two points for that? The T two uh, and the pie, I think he or one point? If he had said point. that the last thing we see of Jack Horner is the same as the first time we see him of his thumb in the pie, then that might be something. But I'll, I'll leave it all to your your discretion. I'll go with whatever y'all think. I don't know why this would be. Uh, given a point, zero. whereas all yeah, the other times right. he references other movies, which is more complicated than referencing something from this movie. Mm -hmm. All right, zero. Hi. Oh, yeah, zero. It's not that yeah. it's not that zero means there's absolutely zero insight. We we just round it down, like it's it's like a yeah, zero point exactly. three insight. You know what I mean? He, he's noticed <laughs> it, but he hasn't explained it. That too. Good. No. Everything is just. Right. Didn't think it would be the secondary antagonist to bring tears to my eyes. That's you not... don't get a point. No for villain. Saying you you like already it. called them villains. <laughs> yeah, a group you of villains. You don't get a point for you saying you both, like it. You that's, fuck. Just, that's not good enough. I like it. Yeah, point. I just said I like no, it. zero points. About Jeff. Very sweet that they stick with Perito, but I'd fully back them going with Jeff. No, Jeff sucks. Zero. 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 You get nothing. Like zero. You get nothing. That's what my friends call me. Whoops. Spoke too soon on who's bringing tears to my eyes. Again, zero. zero again, yeah. Just, oh, I felt, wow. I felt happy. Like, I felt sad. I felt abused. Uh, I felt shocked. It's like, we about, okay. We about to get a, uh, yeah, this is how is this not just reaffirmation, like again. I said, but in, in like one of the worst mm -hmm. forms? Might as well just put fucking emojis after every cut. Just be like, yep, <laughs> that's how I felt. To see some old friends. It's gonna be referenced. Wait, what? It's be referenced. Like Shrek? Are they doing a crossover movie finally? Get it, get it, because I haven't done the Shrek movies. It's good, it's a good joke. Zero. Hey. Uh, all right, now we get the recap. Now then. we might actually get a. I think yeah. Friggy is out in terms of being able to win this. <laughs> but... Yeah, no, it's impossible. Uh, there's no way. But I'm more interested in the insight into what he actually feels about this film. I don't know, guys. On, uh, I'm feeling pretty confident. Yeah. I think he might be able to get up to 25 here. He might. <laughs> he might. It's a little, the problem is, he's shown that he misunderstood a lot. So we could get repeated <laughs> points that are all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so like... What is he on now? 11? He's on 11. Yes. Okay. Oh, you're still here? <laughs> Cold, puss. Cold. For you, that's how you died last time. That's nothing. I don't know. Yeah, that's zero. Zero. That means, yeah. The Last Wish. Hey, a good sequel. Who would have thought? JK. They, they exist. Pretty... You referenced Terminator 2. Oh, he's he got the point. That's okay. Oh, there you go. He's yeah. here. Solid history. Yeah, there we go. Surpassing oh, there go. their OGs. Empire, Wrath of Khan, Paddington 2, Aliens, Ragnarok. I'm actually more impressed that this movie completely reinvented itself while not ignoring the 2011 movie. Puss is opening. Okay, so. Um. I, I mean, I it, would say that compared to. Like, it does. Right? You don't need to watch the first film at all to no. understand what's going on here. I wouldn't say that it forgets the prior film, but it would be more so that the prior film is pretty empty in a lot of ways, so it doesn't even make much of a difference. But it doesn't ignore it, but why do you, do you get a point for saying that? I don't do think so. I don't think that, so. Oh, well, no, yeah, like, no, I don't get it. That doesn't seem sufficient. This is zero for me. Oh boy. Yep. Number pretty much sums up what he's about, but you could absolutely watch this without the original and also without the Shrek movies. And that's really saying something, because without mincing words, this is a sequel to a spin-off of a sequel. So it almost makes sense? 
Yeah. Mm. And it also came out over 11, like 11 years after the first one. Yeah. So, the, you know, this film was basically like a decade later than it kind of needed to be. And it is, it just makes it that much more surprising that it's actually good. Mm hmm. I just feel like what's what's more likely to stand on its own, a sequel to a spin-off of a sequel or a film in general? And you're like, well, I, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> like that's yeah, that's all that's really like wacky. If removed from the thing, then yeah, it, it's it's just like I mean, you know, just as long as they take any film can stand on its own. All the most legendary sequels mostly can stand on their own. I just I don't know. This is all. I'm waiting for him to explain more, but he's not gonna. Uh, and yet, I love. I, sorry, I read ahead here. Look at this, and yet everything works. The story is good. Let him say it. <laughs> let him. Let him dig his grave. Uh, just let him say it. Yeah. Everything works. The story is good. The writing and dialogue are fantastic. The animation is fun and interesting. The character design is through the roof perfect. Seriously, mm. think about explain. Big Jack Horner. Here we go. Can we get a point? I hate that guy. I hate his design. How is he somehow the most ridiculous looking character and the most terrifying? He's so creepy. Because he and, like, looks ridiculous and he's evil? Distended? Like he's three little Jack Horners in a trench coat with two of those arms from the Mad Max episode of Rick and Morty? <laughs> he's such a gross bad guy. And death? <laughs> okay, that's nothing. I didn't really you grab anything from that, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you get, get nothing and your mm. fake laughs annoy me. He's I mean, so he creepy about... and sticky. <laughs> he's kind of talking about his his design is kind of unnerving, and I see what he's going for. But again, he didn't explain it very well. Drill down, sir. Drill down. I mean, he pra drill. he probably spent the section struggling to explain what he even thinks of the design. Those yeah. arms from the Mad Max episode of Rick and Morty. <laughs> he's such a gross bad guy and dead. Just like, yeah, zero. Yeah, nothing. That's, zero. That's zero. Empty. Nothing. Just empty, it's hollow. Surface level observations about what he is without going into anything. Why I mean, wouldn't that you make the observation that like he's like the embodiment of gluttony, a gluttony of I want everything, fuck it, nobody else can have it. This is all mine, 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 yeah. mine, hoarding everything that's reflected yeah, in the Being gluttonous design. is a good thing. Yeah, his size, the fact he works at a pie factory, his selfishness and greed, doesn't care about anything yeah, uh, himself. Yeah. Some of the most common expressions well we see from him are like anger, disappointment, frustration. They're all very, very negative. His face is almost mm -hmm. creased into that. Fluffy Boy is nightmare material for me. I asked Jude who he thought the scariest cartoon villain was, and obviously he said, I'm not scared of any of them. So, yeah. But everything else falls into place when you have hey. a Oh, that's that, I guess. Oh, is that it? No, oh, wait. Is that wasn't a like ding. Melanie and Mora competing for more thrilling bad guy when Melanie somehow out evils the actual embodiment of death. Since when was death evil? Death was never. Em yeah, he's yeah, not. The idea that death is embodied as being evil is definitely not something that's ubiquitous among cultures. Among I mean, just, all kinds of interpretations across all kinds of media, death is oftentimes a like soldier of force, like a thing that it's simply making things happen that happen. It's not like a. I hate things that live and therefore will make them die. It's like, I don't think that was ever... How often do you even see that? No, it's way more often that it's the idea that this is a necessary aspect of existence. Yeah, that and the, I think the most common thing you'll find is like, I'm misinterpreted. And th this would yeah. be the misinterpretation. It's like, he's more evil than death. You're like, okay. Mm -hmm. Final Destination. Death's a fucking joke in that film. Like, oh, man, like, <laughs> well, those films. <laughs> Death. It's something else. Obviously, it comes down to okay, characterization so more than voice point, because the fact Mora could make Sam Elliott win. Well, it's, it's something else. It's like it's overtly something more interesting than what you've said. Yeah, but you don't know what it is. Like his insightful Sorry. commentary is: Hmm, Death isn't just evil. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Why do you think that is? Explain. Yes, go on. Wince. Everyone is great, though. Antonio has created mm -hmm. a character and push that truly stands alone at this point. Again, well, in a sequel. Him to... and the writers and the animators and. Okay, you know. I actually think he's um he's screwing up here because stands alone is the compliment you give to the film in the sense that you don't need to do the homework of Shrek and Puss in Boots one. You're all right. You can just watch this. But if you did check those out, it does give a bit more context to the flashes of his life that he sees. And in fact, like, I don't yeah, know about exactly. anyone else, but when you briefly see Shrek and Donkey when he's first having yeah. his uh, flashes, that, that hits you in the feels a little bit. Oh, it does. He's thinking like, of his oh, friend. It's them. Yeah. His friend, Shrek and Donkey, and all the adventures they went on together. So, when he says, truly stands alone, is like this celebratory thing. It's like, well, hang on. Like, it, it, it you know, benefits from being a sequel, and it does Shrek reference well. them well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah and changing. like the ending of the film, it's, um, it like, I think it is heavily heavily validated by um 
having seen Trek and um, all of that, because um, at this point, um, you know, he's 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 accepted that he only has one life left to live, and his life should be spent with the people that he loves. So what does he do immediately afterward? He goes to find Shrek and Donkey, and he's trying to unify this, uh, the lives that he had before and to bring the friendships out and into the present day. And you wouldn't get that as much if you didn't see those films yeah. as well. This is, this is what I'm getting at, is he's, uh, he's praising it for not being like further connected to them, when it's like, well, this is your opportunity to say how it benefits from being a sequel to them. Mm-hmm. To a spin-off mm. of a sequel that was mostly a one-off joke about Cat Zorro. I don't get, get, I don't understand it's how it's like, no. oh yes, he's the positive guy, and then he says, like, oh well, you know, I mean, he was just Cat Zorro, basically put some He's a full character in Shrek 2. Character. Yeah. He's a character. But then it's like, oh well, you know, it was just a one-off joke. Anyway, haha, <laughs> positive, yeah, woohoo. I mm. it frustrates me. It annoys me. Because they just kind of slip in quickly enough that you might not even and he might not even notice that that's like a Do negative. You get the impression. Yeah. Do you remember? I think. Um, let me check the release dates because I remember there was a, a notion that we would like to do this with the Last Wish, but that we couldn't because, yeah. So Cinema Sins released his eight months ago, right? I, I don't remember exactly when the Last Wish came out, but obviously eight months ago. And then uh, Wins did it three months ago. It's like, man, mm. what took you so long? This is one of the most like favored films of that year. And then mm. when watching this video, strange. do you get the impression all he was kind of like? Oh, I got to cover that cat movie, right? For kids. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, he skips over like... really important parts. He misses out a lot of good details. It, it just it's and a lot of like them came. Bare minimum work. The best stuff he says really feels like it comes from top ten things you didn't see in Puss yeah, in Boots. Yeah, it comes wish. from something that he didn't the, come the up that with. Things that went yeah. viral on Twitter of like, oh shit, well, death's there in the shadow. Yeah, you because know? you don't you don't notice those things while missing everything else. There's no way. That's just not how brains work. So yeah, I'm. Yeah. I, I, oh, I'm I, really I, disappointed because because his insight is so uh, entry level on on a lot of the things in this film. And it's like, oh fuck, he hasn't thought about it. Like he just hasn't. He gotten things wrong. He's gotten things wrong. He doesn't have a great understanding of death or Jack Horner. Which the second one is the latter is particularly funny, considering that he more or less states who he is. Yeah, like pretty pretty in like no uncertain terms. And then it's just yeah, why why would you skip over a lot of the most important like emotional scenes in the film? Just like skim through them really quickly. I just don't get that sense of of like that you're brimming with things that you want to say about this film. I don't get that sense at all. I can't believe it. I'm 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 stunned. I'm I'm kind of stunned. It's also Ringy has been stunned locked. Interesting to me as well that he says the Antonio's created a character that truly stands alone when um he's like the only character from the Shrek universe that got to have his own shit. He's the Outside only character of, I guess, Shrek. they decided can stand alone in yeah. his uh, own film, you know? Yeah, he says it as though it's like, you know, this one truly says it's like he's like the only guy, and he's gotten the most content yeah. out of anyone in the Shrek universe. Yep. Yeah, he's eclipsed Shrek for, yeah. for amount of <laughs> a little stuff bit, that's yeah. out there. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, what I'm getting at, I guess, is that is this a negative one statement here? I think so. Especially, Especially I don't like the ending. That he's yeah. Just Cat Zorro. Yeah, I think that's mm -hmm. a negative. Yeah, well. I'm, t I'm and then tempted we... to go negative too, if only because like I'm remembering like the sense of honor he had in Shrek Two and how a... much. Oh, shut up, Mim! You're just trying to win because you're real close. He does have a people's size. Oh god, yeah, I, I, I think, um, yeah, because remember, remember, he felt all that shame about hunting down Shrek and Donkey when he realized they weren't the right person, and then there was, his arc was fulfilling that almost that yeah. that debt he had to them. And it was just, how can you get just one-off cat jokes from that? I don't get it. Stop, Olga. I have misjudged you. Exactly. <laughs> Need to rewatch those films. They're awesome. We get this story and message, ironically similar to Wrath of Khan, about growing older. How is that about ironic? Our fear of death. It wouldn't be ironic, right? It's just similar. It's not yeah, ironically because, similar. I think because he, he mentioned Wrath of Khan earlier. earlier. He mentioned earlier. Yeah, but he mentioned but, it but that doesn't make it ironic. I know. Yeah. But I'm just, just, I think, just. Well, it's the classic, right? You say ironically instead of coincidentally, is what you should be yeah. saying. Because I mentioned yeah, yeah, Wrath of Khan yeah, for different yeah, reasons earlier, and I'm mentioning it again. What a coincidence. Yeah, what a coincidence. So I've just. I've just, uh, just started. I've just had a look at the IMDb trivia page for uh, The Last Wish, and there is a lot on here that is exactly what he is to be pointing fair, out. To be fair, 
there would be all of those things would show up probably on there. The, the there thing, is like tweets and things. The reason why I would assume but... he didn't look at that as opposed to a video is one, as criticism of his character, it's much easier to just watch a video do it. But two, because you're going to find a lot in that trivia page that wouldn't show up in his video that probably should have had he read them. If you if you get what I'm saying, so could be, yeah. yeah. I imagine he watched a video, especially because of the fact that this is so shallow. It's ridiculously... I feel like the trivia page has better analysis of the characters more than Yeah, likely. it's somehow really shallow, and yet it picks up on extremely subtle details that you'd have to watch the when, film multiple times to get. When you watch some of those top 20s, like, they treat you as some, you know, in a way they should, that you know the film. And so they're like, you know all the stuff, so I'm going to show you the stuff that you didn't see, even as a super fan or a fan in general. So that's, that's why it just strikes me as so, like... He just didn't really watch the film that closely, and he just made the video because he had to. Death of our bodies, but of our legend, death of self. And I deeply appreciate that even though it's mostly wrapped up neatly, Puss doesn't beat death. He can't. And part of not losing to death is knowing that he can't beat death. It's an interesting take on a common theme, accepting his one life in lieu of getting nine more. And I'm here for more of it, because I don't... I don't think it's too much for kids. They're going to engage with it at the level they can. He can be the big bad wolf from the Three Little Pigs, or he can be more. But hey, that's just a theory. Uh, Shut the fuck up. I might give him plus two for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, is, a, this yeah. is an observation about the film that is, it's he like, yep, thing. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, yep. you get it. You now. did it. You got a single plus two. Oh, Congratulations. A plus uh, two is really, really big, is it? A plus so two or a plus one. Part of the reason why it's a plus two is because he could have given himself more than one ding for Multiple this, but he points. doesn't. Yeah. True. It's all one true. ding. But and so how it, that's true, but the value of a win counter is much, much lower than the value of our point. Um, true. I know, I know, but sure, but but it's still the way that it works is that if there's multiple praises within one point, that's two. I think, so system. if this is all in one ding, right? Let's he go through slower. Uh, pointing out that he doesn't actually defeat death, that their fight hasn't actually concluded, it's just the fact that he's accepting that he can't beat it is, is thematically relevant. Like, and he explained all the backing of that. It's like, that's that's a point on its own. Losing to death is knowing that he can't beat death. It's an interesting take Strong on a common theme, that. accepting well. his one life in lieu of getting nine more. And I'm here for more of it, because I don't think it's too much for kids. They're going to engage with it at the level they can. He can be the big bad wolf from the Three Little Pigs, or he can be more. I kind of appreciate that point, also, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a good observation. I agree, but it's also, the film is very clear with what its messages are. Um, in a way for kids to certainly understand. I get um, what you're saying, like, what kid is going to watch this and come away thinking, like, he wasn't death, he was just the wolf from the... He's like, well, no, he's... Yeah, they're very <laughs> explicit about, like, Not only are they of it. explicit with the title, but they're, they're explicit with the, I am death, I am not a theoretical, I'm not an abstract, I'm no. not this, I'm not that, I am death. Yeah, like, everything with Jack Horner, Goldilocks and Three Bears, with Kitty, with... I mean, it's all very... It is all blatant. And that's not a problem. But it's not like a, it, it, it just doesn't hide what it's about. But hey, he does use the word engage with it, though. And what, what that could mean is that a kid doesn't really think about the meaning of engaging in a fight with death and overcoming yeah, death by like, accepting it. Is, they engage with it as he's, it. he's just a wolf that's trying to kill Puss. Yeah. Like, I, I think um, there's still value to what he's saying. Yeah, all right. If you want to, the idea that even if can... you didn't, even if you weren't really delving into the whole, like, oh, I see, this is about understanding and accepting your own mortality, which you know, like, yeah, no, I, yeah, like that's kind of um, it, it, you could still engage with it on the level of ah, uh, yeah, but Puss is gonna, he's gonna stop that wolf from getting him, you know. I think mm -hmm. I yeah. And someone's highlight is like, it, but I he's not it. the big bad wolf. We've seen that in the fragment. He's saying that a kid can contextualize it that way. They can just be like, he's a wolf bad man. Uh, type situation sort of thing um, if they want to engage with it like that yeah he can be yeah. more but hey that's just a theory uh wait no wrong channel but if you want more musings on life and death check out Netflix. fuck you oh uh, you are Look, joking there are two videos you are about joking death. wait are we done <laughs> Oh, is that it? Are we? He got. Didn't he oh, squeaked back up with his last you thing. He's kidding. You're joking. You can watch he didn't even, right he didn't even give himself a win, by the way. There. So you didn't get the win. Yeah. Wait, shit. Yeah, he doesn't get the points. He gets no points. Is this the end of the video, or is he? Is this the end? It might not be. It might not be. Yay! I don't even know when they'll be on here.
but you'll always be able to count on Nebula since there are no advertisers oh, to so appease, no ads, so I don't have to censor like I do until... on YouTube. And Nebula is the place to find all of my exclusive content and early release content. So paywall, 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 that's all this is. We call Nebula first. Mm -hmm. But that's not all. There's Just call it what it is, please. Also original high production pieces from some of your favorite creators that you'll- We can get you videos that you would have gotten for free, but now you pay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> only ever find on Nebula. And if you sign up for an <laughs> annual plan with my link, you'll get 40% off. You can get 40% off paying for something that you weren't paying for first. Isn't that... That's cool. And you, you fuckers weren't giving fast, enough on like, Patreon, so we took Today's it away last from day you. You can get a lifetime membership and never pay again. While you're but what? <laughs> How much is the pay? What? Oh, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Checking out classes where well, time to check, stories right? of old Nebula. will teach you how to analyze uh... stories and enrich your own. Uh, did or you watch that video? Did that help you? <laughs> <with> the analysis <laughs> of has six episodes and it is stellar. And you'll always be able to find all my. Yes, he did not care. You need to remember, you need to Nebula make sure early. that you reference one of the things on there and how you liked it and how it helped you in a way that's relevant to the type of content that you make. Is, is Nebula just Nebula like, just like a paid time. version also, of YouTube? If you like, yes. Yeah, it's like, like for YouTubers. The, and right. This is the thing, I would way prefer this ad if they said, we want to make more money, so we paywalled some of our content, and honestly it's some of our better content, so go pay for it if you want to see it. Instead, they mm -hmm. make it seem like this, this wonderful service that if they didn't have it, they couldn't possibly make these awesome videos for you, and that you can get it at a reduced price if you act now. It's that shit where I'm just like, what are you... It's a paywall. Like, what are you? Why are you selling it? Like, it's a huge, amazing thing. <laughs> There's always a link to that version. We paywalled well, it for you. It's not live on YouTube. It's a win-win. Win. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you over on Nebula. Shit! Is that actually? That's the he end. He didn't give yeah. it away. Wait, does it? What is it? Is it counted <laughs> here? I mean, I mean, he doesn't. It, it, it was oh. 152, right, at the end there? I think let's, so. Let's check. Oh, he, he didn't give himself a win, Winnie, which means he Winnie, gets no Winnie. points for any of those observations by our rules. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god. He, You're right. He gets, yeah, he didn't He didn't ding. No, he gets no points. Motherfucker, I was no going to give you two. Yeah. And so, now it's zero. So uh, that means that I think uh, he he finishes on, what, 11, which means meme... Mola would have won it if, we, if he got the two. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh damn! Oof. I uh, you definitely get the vibe that he did, he really didn't care that much about this film. Just to check, Rags, your final count for wins. Um, it depends on if he got those last two he points. He doesn't get the last two. No, then that's eleven. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. He's so at eleven. 11. <sighs> Holy hell! We were right wow. there, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually floored. Yeah, I thought same. that this was going to be like an easy slam dunk for him, but like. He, there was so little by way of substantive analysis of the film when this film is so easy to break down for hours about how awesome it is. No. It's unbelievable that he fumbled this badly. I can't, I'm, I'm genuinely shocked <laughs> that he screwed this up. Dramatically. Yeah, that's... By the way, the oh. failure to put a ding and add the number at the end there, even though he re-references it after the ad, just tells me like he just didn't really care for this one. No, uh, which no, sucks because Puss in Boots: The Last Wish is fucking great. This is this is actually very indicative of the problem we said would arise when everything is equal. When you praise everything equally, like why would you care about the stuff that's actually good? Yeah, why would there be any reason to highlight in any great length or detail the merits of something that is of actual quality consistently throughout? Because it's all you know, it's all every approach is like, oh well, yeah, the oh, funny meme, yeah, win, oh yeah, that's uh that's a thing that happened on screen, win, oh yeah, that that happened before and now it's happening. That's now. like this movie. Win. That's oh, like this wow, movie. That's, that's a like reference. This movie. Yeah. Oh, it's like that I can't believe the win. this is everything we're saying is typically what you see people say about cinema sins. It's just like, I swear to God, what's about to happen? You know. <laughs> what, 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 are we, yeah. what are we about to experience? I, I want to remind Sims everyone. The predictions at the beginning were I said Sins would get negative 15, Rag said plus 5, Fringy said negative 20, Metal said negative 10, Meme said plus 2, and Radom said plus 8. Sins as a result. I am now concerned that Sins will end up with like plus 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am as well. I'm a little bit concerned. I cannot. Yeah, I I thought this was going to be easy. I thought I thought it was going to be easy for him. They would actually provide like meaningful, substantive praise for the film, but he didn't do that because he clearly didn't care. How many did wins get for Multiverse of Madness? He went so low, we st like stopped counting it. Yeah, that was a disaster. <laughs> he, yeah, he got yeah, low. The, mer the mercy series. rule kicked in. <laughs> Leave him alone. He's already dead. <laughs>
So I'm yeah, of, I'm a little well, bit, I'm a little bit pissed off, honestly. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Bit, uh yeah, yeah. That should not be one like, of the man. like well watched videos that praises Puss in Boots: The Last Wish. What the fuck, you know? Yeah. So was that I, video yeah. worse than his video on under... um MOM? I hate it more than his video on Multiverse of Madness because I feel like yeah, it sort of yeah. exemplifies the problem with his approach that when it comes to actually praising something of value, his system screws everything up. Like, it just came in. Y'all didn't realize how vapid Wins is as a media analyst. I thought that he could at least repeat no, like, things the movie did, said. Right? You know? I thought that, yeah, I thought that we he could set a, a good bar film. for him that was reasonable. Yeah, for the record, yeah, right? If you're gonna the make last wish, if you're gonna make two hundred points, and they they asked me, uh, <laughs> "What's the score? Do you do you assume?" I gave him fifteen. That's low. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's low. That's real that's fucking low. low. And he still didn't do it. And, and the remember, reality is, that in, again, mm -hmm. fact, factor in that if he wasn't take getting all the points for the oh, video he watched on cool things, how low would it be? It'd probably be what like like a six. Yeah, like if he was in a vacuum where he couldn't, where where like the only person he could rely on to notice that there were eight, you know, eight uh, cups on the on the table, or the death was even there, because that was the thing a lot of people missed. I missed it. I didn't see it when I watched yeah, the first I time know. around. Or the chimes, like yeah. in a vacuum, how much of that? How much of it would have been? How much if he couldn't look at what other people were saying would have been generated from his own analysis of the film that arises spontaneously based on his preferences and his perspective and his experience of watching films. It, lo it looks like he would have struggled tremendously because that's where he got the most of his points. Yeah, that's uh, that's. I can't really... believe it. I, ca I can't believe this should have been effortless. It yeah, been he easy. got he got this low, and as we just said, it it really should have been lower. Um, yeah. so wow, Holy many yeah. many scenes I... where there's something to say, and he filled his script with like, uh, but what, what what's funny here? Uh, oh, it's it's kind of like um, uh, kind of like Wicker Man. Yeah, there you go. I'll yeah, put a reference to that done. in. All it's right, like cool. the thing they're referencing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I've been working on this for a like couple if... hours here. All right, I'm taking a break. If you're doing a praise for um, Empire Strikes Back and you get to I am your father, then you go, well, I didn't think you were my mother. Yeah, then you just gave yourself a... And then it's like, That's win. It. Yeah, there you go. I just... It's, it's just that... If... If if it was really as good as you were saying that you felt it was at the end, that you really enjoyed it and connected with it, that should have been more apparent throughout yes. the whole video. Where was that in the analysis? Why did you skip huge swaths of character and plot to get to a shitty joke? Let, we should just we should just move on. Yeah, how many times we should just be repeated? On. Yeah. Well, we had we had uh, I was just we had two BRBs. I was gonna say it's probably. Oh yeah, 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 sure. Fair enough. Well, I'm actually gonna that. gonna peace out because I'm barely staying awake right now. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Yeah, You'll discover yeah, the exciting conclusion when yeah. you wake up. It's gonna be yeah. Wait, wait, wait! Well. Before you leave, you yeah. have to tell us who you think is gonna win. Uh, I think Sense is actually gonna get this one. Oh my God! So After the shit show I just met, uh, just <laughs> witnessed, I I think it's GG. It's GG for win. GG. Uh, sins. All right. Yeah. No, it's fair. Uh, yeah, I would have called well, you a madman uh, a few hours ago, but uh, now I, I think the th there might the, be something to it. So the reason why I think Mel is absolutely correct and the the I would revive my fucking prediction, but that's not the point of that now, uh, is yeah, because I, I think Sins is going to give praise to this film in mm -hmm. places where it deserves it because he's at heart just trying to talk about movies and so he's going to be like this part's actually amazing for this reason you know remove thing and, and then like, he'll oh. do the remove plans and otherwise he'll probably try and get through as much as he can with jokes because he knows yeah he knows you know <laughs> like on this one well i think that he might because he has the handicap of having to work harder that might actually make him focus and think about what he's saying and try and see if there's anything that is an interesting that's aspect an issue sins so. is actually wrong meta you know you is can't. that he's hated and wins is meta is that he's accepted no matter what because he's positive mm. this is like this is like tortoise Which... in the hair <laughs> yeah we might have bit. we might have the tortoise who has all the disadvantages you know persevering and winning but <laughs> that's kind of funny to think about it's, uh... I guess we'll find out. But the, but the you guys with that is have fun. I'm gonna oh, yeah. Yeah. Go. <laughs> goodbye. Right, yeah. Pass out. Bye. We'll see you later. Bye. Toodle. Toodle. Boy.
What I was going to say is that the hair, comparing him to the hair is inaccurate because the hair is at least full of energy for a time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy, he edited the video, okay? In, in the theory, I don't even know if he did, to be honest with you. <laughs> he might not. It's just so, it's so soulless. And it really is like, I, yeah. I find that toxic positivity shit so fucking annoying. I'm just like, whoa, yeah, if it's positive, that's good enough, right? When, again, the contrast of good and bad, it's just presence. If you like it, if there's a reason why it's working, then there has to be a way that it can be dysfunctional, the way that it, it isn't so good. And how can you appreciate the good if you're just pretending that there is no such thing as bad or flawed or a mistake or an error? And it just feels like it reflects in that video. Because, I mean, really, how would you, what would meaningfully be the difference between, like, the nature of what he was doing there compared to Multiverse of Madness other than, well, because it's so good, it becomes impossible to not actually get a few worthwhile observations yeah. in there. Yeah. All right, um, Well, yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, the first thing will be his commentary on the opening credits. And if he if he just <laughs> says, opening credits, lame, like, there'll be no point. But if he mentions, like, the state of the fuckery that is opening credits and the, how that has, like, it's cringe and it's obvious reference to, like, how... It's like the like, I'm guessing the MCU would probably be to blame for it, right? So, you know, like it, it and I believe this is probably going to do it. <laughs> but let's let's find out. Everyone ready? Yeah, let's go. Here yeah, we I'm go. Back, good to go. Here ready, Freddy? Yep, yeah, let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. It's an oh wow! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's coming for blood. Comcast. I will never understand. That's okay. Zero. Nothing. Zero for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why the sliver of the moon is somehow inside the moon, and if wait, oh no, did DreamWorks Animation marvelize their opening logo? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I thought that was a good thing. So it begins. So it begins. So, so it begins. <laughs> One oh, point. Works. Bad DreamWorks. Drop it. Bad. Bad. Also including Boss Baby in your anything, ever. Yeah, you got <laughs> I mean, another point for that. I feel like he gets a point. Uh, okay, yeah, we're point. up to... Oh my god, he's close. All right. Uh, he's already close. <laughs> keep, 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 keep the film running. Keep the film running. Oh, oh god. god. Okay. Also, oh, also, fuck. where are the crudes? Madagascar, Turbo, the beef from B-Movie, what about f***ing Moses? That's the Moses. Oh, those oh yeah, the Moses of, was dream The things that were omitted. And the things yeah, that were because... In. Everyone yeah. loves Prince of Egypt. Everyone fucking loves that movie. And Madagascar, and that again, pretty pretty recently. Cool. Madagascar, Madagascar yeah. feels like the one should be there as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I feel think that's I'm, true. I'm oh god, is that another he's point at, he's already? He's at three. He's at <laughs> he's three, three before three. the movie's yeah. begun. Oh god. I, yeah, but okay. now it's not going to deteriorate because that's... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, nope. I thought he was at two, not three. Uh, he, I not, thought he got one specifically he's done, he's for... A few things. Yeah, he's already done a few. Oh, oh wait, okay, so... Oh, so he did Comcast, okay. which was nothing. And yeah. Comcast is nothing. DreamWorks. We agree with. DreamWorks marvelized their logo. That's bad. That's one point. Boss Baby. And then Boss Baby is in there. That's ridiculous. Another point. And then why did you exclude these other Okay, yeah, things? I'm with you. I'm with you. Damn. That's three. So that's three. I mean, he's, fuck he's putting up a valiant that's effort right. here. But, but this is where... He's overshot my estimate all right. This gets hard. Now, hard mode film engaged. Begins. Now the film has begun. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the fuck? I see tonight. How is there ever a first star you see if this is the sky you are looking at? First glance, uh, you're seeing at least a thousand stars on a planet or two at the same time. Also, whatever, the, zero. You could be looking zero. at one of them. What? Yeah, you could be looking at one of them. It could be the first star that you see properly. It's I'm the most of like prominent star, but it, you know. Isn't it? No. He's reading it from the, the map and they're playing it now at the beginning, or am I. Yeah, but oh, uh, it seems to be. Sins is saying that the, the idea of seeing one star before the others is impossible, but what if it's a really, really bright star? Would that not be the point? I also feel like you do... There's a difference between, like, seeing and watching, almost, you know, in the sense of, like, we, we, we do focus yeah, on one, yeah. probably. Like, like it, hearing and listening. Something like that, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's just a... I think that's a zero, yeah. right? That's a this zero. is a zero. Yeah. I, I don't I think even know why people would say that it's like, oh, he's right. It's like, first of all, he's just... He's saying the words that are part of the... The speech that you say on the wishing star, first of all, and just because I showed it this time doesn't mean it. Again, it's like, yeah, the first star that you see is the first star that you pay attention to. 
Could this be a yeah, negative I think one? Minus be... one? I think it's a minus one because he's inaccurate. Like, it doesn't matter because, yeah, he's just reading the words on the thing. He's just reading the words off the page. So but he's is being, it a, like, wait, is, so is he being critical of the poem? No, he's, he's being... being no. Yeah. He's I, criticizing I, 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 well, the I idea feel like he's, um, one star before another. He's looking for a flaw because this is going to be a tough yeah. one. What do we do? I was happy with negative one. Is everyone else? Yeah. I'm okay yeah. with negative one here, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. We can do a yeah. negative one, so he's two at two. He did a two. Now just right. say it, this number forever. <laughs> Needing to clarify a swashbuckling talking cat's relationship to reality. Oh, uh, well, so, damn, again, the whole point of it being a fairy tale is meant to communicate something to you about what you're expecting, not just by way of fantasy, but also meaning. So why is he being like, oh, yeah, I need to oh, clarify shit. This fairy tale. Do you get yeah. what I mean? That means that Jack Horner got to be in a fairy tale after all, not just a nursery. Yes, run. that's true. But is yeah. this a zero, uh, or is this is this more? Uh, is this more than that? I think it's or, a joke. Is it just a neutral? Yeah. But I. But that's the cinema sins thing. When it's wrong, mm. it's a joke. Yeah. Or I think, I think it's another minus one. <laughs> Needing to clarify a swashbuckling talking cat's relationship to reality. Like that's not what it's for. I no. think he's misinterpreting the text. So, but is it just a meme and how it isn't how here's the thing. Mean. It wasn't I don't think it was made enough of a joke. So like that, if he had uh, if he used a different like inflection and maybe a different phrasing, I'd be, be like, a oh it's a joke. I was about to say I would be okay with a sus here. I'm fine with sus. sus. He's getting the sus. He's at yeah. two sus. All right. <laughs> that's relationship hmm. to reality. And we will never wash it again. Encouraging bad hygiene as a response to your child's budding interest in BDSM. Um, it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. That's a joke. Zero. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Zero. This is how it's. This is how it starts. Though. In order for this to make any sense, this horse here would have had to do a full 360 while standing on his hind legs. And if that happened, you show me that. That's actually true. I think that's right. Yeah. I think that's true. Oh. Yeah. Um, is, what Can is that, though, it? like, in terms of... Well, yeah, what is that? I guess he's accurate. It's a continuity error. If he, he's if accurate, he's it's saying, a continuity error. If that's actually what's happening, then the horse should have done this. I want to see that again. Yeah. In order for this to make any sense, this horse here would have had to do a full 360 while standing on his hind legs. And if that happened, you show me that sh um, but it's a cartoon horse, so maybe it can. Um, I think he's pointing out how kind of like even in universe that's pretty crazy for it to do, and Especially like the speed. implications of mm. yeah. I think he's right. Yeah, I think uh, that right. would be pretty crazy for the horse to be on its hind uh, leg. And this is supposed to be fine. It, <laughs> fine. I think this is technically fine. true. You got a is, point. All right, fine. Yeah. I feel like the, if the video was full of, like, the little things like that, he might be able to squeak it out. A uh, point is a point, yeah. so... All right, fine. That's kind of yeah. what I'm counting on. I think yeah. he's going to Hey, enough table scraps make a meal, well, so... All right, that's true. Fine. Yeah! Leaving your swords on the five-second delay setting. What if you need something to be sorted immediately? Um, he's trying to hold his pants up, and he's got guards, so... No, that's not what he's saying. He's saying that's five he's second delay on the actual uh, damage yeah, inflicted. A delay on the, yeah. Which is a, a zero. I'm fine with that. Right? That's a zero. Yeah, it's a zero. I think in this world, yeah, that kind of thing is totally fine. If it was re if it was a realistic story, then I I would agree. But I think in this setting, with the ex mm, you know, the expressions and exaggerated things. Uh, the film has realistic violence in it. Hmm. Uh, is there any credence to the idea that this is very this uh, section of the film is very much taking place from Puss in Boots' perspective, where he's sort of living the legend, sort of in until the bell falls on him, and then it all kind of stops and becomes a little bit more grounded. The thing um, is, I th think that if I was analyzing this myself, I'd be like, that doesn't make sense, but it's satisfying to watch. Hmm. Hmm. Is, is I don't know and have not decided on what I would say when it comes to cartoon physics and how much I would ever consider those in by way of flaws. I'm usually it like, it's about so consistency and um, 
if you so for example right you know the the neck that right so if if it's cut just enough that's still connected but with very few threads it could then separate after a delay that's actually fine that one makes no sense at all like oh, it just, sure. so yeah, yeah that's what, what, true and by, by the way, but, this, this is getting autistic, but I mean, this is what we're here to do. I think, I think the autistic element does, yeah, I think so. I think autism has it. I think this is accurate. Uh, <laughs> leaving your swords Damn. on the five-second delay setting. What if you need Yeah, and he's, he's, he's deliberately given a joke format of delivering yeah. this, but he obviously... Because it's, it's so cringe to be like, why, is the, why does it work this way? When it's, we all know exactly why they did it this way, but at the same time, it's like, okay. It's for comedy, but, but yeah. What if at the pivotal moment for the scene, we needed to have, you know, Puss kill something or render it useless? Or, or when he's chopping through the, you know, the posies later, they, they die instantly. So, so someone just said, they get cut horse dancing fine, but delayed sword tax or not? First of all, those two things are so fucking different. I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> well, <I remember. laughs> Secondly, the horse, the horse, he got a point the for the won. horse. Yeah, he, he did. got a point for the horse. You got a point for this too. He, the, the bad thing lad. is, though, people saying it's a nitpick. It's like, well, it's not a nitpick. This is intentional. It is intentionally delayed because it's yeah, a, for a, a joke. joke. Yeah, for a joke. Yeah. Which is it's a fun joke, but it is technically, you know, inconsistent with some of the other behaviors. That still might qualify as a nitpick. Yeah, the reason why it doesn't it doesn't I mean, make it there are there are lots of choices people make in filmmaking, knowing it'll damage some other element, but they're oh. like it's worth the risk or worth the the damage. Yeah. In this case, yeah. I think almost ninety nine point nine 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 percent of humans would say, "What even the, the damage?" And even if whatever, but it's like the problem I'm having here is that what he said is true. Yeah, fair enough. We're yeah, we're in turbotism mode. Yeah, and I, I think that's yeah, that's how we got to engage with it. Fair enough. Chat says remove Very the enough. sus. He's getting a point. He's not removing the no, sus. I, I, it's... It's a point. Uh, uh, is it not a point? Tell me why it's not it's a, point. a point. No, I, yeah, I think you're. Point. I think it's you're right. Point, I think this is a point. It's a. It's a point with a with a begrudging like a. To explain like, the autism yeah, here, if I true. made like, yeah, an extensive yeah. breakdown of this film, I probably wouldn't include this. Like Sins has oh, God, beaten me yeah. on this. Like I, I just be like I just don't feel. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's technically real. true, but we gotta be it's, true it's to point, you know some kind of emoji here. All right, I'm just saying well, it's an eye roll emoji, but it's a point. It's a point in <laughs> eye roll. The question isn't does this damage the film because it it doesn't. It, Is this it, it, it's completely inconsequential, but the fact is, Sins is right here. It's something to be sorted immediately. You awoke the sleeping giant of Del Mar! With some fireworks? How does this town not get destroyed every time there's a thunderstorm? I had a feeling he'd make this point. I think there's something to it. I mean, um, he's right, though. He's right, yeah. <laughs> this is actually one that I was thinking you could make. Uh, this should happen more, especially with a bunch of uh, you know, uh, festive people, we'll call them. Uh, but, yeah, he... With the fireworks everywhere. Also, it's, like, yeah. it's, it's, people saying like it enhances the scene. It's like, of course, loads of plot holes enhance scenes. Like, it, loads they of... should have had it to where an uh, uh, an errant firework flies off into the woods and then blows up like really close to him and wakes it up, and that's what they could have done. But... There are character assassination choices that can enhance scenes. Like, it's a lot of the time, a lot of mistakes in filmmaking are made, uh, as Frame was pointing out, it's not even, you wouldn't even call that, well, he was saying you wouldn't call it a nitpick, you wouldn't call it a mistake, because it's done deliberately, knowing what it is, but like, you know, at the same time, there are people who have to solve two problems at once, and they're like, we'll just opt to solve one, because I don't really care about the other. Sorry, not to, not to make us, because this could, this tangent could last forever, and like uh -oh. a, you know, Coyote and Roadrunner cartoon, when like Coyote cuts like the 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 line for the bridge, and then it makes the land fall around him. What is that? Uh, the thing about it is, are you rating it on a level of storytelling or comedy? Like, I mean, cause I feel course, like those two ratings comedy, would be different. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> it's like comedically, it's brilliant. But of course, it's the nature of those cartoons is that the cartoon physics are deliberately inconsistent because. Well, and that's the other really element. Funny. That they are you know, consistently like, yeah. nonsensical or whatever. Oh, usually, the thing that I would say that binds them with the consistency is the characters. Daffy, Bugs, you know, Coyote, Sylvester, Twitty, like these characters will react in a pretty consistent way, but the world that they live in is inconsistent. It's a crazy cartoon world where cartoon physics are playing out, but they react as you would expect them to. You know, like the Daffy one when he's with the animator, I think Duck and Muck, isn't that what it's called? 
the one where the animators are fucking with him, it's like, well, I mean, that's crazy in terms of like, if you were trying to figure out anything by way of consistency, but the thing that's consistent is Daffy. He reacts consistently to what's happening to him, which is usually what I would say is like the glue that holds everything together. But I mean, I love these jokes. They're hilarious. But of course, they're, you know, they're cartoon physics, right? Um, someone There's highlights a value to it, but it's a different sort of. It's different. Um, someone someone's highlighting yeah, yeah. like uh, it, it's not necessarily the uh, the giant doesn't wake up semi regularly. In fact, you could argue that the the guy saying you've awoken him is is indicative of this being a semi regular thing, and that he just kidnaps people and stuff. So until sins says something more specific, that it wouldn't count as anything other than a zero, but. On the other hand, they wouldn't have all the fireworks everywhere and stuff like that. I mean, the town would be living, making sure that no, we can't have any loud noises, or you will awake the sleeping giant of Del Mar. And the uh, building so gets to... torn apart by this giant. Are uh, you telling me they yep, rebuild that right every up. time? <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't have a bunch of fireworks lying around to be launched like this. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're starting to get into like quiet place territory, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> but, should like, not live I mean, here. Is, they should move. It is like technically, you know, the that's. I mean, it's a fair criticism. I think it's like I said, it's one of the ones that came to my mind imagining the things that he would say. Yeah, so I, I think, I think he's right on this one. This could be set for the majority of the movie. So let's just add a few cents here for Puss in Boots surviving any of this. I had a feeling he'd say that. As I, I thought it at too. the time myself. I was like, that's a bit of plot armor there, mate. And the thing is, the film is very much about him, you know, dying. So it's like, eh. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I'm trying to work out how to articulate this because I'm thinking that this whole beginning section, I kind of said this before, but I'm trying to phrase it in a different way. This whole beginning section is... He is so wrapped up in his ego and the legend that is then that's kind of why things are almost a little bit unbelievable. And then everything sort of gets you get smacked in the face when death actually makes him bleed. So things he dies fact, in this scene. True. Yeah. So it isn't a dream sequence, I guess. And a lot, well, a lot of the action dream, is very justified. Yeah. A lot of it, I'll agree, is tune physics. But the, I, it's very difficult yeah. to pr like prevent the film from taking any criticism when they want you to feel the weight of real physics and real violence. I would give him one for this. Yeah, I think it's, it's fair. A tricky one, yeah, though. yeah. I feel like if the bell, if the bell kills him. This is, I mean, how how is the sign able to go through all the walls without breaking apart? Um, so how is he able design. to absorb the impact? It's not like he's got cushioning or anything. I mean, we're in autism mode, but yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep true. reminding people. Yep. This this same <laughs> yeah, level we're, of we're autism was applied autism to wins. <laughs> yes, I think I agree. I don't. I agree that what Sins is saying is accurate. I would dispute that it damages the movie, but that's not what we're counting here. I would dispute the degree of damage, but that I don't think it can be denied that it would be a form of damage, even if it was minuscule. I think it's. I think it is minuscule for the point of the film, but it is minuscule is still a positive number. Surviving any okay. of this, and yes, I realize he actually will die in a minute. So you might see the irony, but I see you off and me still giving this movie sense. Might as well get this off my chest. <laughs> I mean, that just, just means I mean, we'll give us zero. I guess that. he's like, yeah, this film's amazing. I got to get my licks in while I can. Yeah, which is what we thought would happen, to be honest with which you. Which is what he's got to do, I think, yeah. Right now, this movie is gorgeous. The almost cell shaded effect of the environment, the use of different frame rates, the visualizations of the movements. You didn't have to go this hard for PIB dose, but you did. So go ahead and take the scent off before I remember this is the Shrek universe. Watch it. So curiously, he mostly just did what Wins did. He told us things they're using. Yeah, um, he's essentially saying, yeah, that this film is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the animation's gorgeous. So, which um, is true, but it's too broad to get a point. Yeah, I think it's just zero. Watching Puss in Boots fight with a giant made me realize that these few seconds are better than the entirety of the last Hellboy movie. Which is a good thing, but also you made me remember that last Hellboy movie. Hey! Uh, we saw the last Hellboy movie. It was it terrible. Was really, really, That movie really is awful. an experience. Yeah. Um, it's an unexperience. It's it's awful. Don't do not see Hellboy the last one. So I guess uh, that's just a zero, right? I yeah, I think it's a it's joke. it's a reference yeah. because it's a of this giant fight. You want to see something cool? Breaking the fourth wall to ask a rhetorical question. It's not breaking the fourth wall. He asked the giant. It's not breaking the fourth wall. He's asking the giant. Yeah, that that, that seems from the giant's perspective. I didn't get hit with the bell. 
No. <laughs> it, it can, so. you can argue it works it. as a line that we receive, like, you know, that we can feel like he's talking to us, but he's not. In universe, he's talking to the giant. He is talking to the giant. That's right. It just also works for us, which is clever. Um, is that just a negative one? Um, I, yeah, because well, yeah, be, it's yeah. not breaking the fourth wall. If he yeah. says it is, then that's a negative. Yeah, that was just incorrect. Yes. Very well. It is more important for Puss to draw his trademark in the dirt than to move out of the way of a falling giant. A giant that will 100% cover up everything Puss etched in the dirt. Yep, it's indicative of his ego. Yep, he's still got yep. style. That's all right. So... Anyway. He's in his element. He knows what he's doing. I think that might be a negative one. It implies he's not following the point. Yeah. Yeah, negative one for that one. Yep. And since you're, you're struggling too, a little here now, what's going don't on? Don't get too uh, full of yourself now, please, <laughs> you know? Get your licks where you can, but you can't, you know, punch too much. It can be perceived as a fourth wall, right? There's no reason to call it a fourth wall break when there's no reason in universe to perceive it that way at all. Like, it, it works completely. He it's... even lifts up the flap on his eye, his eye patch. even lifts that up. It is the giant's yeah. perspective. It just also works for the audience you can there's many lines in a film that you can say that's you could argue that's like he's talking to us and you'd be like yeah you wouldn't call it a fourth wall break though usually uh, i mean more of it than that what i'm thinking yeah. of is the the final line in inglorious bastards which is the uh from the perspective I, I won't spoil it straight up but it's like the uh from the perspective of one character mm -hmm. and uh, another character then says this might just be my masterpiece could call it you know, it's referencing itself as the film as a whole, but it's not a fourth wall break. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, one more number. Encores. Seriously, why do people like encores? They never get announced, and you have to sit there and wait to see if the band will come back on stage. Do the lights coming on mean they won't? Or is that just a trick too? Just stay up there till your entire session is finished. Why is that so hard? None. I got nothing. There's a zero, I guess. He's just sort of yeah. rambling about <laughs> yeah. encores, which video. Leave your tail and relax. <gasps> Trust me, I run hot. Not letting someone do their job just because you're weirded out by butt stuff. You d um, I mean, I mean observation, that's I think. fine, uh, though. That's he, fine. I mean, he, it, it, that's in yeah. character. He doesn't you, feel like the information that it, he'll be high temp is, is relevant enough to confirm by putting it in his ass. He just he puts some boots. It's like, I, I, yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> if, you, if you ain't ready for it, you ain't ready for it. That's not a problem. That's just a zero. Consent. Died. Yeah, zero. Duh. He was crushed by a giant bell. He should be reduced to a pancake fur-covered bag of bone dust. Do cats regenerate, descend with new bodies from the heavenly ether? How does any of this work? The elements of his supposed his survival of these lives is not explained, so I don't know that there are mechanics that, are, that exist to The implication criticize. is that there's something supernatural happening for him, though. Yeah, he does have nine lives, which is not something everyone else has. It, it has. It is special. Uh, so, yeah, I don't... I don't know. Like, it raises questions. It's like, yeah, what if Boots, Puss and Boots got fucking decapitated or something? Would it, like, or like what would thrown happen? in would lava. His head body? Yeah, or disintegrated yeah. or shot into space. You know, like, would he, like, if you put him into space, would he, like, die, regenerate, then die again, regenerate, die again? Like, you know, I don't know. It's So is that a plus one for... I think that was an it's sort of an highlighting that. To bring it up, is that a plus one? Um, I think hmm. if if it was explicit and we were to see Puss in Boots fall into Mount Doom like we do with Gollum, and then he's just alive in the next scene, then yes. Um, but because we don't see him like pancaked by the, you know, we don't see his body, for example, uh, when he gets pancaked by the um, by the bell. I'm not sure that is a clear plus one. It's an it's a fair thing to bring up. I wonder should this is this a plus one? Does it get rid of the peepo sus or is it a zero? Hmm, it's, it's a um, tough one. It doesn't. doesn't this is feel a tough like a, one. A full sin, yeah. Because it's fair. It's a totally fair thing to ask. Like how I want. How are the mechanics of this work? What's the limit of like how how is does he actually only have like one life in the sense that a character in a video game only really has one hit point and the rest of them are just these abstract uh, representations of either luck or armor or skill or dodging? Um, it's 
What do we think? Should we put it to a vote? Uh, I'm well, I'm, I'm tempted by negative sus. He loses the sus, I think. He loses the sus? The I fact think, that we're all very sus of round. this commentary is, like, indicative of the fact that it's... It's, so a, he it's, loses a, it's the worth sus. a negative sus, I think, yeah. All right, yeah, he loses the sus. All right. All right. Fair. Yeah, happy with that. I think. Recovered yeah. bag of bone dust. Do cats regenerate, descend with new bodies from the heavenly ether? How does any of this work? Take it easy, doctor. Let's see here. <laughs> there was the running of the bulls in Pamplona. And this will continue to show us all eight times Puss in Boots has died. Because there's nothing a child likes to see more in their movie than dead cat montages. It's good. Well, I, um, I think uh, that's well, an interesting... I mean, <laughs> Cinema Wins might actually like that, but... You might love um, that, I would dare say. I mean, uh, so his, he's like... I thought he was going to go with the way of, like, it's repetitive information or something, but he said... I mean, they presented it in fun ways, so I don't think see. kids are going to have that much issue with it. Yeah, it's funny. And the They're fact funny. is, he's not yeah. dying permanently. Yes, and so he's it's still alive. Softer. Remember, he is narrating this. He is yeah. still alive. Um, yeah. So is like the complaint that like this wouldn't kids wouldn't like this. It's too dark for kids, or it's too rough for kids to watch a cat die eight times. Well, because if that if that's the case, I'm thinking it's maybe a minus one. Because, it might be a minus like one because he's he's like yeah. saying this is unsuitable for children, which is not true. Yeah, it's clearly depicted in leaning. a fun way. I yeah. think that's what he's leaning towards. Yeah, and I just I just don't agree. Kids can handle a lot, and this is very cartoony. It's portrayed very cart. I mean, it's just like uh, if you showed someone a. I mean, we mentioned it before a a, a Roadrunner and Coyote, right? If you sent, if you gave them a DVD of Roadrunner and Coyote, you're like, I don't know if the kid should be watching Coyote die over and over and over. Some people saying, is it sus worthy? I'm thinking it's a sus, honestly. I don't know if I'd give it a negative one, but it's it's definitely it's it feels um, like it's less than a zero. There's something sus. You know what I mean? It's a sus he has observation. His sus. I'm okay giving him his sus back. Very well. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's better the more you look at it. <laughs> you can hear the TT music. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny just to see him run and take it off. Of like a, he's working. He's working really hard, and he's on his tail. Oh, God. oh this is a good one. This is a high tier meme. Whoever made good this, movie. fucking excellent work. You get it, you get a peepo. You get a plus one. You get a plus was, one. It was Dave Al on your Discord. Dave plus one. <laughs> that's see. That's more peepo. From their movie ah. than dead cat montages. Excuse me, does this have shellfish in it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Dying because of your own selfish actions. That joke. Yeah. Zero. I get it. There are. Mix eight, puss. You are down to your last life. My prescription? No more adventures for you. But at least half of those deaths were not adventure based. Puss could die Doesn't by matter. crossing the street at the wrong time. This doctor seemed. Yeah, but he's, he's, this doctor's okay. only got the context crossing... of this recent death anyway. Yeah, plus it wouldn't yeah. even that none of that even matters. If he died from crossing the street eight times, you can't go adventuring. Like a, yeah, a adventuring death is a death. still puts him at more at more danger. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's still a fair observation, regardless of some of them being stupid. Fairly reasonable for him to say yeah. that's what he said. Yeah, Which means really, that this yeah. is a minus because this is a silly thing <laughs> to yeah. dock the film for. The doctor's still right. Adventures put you in more danger. Yep. Um, but besides, uh -oh. I would argue this is allegorical for when you've got a, maybe a heart condition or that you've gotten so old that it's like you need to chill out on your uh, just doing the things you did when you were younger. The doctors yeah, have to give that information to a lot safe. of people. Yeah. Yeah. If you had a heart attack from just laying around the house, you're not going to say, well, I mean, you didn't get a heart attack from crossing the Grand Canyon in the middle of the summer. So you're fine to do that. Yeah. So are negative we one. saying negative one? Yeah. That is a negative a one. Yeah, I gotta be, I think. It's this dumb. to take away everyone's will to live. What happened to live like you were dying? That's right, Doc. I trust Tim McGraw more than I trust you. Treat? Why would your treats all be fish-shaped? You don't only work on cats. And honestly, it's a bit insensitive to your vet. fish clients. He, he's probably he's a, a vet. vet. Can, look, there's... And, there's well, he, uh, remember, he's, a do he's like the doctor, the vet, the... The, uh, the, 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 the witch, witch the detector. 
Yeah, yeah, so I could imagine that he has a whole variety of assortments. Why would you assume that all of his treats are the ones there? Negative one! Why would all your treats... Why would your, why would your treats... Yeah, that you don't know they're all, the, they're all the treats. Exactly, they're not all the ones... And also, yeah, exactly. they're, just because they're fish-shaped doesn't mean that for, they're for cats. By the way... By the way, insensitive to fish clients, a lot of your fish clients will eat fish. So that's <laughs> right. Fish eat fish, actually. Believe it or not, um, <laughs> yes, sharks are fish, and they eat fish. People yeah, this, eat is, fish. this is this is the one. I don't think sharks are technically fish. I think sharks fish is fish. actually that. There's no like real like true taxonomical definition for a fish. It's just a casual catch-all term. Someone just said uh, uh, humans eat gingerbread men. I don't think so because sharks don't have bones. W wait, what? I think I don't think don't they just have like cartilage? And like in their teeth, they, I guess, but they don't have they like a have skeleton. They have bones made of cartilage. So, so does that mean they're bones? If they're they just made bones, of cartilage, they're just not made of the same stuff. Well, sure, that's a totally different like material than like a bone is, right? So if if you have cartilage that serves as like a under like it that serves the the role, you know, and also teeth aren't bones. That's true. Yeah. Uh, just are sharks fish? I all, like... all the sources I can find are saying it's fish. Yeah, they're a it special like... kind of fish. Yeah, they're they're water... a elasma branch fish characterized by cartilaginous skeletons. Okay, fair enough. So I thought they were. I thought on. they were like uh, cat. Just thought they were categorized as sort of a different thing. Sharks are a special right? kind of yeah. fish, yeah. known yeah, because yeah, their yeah. body are made out of cartilage instead of bones, like other fish. I thought. I thought fish okay. was like an overarching term for. Yeah, I thought. Uh, I thought they were fish. And yeah, then the question, why is shark not a mammal? Despite names like whale shark, all sharks are fish and differ from many ways from mammals. For example, mammals breathe air through lungs, feed their young with milk, warm-blooded sharks pass water over gills to breathe, don't have mammary glands, and with exception of mackerel, sharks are cold-blooded. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I guess they, uh... But then there's a question of, why is shark not fish? <laughs> and then <laughs> the answer is, all true sharks are fish. Well, what about false sharks? Yeah, no. not the fake sharks. All well, those lying sharks. Oh, well, we have imposters. This is, is a, a crocodile. We should... A crocodile is a fake shark. Well, what if the shark wrote no, the wiki on this stuff? No, a crocodile is a fake you know? dinosaur. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> That's um, true. What's interesting is that the shark body plan evolved independently three times. So yeah, the shark came first, and then the ichthyosaur came second, and then dolphins decided, yeah, that looks cool. I'm gonna do that too. Mm. It's just, it, and they even have like similar. Um, uh, skin coatings. It's um, it's interesting how convergent evolution works. The only shark that's a mammal is a lone shark. <laughs> oh. 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 Ah. oh wait, did we get? Wait, him... So is that a is that a zero or a one? A negative one, I mean. Negative one, I think, because it's it's just a, it's yeah. a, it's a it's a display of a lack of insight, like an anti insight. Mm. That's where I'm thinking. Where's yeah. he sitting for you, Rags? So this one here is a negative one, or mm -hmm. okay. So that put that puts him at two with a sus. Yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> yep, he started out a lot stronger, but you know, wind's getting more comfy. He's sitting down. He's like, okay. Yeah, uh, I think so. He needs to pedal like, now faster. for my second Wind, trick. Wait, so wind's is at the part where um John Connor, you know, he thinks he escaped the two one yeah. thousand. So when is he gonna <laughs> roll over in the truck? <laughs> when does that? We'll see. What if he gets like three happen? points in a row? That's what that'll be. <laughs> retire. You are too good looking to retire. Vanity. Well, yeah. Yeah, but that's a zero. It's a in zero. the same way that yeah, yeah it's that's a just nothing too... observation. It's not yeah. a flaw. Yeah, wait, it's, it's like not a flaw. Jack... Well, wait, 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 wait. He can. Wait, wait. He has the ability to do flaws and uh, praises in the same it's vein that wins as the chance the yeah. to do the yeah. same. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, um, so is it right? He counted it as a sin, though. He didn't remove Yeah, that's sin. what I mean. He's counting it as it's something wrong with the film. Oh, this gets weird, doesn't it? That's what I'm saying. Like, because we viewed it the same way with cinema wins when he counted something like, that's a win for the film and it was just nothing. We don't, we don't take like point away for that, though, right? Um, I, I think that there were times when it was detrimental. I think we did. Um, there were a couple of instances where, when he considered something a win, like the times when he had something that was weirdly negative that was counted as a win, I remember that those were times when it started to get a bit, uh... Hmm. 
I'm pretty sure there was the time when he said, like, I didn't understand this sentence. Or is it a zero we... because because I because it's like nothing, but he's putting it as a negative. That's what that's what's confusing me right now. I agree it's a nothing, but then he Well, but like by that, I don't think we use this logic because like when he tells a joke and then it adds a sin, we don't say like, well, that's not a sin for the movie. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. Yeah, I guess it's a zero then, isn't it? I think it's a zero. If he had said he's showing a lot of vanity here, which he hasn't been characterized with at all, and then (laughs) then we'd be like, okay, so that's a fucking screw up. (laughs) Oh, well. If it isn't Pussy Boots himself. Talking to someone at a bar without their explicit consent, some people just want to drink cream and be with their own thoughts, Mr. Wolf. Also, Death Wolf. That's a sin. Zero. You, yeah, that, I, I, it's a joke. It's just a okay. shit joke. Shit joke. It's for being yeah, a badass right. character introduction instead of actually good at his job. How do you ever expect to fill your um, Death Harvest quota with all this Pussy Boots? Uh, uh, I think you've transcended the zero into the negative. He's saying that, like, he's doing a bad job when this is on purpose. He almost seems to be slipping into your monologuing yeah. when you're supposed to be doing your villain goals. Like, no, the monologuing is, like, a big the part of his goal. The is the villain yeah. goal. It's yeah, part what, of the what? villain goal. What he was supposed to do was just walk into the bar and silently, you know, slip Puss in Boots' yeah. throat. And... Completely antithetical to his character. Yeah. Yeah, because he said instead negative. of actually good at his job, it's like his job isn't to just end lives. He's no. uh, he, he wants to he know first if, if he's speaking to the person he's looking for. Yep. Yeah. He, he um, loves a small wow. fear. He wants to freak him oh, out. No, Sin's he back down to one. Yeah. He's back down to one. Sin, and he's got a sus. sus. Sin's is fucking himself Uh-oh. over here. <laughs> He's getting too eager. To Wins is laughing. Happy. Wins is cracking out of the champagne. You gotta <laughs> come on, Sin. Production instead of actually good at his job. How do you ever expect to fill your death harvest quota with all this pussy footing around? Why does Puss have eight empties strewn around here when he's the only one in the bar? Just reuse your glass, man. The bartender oh, and the planet um, are begging you. That one what? hurts a little bit. I think that has to hurt because he's he must have yeah. missed what it means. He knows that there are eight empties, but he doesn't acknowledge why they're there. And also, people don't people necessarily do, refill their yeah, shot glass when they this. get another one. You <laughs> don't so... reuse your shot glass when you, yeah. That's a negative so one. Yeah, that's that's a negative one. He's supposed to talk to people at a bar, and then he thinks you're supposed to reuse your shot glasses. What's wrong with him? He's, he's never been the to only a bar. Person in the bar. He's seen them on TV, but he hasn't actually been to one. Yeah, like... Yeah, I think this is a negative one. Negative one. I think this is this is a negative one. Yeah. What are you doing, man? What the hell? Throwing, Wait, throwing it, it all away. Uh, oh, throwing no, it all away. You're at zero and the sus. Oh, sets. boy. Everyone thinks they'll be the one to defeat me. But no one's escaped me yet. But let me guess. Puss in Boots will, not for any logical or earned reasons, what? but because oh, has got to move. Oh, my. What the oh, hell yeah. are you doing? What are you what doing? doing? Negative, negative one. Negative one. It pains negative me to one. say it. Oh That's, my god! It's I collapsing. Think that, that might. That <laughs> I think we we might have we might have skipped uh, we might have skipped past um the the T one thousand driving off. We might be at the part where Arnie blows the fucking thing <laughs> up. This <laughs> meme needs a follow up. Hold up! Don't make it too soon. I know I know it's an upsetting statement, but I still don't think he earns a negative two from this. It's it's a single misunderstanding rather than a like multiple Maybe layered one. one. He's, he's, what he's talking about, I think, is his escape from this scene. He's saying, like, you'll be able to escape him, because he's taking this so literally. Like, okay. Death saying, like, no one escaped me yet, and he's like, and he's going to escape you here because, you know, it won't be logical, but movie's got a movie. When, as we talked about in the Winds one, uh, it's pretty clear Death wants him to escape this room. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think that's, he's misunderstood that there, and that's embarrassing, and that's a negative one. Yep. Do you think I'm it has anything to, to do with him, quote unquote, escaping death at the end of the film? I feel no, like no. I think I think it is. I think it's like Mola said that he has erroneously mistaken Puss escaping in this scene as like plot armor for him. Yeah, of, he thinks uh, yeah, it's but plot he's the main character, so he'll escape. Right. But he doesn't realize that Wolf, the Wolf, like Death, is deliberately allowing him to get away here. Yeah, but yes, okay. Puss in Boots will, not for any logical or earned reasons, but because movies got a movie. I yeah, see, and not, not for any logical or earned reasons. It's like, well, it is logical. It is Death's logic of, I'm going to let him go so I can fuck I mean, with him. He's pretty explicit, even. Oh, yeah. Smell the fear. Yeah, like fear right here. Addictions. The only way... Uh, nothing. Joke. Nothing. Yeah. Hey, it's possible for the moon to well, be this he's, large. He, he, skip, he decided he didn't want to give himself some wins there for, uh, for, for him getting cut. Damn. Yep. Interesting. Uh, not wins, I guess negative sins. You know, you know, that, you know uh, whatever. Joking reference to Moonfall. So it's a zero, I think. Yeah. 
John yeah, Bradley to spell bull yeah. science to Halle Berry and Patrick Wilson again. It's a funeral, so it must be raining, even if that funeral is for your cosplay cliche. Zero? Oh. There's, no, there's nothing there. It's just, yeah, it's it could be there. raining. Just, yeah. So, yeah, zero. Rain. It's real. Mm -hmm. It happens. Ra it rains. It does oh, rain. Outside. It was known rain across the land by many names. The Leche Whisperer. They called him the Milk Whisperer? The f*** does that even mean? Did he whisper the word milk in people's ears? Or pour actual milk in people's ears? I'm gonna be stuck on this for a while. You guys just carry on. I'm gonna have to sh- Zero! Zero. His yeah. voice made mm. people lactate. Oh. True. Or you just had, you had a way with milk, man. You had a way with milk. Even if they were men. <laughs> Show me how a cat would make that pea stick, or I refuse to believe it happened. Uh, you break the stick, but not all the way, and bend yeah. it. And then you break the stick, yeah. and not all the way, and bend it. And then zero. you rest the bottom bit on the notch of the branch. It, it, yeah, I think that's a zero, yeah, because he's not said it's, it's impossible. Zero. He said he wanted to see it, that's all. Yeah, yeah. that's it's fine. Fair. Yeah, You can I want to see it. I told you health department people, there are no cats here! Oh, cool. We're headed into crazy cat lady territory. I cannot wait to see the fresh ways this stereotype is approached for maximum laughter. Well, they do approach it in a way that elicits a good deal of laughter, so, you know. Yeah, is I mean, it's it just being a stereotype a sin? Zero, I guess. Zero. Yeah, it's a zero. He's like, I can't wait to see whatever. <laughs> Scolding a cat for using a human toilet instead of using him to make yourself millions off selling the movie rights to Pickles, the cat who can pee standing up. These one. Zero. I mean, she's not zero, interested in yeah. that at all. So, yeah. if I was to take yeah. that seriously, like it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, I'd rather go. It's just, uh, just a eh, joke. Is it, is it maybe a one? I mean, I, again, he phrased it stupidly, but like, why is she punishing the ca the cat from pissing in the toilet? Because surely that's better than it using a little box. Well, she's not she all there, the and she thinks the cat shouldn't be using the human toilet. Like, I guess so. Yeah, we do see I mean, a few times that she's a yeah. Also, that's where she goes, and yeah, yeah she sees I, I, him cook, and it's like, nope, you. That's not for you. The cat food is for you. Yeah. Okay. Adjust right. Striking a pose that matches your wanted poster. Are you trying to get caught? You're talking. Uh, uh, zero. It's a joke. Zero. zero. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Moving through the movie mostly with with just nothing commentary because <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, that's difficult the to do. It. It. Yeah. He knows it's good, so he knows that he has to make jokes to pad out the time instead of making all these really shit points, you know, talking about cat? how the film is bad. I'm a talking cat. Mm. The movie never fully explores the existential and ethical questions involved in a universe where only some animals display sapience. Nor does it have to. That's our world. No, yeah. Well, no, he says oh, you're yeah. a talking cat as if to say that that's unusual, which is, that's apparently that's a thing in this universe and that's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, we we don't need the do film yeah. to go over what, Toy Story doesn't have to address a lot of things and it doesn't. Well, yeah, until like, they introduce that stupid fork. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm not talking oh, about Toy Story yeah, 4. Exactly. Toy Story. <laughs> and then like, yeah. all the questions about the nature of uh, toy consciousness. That's right. I'm a dog and I talk, but not all dogs talk. So it's like, you know, it's just, that's the way of the world. I don't make the rules. That's just how it is. We can even talk but about he, the He's same saying time. that it's a, it's a bad thing that the film doesn't do it. Like that, that feels like a real one. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can tell when he's being... It. Let me hear his statement. Yeah, I mean, that's just negative. a statement of fact. He, I mean, it's, there's nothing there, really. But he's saying it's bad. That, the, that He's saying that it's it's there's something mm. wrong with the film, that it doesn't explore the ethical questions of a universe. Where some we need more than that for him to be saying it's a hmm. negative to the film. This, to me, feels like a statement of fact. It just be like a... Yeah. Is this... I, I don't know, it could be a peepo sus. Also. Well, he, doesn't, he already has a sus. He doesn't yeah, say that it should do that. He just criticizes... That's what well, I'm saying. He, Statement of yeah, fact. He states, what he said is true. He states that it never does, yeah. But it's nothing. So by giving it a sin, is that the implication that it should do that? My... Well, we already went over this. The sin counter is more so like relevance of the point is complete because we don't... We don't count the jokes as negative one when we probably should if, if if we're going by the logic that he sins the movie and it has to be an accurate fair, sin. Fair. That's fair, yeah. All right. Yeah. Existential and ethical questions involved in a universe where only some animals display sapience. We can even talk at the same time. Had he said, and that makes the film worse, I'd have been like, oh, well, negative one. Eating and talking mm. at the same time. It's over. I mean, it's good joke, zero. but it's just a joke, yeah. yeah oh, no. Want to run my belly? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. That fake laugh kills me every time.
So yeah, rough. like guys, we gotta. You guys need to practice your fake laughs. Did you know that you can, like, I don't know, like you could have, I don't get better fake laughs. Practice. Here, if he's a textbook comic relief sidekick in an animated movie, I love Perito, and I'm taking a sin off. But he is not a textbook comic relief sidekick. That's how he appears at the beginning, but that's not what he ends up doing. Yeah, he's not textbook. Maybe uh, at this point. He... At this point, if he's just complimenting him for the way that he's been portrayed so far, you could argue, I guess, that that would be somewhat accurate. But I still don't think it's worth anything. Yeah, mm. I. It's another zero. It's another. Yeah. But also, textbook comic relief sidekick in an animated movie cliche. So I guess I do care. Sleep zero. There's nothing. I, uh, zero. Uh, I think that's minus one because he isn't that. Yeah. I guess that just he's just appealing to the notion of well he's funny and he's he's along for the oh, ride. So I was actually going to say like, he's shaped by virtue of its existence. He said he's he's like integral to the plot. He's not. But just he is funny saying that he's man. a textbook comic relief, and it's like yeah, he's not textbook, and he's more than a comic. He's more than just comic relief. Yeah, that, so, I think he's. I think Sins mm -hmm. is just straight up wrong here. I think that's yeah, a minus one. He might have fucked up here by saying that. Very dismissive. I think there's something to well. it. He I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what rules are we going with in terms of his assessment sus. of uh, him at the time or him as a whole? Uh, I don't know how much it could be at a time, you know, because he's saying he loves him and it's like, well, you've just met him. Well, you, that he, feels he was like literally citing the, the clip of him rubbing the belly. Is like, I already love this character. Like, the, that was enough. For mm, yeah, sure. Yeah. Hmm. This could be a sus, you know? Which would yeah, just make it negative anyway. And if you've known him, if you've known him for five seconds, and you're saying he's textbook, then you're jumping the gun. Yeah, I think this is a sus. It has to be at least a sus. All right. Which means dog needs to he gets negative two. He gets, he gets, has a sus. Wait, it's, he's, a, he's down a to sus, negative two. Two sus. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. He's down he gets to a negative, negative one. one. Yep. All right. Textbook comic relief sidekick in an animated movie cliche. So I guess I do care. Sleeping with this many cats on top of you and still having lungs that are fully functional. I'm no doctor, but I'm still positive that is not possible. She is sitting upright. Cats yeah. aren't heavy. Cats are not heavy, and she is sitting upright. Yeah. Also, like I can't remember how big her kilos cans at are, most, so usually, I can't quite. On average. You know. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this one. Um, it's it's not a like I. He's he's, he's actually saying he's that saying this is possible, impossible, but I'm pretty sure it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's the, there's well, not I mean, that many is. cats on on top of her. Yeah, oh, people right, in chat he's talking about allergies, but what if she has none? I mean, you oh. figure she has none, considering I that would she has a house with a bajillion cats. Yeah, the cats she, don't have to be on top of her for her to be suffering. If she's allergic to cats, that's it's got to be the weight on her chest. That's got to be what he's. If she's allergic to, to yeah, cats, I, I figure she'd be pressure. sneezing all oh, the time, always. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, oh, it's, this it's, it's a joke. Be like oh. flat out inaccurate, but it no, a... I like how it's just like, well, it's a joke, okay, <laughs> but it could be a joke that has inaccuracies baked into it. Oh, I don't yeah. really care with this just being a zero. It's just like, yeah, fuck that's it, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I'm still mm -hmm. positive that is not possible. Does the growing beard on puss mean that the rest of the cats are shaving every day? I am so very confused about the ramifications of feline facial hair. This well, I think that's uh, accurate. Yeah. Yeah, that, that one was the one that came no up during the Metal does. Forge on mm -hmm. the uh, thing, so it's... Um, does he give a, yeah, he gets a point for that? I think so. I think so? Yeah, I guess yeah. I, uh, I think so. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sneaks one in. I smell like comeback. <laughs> The movie is at least 19% cats like... using the bathroom, mm -hmm. and that is 57% more than I am comfortable with. Also, Zero. So mm -hmm. Mama Luna is smart enough to have a trough for feeding, but couldn't swing for more than one litter box. I don't know how much cats shit, so I guess it works out There's fine. a queue, so... We also only see one. Yeah, there was a queue, remember, where that guy was, that other cat was staring at us. Staring right at him, yeah. <laughs> the, Which I do yeah, not approve general... of. Do not look general... me in the eye when I'm pooping. <laughs> like, yeah, she could probably appealing... stand to get more than one. I think that's one. When yeah, there's like a hundred cats, so I guess he gets one. Yeah, I'm like, a, yeah, general... that's fair. She's if a I bit was of a Mama nutbag? Luna, if I was yeah, Mama general... Luna, then I would. Yeah, I would yeah. have more than one litter box for all these. Someone cats, said she's old. Please tell me a meaning. <laughs> 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 Please tell me.
There's no way this bear created this perfect wolf shadow. That's not why that shadow was seen. That's that's puss. That's his yep. PTSD mm -hmm. essentially. Seeing because remember, when he actually sees the nose, the nose is a bear's nose. This yeah. isn't a joke, by the way. That's not a joke. Wow, he threw in a joke there. But well, the thing about joke. whether or not it's a joke There's is no often, way. like, he's trying to amuse, but he's also pointing things. Like, when, whenever someone yeah, feels his, amused, it's like, it's meme. a joke. This and it's like, well, created. that's not, that don't, I don't care. It's like, there's that's, no way this bear created this perfect wolf shadow. It's like, it didn't. That's not what we're supposed to grab from that, so you're wrong. Yes, because for as much as we have made points about the cinema wins trick, there is the cinema sins trick, which is, oh, it's a meme. Oh, I'm just joking. Oh, that was deliberately inaccurate. And someone said, is P Puss hallucinating? This happens to me. I assume it's happened to you guys. Have you never not been like, wait, what was that? And you look back and you're like, oh, it was just something else. Yeah, okay. that happens. Oh, yeah, you're like, oh, thank goodness it was, it was just a grizzly bear. Puss isn't in a particularly oh, great frame of mind. Uh, yeah, he sees, he sees what he wants to see, or in this case, doesn't want to see. He's fucking terrified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Peter. cognitive distortions are not just exclusive to really full-on hallucinations. They can take all sorts of extremes. I mean, both visual, emotional, you know, auditory, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, it's, they have yeah what, I'm, what I'm saying, it doesn't have to be a hallucination straight up. But um, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, that's missing. He's missed the point of that. Yeah, so exactly. does he? Negative one, I would say. I think all a negative right. one for that one. Yeah. Carry on. Remember, he sees um. He sees uh, death in the trees at one point later on. Yeah, right. he does see him yep. in a variety of things, yeah. There's a rock as well, I think. I've been stopped at a piano! Yeah. Can we switch over to mm. following Mama Luna then? Because I'm way more interested in the piano stuffing story than anything I've seen in this movie so far. Ooh. Uh, excuse me? It's, it's negative, it, negative it's, one. Well, zero, it's isn't it? It's for sure. It's an opinion. Uh, zero, I think. <laughs> Sorry, my friends. That's a zero. He just said he's not it's interested. It's a zero. It, <laughs> it's out of it's 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 line, but it's a zero. It's a zero. It's out of line, but it's a zero. It's out of line. Or, or may I nudge it in favor of a people? Watch sus? yourself. No, no, there, there's <laughs> nothing uh, inaccurate. He's I told you to, he's not interested. <laughs> Watch yourself, to, Shinny. Watch yourself. Uh, I know fine. what I have to do, but I don't know fine. if I have the strength okay. to do it. What kind okay. of people do we use if he's just being a fucking idiot? Oh, we got loads for that. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there one of just people taking a giant shit? I'm but not inclined doing to it that one I quite like. <laughs> um. I love this. I'm learning yeah, all about that, people that, lore. That, that, that one's pretty good rags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's an... I can't believe you just said that, Peepo. It's... <laughs> Oh my god, all of those are. <laughs> we're going back. Everyone, everyone, hold up. We're doing, we're people posting. We're doing people posting. Yeah. <laughs> we're people posting. Let me say we're people posting. Most of these are Pepe's. Well, you know. Wait, there's a difference? Yeah, Peepo yeah. is, is yeah. Pepe's son, as far as I'm concerned, canonically. But you can tell the difference between uh, the, the honk <laughs> is a Peepo, Pepe is the bigger frog. <laughs> That's God, people again. They're so, they are so they're it's such people. versatile, such a versatile cast of characters. Love them, brilliant. <laughs> it does make me wish for custom emojis on every platform known to man, because I feel so limited when I return to regular text messaging. I really do. They capture so much with so little. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> that's a good one, right? Yeah, that's yeah. a really good like one. That one made everyone frown. That's the one. Big frown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one I like. He was like, but, look um, at this guy. Look this, at this guy. I prefer this version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, anyway, back to the video. <laughs> this is us right now. We've all got the torches. I'm sure there are certain things giant, barely flexible clawed appendages are good for. Playing the piano this well is not one of them. He's that good. He's, That's um, how good he is. Isn't he's he? Talented. And and yeah, and it's possible because of the claws, right? He's just he's dexterous. The claws actually, yeah. Well, the I was claws make it possible mean, because yeah, his, is there any reason his claws why he's are not otherwise dexterous? too thick. I guess it's the yeah. idea that like in terms of actually and making it. Yeah, the the problem is that he he grabs things in the movie, so. Well, and if you go yeah. to the the place of like. Well, I don't think any bear I know could do this. Like, yeah, you don't know any talking cats yeah, either. He's a, so he's a magical. He's a magical he's, bear. Yeah, he, I think the film gets <laughs> to get away with this one. Yeah. If we're going to be yeah. extremely autistic, which we have been already, then the <laughs> size of the bear's fingers means that he wouldn't be able to key notes that were too close together. Ah, but uh... I'm going to challenge you on that because the tip 
of the claw would still be quite thin. Yes, but if the claws are like two inches apart from each other, it would, would have to be, twist his fingers. It would be but, difficult but, because he can angle his paws in such a way that the convergence point of the ends of the claws meet close to each other. Hmm. I think that it is because at this point now we've got to open the can of words of how does how does puss grab a sword? With well, his, because his, his he doesn't even fingers. have paws; he has like hands. Like, yeah, they he, have like he, hands in this. Well, yeah, they he, have like he has hands. he has paws that are also hands, though. They do the fun cartoon thing where sometimes they do, they yeah, look like show up like paws sometimes. Yeah. Well, uh, do we which have I, a cartoon which... biologist on board? Well, yeah. I would say like I, said, I would it's, say it's like that me, I believe it's like that Duchess Puff and the Aristocats. I believe that he yes. can play the piano because well, I, I believe see him it. play the piano, and we see his fingers moving around. His giant, his barely claws. flexible claw appendages are good. for They're not barely flexible. Well, is not They're very them. flexible. Dead. That's what I mean. And the way he phrased it, though, I'm willing to give him technique. zero because he said yeah, the way he says it, so I'm I'm sure that they're good meme. for a lot of things, but I don't. But playing yeah. the piano is not one of them. Which technically true, but not necessarily true for this creature. Piano this well is not one of them. Dead. No, no, no. You he... see, the real criticism here would be that without any friction on the piano keys in your claws, it would be very difficult for you to play the piano, right? So yes. that's where the real problem would come in, especially if you're hitting the black keys, the sharps and flats. You're hitting, hitting the black. You have to have a lot of precision if there's no, you know, well, what a talented no, like, bear he is. To... But what a yeah. talented bear he is. That's true. He's had plenty of time to practice. If he was playing the guitar, if his claws, well, because uh, bear claws are not as sharp as uh, cat claws. Wow. Wait, am I, am I totally I mistaken right. on that? Isn't that no, the case? I think you're right. Because they're retractable, that cat claws uh, end up being they really sharp. Yeah. sharp. Uh, bear yeah, claws are always kind of walking why using them to dig and my things, yeah. Except for yeah, cheetahs. Just... They don't have retractable claws. Yeah, because they're designed entirely for speed. In fact, they are so designed for speed that they don't see humans as viable prey. So they're actually either scared of humans or they're really friendly around humans. And there's no recorded deaths to cheetahs in the wild. Which well, is insane. as we know from a previous EFAP, <gasps> cheetahs form social groups like lions do. Meaning, yeah. because we, we talked about this, I think. It was either on a catch-up or on a previous EFAP. I think it was a catch-up. Well, there so you go. Nobody, nobody knows. Just a little, will, uh, just uh, dropping that there. Yeah. Something to come. Oh boy, how exciting! Mm. Did, I can't believe a lot of the animals pop. tonight. You gotta watch yeah, the you... super chat catch-ups for all of the lore. Those, that's good stuff. They we absolutely do. You gotta watch them. Yep, the yeah. nose never lies. That grave would take one of the bears about three seconds to dig up. Why wouldn't they? It's check a grave. It? Show some respect. Well, so he's. You got her saying she's like in disbelief that he's dead, and so he's saying, "Why don't you just take like a couple paws at it and discover if there's a body there or not?" Which um, I'm not sure what I, I think, think about they, that. I want to say that's the point. They trust baby's nose. Yeah, he the said, movie. My nose is like. I think. Me I think. Here. Yeah. I think that's me. good enough yeah. for sure. And also, so. there is an element of you get a little bit of leeway because digging up graves is a lot. Of, a lot of people just wouldn't do that. A little bit fucked up. Yeah, it's kind of like... Yeah, I guess there's also the angle know, of just like, well, if they do find a fucking cat corpse, I don't know, that's just going to be a little bit like... He's like, is it... Is it you, you <laughs> sure? Like, he's like, I'm sure. He's like, yeah, okay. Well, I, yeah, I they, they trust baby. That's the thing. They trust baby's nose. These are One villains? Why would they respect a grave? We talked about villains? how they're not villains. <laughs> we talked about how they're not that. villains. That's a <laughs> sin on you. You get a negative <laughs> one. A <laughs> sin on you. <laughs> a is there sin a on you. Here? Is there objective they're antagonists, here to... not monsters. Also, some people Remember, are appealing to, to the in. fact that they're bears and that bears in real life don't care. <laughs> it's like, what the... They're, they're character... Talk, they're <laughs> talking bears. They're, they're people. Alive. They're yeah. literally going up to the three bears. Mama Bear being, like, concerned about the well-being emotionally of her human <laughs> daughter. And you're like, but they're bears. <laughs> 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 bears oh, can't play piano either. <laughs> True. Sins wins. They're bears. Wait, so hold on. Are they. I forget. Is, is their objective at this point to find Puss in Boots and bring him to. to hire him. They want to hire him for the job. Him. Yeah. But they've already got Kitty. They've already uh, hired her. No, they tried to hire her. She said that she was oh, busy on right. a retreat yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. That's why they want Puss. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, okay. In that now case, they're going to do it themselves anyway. Because they, yeah, they, they just, just well, do it themselves. Baby says he can do the job, and then we see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. 
Um, that grave would take one of the bays about three seconds to go, so why wouldn't they check it? Does that is that just a zero then? Because he's asking a question. It's a zero. Uh, yeah. He's I think not it's wrong. A zero. About three seconds Saved to take by off. the question mark. He's, he's right. asking why. Oh, the question mark. Why wouldn't say, they know? Yeah. Know. Is, this is what I mean. It's complicated. Is the, yeah, because the implication is. Why wouldn't they check when it? You ask no, someone, why wouldn't you do this thing? It's like, well, the implication is you should have done that thing. Mm. Or you must present a reason why you didn't do that thing. But at the same... Uh, be slightly but at the same time, the digging up the grave, which they might not want to do when they've already... We trust baby it's already, they already. Yeah, he said, yeah, he's here. Because my, my nose. And, I know, and also, it's got the big logo above it as well. So, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I think... I'm okay well, with a zero. I'm okay with a zero as well. <laughs> Why wouldn't they check it? No outfit that has been underground soaking up water for this long would look this good. Especially that feather. That... Correct. Yeah, yeah the feather, sure. that's the correct for the fine. feather. Yeah, that's, okay. that is accurate. Yep. <laughs> okay, fine. You in the show. Like but... Ugh, someone's smoking weed downstairs. One Am second. I correct in saying he's back to zero? He is. Yes, correct. Yes. He's at zero right wow. now. Wow. Oh my god. Like he's back to square one, and he's gonna fight wins. He's gotta get to 11. I'm starting to think it's not possible. No, mm. not at this rate. I think that, that... He's gotta... If he has a really good stretch, and <laughs> then he the follows thing. it up with a really good, like, final thing, which I don't he think he normally to... does... No, he doesn't do that. That's a cinema... That's it's, a cinema... Uh, it ain't thing. impossible, but it he's... doesn't look good. He's on zero after 46. I don't think he has a hope. Higher well, than I thought he'd be. Have to see. Like a clump of post-shower armpit hair at best. Puss is climbing this water wheel as if that's a sneaky way in. But this is just terrible castle design. Anyone could use that to easily scale your gates. They don't even have to be a self-obsessed, non-existent Zorro cat. Wait, what was that? What did he say? He's just saying that the He's water wheel setup means castle. that people can very easily break into your castle. Oh, okay. I feel like it's easier for Puss than it would be for a regular person, though. Does that take yeah, away from but... how he's correct on... Uh, yeah, because you can use it to get up there, which means that it kind of negates the, the purpose of the wall. Because um... if it wasn't there, then how would Puss have gotten up there, you know? I mean, I'm sure he could have found a way, or they would have done something else. Oh, for sure, but his main point here seems to be this uh, is terrible castle design. Yeah, which I'd say, in terms of security, it ain't great. So, uh, yeah, he probably gets a point there. Uh, it's not a. It's not a castle. Well, um, it's, it's that's. I would say that's fine. But... That he's, he's fortress, whatever this is. It's, it's clearly um, got like oh, barbed okay. wire and stuff. Yeah, it's a. It's Look, a weakness rag, in your security. Every, yeah. Many, many of these have a certain sort of um, um, expression attached to them of like, yeah, all right, you get a point. <laughs> oh no, no, yeah, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just wondering if it's. You get a point, you okay? Like, you get it. But yeah, we should ask Shad, a fuck, but you're right. ask Shad if it's, it's terrible. I think Shad might what... have a blow a gasket being like, why the fuck is the water wheel at the front? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how familiar. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Definitely um, possible. Yeah, maybe. We're yeah, not I'm castle not experts here on, uh, on EFAB, no. all right? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Not yet. Right, they don't even have to be a self-obsessed, non-existent Zorro cat. Holy shit, those pies are still steaming right out of the oven. How has Horner not melted his plum thumb plum off? This movie is... What's that straight out? Maybe he's, he's, he's just saying it? the pies are very, very hot, so how does that not yeah. hurt Jack? How does that not hurt? He might have a callus at this point. It. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, I mean, it's, per it's a I mean, purple his thumb. thumb. Is, his, his thumb is permanently purple, so, you know. Extremely high yeah. pain threshold, it's possible. Well, also, yeah. like I said, I think, I think it's reasonable anymore. to assume a callus, and under the purple there's, like, hardened skin from the... Like, maybe he's burnt it again yeah. and again and again and again and again, and that's just that. Well, yeah, he's been cool. doing this since he was a kid. Some people highlight a magic thumb. Yeah. I, I... Sure. <laughs> I don't know if we need a magic thumb, but... I feel like it works whether <laughs> yeah. or not it's magic. Um, yeah. So that's... Uh, could just that's be a mutation zero, from say. birth. You don't really need magic for that one. Bit of a nothing yeah, burger, then. Is that yeah. nothing or negative one? Oh, I think it's nothing. Um, I think it's reasonable uh, that at this point he's certainly used to it. Well, well, that's yeah. that's the thing. That would be though. negative one, isn't it? Not four. zero. That would be negative. He's saying oh. it's a flaw oh, that this okay. doesn't well, him. Fair. Yeah, fair negative enough. one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Carry on. Oh, Sydney. <laughs> How has Horner not melted his plum thumb plum off? This movie is being super flippant with its wanted posters. Are all of these characters really wanted by the police? And if so, how f***ing terrible is the Storyland police force that they can't catch any of them? They're not even trying to remain hidden. Jack That's true for Jack, but Jack is... 
I if it's an in-universe wanted poster, I think there's a point because he runs a massive pie enterprise and mm. he's there. Is the he rest, wanted in the location but, where? Well, he's... so the problem is the way the wanted posters are presented. Are they abstract and not necessarily in universe? Because Puss's was, and Paritos was. Well, per mm. Paritos we only see sort of without context. Wanted. During it, yeah, we, we only see that like on a sign somewhere, so but it's still in the world. It so so is Jack by that logic, unwanted. yeah. I'd say the Paritos uh, well, and Jack I mean, like, follow the same no, rules. I, then. I think Paritos, like, it took it looked like it was in an actual environment in the world. The uh, Jack's looks I don't think that makes any difference, background. like, because it, it could still be out of universe and also be in like an environment. Could it also just be a different jurisdiction for wanted posters and but stuff? I, so I still feel like because because Pritos was in a uh, in an environment that was that seemed real to the world, and it was nailed to the environment, so it was physically in that environment. I, the thing mm. is, the more I'm thinking about well, it, I don't even know that we want to interpret Pritos as real because who the fuck put up a unwanted sign for Pritos? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the family yeah, that's true. If they really him. wanted to get rid of them, they would have filled out the bottom tabs. It might just be like a little abstract joke to represent his Hence maybe an my assumption that or his they're all abstract except pusses, or at least we could interpret it oh, Jack that way. real because everyone yeah. knows him and the the guy at the beginning was like, ah, oh, get boots and boots. Well, pusses is, is a real one because we see it in, yeah, in reality. Death, yeah, death, death, death uh, yeah, it's yeah, not it's a cutaway. Cut that's the only well, one that's it... interacted with in story, like directly, as far as I remember. Yes, I think so. Is it possible that like the wanted poster is real in universe and that there is a bounty on Jack's head or whatever, but he's just so powerful that no one has even tried yeah, to go near? To him? an extent, that could that could work too because Maybe. this world is different in a lot of ways. Um, he's might not be like the cops. He's wanted. Yeah, yeah like well, he's wanted in the town. I think there are police. Does, does far far away have a police force of some kind? They have like security. Well, yeah, stuff, we saw they? them on nights. But far, far away is far, oh, far away. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say that. Yeah. Um, uh, it's hard, it's, this is hard to say. Kind of police force. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe they're just more localized, like the guards listening to the, the Baron at the beginning. They're like the police of that town, and they answer to him. So I assume every town has its own. So are we hmm. settling with anything here? Well, uh, we don't have enough information about how the laws and governance work to really determine if um, well, how, how much of it is pretty. Uh, well, yeah, because well, we everyone like like Pusses is real, but a lot of the townspeople and everything like Puss and think he's a hero, like Zoro. But so there's no contradiction there in terms of the people love him, but the you know the leader wants him gone. Maybe so. everyone just really loves pies and they don't want to arrest him because then the pies. Yeah, well, I mean, what's funny yeah, too is that you'll find 22. in yeah. real life you can have like as many as fucking 30 to 50 wanted active, you know, and you don't walk up to that wall of wanted posters and be like, wow, they must be shit at their job. Like, well, it could just be that they all yeah, have that, different reasons for... I'm going with that. You know, and, and the Jack one is the only interesting one because of the fact that he has, he seems to have a HQ, but at least we do get evidence that it's fortressy and he has magical, like, defenses and abilities. Yeah, so who knows oh, how many people have tried to get him that he's killed. Yeah, we might be know? in a position where we just don't have enough information to well, they be even critical say, of this. You know, yeah. Puss even says, like, this is what happens when you cross Jack Horner when the chick gets turned to, to Yeah, gold, exactly. So. Which I guess leaves me in a place of, like, neutral on Which this one. Which leaves me confused. And Pretty much. Not it's it's feeling like a question that I kind yeah. of understand, but at the same time, you don't really have that much information to conclude anyway, other than... Sure, maybe he's wanted, but also he's still out because that's possible, mm -hmm. and he's pretty powerful. Mm. So, and there's also yeah, like know. govern. There are like organizations like the cartel in real life where they've got like such power within the region that they are. So they're technically wanted, but the police can't actually do much to stop them. So there's sure. possibilities there. That's Can't what I was thinking. It. Yeah. Hey, up the so, not even uh, trying to remain hidden. Check it out! I'm walking on a magic carpet. Using a magic carpet as an actual carpet. Also. Zero? Zero? <laughs> well, shouldn't it technically yeah, be a magic zero. rug? If Where's the number for the magical item complaint department? Because I've got words! What's the difference between a rug and a car- well... There probably right, is rug, a difference, I guess. <laughs> carpet. Well, he's, he's using it for the basis of his coming. Alright, rugs tend to be smaller than the room square footage by a lot or a little, and are not affixed to the floor. That's true, like, if a, if a room is carpeted, 
and then you walk in and it's all wood and there's a rug in it, you'd be like, wait, you said well, it's carpeted. Do they say uh, do they say carpet in this film, or is he just going off the fact that it's the magic carpet? Oh, maybe, she does say yeah, carpet. Maybe it yeah, maybe okay. from... yeah. uh, They have different like if I wa if I walk into a room that had a rug and you had told me it was a carpet room, if it was a carpet, then I would be like, I've been bamboozled. And yeah, I get I get it. If... The, the observation of just I think in all of our heads we don't um, associate. Because carpet, you think of it's it's the flooring for the whole room, rugs. Yeah, it's and like stuff. attached I get it. to the flooring in particular. But I don't know. Is that the, a regional um, thing? It could be. That's, uh, well, uh, and... No, just it, it's just in the room. Oh Not god, damn it. <laughs> but I think that. Uh, I mean, is that different where where you're from? Are are rugs and carpets different? Because they are I'm... over here. I'm having that moment where I'm like, wait. Have I? Uh, does that happen or does it not? The I think over here you can call what you guys would say is a rug a carpet, and that's chill. But then also the carpet on the full floor is the carpet. You know what I mean? But like the context of the sentences never make it confusing. When you say like um, you move the carpet over there, nobody's thinking move the whole room's flooring. You know what I mean? But people, I get yeah. But it's a matter of like, would you even say move the carpet because that's almost like a a nonsensical request to begin with. What I'm what I'm saying is yes, you'd... and the it's it's but it, even though we have the option for a word that would be have more clarity, that is just something that is said over here uh, at least. Hmm. Yeah, my understanding is like all rugs are carpets, but not all carpets are rugs. Oh yeah, I understand oh, the difference and the value of the words. I'm just saying that I think uh, at least in the Wales, uh, a lot of people refer to what you would call rugs as carpets. It's... All right. Yeah, this we're is more a bit of a... a carpet here. Now, I don't know if this changes anything, but in Aladdin, Genie does look at the viewer and say, look at me, I'm talking to a rug. Huh. That's so... true, but then it is also referred to as the magic carpet, so does that mean that it is it's just interchangeable? Are they interchangeable, or was it just uh, <laughs> a, a, an amusing yet not accurate joke that Genie made? This is mega autism. <laughs> it's what people are here for. But that is what we do. We do have a reputation to keep. Um, exactly. Okay. Because um, his his comment here, his sin relies on it being Perfect. one and not also the other. Because um. he's not asking, would it be a rug or a carpet? He's saying, shouldn't it be this? So... Does I mean, that the mean real gets a point? Are the nails are tripping hazards, but uh logging on a magic carpet. Using a magic carpet as an actual carpet. Also, should it technically be a magic rug? Where's the number for the magical item complaint department? Because shouldn't it be? Well, basically, it is a rug. I mean, if I, I if think, I I think at it's that, a plus one. I guess. I think I think I'm leaning that way. Given well, that what's, what's amusing is someone could now roll no one out says the a whole... rugged room. They say a carpeted room. What's funny is someone could roll out the whole it's a joke, so it's nothing or something. But I'd be like, well, but but what he's saying here is true. Is See, it, it, what I'm trying zero. to say is that well, yeah, we, we because... treat we treat the jokes equally on both criticism and praise. Well, yeah, or, if you know? if the joke was shouldn't it be a beehive, we'd be like, what? No, no, it, it shouldn't be a beehive. Why would you even say that? Yeah, wrong. So. Are we relying on mm. what it's referred to as in Aladdin to decide on whether or not this is accurate? I just throwing that out there, and wherever it lands, it <laughs> lands. But, well, we maybe shall we shall we you call it a people glad? People, <laughs> it would be our this yeah. The, I'm yeah. fine with that. I think it's a reasonable comment. I'm inclined to agree with it. Okay, yeah, I people glad. I'm I'm okay with that. All right, all right. People, glad speak now or forever hold your peace. Too late, no back. Got, got words. Because <laughs> I'm a little boy, no strings attached. Thank you, thank you. 2023 really was the year of Pinocchio, huh? If it weren't for Guillermo del Toro, this five seconds would have been the best Pinocchio movie of the year. Also, oh, why did what do you mean? Oh, that? why? Oh, if it wasn't for this five seconds. What, was he's it? saying that if this didn't exist, wait, wait, sorry. He's a, he's he's a, a, he's a, a, now I'm confused. 
Okay, I can explain it. I don't, I don't know why this is tough. He's saying that Puss in Boots The Last Wish is better than Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio and that they both count as Pinocchio movies because Pinocchio appears in both of them. Oh, wait, no, that, okay. Wait, Him on, considering wait. this a Pinocchio movie, yeah, is... I want to see the text again. I, I, I want to see the... Oh, sorry, he's really saying the, Pinocchio, huh? the, the yeah, Guillermo del Toro is the best. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, appealing okay. to the fact that the Disney... But I don't, he's saying I don't that think that's film, controversial. That film, no, he's saying... No, wait, hold on. He's saying, um, he's saying that if Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio didn't exist, by default, this would be the best Pinocchio movie. Oh, because there's the other, there's the other one. Yeah, the Disney crazy one. cringe yeah. one. Yeah, well, yeah, there's right. more than yeah, the, yeah. it's not just the Disney one. There was that weird, badly animated yeah, one. Yeah, that's well. what we're saying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah, the Disney was, one. Was, Fuck. Yeah, yeah. You're right. He's saying this five seconds I, is two better of them. than the other one. Crazy yeah, which, blocked out two of them. Yeah. But this is still zero. Yeah, it's zero. Yeah, it's a zero. It's fun. It's a fun joke. Yeah. Pinocchio, yeah. huh? If it weren't for Guillermo del Toro, this five seconds would have been the best Pinocchio movie of the year. Also, if Pinocchio is singing about being a real boy while he clearly is not, why isn't his nose growing? The movie doesn't even know how to Pinocchio correctly. That is true. Damn. Oh. Because I'm a real <laughs> Oh, shit, he's right. <laughs> Wait a second. Does it count as lying if you're singing a song? Yeah. What if it's a metaphor? How does no, the, because he's performing to a crowd of people this song that yeah, because it's almost well, a sense a like second. acting, right? Like if you said I am Macbeth, it wouldn't be like you you're a liar, but, you, you, you know. You said but a bad in the, word more. In like all of the other depictions cursed. of Pinocchio, when he's performing, he doesn't say I'm a real boy. They say I'm a talking magical puppet. What well, if yeah, he but, said but I'm a real singing. boy in Minecraft? I don't think that the singing subverts the magic because then you could just sing a lie and it wouldn't count. Well, uh, Which. I feel is uh, not going to be how the rules work at all. I think it would be. I think that it's the spirit, so. not the, the literal words, okay. obviously. Yeah, like you... Uh, is it obvious? Yeah, because what if he didn't know what words meant? Well, that might be part of the curse. Why would it... So if he was to say, I am a glorf, and then his nose grows, he goes, <laughs> I guess a glorf is not counted as what I am. That doesn't make any fucking I mean, sense. No, like, it, it might. It, is he a glorf? He's not I a glorf. So. Are you trolling? So his nose would grow. Because that's a, a lie, right? I, I don't know if you're fucking with me or not. I, I, why? <laughs> if, he sa if he said, I am a glorf, you're saying that it would I'm saying grow. that in universe, if glorf had a definition of a long crocodile, then I guess his nose grows, but he didn't even know the definition of it. He didn't even know if he was lying, and lying requires intent. I agree. How does it lying work with metaphors. I now I agree with you there. This is a nature of how the curse works. Do we know if that's how the curse works? Since it's expression of lie, I I would assume so. I don't. I I just can't imagine that he would. Well, do we have any examples over... to work with of? Ooh. Well, things so, that Pinocchio here's said, a question. So if Pinocchio down? decided to just sing a song that had no bearing on his life whatsoever and included statements of, like, I don't know, affection or... Well, yeah, I'm like a, a, a young anything, girl moving through a big city a... and I can't deal with all the just, pressure. Yeah. You just know it's yeah, yeah, no zero. Yeah, 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 I, I, I can go with that. That I'll, 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 uh, I'll go with that, yeah. Given that I'm, the song is about him, I think fear, that it, it should be, his nose should be growing. Yeah, because Pinocchio knows that he's not a real boy. Yeah, but it's a song. He's singing lyrics. He's performing. Yeah, but it's, it's about himself. Yeah, but the song is about himself. I don't buy that that, that would make a, a difference. It, it's but the magic puppet if, show, though. But then you could just make a the, then you could just make a song about yourself that includes the lie and sing it to yes. subvert the curse. Yes. Maybe that. But is what how if it real works. is not being defined as biological? But I think but that the the, um, I, the nature I of lying would I, still uh, subvert that, being that if he was intentionally writing it just to lie, then he's lying. If he's singing a song written by Geppetto, then he's just singing a song. It is metaphorical in terms of he's a real boy in a metaphorical sense. Yeah. He's like Blade Runner. Um... <laughs> oh. you know, another way to say it got Now I'm just screens. imagining Pinocchio was wrong. <laughs> I feel like he knows what he's doing. I think even if Geppetto wrote the song and he's doing it, he's performing this and he knows he's not a real boy. And I, I think it's less likely that he wouldn't consider this some form of like he, I think he knows that this one is not. I think that's a bridge too far. Why the Pinocchio conspiracy deepens? 
because he knows that he's not real. He's choosing to sing it, and he's using it like dancing, and he's using it for personal gain. He's got he to sing this true. for the performance, and then they they paid for it. I don't I don't think that's fair at all. That it would be considered an intentionality of lying on on Pinocchio's part that he's performing in this, as opposed to abstaining out of protest that he's not a real boy. So he'd so, have to sing the real boy song knowing that he isn't a real boy, but doing it anyway because... This, he's performing. This is a stage performance. I don't understand, like, would you equally apply it to any and all songs that have anything that could be interpreted as a lie? No, no, but I think this one, because it's specifically, like, contextualized to this and him and what he's doing when he knows it isn't true... Molo. I don't know if that's the. I don't know if that it, it's under the same umbrella. Is is there any difference in terms of intent, as far as you're concerned, between him singing this "I'm a real boy" thing and him singing like "I'm a Barbie girl" or something? Is there any difference there? The significance of the distance between how relatable it would be for him, I suppose, but I don't know that it would undo the fact that this is something that he has to do, or at least we, as far as we're aware. All right, let's see. In the movie, Pinocchio's song, he's I've got no strings to hold me down to make me fret or make me frown. And that is true. But that that is true, and his nose doesn't grow. So maybe that establishes... So, so that's the truth, and nose doesn't grow. Is there... Let me look up the lyrics for the song, and maybe that'll give us, like, a, um, Pinocchio a song lyrics. I don't know what it's fucking called. I've got no strings. Okay. I've got no strings to hold me down, to make me fret or make me frown. I had strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings on me. Hi-ho, the Mario. That's the only way to be. I want the world to know nothing ever worries me. Well, that's a Is lie. That that's a lie, but his nose doesn't grow. Hmm... I've got no strings, so I have fun. I'm not tied up to anyone. They've got strings, but you can see there are no strings on me. If you have no strings, mm. your arms is free to love me. No, that's a Dutch puppet. French puppet, Russian puppet, <laughs> Pinocchio. There are no strings on me. All right, so yeah, the nothing ever worries me. No, it's I want the world to know nothing ever worries me. Which actually changes the context. Because knowledge is a justified true belief, which a crowd could reasonably say that they know that they that they know that nothing ever worries Pinocchio, and Pinocchio wants them to know that. So if Pinocchio really wants the world to know nothing ever worries him, then technically that is not a deception. But so he's not lying, he wants everyone lying. to know a lie. I want the world to That seems to, like another subversion is, of the curse. I know, that's why I'm kind of Oh, fuck you, Cinema Sins. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it poll time? I, I don't know. I feel I don't know. like... I'm... Okay, so is he trying to convince the crowd that he is a real boy? I think if I we're think, back to uh, the spirit and intentionality of his current being, then we have to assume whenever we see his nose not okay. grow while performing, that he is not trying Magic. to convince anybody of a lie. He's simply performing so a song. So consider... Consider that he is being marketed as Magic Puppet. So, I think that his nose should not grow, because here, he is being, the whole point is he's a Magic Puppet, and he's saying I'm a real boy, but I don't think that he intends to actually deceive people into thinking that, and it's understood that, of course, he isn't a real boy, but he's like a real boy in the fact that he's animated, and he is a puppet, because those are the big words over the top of him. So, I think in that exactly. sense... I disagree with Cinema Sins and his nose should not grow when he says it in this context. There you go. If he we was lying to it. someone to try and convince them that he was a real boy, is someone like, are you a puppet? And he's like, no, 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 I'm a real... No, because at the beginning of Shrek, he says I'm a real boy and his nose grows. <laughs> I can't wait this, to we see have this the on Shrek the reference. Channel. Well, but that... Remind me, that's not singing, right? That's, he says it. But he was he was saying it, but I don't think but I no, think so the song would give because if he's using the song in this context to deceive either well either way it's it's either way it's a matter of the deception element. The song has left the I think the song has sort of left the equation and we can just focus we don't have to broaden it out to that point. It's just the deception of the message or not. I think the performance think, does lend something to his Well that's why intentions. He's, 
Yeah, that's why he's okay here. That's why here his nose wouldn't grow. But earlier when he said the same thing, you know, I'm a real boy, to the guard, he was doing it in order to deceive something else. However, no, I, no, no, that's it. I think well, it's it. Yeah, I think well, Cinema Sins is wrong. Well, hold on. It could have been in the case, we're going to go back to the first Shrek movie. It could have been that he was saying that I, I'm not a puppet, I'm a real boy, because he actually believed that he was. I don't think he can be deluded into thinking he's a real boy. I mean, I, I guess I hate to say he this, could be, but, but here, uh, I don't know. It, it, here, he can't. That happens he, in well, I don't, I don't want to crack open a huge conversation because, like, obviously, the definition of real boy is complicated. <laughs> um, that is true. Yeah, that's if he what believes I've been that it's the, say, a real that it could boy, be a is. metaphor. But what if he was knowing his per if he had a definition of real boy that didn't conform to what he understood everyone else to understand by that and he said it anyway would that count as him being deceptive when he knows that even though he believes it to be true that other people would get a different impression based on what he said and he's counting on that would that still count you know what we need to <laughs> stop this right now that's a lot we to need think to, about we need to quit <laughs> I think that CinemaSins is incorrect here. I think we lack I the full context to say his nose should be growing here. Yes. I'm happy to settle on that because there's so much about it we don't know. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. I I'm think so. Would fair. this be a negative one? <laughs> I think negative one is where we're settled at because he is making an affirmative statement when it should be taken in an agnostic position as to the position and length of... Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's a direct criticism of the movie. Yeah. So, yeah. Negative one. Yeah, he loses a point. All right. I think that Carrying on. Alone. Where's he sitting? Is it... Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. Is, is, is he on zero or negative one? He's on negative one right now. Oh, I was wow. someone in the chat. Rags laid out his logic perfectly just to ignore it at the recollection of Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> As is most things in life. That's what Shrek, Shrek does. Well. Shrek is life. Shrek has the answers. No, Shrek does things to you, to your critical processes that just <laughs> absorbs you. Also, anybody oh. saying it's a joke, you don't get that excuse here. No escape hatches, sorry. They're all oh. locked up. Also, what yeah. we said was a joke. Busy. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool reveal, but what's the scenario in which she's been in there this whole time? So she would have been trying to get it, she got real close, and then she had to, you know, hide in there because she ran out of time and got real close. Like, there's plenty of different specific ways it could happen. And also, yeah. just to tell a thing in chat real quick about him being a legit lie, um, I don't think that the nature of the, of the curse is such that if he was to meet someone and say, oh, I'm over the moon to see you, that the, the idiom of him being over the moon would make his nose grow because he wasn't actually in a position above the moon. Rags, you already said right. we should stop. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. Back to case off Wait, pause. Rags, does it not depend on which here. moon? That Well, the moon, I think, would be referencing Luna, our, our moon, which is the moon. I think that technically the name of the moon is the moon. So, yeah. Pinocchio. If, if, you're on, if you're on a planet and you only have one natural satellite and you call and you, and you say the moon, I think that unless you're specifically referring to a different moon, which uh, I doubt you would be, no, 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 This is madness. This is madness. Uh, if, if, if he was on weep? Mars and he said, I'm over the moon, it would be like it does not compute and he would explode or something. Well, like, we haven't even one? talked about, like, the paradox of him which saying, which one? So, <laughs> Wait, it's, hold there on, are no, it's, questions. You can't be over the moon because there's no directionality in space. I know, it, it would, it would be like, you'd have to need some sort of a reference point, and that would depend on Pinocchio's state of mind when he said that. But his state of mind would obviously be that he's just using a common idiom to explain how happy he is, right? I'm over the we rebel moon. <laughs> no. Oh no! <laughs> Listen, I, I'm over the rebel moon. I'm fucking over I'm it. Over it. All right, yeah. it's I'm coming done. back. It's coming All back right. for us. Uh, yeah, no, two. Part two. two. Part two's coming back. That's different. That would be great. Uh, that is rebel moon rags. Rebel moon part two. Rebel moon. The scar giver. She... Yes, the scar giver. <laughs> no. You arrive to the home of the oh, person the wolf she is the bad blood with to make her move. This seems mm -hmm. like uh, she didn't even want to come out yet. She had to come out because it was opened. Yep, because, yeah, because it was, uh, yeah. They tried to hire me. Uh, so that's negative one, I think, right? Um, I think so. He's saying that, like, I... what scenario could possibly lead to this, and why would she wait this long to jump out, when I don't know that we have any reason to think that she didn't, th like, she, she wasn't, I don't know what you're, when you're inside that, and you're getting rumbling around, you're hearing voices, it's hard to know exactly when you should jump out, 
and it looks like she hung on for so long that it was until it got opened by someone else. It was locked as well. From mm. I don't know if you and can unlock it from the outside, from inside. The I don't know. Inside, but even then, you know, while it's being held by two people, because she doesn't have uh, claws, she has a knife, but I don't know if that would be good enough. And she can't get her sword out in there. I don't mm. think. That's true. Yeah, I think that might be a negative one. I think it is. All right, negative one. Carry on. In fact, you could have. It could have been a kind of cool observation. You could say she might have been trapped in there because of the fact that she didn't have claws to lockpick. Yep. Mexico. That makes you oh. plan B. <gasps> Aha! There it is! Wait, but three of them have been in the same room as this conversation the whole time? How have none of them seen or heard this inane ego battle that's been going on for all the some time? Well, if you notice, he said, Aha! So that probably, like, up to that point, they were, he was speaking, you know, yep. lower. Or not much at all. It looked like he was searching for uh, Midas' hand through a bunch of things. So there may not have been any talking. Just like, wait, and then... Search, search, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that another negative one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I didn't think I was aiming too high. How did when he I put phrase two... it? Let's have a little. Look. Well, he said, How have none of them seen or heard this inane ego battle has been going on for some time? I assume that they're distracted talking to Jack, who's obviously a pretty compelling presence. So oh, sorry, he's asking how the people on the other side of the room haven't heard Puss and... Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I never even entertained that. I thought they were way too quiet to be heard. Oh, yeah, I, I assume so, too. Yeah, they were, they're, they're focused on each other. Obviously, Big Jack and all of this stuff. Conversation, the whole... nerding out about the goodies and things. Time? How have none of them... Yeah, let me just hear him again in the cutscene part of it. That makes you plan B. <gasps> Aha! It is. Wait, but three of them have been in the... Yeah, I think that's just it's just far enough away that they're busy enough and that they the just didn't alert them. I think that's fine. Yeah, fair enough. And also, we were a lot closer to their conversation as a viewer yeah. than those three were, so it would be a lot quieter mm -hmm. for them as well. Um, But I'm, I'm almost at the point of saying it's, it's a reasonable observation. Almost like don't want to take a point away for it. Well, he does have a people glad. Are you saying we take the people glad away? I'm saying in, if if you feel strong enough to take a point away, but not that strong enough, we could nullify it by taking away the people glad. I'm just saying that's an option. Mm -hmm. I think well, it's... Does the nullification think, mean a people are sus? That that's what would be given him? It depends, because ultimately, giving him a... By the introduction of the people sus and people glad system is such that we are now given an extra metric between the numbers by which to... Val <laughs> by which by by which to value how much these you know points can be distributed for instance if it's barely a nudge then we can just take the people glad away but if it's a points worth of nudge then we could say all right let's flip it and turn that into a people sus right so you got some options here so it really just depends on how you feel I'm going to watch what he showed us again. ...scenario in which she's been in there this whole time. And why would she wait until she arrived to the home of the person she has bad blood with to make her move? They tried to hire me two weeks ago. That makes you plan B. <gasps> Aha! There it is! Wait, but three of them have... Because someone else said as well, the, same... the, the two sisters are facing them. I don't know if that counts as facing them. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy it. I think they, they're focused totally on Jack and yeah. his uh, magical Especially devices. when they're about to receive the biggest payment they've likely had in their whole lives. Yep. Oh yeah, the blinders are fairly on and firmly on at this point. So are we I, removing people I, glad? I'm okay with that. To. I'm fine with removing people glad. I do, however, need to use the loo, so I'll be right back. You can carry on if you wish. <laughs> Reject the people verse. <laughs> I mean, they could have framed it slightly differently and have the two sisters be like closer to him with their backs to the. Uh, it could be more chest. airtight for sure, which is why I'm I'm, yeah. I'm sort of inviting anyone to say it should be a zero if if anyone feels that way. Hmm. I'm okay with just the the people are, <laughs> the people are glad, just you know going home. All right. I don't really have strong feelings on it. Very well room is this conversation the whole time? How have none of them seen or heard this inane ego battle that's been going on for all the some time? Please mock me quietly. Says the guy whose feather is completely visible to anyone in the room. Well, sound is different than visual, but also just, uh, I've, that, that may even been forgotten by him. Um, I don't know if that's more so a joke. Oh, that he's... 
Like, um, he, I mean, I guess it's an interesting observation in that if somebody looked over, they'd see the feather. It's not True. like, um, it's it would be a strange visual for sure. But um, yeah, you might you might just miss it by looking over. Uh, what are we? Mm. He says, "says the guy whose feather is completely visible to anyone in the room." Does that? Is that, a, is that so a, that comes off as a character criticism of puss in that moment yeah. when really I think it's easy enough to forget that detail of your costume when you're wearing that hat all the time. Hmm. Like, is, are we saying that's what the criticism is that uh, puss should be aware of the feather? Yeah, because yeah, he's saying he's saying we need to be quiet while being very quote unquote obvious because of the visually feather loud. Hat. Yeah, he's being visibly loud. Yeah. Well, um, what does everyone think? Uh, maybe, maybe we'd give him that one. I think that's a plus one. Yeah. Very well. Because also what Sins is saying here is that the feather is visible, not that the sisters should see it. Which, is, which mm. makes this point different to his previous one. I am convinced. Feather is completely visible to anyone in the room. Would you stop talking about blooming pies? Focus! <laughs> I'm sorry, but every one of those little pusions was dead long before she broke that glass. Unless they somehow vacuumed inertia out of that bottle. The best. Oh, she means because like she was moving it all around anyway. Swinging them around. Yeah, shaking it. Um, I guess that would. I can't believe like like the the absurdity that we're at of him basically criticizing is like all those little creatures that screamed for the joke. That wouldn't be possible because they would have been dead already from him moving them around. So. It's just like, well, uh, I guess well, what he's are right. Those, okay. What are those creatures? Have we seen them before? I, I don't no know. No clue. Well, no clue in terms and are of... Are they um, even dead? They might be screaming. It doesn't mean they're dead. Maybe they're... I don't know. But I mean, I... I well, no, he's saying they shouldn't be able those. to scream because they should be dead. Yeah. I mean, they're probably just people. Regular people, but small, so... Yeah, so how does the square yeah, cube okay. law apply when you are shrunk to that size? Do you have longer yeah. fall damage or something? You, you take a lot less, which is why like spiders can fall off skyscrapers without yeah, giving a shit. So, so they're not dead then. Because they don't they're not gonna have any mass if they're inside that bottle. Yeah. Well, I mean well, the, you know, they will, but it'll be it'll be <laughs> tiny. So smaller mass. Yeah. Um <laughs> this, I feel <laughs> like this is something this is like the Pinocchio thing. I think we could get stuck on this for half an hour. <laughs> Uh, I, I guess we don't know oh. enough about their existence or their magic or their physics. It's um, is yeah. there room enough to say that they may very well have not only survived the initial, you know, thingy around it, but screaming doesn't mean they've now died no, from that fall. They could still be alive. Yeah, I mean, the screaming just yeah. means that oh, holy shit, this is happening, and I'm scared. Like, obviously, they would be. It doesn't mean they're going to die. Mm. And so that's like no, a zero then, higher. or that would be. I think zero. Well, yeah. Hmm. We need a custom GPT just to figure this out. Or to be negative one because he's assumed something that we don't have the context for. Hmm. Might be. I'm sorry, but every one of those little pusions was dead long before she broke that glass. Unless they somehow vacuumed inertia out of that bottle. The best thief has won. Uh, true. Well. You missed the conversation, Rags. Oh, yeah, I just sat down. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah. I guess I did, because I just sat down. What is uh, What was the conversation? Square cube law, so you would have less mass, and so you would take less damage um, from falling and stuff like that. Also, beings, we don't have enough context for what exactly affects them in what ways. The... Oh, yeah, it's the Lilliputians. Yeah, bottle may you well be magical. You know the story, the Gulliver's Travels. That's not one of the... <laughs> I don't know the context of this movie. I don't know that we can base it on another movie. Uh, or story, whatever. I, I, I think he's. Yeah, I think he's accurate. I don't think we have any. They're they're not magical. They're just small. Um, and they're they're specifically referred to as the Lilliputians, uh, not just little people or pygmies or pixies. So, I think it's reasonable for us to assume that they abide by, uh, the the rules that the Lilliputians have in Gulliver's Travels. Then you can't base Goldilocks on another story. That's the thing. We don't. We we take what they establish as true in this. If Goldilocks did something in this that was Which, at odds with something in her own story, then we would take this over her own story. Yeah, but as far as we know, I, it seems weird that they are completely stuck to the ship inside of the bottle, and she can wave it around, and they don't. 
they, even if they even assuming that they're in, uninjured by it, you'd still see them bouncing around in there. Um, oh yeah, that that one's uh, probably accurate because they would. Be yeah, bouncing I think around. that's accurate. But, uh, they wouldn't be dead. Now they sorry, fall out. Every one of those little fusions was dead so, long yeah. before she broke that mm. glass, unless they somehow vacuumed inertia out of that bottle. It I think this is accurate. All, yeah. I think it's a. Yeah, I think it's a point. Yeah, like how were they stuck to the side of the bottle and, yeah. Uh, isn't the criticism that they should be dead? The, he, that's the thing. He said, he said they should all be dead, but they're not even. But I'm not. I don't agree that they should all be dead. There would probably be some survivors. However, however, I think, I think the spirit of it is not to be overly generous but i think the spirit of it is that they're completely stuck and fastened to the deck of the ship which um, is strange um in terms of does that not highlight there's something maybe about the bottle yeah i think is uh, given that sins is trying to say that all of them should be dead and like without being pedantic we can't know that all of them should be dead because we've got mythical species of of some things that we don't really know anything about we've got probably magic bottle and we've got inertia laws of if if there was a building that collapsed right and someone said everyone in there should be dead like if they were amazed someone survived and they said everyone in there should be dead like the spirit is like the i think the spirit is essentially there that so yeah but the I mean, problem I, I is i think this the, it is really strange that the, the the ship and the people aren't moving at all until she smashes the bottle open, which, instead of being treated, which I think is the difference between almost good faith and bad faith interpretation, we should probably take that as rule setting as opposed to contradictory. Like, for as long as the bottle was not opened, they were safe. That could well be the case, Unless because yeah, a magic a... bottle... Well, I don't want to know. Ships, ship in a, ships in a bottle are a thing. So putting the Lilliputians in a ship in the bottle on a ship that would match their scale. There are many scale. things that are a thing, but then also like a twinge of magic. And this is the magic place, the magic room with all kinds of magic things. I don't know that we can rule it out. Um, I'm. I'm late for. If I saw the bottle, I wouldn't, I would not grab it and wave it around if I saw them inside. I think there would be no level of assumption that there must be something magical that would keep them safe if I did that. That doesn't change anything. So, I don't, I'm trying to think, is there any else, is there anything else in this thing that he collects that isn't magical? Wait, he wants to control all magic. So if everything else in this place is magical in nature, then the, he would have no reason for collecting this bunch of Lilliputians if there wasn't some magical element to it, I suppose. Because he wants to control magic. So I think by that logic, I could say it's inconclusive. And he does say, I think, I think um, that nudges me. The, the he like leaves the window open for it potentially having an explanation. I don't know if that would include some form of magic by saying vacuumed inertia out of the bottle, but um, because he's accounting for the fact that the the bottle is broken before we see what happens to them, and that that could mean a lot. So I I'm more than happy to settle on zero because we just have so again it's kind of a problem. I'll of, settle. Yeah, I think I'll zero. Settle on zero. I think I'm leaning mm -hmm. towards this being a fine point, but I, I'll settle on zero. There's too much we don't know. Class, unless they somehow vacuumed inertia out of that bottle. The best thief has won. Premature celebration. This. Zero, I guess. It's zero. Cause yeah, it, zero. I mean, it yeah. wasn't premature celebration, but that's just uh, describing what he did. Idiot. Taking the time to say this, but not moving out of the way. F yeah, she yeah. screwed up the... But I don't know that it's enough to be a character flaw or anything. I'm not even sure if that's what he's saying. I mean, he yeah, gave it a little... sin, so I get confused when he gives it That's hence sin. the <laughs> fucking problem with cinema <laughs> sins. <laughs> Taking the time to say this, but not moving out of the way. Finally! You need therapy! Accusing someone else of needing therapy as if it's... Wait, what are we doing?
for that point, are we? I think that we can't. I don't think we can know. It's so difficult that I just I'm gunning for zero. I don't know if anyone else feels different. I think I'm zero, zero, yeah, because we're not sure. We don't see her expression, so we don't know if she's, you know, exasperated or like super curious or a bit terrified. I don't know. The yeah. thing I'd say is, is like, I don't know, he's fucking. He moves pretty fast. Well, and it, like, is, guess, it is a cartwheeling yeah, cat with pies like... on his feet. That's it. it, it like you can yeah. argue someone easily is distracted by just the the marveling at whatever the fuck that is. It's an image. See this? Uh, I mean, I'm leaning towards one for that because I think it is an accurate observation, and I think that the character easily could have. If well, that was part of my problem, though, is I don't even know that, like, he's, is, it, one, you could, you could point this out as both a criticism of a character and that it's in line with a character. I don't know yet. I don't know what he thinks. There would have to, yeah, because the way that, I mean, she's obviously fast enough to do it. It's, is it reasonable that she didn't do it? Well, Sin said that she uh, had the time to kind of stand there and go, oh, Puss in Boots, you're an idiot, but didn't move. That is the criticism, not the fact that she didn't move on its own. I don't think that what I'm trying to point out is that he doesn't have the context of the criticism. This is saying what happened. No, well, I mean, obviously the implication is that was stupid and dumb and bad yeah. writing. That's what I, do, I, that's I don't know that we've been that fair to the uh, to wins when he makes hmm. a statement. We don't say like he's obviously saying that this is a compliment to the script that matches this or something we usually just say like no it's too descriptive i feel like this one is way more apparent this is obviously saying what she did was stupid and that's bad writing it's implicit based on the fact that it's a sin but i do see there's what you no mean, reason Roller, i'm not say this, sure there's, there's a reason to move out of the way is obviously the point that he's making like i said you could contextualize this as in character because of the fact that she's so ready and willing to make fun of him and oh, okay, his, like, sure, but, his mistakes I mean, but... Yeah, I mean, you could you could go down that angle, but like, what this is a criticism that he's like. I don't think they, we, that's they don't what interrupt saying, each other. It? I don't think that her saying that and not moving out of the way. I don't think those two things are in conflict. She could do both. Right, that's pretty much where I'm at. Saying, yeah, and then his criticism would be, his criticism would be, yeah, she should have moved. This was stupid and bad writing. Yeah, but that's I still feel saying. like that's that's way more explicit than what he said. I, I don't know about that. I feel like this is pretty. Okay, that what I just said like, is just true. Uh yeah. I mean, I've said more than he said, but like, I mean, like, what what is the more likely read than what I've just said? We don't usually go by likely. I don't. We didn't do this for wins. Um. Remember, uh, remember every time I read into like what he was saying, true. it was like, yeah, yeah, but that's not fair. You're not. You didn't say these words. Is it? Yeah, that's true. Um. Do we have to like how how far deep into it do we need to read? Like if this was uh, that Puss in Boots was all uh, Jack was standing there and pointing a gun at um, Kitty and she just kind of stood there and took it and that is all Sin said. Are we allowed? Are we allowed to? Should we sort of infer? That I just want to apply that she the same uh, to to wins to be fair to wins. And so what is missing here is him saying taking the time to say this but not moving out of the way when she's characterized as being not only fast but observant and obviously uh, there's a there's a high stakes situation. So there's no reason for it to do like if that's how he did it all. I probably give him even a point. But the thing is, I still think there are defenses of this happening. But the fact is, all he said is taking the time to say this but not moving out of the way. It's like, yep, that's what happened. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Uh, I guess it's all trying to figure out, like, how to apply the standard consistently in terms of you need to go further if you want to earn your, uh, criticism. So what I would that make? Remember. Is that just a zero? Because it's just like, you describe what happened. Him? I feel like there's no insight. Like, there's, there's, that's usually what we reward yeah. for. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay uh, with a zero. Fair. Yeah, fair. Right. So, do we do nothing? But even yeah. with that said, I would say that yeah, the, this is that that was the point that he's trying to make. So, here. why I would be critical of this myself is the way they portray it. She stands there staring for too long. It just looks a little awkward. I think I would have had her maybe face palm, and then she looks up and looks shocked because she's she hasn't realized he's heading right for her, you know. Mm -hmm. But like, make it close to when she hits that sort of thing. Operation. This idiot. Taking the time to say this, but not moving out of the way. Finally! You need therapy. Accusing someone else of needing therapy as if it's something we all wouldn't benefit from. I, well, but like, it's, 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 it's like a thing you say to somebody when you think they need mental help. Like, yeah, that's, 
a nothing yeah. meme thing, I guess. I guess it's a nothing. It's yeah. just a meme observation, so zero. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said, and another point taken away. This is getting embarrassing. Probably shouldn't take this too seriously. <laughs> the cinema wars is pr probably shouldn't be something that makes you uh, too upset. The but how wars. can you say that when you were having an argument about Pinocchio and the song and the nature of lies and stuff? Me and we're Rags were not upset. We were just talking. We weren't. Wanna, I, we're if anything, I was. I, I was just. Upset. I was just saying you were taking it seriously. That's all. Well, yeah, I was taking it seriously. Yeah. I wanted to get to the bottom of this madness. I said <laughs> too <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Ah, uh, I see. Oh, not uh, us. If we do it, then by definition, more, it's not too serious. Slippery baller. When I do it, it's sufficiently serious. But when you do it, it's too serious. Interesting. I see how it goes. Well, Interesting. that that would apply, but it would also apply if I had at a standard that I feel I have adhered to, and that that person had not. Mm -hmm. But but have you considered slippery? That's that's you. You're slipping, sliding around. Mm. Good for your, evasive yeah. action. I agree. We got a peepo sus on you. <laughs> Being as careless with your priceless collection, and everyone knows you never take a well, collectible yes, out of the box. Wait, 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 wait. That so is I would say this of is character. character. Yeah, this is absolutely in character, and he's implying yep. it's a negative. Hmm. hmm. Ox started to doubt his seriousness as a collector. Or is he that a, them so that other an implication of self awareness? Uh, maybe. Like, he's saying, Maybe. like, it is in character. That's the problem with making jokes all the time. That's the problem with this fucking, the sin of a sin's way of doing it. Yeah, I, I think the issue is, yeah, the, I... Is that a because I think it's not... A yeah, am I, am I inferring too much of a positive by, <laughs> by suggesting that maybe yeah. he's saying... He's not into it for the collection. He's into it for other character-based reasons, and that this is proof because he doesn't take care of the collection. It's like, well, you're giving him too much credit. I think that's what I was going to say. I feel like that's too the much credit. Of us ha the virtue of us having to think about interpreting what he's saying is almost like, well, it's your video. You shouldn't have to do that. Yeah, and it's not like there's an acknowledgement of any of those aspects, which would be the insightful stuff, and the fact that he's um he's in a rush. Yep, he's got to go. So oh, do we do? Ah, uh, damn it! I don't know. This is his. This is how he does it. He, it's this memes mixed in with the real criticisms, mixed with the, with the apparent intentionally accurate criticisms. Maybe just for that. Yeah, like I don't know if you can keep using the shield over and over and over when. I, I mean. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, just I, I just say negative one. I think negative one. Me. Yeah, I, mean, negative one I was about to say zero, but <laughs> like, I feel like this is negative one. It's meme worthy to where it becomes a zero. Yeah, um, I just, yeah, I'm sick of having to like try and interpret what exactly he means in the context of the video and the sin system and to, to figure out basic stuff like, so is this a problem or not? Oh, wow. Uh, hmm. Oh, I think if he's being serious, I just sort of flame there. If he's yeah. being serious, then uh, then it would be a negative one because it means he's made an inaccurate observation about the character. It sounds like most of us were saying negative one though, so sounds like that's already got it. I think. Yeah, so. I don't think he he. Yeah, I don't think he was ambiguous in a like a meaningfully deep what? or insightful way. Yeah. Right, <laughs> here I am. Uh, so uh, uh, just because I did have to step away, what does that put his score at? Um, oh. I've got him currently at minus two. Okay, gotcha. Oh my god, he's got a long way to go to to steal victory back. He does. He does. Down his seriousness as a collector. I'll get you, my kitties, and your little dog too. Not subtitling your movie, The Wizard of Paws. <laughs> Reference. Uh, there you go, Rags. You yeah. got it. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, yeah, did he did. It. He did get it. He did get it. Yeah. Dark forest? No one goes into the dark forest. Or comes out. I mean, if no one goes in, it's a pretty safe assumption that they won't be coming out, no? It's true. No points. No points. Yeah, I think that's no. Or is it... Or well, Yeah, I, I think it's a joke, or is it... Is he trying to... Is it... Uh, yeah, uh, once again, because it's like... Well, what's interesting is that if he had phrased this as it's really strange that Puss says... Um, no one comes out after it's agreed upon, essentially, that this is a place that no one can even reach. It feels like a weird thing to say. But then if he's joking, like he doesn't, it's you know what I mean? It's odd for him to say that. 
let I mean, even assuming that it's like, yeah, it's really weird that he would say that and pointless for him to say that after she said that is like, is that the big problem here? Is, is that a is that a problem out. worthy? Of I mean, a... if no one goes in, it? it's a pretty safe assumption. Whoa, that whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. I feel like I feel like the much simpler read is that Kitty believes that nobody ever goes there, but then Puss is like, well, maybe they do, but they never come out. So we never even know if people have gone in there. True. It's true. That's I, yeah, that was, that's really that's case. like the first read that I would have. I of still that. feel like case, people just, like, going to the dark forest. Do they never let anyone know they're going? Uh, hmm. Yeah, there is that. Sure. To be honest with you, I'm surprised nobody ever <sighs> does mention that they're going. <laughs> it's like nobody needs to know. I'll be fine. I'm trying to figure out whether or not this is sort of just like something they wrote relatively quickly and. Didn't, you know, it, it... Uh, are we on inconclusive? On I don't know. Again? Once the <laughs> comes out. I mean, if no one goes in, it's a pretty safe assumption that they won't be coming out. No. It's gone. I. Uh, I think that the Fringy is right. I think that I think that the person Kitty are talking about two different hypothetical people going in or out. Whereas what Sins is doing is he's conflating the two and saying that the people who didn't go in also won't be coming out, which obviously doesn't make sense. So I think Sins is misreading the scene. Yeah, because... Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Sure. But I think it's a fair thing to... But like, it's like a zero mention, thing to me. You know, it's but, not like some yeah, it, dramatic error. It's just like a zero. It's zero, yeah. I think it's a fair thing to bring up. But it's not like it's back the cold war wait what <laughs> wait what okay, zero. Cold war. zero i think the, the thing that's a timely yeah, political I don't, reference i don't think we're in another we're not in a cold war dog still alive why does puss think perito can hear him now does puss and boots even know how to portal well, why would they have no idea what this is why would, know what it obviously is. you'd ask yeah Negative I don't know one. What's on the other side. That's yeah, just a it's... silly point. You know what's funny? Also, they just is, said no uh, one goes there or comes out, so he obviously doesn't know. I actually, because th I thought you might have gone a different direction, which is where I would have gone, which is, which I'm is not that... sure that was in character for Puss. Then he would kick Burrito in. Assuming he might die. Was. That doesn't seem right. Mm. I guess when mm. he saw that his arm had returned to him. Yeah, but the fact that he said still alive, it's like, damn, did you think there was a chance he could die? And you still mm, did uh, it. it unless he said odd. it like somewhat, somewhat like sarcastically. I thought that was the angle he was going to go to, not this, which is like, why wouldn't he just ask before jumping? Yeah, that's in what himself? I'm thinking too. Yeah, like you just you you want to call out because if the portal, yeah, you know, it might be that that's just it how it works. It might be that he can reply. Yeah, it might be that it's just a wall and not like some crazy. There's, there's just so many they, things yeah, it could they, be. Uh, yeah, this it's a crazy magical portal to a magical forest that yes. he knows nothing about. Because I don't think he does. Wait, right, so is that a negative, negative one, one right? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I go on that one. Yep. That's just silly. At this point, he didn't care about the dog. I don't think that's how Puss in Boots works. Like, I, I just don't buy that he would he'd be like, yeah, it's fine for the dog to die because I just don't really care about him. It's like, that, that doesn't feel right with the character at all. Second, so boofy. Ah, oh, f you, Moomy. There's no way you're getting that kind of volume without a hairdryer. It's a visual gag. Fuck off. Well, how do you explain my Saturday nights then? True. I think, haven't we not um, given him points for this before? Admitting that it's sad, but that it's true? Mm -hmm. I know. Wait, so do we, now, do we now have to ask, could you get that kind of volume without a hairdryer? Is that what we have to ask? Or could be static Are we now electricity. Asking, could be what static. about his eyes? Like, can he actually, is he making his eyes physically? Oh, well, well he's maybe he can get away with it. Fantasy creature with poofy fur. Well, because he just, can do it with his eyes. Because, I mean, you know, because you know, it's something that's worth noting, the way that it's presented in this film is far more cartoonish than in, like, Shrek 2, where he looks like a normal cat. You know? Like, do you guys remember the visual when he does the eyes in, in Shrek? Like, he looks a lot more, like, real. He's not, yeah. it's not like his eyes are growing larger in proportion to his head. Right. Which yeah. is also, is yeah. more... so, also, in this, know, it's... It's established as being something you can learn how to do. It's not just a. It's not like a magical property. It's it's something that you just cats can do it. Like, have you ever rubbed a balloon um, against something and then hold it up to your hair? Yeah. 
Yeah, so it might just be static electricity. You might have just rubbed it the right way. I, I don't know if this <laughs> science checks out on that one. <laughs> you know, I, I would need to get a physicist in to, to double check. As someone check. who has... I Now, I don't have, like, a bushy beard or anything because, because I'm a dog, but I would... I know there's a guy, and I know, and he's got really long hair, and he can't just, like, pat it, and it poofs. That's not how it... That's not how hair works. Not how human hair works, but cat but I hair assume... is a lot more susceptible. Oh, oh, ooh. Hmm. Yeah, well, he, if, he, I, if he can do it with his eyes, is it reasonable to say he can also exaggerate for cuteness his beard? I wonder if Fantasy Creature lets well? him get away with this compared to something like the think... sword delay where it, it doesn't. I, th yeah, I, I think, think yes. self-contained to an ability that he knows how to do and she does as well. Which I think is all right. Treat it the same as the eyes, because the sword thing involves involves another character. It's, well, it, he it, does the sword thing else. involves breaking what we know to be true about the sword throughout all of the rest of his iterations, uh, as well. But meanwhile, this doesn't seem to break anything, from what I can gather. Yeah. If anything, it's just a better version of what he could already do. It's a it's an a, it's an enhancement of his ability. And I think someone said you Greedo get more starts... autistic. This is less autistic than Pinocchio. <laughs> this is less autistic, let's be clear. Like and plus, Greedo can't do it yeah. at first, but then yeah. he does it at the end, and it, it uh, a great peril to himself. So you, if you can go from not being able to do it to doing it, I assume that if you, you can go from doing it to doing it better. It was earlier praised so for how much of like, a real cat he is. At base, he is a cat, so any... Like action that relates him to a cat is something praiseworthy, but that he's a fantasy cat. I don't think cat. we said real cat. I mean, he's obviously yeah, we never a said real cat. cat. He we obviously said. is. Well, what, what I'm saying is, I think it's it's totally coherent to praise them for uh, matching actions that they've clearly paid attention to, but then to also have things that move away from a real cat into fantasy yeah, of cat. Of course, because he's not. He he is a cat, but also more. Yeah, um, I am thinking zero I think... on this one. Yeah. I am thinking yeah. zero yeah. as well. Oh. I think that checks out. Zero. This idea of a map that transforms the path based on the user is clever and stunningly executed. Am I taking another sin off? Is it possible a movie from the Shrek universe is actually is it, is it good? That he just what? Said no, it's enough. not enough. <gasps> also, is, yes, is that enough? was... He didn't say why uh, it's good, he just said it's good. Is, is it possible a movie from the Shrek universe is good? Um, that's not... That, it's really weird that to is, say that. That's an interesting that implication, is out of line. Man. That's that an is out of line. That actually means that he might be losing something here. Does he think that Shrek and Shrek <laughs> Two, Shrek and Shrek are, two bad? are bad? There's, it, out of principle, he should lose a point for that. <laughs> <laughs> Just to ask the question. I <laughs> because there hasn't been a good the rules one for that. Shrek too? Uh, he's he's got. Don't you want to? Don't spice. you want to break the rules a little bit? He's got. He's a, he's a spicy uh -huh. lad. I'm fine with but, some spice. But but don't you want to? I, I you know what? I actually appreciate I someone stronger. taking that stance that no one in their right mind would ever take in a million years. <laughs> you know what? I guess you're right. Yeah. What? What? Deranged? Is that? The yeah, word a little that bit. A little bit of deranged. Really? Yeah, you're a little deranged. Um, someone with yeah. that much self confidence, or is it, he's clearly derangement. Fair and enough. And yes, for the record, he did not give any significant, like, no, insightful he, praise to he why just said cool. he just said it's cool. He, he said, said it's, it's cool, good and which well is not good enough. Yeah. So this is like Winds did more than that, but let's see if Sins can catch up. Infinite sorrows. Artax. Reference. I don't even have a wish, but I don't know can I try? Is. So, if the map gives you the path Never of whatever is in your heart, then wouldn't that also mean whomever's path is selected would be the one to get the wish? How Why? Would this... No. Why would that mean no. that? No. Yeah, that's not in. Well, no. The way that the wish if you... works is that you, if you're holding the map while you're there. Yeah. You need to hold the map in order yeah, to make you, the wish you could there. You could call it an exploit that they can use his world and then take the map off him right at the end and make the wish, but that is how it works. But that's how it works. Yeah. So is that yeah. actually a negative? Because it's just no, no, that's have. just that's just how it works. There's nothing there's no the well he says here the lack of rules given for this map is very frustrating. Yeah, and it's which like, is, well, it's I feel like the rules, rules are pretty you know? consistent. The rules are yeah, the, yeah. that you need this to make the wish, and the map uh, will change the world based on who last uh, interacted with it. So what's the problem? Yeah, magic doesn't mean perfect. It doesn't mean no loopholes. It just means that uh, reality can reshape according to certain rules. Like, this is what I'm saying. This isn't nothing. He's making a state. This is just, like, incorrect. Yeah, it yeah. is incorrect. 
how would they get to make a wish if they're using his path? It's like, we see how it works by holding the map, because you need to hold the map at the end when you're there. Yeah, there's yeah. no, there's no so nothing is inconsistent, so, uh, but he said there is. You, but he said, yeah. yeah, he's saying that the, there's the a lack of rules and that's it, bad, so I, that's a negative. That's just wrong. That is a negative. Fair enough. Or can he get to make a wish if they use Perito's path? The lack of rules given for this map is very frustrating. What he should have said is that feels against the spirit of how this may or may not work, but you know what? That's how it works, so there you go. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that... Putting characters on the map before they complete their journey through the sky sphincter. Well, no, they got added on because they've just gotten in. I mean, yeah, yeah like, they're I think going, he's actually they're saying... traveling through the portal. He's actually saying, like, they hadn't exited the portal fully before having appeared on the map, which, again, that's not I inconsistent. Mean, that's just, you know, that's when, apparently when, how it works, is you spawn you on the play, map you right you before you come out of the game, portal. When you play a game, it says that you've joined while the countdown Before your character oh, actually is in there, yeah. Sorry. And plus, yeah. like, such and such has joined the squad, and then exactly. their character shows also, up on the map. Exactly. Yeah. We wouldn't even be able to do anything with in this, because all he's done is, is say... In the dark forest. He's, all he's done is say what's true, but he hasn't... You know, there's no context or anything else. He's just yeah. like, yeah, okay, zero then. <laughs> it's run and die! Laxative slogans. You know? So wait, is that negative one for him? Is that a minus no, that's, one? No, it's, it's just zero because he doesn't yeah, like contextualize it. Yeah. Sure, fair enough. Mm. And uh, yeah. also, this reminds me of what he could say here, which is the uh, the Baker's dozen man gets almost insta killed Instantly while she killed. does not yeah. here, even though she die. kills one of them. Laxative slogans. You know. I think all you have to do is stop and smell the roses. But how did Perito know this flower would lift him up to where Puss and Kitty are? First one he sniffed, just let him pass by. And if Perito can use the flowers to transport him around by simply... Win I think he interpreted it like almost quote-unquote kneeling down or whatever you'd call this, laying down as the that option he was right. That's all you'd interpret there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Also, how, why are we assuming that he knew that it would do that? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying is I don't think he knew it. He just was, was like, I wonder if this works. Oh, it does. Cool. He's just also, to flow. answer his question, why continue to walk anywhere? Is it because stems do not have infinite length? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Wait, so what are we looking at here? I mean, um, it, it was like it was a fair question, I guess, that is was still in zero, but then by saying why doesn't he use it to travel everywhere? It's like, well, Kitty the first one stems sniffed, seem to be bound by and a burrito can use the flowers physics. to transport him. I don't know, how much does he get away with just asking mm -hmm. questions? Because like a lot of his criticism... <laughs> that's, like his, that's his format for criticism. The lens of a question. Yeah, he's he phrasing often, it as a question. Whereas, but, by comparison, at least wins with he, like... That's true. If you do this with a holocaust, you get banned. But he can, yeah, so... I'm just saying, Let's like, the, the, cinema, the cinema sense formula for delivering criticisms is often in the form of a question. Couched in questions, it's a yeah. question that then results in a, a negative, so, like, it, it like results it. in a sin. The fact that he's saying to it? that the fla he's implying that the flowers should be able to take them all the way to the, to the wish. Yeah, the implication is, is that this is bad card. writing. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Like, anywhere, that's, the, yeah. that's the implication that's always couched in the whole, like, these types of questions. I think that's I think that's a minus one. In which case, I think that I mean, leads to a negative because it's like you're making a claim that is just like completely unfounded. Dear and God. if anything, the final question, like he expects these stems to be an infinite length wherever he wants to go, was like, come on. Remember I mean, I'm when fine he was with in that. I'm fine taking a I'm fine taking a point away. I think it's fair to be like just because he it seems to be his thing to ask these questions that have clear implications for what he's meaning with a story. So. Fine with yeah, giving it a negative, negative one. one. All right, fair enough. Willing it to do so, why continue to walk anywhere? This is stupid. All I smell is bullshit. Sticking your grimy fing paws in someone's fing mouth instead of just fing bleeping that fing shit like you fing did fing earlier. What? What? That's what? what? There's he no criticism of praise. It's just. This is nothing. Yeah, yeah, nothing. yeah, it's a different scenario. Yeah. Why are you so ridiculous, dog? What's your story? Is Perito's story that he's a discount Olaf? I mean, if he started singing about Who's how much Olaf? he loves summer, I would not. Uh, frozen. frozen. Yeah. That that is almost is that triggering. The, like, it's the is fucking that the snowman caribou? from Frozen. No, it's the snowman. Oh, okay. What's the caribou's name? I don't know. I don't. I don't know shit about Frozen. I mean, there's other Frozen. Just two so Olaf is the snowman. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Oh God. The caribou is though. Jesus Christ, yeah, that's a... Uh, Alright, if you 
if you type in frozen caribou, you it's a roller coaster for the image you get back. Um, Sven, his name is Sven. Oh, okay. Wait, so what's the surprise? So, oh, oh, so this is just some meme again. Yes, it's oh, like Olaf. Zero, yep. Drop the heck out of this flight, just the rock! Good thing for our heroes, these flowers were such oh, a stunner. Hey, there you, there go. you go. You got a point. You got a there point. There we yeah. go. We, you, got you got a point. Yep, he did. Earlier, Kitty soft paws chopped like a half dozen of those things, and they didn't so much as scratch her for it. I judge you. I sit on your shoulder and judge your actions and the quality of your character. I'm your conscience. Jiminy Stewart showing up here is hilarious, but why does he have two pant legs instead of four? Still, this scene is now two the third legs. best. Well, isn't it obvious? Like two works just fine. Why? Why not just that? That seems to the work very just thin fine. Legs. Yeah. Yeah, that seems to work just fine. That that's. So what do we do with that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, why does he have four legs instead of two? No, why does? If well, the implication it is... is he should have eight, then that's he wrong. Have, he should have four legs. I feel legs like it's a minus. Is this what one. he's saying. I I don't know about that. I'm not gonna say minus. <laughs> it's. <laughs> I don't know go that far. Well, so... no, that's what I'm saying. If he is saying that he should have eight, then the that's a claim. We're that saying is he should have four, true. right? He's saying but, he should have four, not eight. What oh, yeah, oh, yeah, four, eight? four. But yeah, four. Uh, I don't know. I was, think, I was thinking of something else, I guess. I, I'm um, thinking just, yeah, like a I'm zero. Not, I'm not the math is, guy. Is, you know? Yeah, this is, yeah, I, I'm fine with Therese, this. Being... But why does he have two pant legs instead of four? Still, this scene is now the third best Pinocchio movie of the year. Congrats. Why does this work but the child? It's Jiminy good. Jiminy Cricket does not a Pinocchio movie make. Well, even still, if his point was like it's a really good scene, so he could have said why, but all right. That is true. Mm. Yeah. Topping didn't. I need to know why the magical regenerating flowers can only magically regenerate in specific ways. Uh, let me tell you about trolls. <laughs> He's kind of got a point. Um, should Jack That's not have been one. stopped here forever with how fast? But I guess we assume Phoenix Fire is an actual counter to these things. Like it just or maybe burning something down. Well, yeah, burning like something you could... in general is just going to completely destroy it. It's not the same as chopping the head off a hydra if you. If you set the Hydra on fire, it's gone. I don't know that we'd need and any the way reference. That he the Hydra was because they're know, magical. Shot up like then, and the film movies. shows us that's how this works. That's all we need. This is fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I'm fine with the way the flowers work. You could you could use a magical flamethrower to get rid of them instead of just chopping them up. Yeah. Yeah. So that, yeah. Well, maybe just fire. Then, it, matches the behavior, it matches the behavior. It matches the behavior of actual plants too. Is so. this nothing, True. or is this like incorrect? Why does this work, but the chopping didn't? I mean, yeah. It, it's what I mean. I want to keep drawing attention to. It's well, always hold a question. Up. He always you frames go, the question. Go beyond the question. Says, I need question. to know why the magical regener regenerating flowers can only magically regenerate in specific ways. You don't because if you need to know, well, it's that. weird that he said, Yeah, if it's weird that he said that for magic because it's like, well, you don't know how they magically regenerate already, you just it just is, and so equally, well, we, it I just mean, isn't when they set on fire. Yeah, because I mean, the magic what fire that chopping it didn't work, it even on fire does. Hmm. Yeah, I think the Which only thing burn it was nothing yeah. to regenerate. I think there's a decent level of intuition here with real plants and the magic element, and saying that he needs to know why like it said, works this way. Is... I don't even want to reference anything outside of it. Like when you chop a plant down, it can regrow, but if you burn it down, it does. I just be like, I just think that gone. we can it's just ashes. take the movie yeah. for what it's doing, which is Phoenix Fire on these magical plants seems to. Well, yeah, that's the other thing as well. This is Phoenix Fire. This is probably some crazy yeah. Yeah. magic fire. It's yeah, a nothing really contradicts flanker. this, so it's not really a problem. But what does he deserve for this? Zero? Or yeah, one? is this a zero or is this negative? Because he's in... Is he incorrect or is he just... I don't know. Is he just probing wrong? I, I don't know how to I think, frame yeah, it. Kind of a... It's always a probe and then... Yep, and then that's a sin. I think it's a zero <laughs> because he's not asserting that the fire shouldn't work. He's, he's mm, wondering yeah, why he's it does, but he's not... It. Yeah, but is he being no, I think sneaky that's a zero. about it? Uh, it's still, mm. uh, it's still a sin. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I could go for a zero. Whatever. Fine, we shall go for a zero. We'll rescue him. Zero. Fine. You're Take lucky. It from me. Never trust anyone. What? Wait, that's amazing. And also impossible. Pulling phone. Well, we don't see exactly how what she does, but what it is is that he doesn't seem to care and notice. He's so like he's just staring and listening to her. So, like, mm -hmm. I mean, and plus she relies on it being an impressive thing. 
Uh, so like we don't get yeah. a full yeah, 360 view of her stealing it from him. We don't know exactly how she did it, and we don't know if how easy it is to like do it in, right in front of him because of the fact that he's so distracted just by listening to her. Yeah. Um. Oh, what are we doing with it? Um, <laughs> so I mean, it's, it's impossible. It's another instance of cartoon well, well, physics. Yeah, I'm just, like, just what about that it necessarily is cartoon physics because of the fact that he's such an aloof character? Because yeah, the it would be such that he would have to have his arms move so she could get it through the holes. Well, also she manages to do it in like five seconds, which couldn't happen. But it like who cares? Yeah, it's five seconds, physics, five basically. nanoseconds. But yeah, um, you'd yeah you'd. Well, then mm. is it a point or is it not? I I think this this definitely stretches how aloof you could be if your body has to be moved in order to remove this from you because well, so it has to go through. The what it reminds me of possibly is you, you guys ever seen the videos where people put their hand in a cup and they're like, "Ah, oh, Frando, help me get this cup off my hand. I've got it stuck." And then they like do some normal things. The person is deliberately trying to keep the hand in. They're just like pulling it. Like, oh, okay, it was weird. And then what the person does is they deliberately oh, yeah. pull the hand out of the cup right in front of them, put soap on the hand, and then put the hand back in and say, damn it, that's not making any difference. And there's so many videos of this where the person just doesn't notice that they've just done that, and they're still <laughs> trying to help them get the hand out, even though they just did that. It's funny as fuck. I know the kind of thing you're... I know the thing you're referring to, um, but I think that the fact that this would be the subject's body, and how much they would have to have it moved, um... And how he would be, he's been kind of like watching her the whole time. I think it's, I think CinemaSins is right. This I'm inclined is to believe much. he's right as well. Um, the way that I could envision this, but it's not matching the timeline, would be like talking to someone and just sort of slowly taking their jumper off in a casual way and then pointing to it once they've done it and being like, I just stole your jumper. You didn't even notice yeah, because like, you, were, you were talking to me. There are people who do that with like other people's watches on stages and stuff, yeah. where they like loosen it over time while distracting them. But that's like the whole point is that that's a really subtle thing. In order to move someone's like both of their legs, in order to get something off of them, pull it over their head. And as, as it's being pulled over his head, it literally blocks his eyes. So it's, like it. it's a funny so joke. Just said, uh, but I think that they're it's... simping hard and making excuses. We're settling on it being a flaw. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. I just you know. <laughs> I think that I think it's it's a funny joke and I like it, but it is a it is a it's quite a stretch to the point where I think that it would be you'd have to work harder to justify that he's that oblivious. Also, Sid been hard yeah. for the movie, but we've given him valid sins on many things that people in chat have died watching us do. I will send yeah. the last wish, but this is correct. <laughs> so yeah, I think this. I think he gets a point for this. We're giving it to him on a lot of things that we don't really care about, but we have to acknowledge probably counts as flaws. So yeah, yeah, I think it's, I think it's all right. So yeah. impossible. Pulling foam out of non-foamy water and then using a dagger as scissors to cut the beard off an animal that shouldn't grow a beard. Give us the. Uh, I mean, you can that, use that, a blade. Does that look shave, like normal water? Do you? I don't even know why he's talking about that. You can use a blade to shave. That yeah. part, yeah, that part's wrong. You could obviously, yeah, you could use a blade to shave. We have these. They're called, the well, like, razors, razor blades. It's literally a thing. Um, the, the foam from the water acting as shaving cream? What about that? All we've got is it's a magical place. That's, that's it. It's magic water. I mean, look, it's purple. It's definitely and the manifest. I don't and all, know if it's impossible. The manifestation of this river is Peritos. So... True. That I is true. That... And then, I mean, you uh, shouldn't be able to grow a beard, I guess. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we've already... We gave him a point for that earlier. That. Yeah. Yeah. He, doesn't, point for that. he doesn't get to double dip. So, um, um, zero then? Or? Zero is where I'm at. Yeah. yeah zero. zero. Yeah, I'm giving this a zero. Yeah, sure, yeah. Fair, but we can't be conclusive. Shouldn't grow a beard. Give us the map, or else the Baker Man gets it! How convenient that everyone arrived here within a few seconds of each other. But how did Goldie Lock, Pops, and two other barrels even get through the flowers? And what was they up with burned. the river? Yeah, the, well, they got, they got, they yeah, got knocked they off the path. So, so the bears would have just followed along yeah. the path that Jack burned. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, you can say it's a very coincidental that they all get here at the same time, I guess. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a bit of a. I'm trying yeah. to. Think. I suppose the bears wouldn't take long to recover, and then they but would I mean, have it's... just followed Jack. It's not a huge stroke of luck. Yeah, it's not like a big a coincidence. Element. In fact, it, it kind of lines up. It's, but I also, think it works. It's, I mean, and it's inconvenient to the heroes. This is bad for them. Well, that's why I switched yeah. it to coincidence because I assume that's what he would like to actually. He's saying, "Isn't it convenient yeah. uh, that we all have no, everyone turn up for the drama of the film?" Yeah, um, sure. Because remember, he doesn't say well, he yeah, didn't it, say it's convenient for the heroes that everyone arrives here. He just said it's convenient that everyone arrives here because he's talking about just creating film now. So, yeah. Well, it's convenient for. I mean, no. I, it depends it's, on how you look at it. Well, arguably, us. It depends the, on what he would for the say. People with it's the map. Convenient it's convenient to the viewer because it's good for memes. But you know, for but like I said, it's, it's sort of convenient for Jack, and it's sort of convenient for Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Because they both have the map here, but also another adversary here. So, you know, it's it's a bit it's a both. Like I, said, I think he's going for the script. Like he's just saying it's a convenient sure. drama piece. Yeah. But as I as I was saying, the more you think about it, though, they knock down that hill, and so the bears are like fucking hell. And he's got all that magic, and he's got all them people. Let's just keep an eye on him because he's getting to the same place we are. And then they see like people getting killed by the flowers, and maybe they stayed back a little bit. Then he saw them burn it and move on, and then they just followed. Like this is kind of what would happen, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, in which case, the right. only thing you would have to say is, what are the odds of, like, Jack finding them? Because Goldilocks and yeah. the three bears would be right behind them. So, like, the timing isn't anything, it's just that Jack found them. That's it. And is that possible? Yeah. Like, that's is that... Right? That's, yeah, exactly. Well, someone said, so, like, shouldn't they then not... be behind Ooh. them? And it's like, well, they just have to move around them. Uh, any dis- dis- mm-hmm. uh, If baby s- sense... Can you picture what I'm saying? It's like, you know, if they represent a... Uh, Jack is A, they are B, they're behind A, and then they smell C is just off to a different direction, so they start to move toward that. Jack circles around like you have this scenario. There's no reason why this couldn't be yeah. exactly what Honestly, happens. Honestly, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not that's, a straight uh, line. Mm, it's not that, it's not, is it, I, I, I think it follows. There's no reason to say that this yeah. is a coincidence, really. It's it's kind of what you should mm-hmm. expect should happen next. Hmm. Yeah. And what does I think, that mean for I'm good thinking horror? minus one because what what Sims yeah. is saying is not that Jack shouldn't have found them; it's that Jack and the bears shouldn't have arrived at the same time. When Whereas I think it makes that... complete sense that they arrived at the same time. Yeah, agreed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh oh. Negative, negative one. one. Oh, uh oh. Mm. Where are you at, Rags? Oh, on his score, I'm at negative four. I'm at negative three. I'm not sure if. I don't know. We I think we just went from negative three to negative four. Well, so. obviously, I'm going to say we just um, went from <laughs> like we've yeah, we've been out of sync for a little bit. I think maybe I don't know. Maybe um... flowers. Well, let's what just proceed up? and see what happens. With the river of relaxation, did it have an obstacle? Did the other groups just skip it somehow? Oh! Why would it have an obstacle? Like... The nature of it. Had... Yeah. Because remember, the, the flowers aren't actually an obstacle. It's no just that the way that well, you, you didn't have to, the obstacle. You didn't even have to go down the river. There's land. Yeah. Also, no one's touched the map since, so it would stay there. It's not, yeah, like, it's it's almost, as you just mentioned, it's inherently not an obstacle, essentially, compared to what the actual obstacles of this place can be. Mm-hmm. Did the other yeah, groups just was skip the, it somehow? If it was the hundred-foot chasm of death, then, like, yeah, that might be an issue. But so is that a negative one? I think, well, this is all yep. one. This is he hasn't done a win yet, so this is all in one, which would make it. Hmm. Well, what is up Uh-oh. with the river relaxations? Nothing. Did it have an obstacle? Yeah. No. No. I mean, don't drown. I guess. <laughs> no, <laughs> this but, is probably uh, this fucking question format. Did the other groups just yeah, skip that's it what somehow? I, mean. it's, it's I think the nature of these awkward. questions is like, how is it? How do they possibly get here? It's like, well, they just floated down the river. Well, so did the other groups just skip it somehow? The answer is no, because there's nothing to skip, which. Yeah, it's not an obstacle. They are moving like through the, the region. They are moving through that region. That is on the river. Well, and, and, yeah, even, so. and they could have traveled down the river. There's what I mean. I don't even yeah. understand this at all. Yeah. But he, it's just questions. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, there is he's, a he's just asking questions. I think it's a negative one, though, for that, that, yeah. that last question. Yeah, it's a negative one. But that was all one point, you understand. I get it. didn't yeah. do a second counter, so, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Harley Quinn suppositories. No. I don't I even know what that means. Because it, it's a clown reference, maybe? <laughs> I guess. She puts guess confetti so. in her ass because it's a, vaguely clown related. I, I don't know. 
Is that, Zero, she does? That was... Is that a thing she does? I don't know. Not I have I no know. idea. I'm not in any comic I've read. <laughs> you, you just ain't re- you ain't reading the right comics. Clearly Apparently not. not. Uh, that's a zero. Yeah, I guess a zero. Oh no 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 no! You've just been zero. Crimes by the three bears crime family. Can we just talk for a second about how Goldilocks ended up here after breaking and entering the bear's house? In the original fairy tale, they try to eat her and she runs away, which makes sense. But here, apparently, after they adopted her, they all decided, let's have this young woman be our crime syndicate leader. And what in the reverse Stockholm is going on here? Ah. Yeah, it's what, not the what same is story. this observation? It's not yeah, the same storyline. Yeah, this is a departure. And also, she's demonstrated herself to be quite competent as a leader. So it could be that she just naturally fell into that position anyway. I mean, of course, we know what happened, which is that when they found her, they were like, oh, look at her. She can be part of the family. And then can they, we keep she's it? been with them for years. They even give you so, that flashback, don't they? Yeah, exactly. So I don't even know what the nature of this is. He's framing it like it's a negative, but it's just the story that they're telling. Like, Did you know that the humans in your bed are free? You can just take them home? Yeah. So what, what does that make this, then? What, what is this? Is this just nothing? Uh, I think it's nothing. I'm more inclined to a negative one because it's it's yeah. He's really yeah, pushing for this to be there. considered as a negative when the film has an explicit reference to it. I mean, I, I, I mean. say that oh, as if the whole every scene with this family is an explicit reference to how it's a different story. Yep. I guess uh, I guess his doom was bringing it up. So is yeah. he sinning it because he's saying that this version of Goldilocks and the Three Bears is not the same as... He's saying it doesn't make sense that you'd have a girl walk into a Three Bears house and not fucking get killed, but that he's not appreciating that this is not... These are sapient bears. It's... Wait, is that... Because that's not the same as him saying that it's different to the original story. Is he saying that Goldilocks should have been eaten alive, or...? Can we just talk for a second about how Goldilocks ended up here after breaking and entering a bear's house? In the original fairy tale, they try to eat her and she runs away. Like, he's trying to say, like, that's the reasonable result of that story. But here, it's he like some kind of weird point. Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, he says, which makes sense, which means that, yeah, he's saying that the bear should have eaten her. It's not reverse Stockholm. She, the, the reverse Stockholm would be, she doesn't want, she doesn't consider this her real family, and she's trying to get a different family. So the Stockholm thing is doubly strange as a reference. And to answer uh, what Rana was saying, I assume he's actually, like, the core of the criticism here, if you read it the way that he said it, is that it makes more sense that they would have eaten her much like in the original story. Yes. If if that's what he's saying, then I think I'm on board with minus one. Yeah, same. Yeah. Because that's just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. The reverse Stockholm is going on here. I- I'm supposed to be a fearless hero, a legend. But without lives to spare, I am... Nothing. Although you could argue that in between the previous eight oh, lives, you were the... simply a hero okay. with eight cheat cuts. So at least you're not a cheater anymore. It was... It's nothing, what? I guess. No- nothing. That nothing yeah. Burger. Not- yeah, yeah, it's nothing. nothing burger. Good thing Fringy is BRB'd, so he doesn't have to cry at the amount of things that yeah. Sins has not commented on in these scenes. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's kind of strange. Yeah. It all- I almost did like a double take. Like, oh, we're. It- yeah, oh, we're here. Right. We're- we skipped that bit. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of glad, though, bringing. because it means that he's not going to try and criticize it. Yeah. Like, Sins Sins had things that he could have said, because that scene is great, but kind of glad that Sins didn't. Let's lie to Fringy when the he comes back and say it was great. And guests. And did they all just walk there? To this church that apparently thrives in the middle of the wilderness? Where is everyone's ride? Not a bit. We don't know if this is the middle of... I mean... <laughs> I it's probably just a sort of isolated church. What if everyone's fine. ride is on the side of the building you can't see? <laughs> <laughs> what if they did walk there? What, can they not yeah, walk? Yeah, what if they what, did walk? It's <laughs> not that far. Like it's I'm, you can't. I'm pretty sure I've uh, seen churches not surrounded by other buildings in the middle of the desert before. That what if he like didn't? Something. Yeah. What if he's way after the celebration was canceled and he's just sitting there waiting, and then he walks That's, away? This just what? A, no, this is so much. You know what? Maybe they did zero. Moving on. <laughs> but again, he's. Couched it nice and safely and all the questions, so we're struggling to give him negative points for these very silly questions. In the middle of the wilderness? Sneaky, sneaky. Where's everyone's ride? Not a big time crime syndicate, love. A big time crime family. Isn't that right, Goldie? Referring to your employment situation and your co-workers as a family. I don't care if they actually are family. That's still messed up. Don't do that. I don't know, man. I think there are times when that's appropriate. Especially also times if it's people your do that. actual family. Yeah. It's just people who do that. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, his, his commentary is, you shouldn't do that. So I guess it's just zero. 
Like this is I a personal zero. opinion that you shouldn't do that. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, well, no, honey. Like Scene does not contain a willy nilly silly old bear. So, reference. Zero. I ran. Did you run so far away? Did you get away? Sudden flock of seagulls references aside, I saw you leave and it could be best described as a slow mope. Well, he's way really far away from the building here. <laughs> it's, maybe he ran Maybe he up ran to this to part. This part here. Yeah. And also running is not literal, you know? Yeah, yeah can, it doesn't yeah. have to be literal. Speaking of autism. <laughs> there was no running involved. Sure, human bridges, hilarious, whatever, like, but how do they work? How is the guy at the foot end even keeping his feet on the ledge? There's nothing for him to put his pressure. feet around, and he's holding several hundred pounds of- Um, I'm, this probably wouldn't work. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, maybe way he's got work, it dug into the dirt. You, you know what? Yeah, this isn't very- You're right. You know, I don't know if this passes the uh, realistic smell just, test. But the I thing think, about uh, it is- Yeah, it's just a little- If we're going to yeah. give him a point it's for that, really I feel like we should give him a, a lack of point, for the, a negative point for the fact that he said, like, there's no running involved here. It's like, it could have been from there to here. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if- Yeah. If- if there was something he was saying here that was in the same vein but correct, which is how I feel about this, and he gets a plus one, then surely he gets a minus one for the other. Um, he does seem like he wants to... Hmm, uh, either that or they both get zero. Well, in that case, he, it's zero no matter what. <laughs> Yeah, I guess, like, yeah, I'm fine giving them both zero, because... Yeah, combine it and zero it. Yeah, I guess, like, she's holding on to something, a rock or grass or... A I'm not even sure she would there. be able to do that, whatever she's holding on to, you know? Like, this this thing is ridiculous, but it's hilarious. And it's obviously it... symbolic of his character. The guy at the foot end, even keeping his feet on the ledge. There's nothing for him to hook his feet around, and he's holding several hundred Actually, pounds of weight. we're doing it from you know... below. We can't see. No, I never had much as a kid. Just loving parents and stability in a mansion. Millennials. Your Zero. Uh, yeah, I guess so. He just I'm throws just... in these like weird political and social <laughs> jokes, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Just like throwing them in every now and then, huh? Um... Horrible. You're an irredeemable monster! Indeed, which is funny, sure, but also kind of steals the ability of the movie to have any kind of nuance oh, about its central... No. No. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, he was right. falling off a, off a cliff the, here. Uh -oh. I guess he hates Lord of the Rings. Oh, whatever. my God, he is collapsing off of the cliff. Negative 70. He is Homer no, right now, falling, falling down the having nuance? <laughs> Does a bear make porridge in the woods of varying temperatures? No, just... Yeah, so he's but saying this, yeah. is, he, at, what, this is at least a negative one. You know what's crazy I think that's is at um, least a negative one. I was yeah. gonna like my thoughts were like he's clearly a fan of um, uh, Jiminy Cricket, so that what he's doing here is he's probably gonna try and find a way to take a sin off because of how funny this was. And it's like no, he is instead gonna point out that there's no nuance to Jack Horner. Well, not only is there no, he's, is he going to point that out? He's going to say that there's an indictment on the film as in, in, in its entirety because the villain of the film has no nuance. Like almost Even ignoring all of the other, other antagonists in the film. Can I just it say, like a I would like to submit a negative two under the pretense of him now also children's asserting movie. children's yeah. movies don't have nuance. Yes, you're right. I agree. Yeah. I knew yeah. that. Yeah. I, I, mean. it, I knew this smelled like a negative two. The it's nose doesn't lie. Mistake. Yeah, it is a spectacular error. Yes, so, this um, is a big one. Yeah. I agree with that. Negative two. I knew I smelled People want a two. people sus as well. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it, could be, it could be that this actually rises to that level, because it is many dimensions might... wrong. Well, two wait, we can, attribute each ne we can attribute each negative one to a thing. So, uh, Does, I would say, to be as hyper autistic as possible, two, he's got, it steals the ability of the movie to have any kind of nuance about its central villain. There's like three things wrong that he said there. That's fair. Yeah, yeah you're fair. there's That's a lot right. of things right. wrong with that. And then the children's you know, movie thing is wrong. I, so, we we went from at least a negative one to, it's definitely a negative two it's now, definitely. to pondering if it's a negative seven and a peepo sus. <laughs> <laughs> or a, negative a, negative, two a, a negative two and a peepo sus. sus is the worst that you can get under our yeah, throw, throw in slash the slash win, yes. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be tempted to give it to him. This is a spectacular, Bail. like, yeah, spectacularly this is, and honestly, long. 
this is cinema sins. He should be operating easily over the level of being able to, you know, like understand this and see it. it yeah, he this should is, be operating at a higher standard. It, yeah, there is a level of that, right? If you're a movie guy, you should not have the perspective of like, oh, well, yeah. I mean, children's movies have no nuance or anything like that. Um, I mean, there's even a point to which I, I sometimes wonder if it's like I don't even like. I sometimes kind of don't like characterizing it as a children's film because I feel like it's it like kind of misses the point, right? It's a it's a film that is also for children, but it's really an all ages film. That's yeah, what a lot of unsweet, these films are. Yeah, yeah, unsweet tea isn't a children's beverage. It's like it's yeah. the most accessible that a film can be, but it's not so accessible that it precludes adults from being part of the equation in terms of it. It's it's like a yeah, like a family. Yeah, I'll friendly call Blue's film. Clues a children's show. But that would probably be right, something yeah. more like what you would call that. Whereas, of, of course, in this case, I mean, as evidenced by the fact that look at how much adults have pulled from this film, you know, us included. So I, I do exactly. believe that Blue's Clues also steals the ability to have any kind of nuance about its central villain, which is, of course, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I think that we can. Um, I think I'm, I'm happy with the two and a peepo sauce. Two and a peepo uh, sauce. Yeah, yeah, agree. yeah, do it. We got two of those in, in one episode. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Wow. Uh, nice. Someone said, so now this movie is for kids because of the nuance word at Muller one hour ago, quote, this is not a kid's movie. Did I say that? No, we never said it's a kid's that. movie. We don't like, no, what we were probably doing is saying that uh, the person, uh, this probably wins, characterized, uh, characterized it as a kid's movie. So we probably said, well, if it's a kid's movie, then da da da. So we were trying to operate based on it's, their logic. Yeah, to, to give you the I cheat code believe... on what we believe about kids' movies versus adult movies is usually just you don't have the graphic content or, um, but even like themes don't go too complicated. But even then, you can still have them present as long as there's something for the kids to thoroughly enjoy on the surface or even to some level of depth. Basically, treat kids' movies with no less respect and artistic integrity than you would an adult movie. You would treat I would, kids' I movies think, like it's meant for your children. I would usually, if ever it's a term that I use with a kid's movie, like kid's movie, usually the only reason that that term exists is to describe that it is a film that is made with the understanding that a sizable portion of the people who are watching it are going to be children, compared to, I guess you would describe people, the more average film that has kind of like a broader skew of the kinds of people who are going to be watching oh. it. Well, people there. use it to denigrate movies by saying, yeah, oh, which it's is a kid's really movie. annoying. It's a kid's movie, so, you know, it doesn't need to be good, which is, like, such a bizarre and stupid it's mindset to have. It's a kid's movie. It needs to be good, because those are formative stuff that mm -hmm. the kids are going to be... And then, you know, of course, we... I mean, you know, I'm a broken record on this, but Pixar, during its golden age, was, like, cranking out banger after banger. You know, like, these are some excellent films. Um like excellent films that when it was like oh it's a kids movie you know it's never going to be like that good i was like hmm. it's kind of weird it feels like there was a time when kids movies were like consistently excellent if you want to use that term you know like the disney also, renaissance era early pixar um i made a comment about psychoanalyzing a kids movie and Mola called me cringe that's what happened lol that is cringe that yeah, is cringe. That was don't cringe. be cringe. Yeah. I recommend against it's cringe. cringe. Um, secondly cringe. people say like isn't he asking the question though it's like he is asking the question and then the sin completes like, it's, like, am I actually going to send them for this? And it's like, well, yes, by the ding. Mm hmm So, like, this is completed. He is considering There's this... There's no contradiction. Uh, this is consistent. The consistent is we treat these movies as movies in the same way that you treat any movie. Yep. That it's the, the, the same metrics for quality. And that it's it's ridiculous to be like, oh, it was for kids. So, like, it doesn't need to be good or anything. And, That's just stupid. Yeah. Man, uh, I'm going to pull out the, the other card. Maybe maybe kids' movies deserve more psychoanalyzation than adult ones do. Mm, I would agree with that. I mean, Rags pointed out, maybe. right? Like, it's important because these are formative art experiences. This is what you're watching, right? This is like your first exposure to film. And it, yeah, and with the amount of people of around the world who say, like, I control what my children see because I don't want them to be influenced by, like, some crazy nonsense. And it's like, so yeah, you need to make sure then, don't you? Yeah, you should, you should be in control to a degree of what your, you know, kids see. And you want them to see good stuff. You want to see the stuff that's meaningful. You want to give them, I mean, you should give them kind of high expectations and standards for media. And in doing that, you know, hopefully it will help their development. And I don't know, it's just weird because a lot of the films that people point to as like, ah, oh, these are excellent, you know, um, excellent kids' movies would be the films that uh, are making efforts to try and push towards more um, being particularly weighty by way, by way of their themes, you know, stuff like The Iron Giant or The Incredibles and, of the Lion King. 
And let's yeah. let's be honest here. Like, no one fucking uses this excuse when it's like food, you know? Like, oh, this this is really shitty food, but it's for it, but it's for kids, so it's okay, you know? It was like, yeah, oh, this baby <laughs> formula is spoiled yeah. in the air. There may be some people out there who are like, the whatever, you can destroy a digestive well, system because you're young. Their, <laughs> you take their kids away from them. Yeah, it so just seems to me this okay. this idea that as a child you're not going to understand or appreciate the difference between a really great film and a really bad movie. But I don't know, man, that wasn't the case for me. I don't feel, I feel like I definitely had favorites that have remained favorites going into adulthood for reasons that are qualitative, not just like, Oh yeah, I like that one. You know, I still love Lion King. Still love all old Pixar films. Yeah, exactly. Like you don't, don't give your kids films and TV that they're going to outgrow. Give them films and TV that they're going to find new appreciation for as they get older and they return mm -hmm. to them. Yep. And throw some goofy yeah. shit in there with my guess as well. I agree. I think uh, in, in Buck Fudholes, he makes a good point. Take care of your kids. Show them good shit with good lessons and they'll oh, turn yeah. out a lot better. Which is like, yeah, it's very important. Yeah. Wisdom from Buck Fudholes. I, I really <laughs> do feel like I need to be taking advice from someone called Buck Fudholes. You should. I, I you should. do too. I think I should. He speaks wise words. If you so see Rain, a butthole, you should what? just, you know, just, just buck it. After that uh, dismal display, what is he at for you? Well, the score that I have for him is he is now at a negative seven people sus. Damn. Uh oh. With a sus, yeah. It's collapsing. He is not it catching is. up like the T1000. He's, unfortunately, uh, yeah, he his first twenty seconds were the strongest. Unfortunately, right now we have skipped to the end of T two, where Sarah Connor is blasting at him with the shotgun. So we are <laughs> we're getting real close to our uh, Arnie rolling Sarah. over and blowing him up with the grenade launcher. We got real close oh, to boy. that. I was about to say, yeah, uh, John Connor getting killed at the beginning of Dark Fate is negative two people sus. So. <laughs> <laughs> Any All right, let's want. carry on about its central villain. Am I sending a children's movie for not having nuance? Does a bear make porridge in the woods of varying temperatures? No, just a placeholder name, you know? I'll workshop it, okay? This is a movie where cats fight with swords, bears raise a human girl, and the villain has a cricket on his shoulder. But Perito knowing what workshopping means is where I'm drawing the line. Why? 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 That's not even unreasonable. Like, I, it, like, it's a joke to call... Yeah, like, I, I get the, the, the template of that joke, but why would you waste it on Perito knowing that word? That's a normal word. Why wouldn't he know that word? He's not Perito. There are like, workshops. Stupid. People workshop things in this universe. He, he knows no, no, how. Perito yeah. is bilingual. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's right. And what they a tend weird. To use relatively modern slang in this universe, anyway. So it's not really a yeah, contradiction. It's... I I feel like that's a negative one. I I feel like the idea that that's ridiculous that he knows that word is completely unfounded and doesn't at all feel like there's nothing. Yeah, God nothing damn, would imply he's... that he wouldn't. Just heading I down. mean, if he oh, said, boy. if he said like swag or something, then I could maybe understand the point. Oh yeah, but... if he said like no cap for real, for real, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, then absolutely, yeah, I totally agree. But if he said the um, n word, you know, that would be something. Oh yeah, then that would be that would. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, he would say negro, so that's he would. that is true. He would. That is true. So, but um, honestly, that's that's an, I think it's a negative one for that. I don't like it. Wake up! Someone's nicked the map! Well, considering earlier you were very clear that You're the smash, I'm the grab. So you have no one to blame but yourself, little miss shoulda grabbed better. I mean, that is He's arguably true, but the, the... But she's pissed off. Well, she's also just distracted by having everything that yeah. she kind of actually needs and wants, you know? Mm -hmm. you know yeah, that yeah. Place, she's so. deflecting, she's frustrated. <laughs> but... Is he saying it just as a sort of like, haha, that's that's something that's true? Well, that or is he saying it's like, this is criticism it. of her characterization? That's the cinema sins formula, though. It's like, you He's, know, uh... it's whichever one you want it to be, depending on how much you like or dislike the film. Yeah, he's highlighting it as a character inconsistency, but it makes sense for her to be behaving inconsistently. And so... Wait, someone's saying... <laughs> someone chat, so on, I, th I saying... think Zero? I think it's zero. Uh, I'm at a zero. Also, she can blame him for falling asleep on the job. I mean, that was a failing on his part. When he should be guarding the, you know, if the map. If she's asked him to guard the map and he agreed, sure. Yeah, so I think she can blame him. Well, but we're, we're, we're also she, at the point of just... he's the one with the map and he fell asleep. He's wrong, but what does that mean? Because the nature in which he's delivered this mm -hmm. statement. Yeah. 
Devil I don't know. I'm mm. kind of. I think I'm at a zero on this one. This is yeah, uh, zero yeah, as well. I'm zero. I'm, yeah, it's a also, zero because is, he, yeah. Sorry, go on. Someone saying in chat that it's weird that Soft Paws doesn't believe Perito knows the word workshopping. What, did we all collectively misunderstand the sin? Because if so, um, that might save him a point. Oh, Maybe no, or, because why would she even think that? We were yeah, cats fight with swords, bears raise a human girl, and the villain has a cricket on his shoulder. But Perito knowing what workshopping means is where I'm drawing the line. <gasps> okay, you were wrong, Chatter. Um, oh, wait, hold on, what was the well, clip, though? Let's see. Yeah, I'm what trying. did Perito say? Forage in the woods of varying you, temperatures? No, just a placeholder name, you know? I'll workshop it, okay? This is a movie where cats oh, fight with no, swords. no, then, yeah, oh. you were wrong. Well, <laughs> yeah. Just to make sure, they're wrong based on this set of information, but if there was a moment where she says, workshop, how do you, like, like and I missed it completely, like, maybe, but uh, it's not in this clip. No, I don't remember that at all, because this was them talking about the, uh, the name Team Friendship, and he was just like, they said it sucked, and he's like, I'll workshop, and that was it. Yeah, that's so, why I wanted to double check, because of the comic, yeah. it just has me thinking, like, did I totally misread that? I just mm. want to be fair and thorough. I'm the grab. So you have no one to blame but yourself, little miss shoulda grabbed better. This ridiculousness. I get that wire work is a valuable part of the history of filmmaking, but just because you edit out the wires digitally doesn't mean I don't know they were there. It's, it's, fun it's a fun joke. Zero, mm. but it's a, it's a funny joke. It's, it's... Oh, yeah. Oh, I like it. It's a funny joke. Took and you always rescue me it. when I'm kidnapped, which happens a lot. It happened one other time. Okay. Um, I mean, if it happens twice in quick succession and it's something that important, like if someone tried to murder you and they they failed, and then later on that day someone else tried to murder you, and you were like, "Gosh, I, 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 I people try to murder me a lot," you know, I, I'd be like, "Yeah, I, I see." It's you have a hyper, you know. And wasn't he thrown into a river, and would that count as being napped? Or, I was thinking I that too. That might be. That would be three times in your life where you've been kidnapped, which is probably over the average. Um, yeah. So. Or he doesn't consider that to be kidnapping, though. Hmm. Yeah, remember that um, was just a fun story about his life. True. Oh, I suppose so. Yeah, but even then, being kidnapped twice in one day. Yeah, have, I think, I think I that think still he's... counts as happening a lot. Um, because a lot is relative. Remember, right? So hmm. I would say it's okay for him to think that being kidnapped twice in one day is happening a lot. Yeah, Especially you know what? I think you're right. Together. I think you're right. Hmm. So what does that mean? I'm not sure. For, in for instance, if you if you got in a car crash, right, and you're like, oh my gosh, a car crash, I can't believe it, and then you went home, got your other car, and then as you were leaving the parking lot, someone else hit you with a car, and your friend asks, why are you getting in accidents all the time? You know, it's like, not literally all the hey, time, of like course, it was, but it happens. Why like, you, I mean, idiot? <laughs> do we maybe remove the thinking, people? Mahler? What are you thinking? Um, I'm going to remove this well, hmm. he's critical of the fact that he's saying it happens a lot when it doesn't happen a lot, meaning more than two. But like Rags just said, I, I feel like if I was kidnapped twice in a row, I could easily say that. And then if some yeah. fucker said twice isn't a lot, I'd be like, be like That's... Oh, if you say so, buddy. I mean, it just feels like it is a lot, actually, when it's kidnapping. I feel like on the scale yeah. of kidnapping, yeah, is such that because once it doesn't already often a happen. Lot, really. Yeah, once is a lot, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Because it doesn't That's happen true. to the average person. Yeah. It's already, you're already a statistical anomaly if it happens once. Hmm. To have it happen twice in quick succession on the same day is like, yeah, all right, something, yeah. You're just really, I, I don't know, maybe you just got that kind of face. Who knows? Hmm. So, and so, um... I... Please rescue me when I'm kidnapped, which happens a lot. It happened one other time. Oh! Okay. He gives He's not sin, wrong, like, that, like that it happened one other time. I just think it's a zero, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah I, I'm having to give it a zero. Like, I but get again, his point, but it's there's an implication there, which is it doesn't happen a, a lot. It's wrong, it's, yeah. it's a very strong implication. I feel like your argument is headcanon. When you speculate on why a person says a thing that's in line with their character, it's not headcanon at that point in a negative sense. It is just valid. Why wouldn't it be? Otherwise, you're just gonna like we have to interpret in a way that it doesn't make sense. Like, well, no, we we would always want to opt for trying to find anything that does make sense first. That's just how yep. continuity works with anything. To, this is like the problem with them. Really um, depressing world building. If this was if getting kidnapped twice was not a lot in well, this in, world. So. You know, like Holdo. People worked for ages to just try and come up with any way to make it make sense. What she did with Poe. 
We just couldn't. There's loads of, like, headcanon to try and explain, like, what if there's a mole on board? No, she didn't trust him. Which wasn't true. <laughs> so it's like, that doesn't what? work either. She doesn't like him. It's like, not true. There was a mole on board and she thought he was in. It's like, it's not true. You just hate women telling men what to do. Which is true, but that has nothing to do with my argument, so. Okay, here we go. You're it was funny because if there were a mole on board, which could be nailed in like one throwaway line, you probably do actually fix a lot of it in that she, but then again, she liked him and the, there's other, I'm not even going to get into it. Those conversations were extensive and the, the idea is just that you've exhausted all avenues of possible explanation. Meanwhile, why does a character say I've been kidnapped a lot after being kidnapped two times? I mean, because that probably feels like a lot, and it yeah, is that's... quite abnormal. Yeah, I could see someone saying that. You're all a bunch of knuckle dragging, honey scrounging, grub, oafish, munching, mangy nugget. How is he getting away with playing so much of it? I don't know how he gets away with it. This is gonna have to. Oh, maybe I'm, the bleeps. It's gonna have to get a copyright screen on the whole it. thing because this is gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. And your snooter calling someone a honey scrounger. Sammy. Oh, okay. Zero. Nothing. Oh. Right. Right. You have become okay. a scary cat. Would you call him Wussy Moon? Wuss was derived from wussy, which was derived as a less vulgar way of calling someone a pussy. So I'm not sure that changes in the direction you think it is. I do. Well, no, it's going oh, from it's a cat the, to uh, yeah. In the colloquial meaning of the word, which means coward. Yeah. His name so, is Pussy. Yeah, you can't use this the is a degradation of evolution yeah. of words and meanings and then ignore. Yeah, like all oh, the etymology. Means. Yeah, like come on. That would have made Yeah, we're talking about the meaning honestly. of words. Puss refers to him being a cat, not him being pusillanimous. Yeah, yeah. zero really, or would have been in some way vaginal, win. which I would have been don't see win. myself. Yeah. Unshaven, maybe. So uh, is that a zero? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a zero. I'm just. Yeah. I think. I think so. I'm having a hard time at this point. I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's I think we're point. we're at fumes level, but we'll we're nearly there. Yeah. Do you love the smell of fear? Since fear itself does not have a distinctive odor, I think what you mean to say will. Oh, for fuck's sake! You love the smell of the body's reactions from someone or something that fears you, which would most likely be a mix of sweat, urine, and feces. I guess we like what we like, but I'm still judging you a little. Uh, that, was, that was zero. That was zero. the most autistic thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, oh, that's come on. Crossed. We've had a few oh, yeah. <laughs> things to challenge that. Getting a family! That's what? A proper family! What, are you trying to give this character nuance? Just let her be an irredeemable villain. This is a children's what? movie for fuck's sake. Kitty. Okay, oh, so no. No. I, you can well, now he's trying to. Negative twos. <laughs> he's like running the backwards oh, of it. Yeah. Uh, but she she wasn't her? she wasn't you're, like you're... one dimensional to begin with though. No, she was she never. Wasn't. Yeah, that's hilarious. It's like why are you writing her with more dimensions? Write her less well. You... This is yeah. Why do you want this movie to be actively worse and less interesting? Well, warning! Negative I'm about two. to say something that's going to trigger the hell out of you. I believe this is a joke, and he means the opposite. Oh, you reckon? Think... You're right. You reckon? Well, listen you're to right. it again and have that in mind. <laughs> He's being it. sarcastic, I think. Ah, Getting a family! Ooh. That's what? A proper family! What, are you trying to give this character nuance? Just let her be an irredeemable ah, villain. This is a ooh. children's movie for fuck's sake. This is, oh this my god, is, but if that's the case, this then does that well, this, we this, to, uh, yeah. this solidifies oh, no. the Jack Horner stuff, because he's now saying, see, this is how you do it. You don't ah. do it like Jack. Ah, right, I so see. Still so uh, does that mean that we need to reevaluate the nature of the wrong that we gave him for Jack? No, the Jack one stands. No, it's I the, think this... Yeah, right. But when, when he says, you've he made was. Jack one-dimensional, which is lame, and yes, I'm asking for nuance in a children's movie, which I still find, you know, repulsive as a comment, because it makes no sense. You, you have nuance, you do... You can equally have non-nuanced and nuanced characters too. in children's, and there's no, there's no, like, oh, wow, a nuanced character in a child's movie, okay. But then he's now... Uh, saying, see, she's the counterexample to Jack Horner. This is how you do it. This is how you should do it. And it's cool that it's done. But he's presented in a way like, oh, yes, we wouldn't want nuance, would we, in our children's movie? As if, like, that's the position that someone else might hold. Hmm. I see. Okay. Because he's, he's apparently against having one-dimensional villains in kids' movies, which I find interesting. Is he against one-dimensional villains 
You must be against him in adult How movies. How do you feel though. about? Uh, well, like I said, Lord of the Rings is. Palpatine. I guess that's a, he doesn't like that, or uh, yeah, maybe Palpatine. this is like a double down on a bad take he already had. Well, no. Now I'm now I'm wondering. So so the so the initial because remember I feel the nature of the people sus was the the whole idea that he didn't like the the notion that dealing with the children's film and, and like nuance that that was something that wouldn't be oh together. let me be very specific in what i'm criticizing with that line when he says nuance am i criticizing it for not having nuance in a kids movie yes what he's saying is you guys are probably surprised at the fact that i'm saying there should be more nuance in this character when he's in a kids movie when in reality there should be nuance in kids movies and i don't like the notion that it's not and the the, the problem of course is the why would why would you ever have been in that slot anyway? There, there's so many kids movies that are known for nuanced characters or interesting ideas. Why have you even started from the position of yeah, I want nuance in my kids movie? Like, like if, I, yeah, the implication being that there typically isn't, even though yes, which you is know, which is you want to uh, run through sus, the list of definitely comes in. Yeah, I see. Well, so what's the nature of uh? So what what would this one? Well, then so with this like? one, as far as I can tell, he is saying. It's good that she's got extra dimensions, but like I said, I feel like she had extra dimensions well before this moment. We've we've done all yeah, the nostalgic pines yeah, plays. He's like, not why... insightful as, and he's not being insightful as to what those extra dimensions are or anything about it. He's just kind of just noticing something that's pretty clear. Like I said, I feel like we we've had plenty of uh, signposts for this before this scene anyway. I mean, yeah, yeah we the have. whole scene yeah. of them in the the cabin, cabin, uh, yeah, asking what hmm. she's gonna wish for, things like that. I feel like it's a zero then. As it's a lot of people are pointing enough. out, then why is it a sin? It's because his formula is bizarre. Well, his formula is as bizarre as wins, where there's like the sin yeah. counter or the win counter is more so just comment counter. He could Pretty have much. removed a sin though. But then that's part of the sarcasm. I don't maybe well, he so, those and now what you're encountering things. is that it just never makes any fucking sense. There's nothing consistent mm -hmm. about the system. Yeah. Which hence why it's difficult for us to have a consistent system, but we're trying. Trying to, I've, also... I've seen people say, like, you're not very consistent. It's like, do you know how difficult this is? Like, the tone <laughs> is constantly changing. The fact that everyone so, here, like, almost interpreted this, this or... as literal, but now you have to be like, wait, 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 wait. Like, he's, 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 you have to consider the past comments and the, the, the nature of which he's delivered this and whether or not he's sinning it for however yeah. many or whatever. Is he so inconsistent? You're right, that it's tough to, mm -hmm. yes. it's hard I to can't peg him down. A again, well written character, yeah. when they say something like this, I'm like, oh, I know what you, oh, okay, that's, he is, but he, I mean, him, it's like, oh, I don't character. know if you're just, like, being a joke, or you're retarded, or what. Well, it's just so. the inconsistency is baked into the formula such that he can evade any and all criticism, because if he's wrong, it's a joke, if he's right, then it's astute observations. It's a nice, convenient world where he's always right, which and never make a mistake. Which is still less convenient than wins, which is he can do no wrong because he's being positive. Because he's being positive, yeah. Like, Cinema Sins has to work a little bit harder, which is yeah. hilarious. They both got really big so... shields, but wins is one is way better than Sins is one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just All right, be so is... What's this, a zero? Uh, yeah. I, I might yeah. have given it a I peepo sus because a of the zero. fact that he see, apparently didn't notice that she had nuance before this scene. That, yeah, but that would make I it negative one. Well, we that's true because sus. he is on a sus. So he's on a I sus mean, I, that, that never determines whether or not I give someone a sus. No, no, I'm just pointing out that just so that we all remember. Mm -hmm. that's a, I, I'd be okay with a sus. I'd be okay with a sus. I am sus on this one. I'm okay as well because you're you're recognizing these things way too late. Yeah. Yeah. Which implies that you just missed us. them before. Well, and Which judging from where we are in the movie and where we are in the timeline, I think we're not getting any... He is really going to, like, end credits too long, ding, and then video's over. <laughs> Probably. So does he get a sus for this? Yes. I, I think so, I, yeah. I'm not going to the sus, and that I would think bring that's him fair. to a negative. A negative yes, on that one. Someone said, what the heck is a people sus? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, it, it's, it's a... It's a people advanced, sus it's a is essentially our point five. Yes. Yeah, it's a negative it's a point five life. sort of. It's like a it's like a yellow flag that uh, yeah. that you know compiles. It's, it's, to, it's like the, rolling, if you if, if you do it's it like again. Rolling with disadvantage in D and D. Exactly. Like that one. So, uh -huh. Exactly.
I would also like to point out uh, in chat, someone has said, remember when Rags correctly asserted that sharks have no bones and the chat went ape shit? Good times. Yes, I do remember that. Interesting. Oh my yeah. god, are you so... I, I'm gonna be honest, I, I was already Googling at that point, so I didn't see what they had said. I'm sorry, Rags. <laughs> no, it's just, no, it's okay. It's just something. That I knew, because I knew when you said it, I was like, sharks, I believe, are special. And I was like, are they mammals? And I was like, no, no, I'm pretty sure they're not mammals. But I was like, what, what would they be? Well, because there's, there's weird classifications of some stuff. Whales are a mammal, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, whales. Yeah, mammals. whales are mammals. Whales and dolphins. Yeah, of course, yeah. And so that's why, yeah, like, whales, if, dolphins, orcas. Yeah. You know, I was just like, I need to check, and then I was like, oh yeah, they are they are fishies. They are cute little fishies. I have gills. I have gills. Humpback um, whales are the no, vigilantes see. of the sea. They will save people from orcas and other Neat. sea life. It's pretty cool. Whales are the buses um, of the water. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Monstro certainly is. Um, all right. Let's be an irredeemable villain. This is a children's movie for fuck's sake. Kitty grabs the map in one hand and holds Pusset's sword point with the other. And somehow when we see the map in her hands, it's already completely scrolled up. I can't even keep my yoga mat scrolled up with both hands, a leg, and my chin working in unison. Fuck yeah, I do uh, yoga. I Namaste, motherfuckers. Neither <laughs> <laughs> you, almost, you almost like ruined it with making so many jokes. I was like, yeah, that's yeah. true. You got it. Continuity <laughs> error. Yeah. Just All right, fine. Shut up. his yoga mat pain. Fine, yeah, fine. Fair. You got a yeah. point. He does. You got a I do point. feel his yoga mat point. pain, though. I do feel his yoga I mat pain. I get it. Pain. I understand. They, those things. Yeah. Characters yoga is mat. a superhero, and they just jump down about 100 feet to solid ground. One of them landed in the classic superhero landing pose. That's why she's in the Baker's Dozen. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> how fair is this? I can't remember, like, what the nature of this situation is in full. Um, we have, like, a it wide shot. Like Decently far from the rim. Yeah, they jump pretty far. As a so... superhero, and they just jump down. Yeah, and that I mean that doesn't make any sense at all because Jack literally like walked across a cliff gap with four people's worth, which he probably just jumped yeah. it. So yeah, yeah, it's, I'll, I'll it's give him this minor because it's yeah, uh, yeah it's fair fine. enough. But that is uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. I smell a comeback. For the Please. record, anybody who's listened to this be like, you think the movie's bad because of this? We're like. Yes, we do. It's <laughs> yes, it yeah. ruins the whole movie. <laughs> Old terrible. <laughs> yes. On about yeah, 100 feet the, the to solid ground, dungeon. one of them yeah. landed in the classic superhero landing pose. These are vanilla-ass human beings, for f**k's sake. Pew, pew. Saying your pew-pews out loud. These two... Uh, zero. No. Zero. Zero. Giant bears can't pull him back, but Goldie with her stick alone can do the trick. Well, it's it's not... not her with her stick alone. It's her and the other two. Thing. Yeah, it's a little bit more. Her, her plus yeah, the bears is stronger than just the bears. She's got. Well, it's a question of leverage. We might have to enter autism again. Oh, oh no. here we go. All right. So here let me ask the. Autism. Let me point out, point out the first oh, thing. That stick with enough. that I'm chain that should be slipping off. No, I it's, it's pressed against his skull hard enough that he's got. He's no, the okay. stick part. The stick you, part on the chain. Well, yeah, so no, is the I... stick going to be able to hold the weight of a bear, or is it going to break? It I feel like that. Stick made out of. I think it should just know. should it's, it not just slip off? Isn't that the main thing? I, I I'm not talking about the chain around his head, by the way. The... Chain on the stick, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, mm. I because there is an upward motion being applied, and there is a downward slope to the right end of her stick. That. But the left I part mean, of it, can you see how that would just. Yeah, yeah, the left part of it would come off, but I think the right part of it would still be good. And if it was about to slip off, I think she's de uh, dexterous enough with it to where it wouldn't. She'd be just readjust the angle at which she's holding it. So, is the stick able to bear the weight? I assume it. it is. Well, she uses it as a weapon, so I presume it's a pretty good stick. I think if you went frame yeah. by frame, this would look like it's absolute nonsense. Back, the uh, the way that it grabs the chain. Goldie with her. It is strange. Mm. Oh, Look at how it's connected on the left for, for no reason. Yeah, stick alone. The left one, it stick alone. Stick alone. Yeah, she should have like twisted it or something, you know? Like, yeah. Stuck it on mm. and twisted it. Um. So you got that. Bear the weight. Which is weird because she, I could totally believe she could do that. She's been shown to be extremely skilled with his sticks, but the way that they chose to do it, it just. I don't want to say it's a little lazy, but. I'm not good at explaining this kind of physics, but to get to his point instead of just the ones we were kind of throwing on there, I don't know that anything significantly changes by adding her to the to the equation in terms of overall leverage for baby. Because they're is both it, off the ground, the mum and her. Is it part of is it part of the magic of the wish being like this is what your wish 
you know, this would be what you would have wished for, or I don't know about that. I don't know if we I, have it was any, always yeah, the I'm impression of just you know her doing it with both of them. That was what they needed. That was sufficient. Yeah, it's like symbolically, it completely lines up. Logistically, it's like eh, maybe yeah, you could have done like a little bit better. I feel like it should have been but... a reach thing. I feel like it should have been about reach, not about like pulling strength. But it's sort of portrayed that she's the kind of the, the thing that tips it to their side. Pretty much. Because he's, as he says I think here, it's a um... portrayal issue. It's not a, like, I think it's an issue in just how they portrayed it, if anything. Yeah, because you could, you could try and get away with actually making it magic based as the, the wall starts to release him when she gets him or something to let us know. Why would that it do it's... that, though? Well, it, it, why does it have any because particular rules? We could fulfilled. argue that the, the wishing star is, yeah, there's, there's, there's a way you can, yeah, you can essentially... work it. Yeah, um, but. Or they could have just made it about like reach. She needs to be there so that they could physically reach. Yeah, that far would have been another solution. But the yeah, way that it's portrayed, yeah. it feels especially because there's a bit of a, a there is a significant pull on him, and the the way they are now, she is pulling him onto the mum, and that's all that's happening here. Like in terms and of it leverage, is enough in that yeah in that upward lift it well all lifts is upward is able to keep her off the ground mama bear off the ground and she big yes so, see, yeah see i think there's a couple ways you can prove this doesn't make executed, any sense yeah yeah it's a poorly yeah. executed thing i mean the concept is solid but the well the thematically and in, in terms of thematically it's right super on point so yeah also those are too many responses have been because magic in a film with magic there are several things that get accounted for by magic i'm afraid that's just yep, how that works that's right <laughs> sorry the sorry fucking force that. is magic okay it's a magical thing yeah, that, that, that accounts for many things it explains a hell of a lot in star wars now there are times where magic just can't explain the thing and I, I do believe this is a moment where I don't think we have sufficient references to say that magic is the reason this works um, and so yeah I think he, get a, he gets a point uh, yeah. begrudgingly <laughs> yes because I really like this moment oh, I many, love the moment many of these have been begrudgingly I think yep, it's a great moment right. it could just use some tweaking yep. to make it perfect yep needs a tweak the scene doesn't need to make right. physical sense, or doesn't make physical sense. Okay, I thought they said doesn't need to, and I was like, no. Oh. Sitting on Mama's well, neck. Okay. That movement is all traps, delts, and tries, baby. Goalie locks must be ripped, bro. I'm trying to look at the stick there. She's jammed it into the one of his trinkets at that point. So, and it's it through one of the like chains. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that like that works better. The chain, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Then, hmm. That's a lot better. Well, that that's only applying for just how the the stick connects to the chain, which was not yeah. the yeah. major problem. It's not even oh. the one he eyelids. Bro. Yeah. Wait, sorry. What did he just? What did he just say anyway? <laughs> she said. It, he Goldie said. Lock Goldie Goldie Lock must be oh, that was a part of it. Okay. Yeah. That movement is all traps, delts, and tries, baby. Goldie locks must be ripped, bro. <laughs> what have you got for this one, Sins? Goldie and the bears are yeah. still there. Why aren't they still trying to get the map away from Puss? And if you say they, they had a change of hearts, they're... well. She's the one that's motivated to get it for her wish, and that this is the big moment where she made her choice. She left the wish behind for yeah. them, and now, exactly. as we find out as the movie goes on, she's not as invested in actually getting that wish. Yep. That's just yeah. That's just the story at that point. So yeah. Also, so, there's uh, just a physical distance. Between yeah. When he's saying, "Why aren't they getting the map?" It's like, "Whoa! I'm afraid you don't understand the story." I guess. I mean, mm. I, I yeah, I think that's the only argument you need is that she's at this point no longer invested in completing the wish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I think that's Given right. that she destroys it, she helps them destroy it with no hesitation. And so, is that a negative one? That's a, I think that's a negative. I think so, too. That's exactly like an incorrect read yeah. of, of the characters. So help me, I will hug you, but not a fun hug. It will be the hug where you feel like your insides Ooh. are about to pop out. And right as you think I'm releasing you, I will strike your nose with my forehead and you will be covered. Get it? Unless... Because Unless potentially what he's appealing to is that the bears may want to have it. To they make only a wish want have... to do it. I think. Or her, though, that's the thing. Yeah, if if what you maybe. need to account for that is that when she brings well, them not all down, maybe explicitly. Yeah, they they're only doing but, it for uh, her. Um, yeah, they're only doing it for her. They weren't interested. Maybe you can argue for baby, but even then, maybe. Uh, it's but even then, if he was like, was again, jacket, he's got so. the payoff. Well, and he's also know? just that's had true. a near death experience. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, he was clearly quite worried he was almost crying so yeah. 
covered in blood and regrets. What can I say? I'm a hugger. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your deathing or anything, but efficiency-wise, wouldn't it be smarter experience. to go ahead and carve all the cat heads into the blade at the beginning and then mark them off as each life dies? You're just creating more work for yourself on the back end by waiting to do both at the same time. What's oh, whatever. Funny joke, zero. <laughs> no. Whatever, zero. That's, zero. That's zero because it, he can fucking it's... carve it however he wants. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, yeah, yeah I don't, listen, I don't tell death how to thing. do his fucking job. Okay? <laughs> yeah. The matter. It probably. I don't even know that they're carved in. He might just fucking. You know, he's dead. So yeah. Maybe it's magical, but whatever. Zero. Lives flashing before your eyes. No. Just one. Liar. That flash started with you as a baby, and then went to this last life stuff with Kitty and Perita. That's at least two of your lives. Stop focusing on badass comeback lines and just learn to tell the truth. Also, I, that's mm, not getting anything. That's not getting uh, shit. No way. <laughs> Absolutely not. He's not getting a point for that. <laughs> that's that's um, ridiculous. Uh, There's no point there. That's a zero. He was a baby when it flashed back, Fringy. He was. He was. I know he was. But he, Fringy, he ain't getting that. I feel that you've become very defensive because you feel there might actually be some validity to the point he just made. What? Well, what do you mean the validity of the point that at the beginning it, that at the beginning it started with his life, but then as it went on, it shifted to the life that he had, and it that is, that was the life the that was the absolute. This might eyes. be the height of nitpickery, but it, I think it might <laughs> slip in. <laughs> <laughs> you barely. I, slip you know in what? You you could do it, but I protest. Okay, <laughs> we all protest. <laughs> I all protest because this is turbo the autistic. Like I just said, I the fact that you immediately were like, no, no, no! <laughs> I just, is this a case of, I don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> because, what, yeah, because it, it's sort of like, it, it symbolizes how, you know, when he was born, he was alone, and but then it started flashing to the other people in his life. It's just it's kind of like a, thinking of, you know? it's like a fuck you, you know? Like, what's your problem? Like, what you do? <laughs> Why did this movie do to you? Just leave oh, him alone. Oh, look, it's two, because it started with him as a, when he was a little kid. Uh -huh. Is the way out it depends of this on how super literal Puss in Boots is being within that moment, whether or not he's talking about the life that matters to him at that moment, or he's literally talking so, about the life yeah. as well. It might be the case <laughs> where his it's... lives to him are continuously a life, a single one, and from yeah. his own perspective. So this is what I mean. Well, the the, know, the, 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 the life of being provided the boots by his, his mum is a part of all of his lives. Like that's like the like an origin That's flash. Foundational, it's a foundational it's, memory. This is yeah. what I mean by the height of nitpicking. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, we would need, let's see. And, because... and is Puss lying? Is he lying to death? Because that's what he's saying, all right? He's saying he's lying, but that's not the case, is it? Maybe he turns back into a baby when he dies, and then he <laughs> grows up immediately. Well, immediately like a noble yeah. phoenix. <laughs> Shall we see what chat vote for? I, you know how it works, you know chat. Zero you can, or you plus can do one. That. Yeah, you can do that, sure. If you believe that Cinema Sins is fair, he gets a plus <laughs> one. If you think that it is not a fair criticism, then he gets a zero. I didn't make a poll. I was actually just going to eyeball it, but I should have made a poll because this one's more split than the other one. It looks pretty different. Here I go making a poll. All right, yeah. He must be just shaking, them. shivering in his booties right now. No, I mean, if they <laughs> make that call, then that's their choice. It just doesn't change anything, though, it doesn't, from my perspective, does it? <laughs> They're free to choose His whole correctly, world so, could be yeah. destroyed and just be a moments <laughs> from now. <laughs> the problem is that when you set it up like that, there'll be people who agree with me, but then they'll vote one anyway. Maybe. Or well, maybe game. they'll want to meme with you and, and <laughs> vote the other way. Who knows? Yeah, they might be on your side. Do Which you, you wouldn't want to be. In you know? memeing. One, zero. Look at this binary shit. Crazy. Yeah. All right. Get voting. I'm not voting in this one. <laughs> I think I'm just going to. I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to relinquish my responsibilities in chat. They know how it there works. You, yeah. you can't see the result unless you vote, right? Oh, this is. Well, you can see the result easy. no matter what, I think, can't you? Well, can you? Well, when, you, you when, can choose when to. It's, when it's done, right? You can choose then to just not yeah, vote anyway. But you could also just vote and not 
let's say that you did. <laughs> Here, really Pollard, well. if you vote for one, I'll vote for the other so we cancel out, okay? Um, that way okay. we can see it. I mean, in the scheme of you, like, you know, 400, 500 votes, it's not going to make a difference, is it? Oh I, God, I'm I'll trying to be speed. fair here. Fine, I'll go one, you go zero. Okay, sure. Do it. You're not going to believe Just, just so we can see. Just so we, ooh. Yeah, this I realize is, uh... that I always get to see the results anyway, I guess, because I'm the host of the poll. But I'm trying to figure out how oh, I vote uh -huh. with it, even when I'm host, but on, I don't know. It's, it's... Oh, wow, it's narrow. Jeez. It is narrow, no. but they're going to decide it. I think we should have uh, something of a cutoff. Um, we leave how long it? should we give them? Should we leave it while we... Should we wait until we the end of the video? Proceed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Maybe sure. this will be the tiebreaker. Maybe he can squeeze a lot of points uh, in between now Maybe. and then, mm. and this could be the tiebreaker. Let's just leave it up. Yeah, just leave it up. We'll see. My right. God. Um, no. Just one. Liar! That flash started with you as a baby, and then went to this last life stuff with Kitty and Perita. That's at least two of your lives. Stop focusing on badass comeback lines and just learn to tell the truth. Also, the lesson here appears to be if you have the chance to save your life that involves no fighting, throw that possibility out the window and go ahead and have an unnecessary fight. Yeah, that sounds like a great lesson. Fighting is always the answer, kids. Oh my god. Where was he gonna go? Oh, he can't leave. God. I also just That's not a necessary a fight. Oh my god. god. He has to face death. He has to face his mortality. Well, the, this, He's this, is, here with death. this is on the Literally level of um, so Lord oh. of the Rings, when a Dark Lord is gonna take over the world, the answer is to what? Just kill everything? That sounds stupid. Oh god. Oof. It's is, oh, minus, is that a minus negative two. two? Is yeah, that it's gotta be you heard this take. Oh, Wait, this but is remember, such a two doesn't go with intensity, it has to go with frequency, right? Uh well, so that, so he's missed that he has to he has to face death literally. He has to fight him, and also, and also he's symbolically overcoming him. Yeah, by confronting or, him, or overcoming on. his I'm, fear. I'm, I'm, yeah. Instead of doing what he's done each and every time, which is run, which hasn't, which is only delayed it's, this fight. It's, it's not. That's not what it means. Like it doesn't mean that if if you're in a position where he's he's presented this as though the film's trying to tell you that if there's a bar fight happening. With like intense violence and the doors right there, you could run, but no, you should face death. You're like, no, that, that that's not even what's happening. Well, he, 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 seemed, oh, he's he, he has to have to believe that this is an unnecessary fight. Oh, you know? wait a minute, no, isn't he say? Is he suggesting that Puss could have picked up the wish and wished to have yeah, all his lives back? He's, he's, he's saying, saying why not fight? go he's with saying... the uh, the you know how death describes like the coward's way out sort of thing. Yeah, why not take because it, you know? He would still have to fight if he did that, though. Death would just keep following him, then. I believe yeah. that is the case, yeah, because he, he would just cut all of those lives down himself at this point, as opposed to waiting for him to waste them. I don't even see why not, but I don't know, th th this is getting to a point of just, he's taken it so literally that, like, Puss yeah, has the he... chance to escape with a wish, but instead he chooses to ha throw that away and risk his life. It's like, that's a horrible lesson. Like okay, yeah. that, that's not the lesson, though, is it? No, I, that's what I mean. It 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 portray it, like that is a horrendous misunderstanding of the point of the film. That it, might be minus two and a bit That's what that's what I mean. It's spectacular, like it's because a spectacular misunderstanding of the film. You've got the literal interpretation, the symbolic interpretation, and then you've got the fact that it's a bad lesson for kids. That that's minus two and a bit sus, No. <laughs> That's what I, I know. I'm 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 close to I'm close to being uh, to a minus two. Yeah, this is so important for our protagonist. Um, this isn't just yeah. like uh, underestimating a side character what? or uh, like maybe a, a a secondary or tertiary theme or concept. This is like uh, the, the, this is his uh, read. Yeah, his man. read is the lesson here appears to be: if you have the ch a chance to save your life that involves no fighting throw that away, and then have an unnecessary fight. It is like, you have you have missed the point to a degree that's staggering. As the wall of fire is clearly... As, the, as he it, is literally uh, surrounded by a wall of fire with death yeah, right I, him. I think that... Well, he could I have mean, just made the wish him make death go away, sense. so there, film's broken. <laughs> uh, he could wish that there is no death anywhere. I just he have enough comment. time to do that before death kills him? Well, the thing about it <laughs> is that is this, he, death yeah, is yeah. inviting him to use it because he believes that's who this character is, he right? Would. Yeah. Which, which is which ties into what death is here again, for. 
if 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 Puss did what Cinema Sins wanted him to do, he would be dead. He would be dead <laughs> this day. Death would have killed him. That's what would have happened. That's what I mean. Like, I'm 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 happy to let you guys go for a for a negative two sauce. So I'm I'm actually okay with it. Yeah, I think I'm yeah, with it too. Sauce. This is yeah. too important. It's too important to the protagonist and the theme mm -hmm. of his whole journey. Yeah. Yep. This it is like saying, why didn't Luke sins. kill Vader? This is ridiculous. It's like that. It It's, yeah. It's like Wins and Sins fumbled this scene, didn't they? Well, it's just that Wins it's crazy, isn't it? to say. He just, two, he had... movie, two huge movie YouTube channels, and they both fucked it up. Yeah. Which, again, is crazy considering that I feel like everybody got it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I How does like it happen? Is, yeah, everybody like, I don't understood get it. this. All of the normal moviegoers understood it, but the movie review guys, like, I like think people point. aren't here for insight. They're just here for light entertainment and these videos, and that sucks because they're so, in a perfect right. positioned like space to be able to like sort of communicate cool film concepts to normies because that's who watches this crap. Uh, but like, yeah. but again, it's just like the normie film goer understands the film better. The, the, like the, re it, it's not like a complicated read. It's what the film is about fundamentally in a way that's like impossible to miss. I don't know. Like, how how is how is this? Or is 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 this another case? Is he memeing? Is he fucking around here? Is this a meme? No fighting, throw that possibility out the window, and go ahead and have an unnecessary fight. Yeah, that sounds like a great lesson. Fighting is always the answer, kids. I don't think that's a meme. No, I, I don't, don't think, think it's a meme. I, I think that's not like a uh, meme. That's, that's, again, that's just, a negative. I think the most you could yeah. say is he's willfully misinterpreting it to make it funny. Yes. Oh, but that's but because, okay. Because of how badly he's be misinterpreting worse. it. In a way yeah. that's worse. If he, if he deliberately misunderstands possibly the most important scene in the film because it's funny then i mean if that's not a minus two with a peepo sus then what is <laughs> <laughs> like think of the kids that watch this channel and think that this is how you criticize film and they see this and go and they think that this is the only read you should have on this because cinema said it right like, yeah it's, it's uh, no I, i'm comfortable with uh, I th i'm comfortable with two and peepo how was, how yeah, was two and, else yeah, I'm I'm good with two and people too, yeah, especially like when when he's so oh, ambiguous yeah. and squirrely with his system. I think a lot of people might be like, "Yeah, this is the re yeah. yeah, this is where the film fucked up." Yep, two people sauce. All right, pick it up. I know I can never defeat you, Lobo. Maybe so, but you would have a much better shot at defeating him if you didn't give him back his weapon Holy every time it gets Oh my... I can't. Oh. By the way, this is, no. this is how I sound to people who hate me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder oh. they're angry. <laughs> this is what... <laughs> oh, God. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, that, <laughs> negative two to people. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> negative one. Wait a second, wait a second. That's a negative this one. Means, it's one point. This means that if we gave him a negative two people sus, that means that he would actually would go gone... down by three because he already oh. has this. Yeah, sus. exactly. I think it's that's one, right? That's one. Negative point. one. So he's a negative. Yeah, this is like an bad point. Yeah, where is he now? Negative right? 10 sus. Negative he's at negative yeah, 10 yeah. with a people sus. Oh my god. I didn't oh, know he's that collapsed. Long. He is yep, falling he is into collapsed. lava right now. He is the T-1000 in the lava. I'll tell you what, oh, though. I'm, <laughs> I'm back in the running because uh, if we combine the accuracies of our total predictions, Spread. then I might actually be able to make it. Because Meme had plus uh, two on Sins. I had negative 15. I, oh, over I overestimated the both of them. <laughs> well, I was like, negative 20. Let's see if we can make it that far down. Let's see. Where we got we got some minutes left, yeah. Take it away from it. But also, this works. I'm not kidding. Wolf leaves after this. Keep watching. It's f***ing unreal. Not I <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a uh, new, that's a new keeps, problem. He keeps digging. That's he a new problem. He's yeah. just yeah. shoveling right. all this. That's a new problem. That's a new he one. Keeps on that's digging. a new negative. <laughs> I agree. Negative that's a new negative. negative. And the people sus. That's, that's one negative. point. That's, that's one point. One. So that's yeah, a negative that one. Adds, yeah. yeah. Jeez, stop. Talking. Taking this opportunity <laughs> to poke death in the eyes, Three Stooges style. Apparently. Zero. Whatever. Zero, yeah. Zero. Yes. Jack Horner yeah, went to the point. every villain Horner. ever school. No, he's done actually... with death. Yeah, he's done. That is his. That's that is the totality For of a, death. Then I was expecting okay. so much more sins taken off the counter sort of stuff, but we've had barely yeah. any. Yeah, honest. I'm surprised. That's crazy. He seems to actually think death 
has like made an error, like that the writing is poor because he chose to leave. You, you like he legit doesn't understand what the fuck happened in the scene. Damn. To the point where he's like annoyed at the film. Yeah. They're being dead, but waiting until the most opportune time to resurrect themselves. Well, I, I don't know if this is opportune. I mean, this is after death is gone, and now everybody can focus on him. So really, it's inopportune, if anything. Yeah, you could definitely argue that. So I, I and, But this is the thing. This reminds me of the gut shot to the belly in, in a lot of stuff. It's just like, it's really up to the writer how fast he's able to get out of the bag. It's a big magical bag that yeah. seems to be like never ending. So how long does it take him to find the things the, he uh, needs, including the thing. eating the stuff? To, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. it's we can't take a couple of minutes, maybe, or it could be five seconds. I don't know that I could say reliably how long it should take. Yeah, is that was that zero then, right? I'd say zero on that one. Yeah, zero. Spanish Splinter! No! I did not need to see this again. My thumb still hurt from when you did it at the beginning of the movie. F like this. And you showed this it. This makes me want to dig up Anton Chekhov's corpse just to tell him to f off already. Don't worry, it'll be fine. I'm sure they knew when they buried him that he'd be brought up again later. What Memes. Zero. Zero. Oh, I love it when the three of them look at each other and agree oh, to tear it. Is he it's gonna so good. Say something, is he going to say something real stupid? Magical about it? wish paper easily Why torn. Did... Oh, no, he's going he's to say, want... why did they tear it? They yeah, could have all wished yeah. for something. Yeah, that's, that's what I think you might say. What have you done? I'm confused too, Giant Jack Horner. Puss still had time to make his wish. Why is Willow Shaw a wish? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I wish oh, I could get a grip. Fucking oh. clockwork. I mean, that's a negative one, surely, because he doesn't understand the motivations. One. It could yeah, be argued as a negative... negative like, I'll stick with one, but the three characters, <laughs> uh, he doesn't understand oh. why each of them would do what they did. Oh, oh my god, I've been feeling negative too. Oh, he's in the lava. <laughs> he's there and he's screaming. What did I do to deserve this? I mean, what specifically? <laughs> Thinking You're gonna dock a point for that, but you've completely misunderstood. I don't understand. <laughs> 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 that gets us in dock, yeah, but nothing real else in the but third that gets act. Him no points, because that's also, nothing. That's he nothing. just laughed yeah, at man. something. Yeah. Also, nothing. we skipped to here. All right. Yeah. yeah. Needed to see a yeah. tag scene with the governor character after the movie already ended perfectly. Where we have. Uh, it's, it's, it's not over. Not even about. <laughs> We're tying a bow on our story. It's yeah. Just, it's suited because he was, he was mm -hmm. something of an established thing. We can use him again. Yeah. Why not? So that's it a zero, I guess. Oh. Yeah. To find new adventures. What's he going to say about this? And to see some old friends. Using Shrek as sequel bait when I prefer on keeping him far, far away. Well, if it's Shrek. written as well as this film, then I'll be happy with another Shrek movie. Yeah, man. Yeah. We need a oh, Shrek yeah. Renaissance. Shrek oh. Renaissance. Oh, <laughs> damn. All right. Who cares what his tally is? What's, what's our tally? Uh, well, yeah, well, 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 so well. Let me while. let this play a little bit. I don't know what else is here. I think it's just memes, uh, right? Where he does references. Yeah. He does my memes thumb! Think, yeah. Where's my thumb? <laughs> yeah, we don't. This doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> Damn, where do you end up? We're free. Okay. Well, it was at 50-50 for a while, and now it's kind so, of swapped let back. let me post. Let me post to you. Well, the wait, we gotta, I gotta end the poll. Yeah, you gotta end the poll. Oh, we yes, you do. Up. That's right. 51% 51. 51. Oh, Damn. nice. Nice. So he does, oh, well. he gets a point, nine, right? Hun. He gets a yeah, point. Yeah, that means nine. he gets a point. Yeah. Chat, you've All spoken. Right. I love democracy. You've I love spoken. the republic. I love democracy. All right, let me uh, <laughs> boom, boom, get this all tallied up. Let me post it here. This is the official. Uh, <laughs> this is the official the tally. Wins <laughs> ended up with ooh, eleven points in a peepo sus, and cinema sins final score was negative eleven. <laughs> And a people balanced. Can I just say how pathetic for both of them? That that's that's hilarious. That's amazing. That's a disaster. Let's be clear. Even even though this was highly highly weighted in favor of wins to give him a fair shot from the last episode when we covered Multiverse of Madness, both of our contenders did a shit tier job. It's, you know what's really wins funny? should I... have. Cleaned the floor with points. Yeah, it was. Should have been like what happened with uh, Sins, where Sins absolutely demolished wins on our multiverse to where we stopped counting. Yeah. So the conclusion here is that they both they both failed. 
but the 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 nature of our wind's failure is more spectacular. Yeah, because he had a handicap essentially yeah. with the movie. It means that mm -hmm. he came out ahead. Both of them did a terrible job. It's embarrassing. Yeah, th this one was crazy because I remember that the takeaway with our sins on multiverse was that it was kind of a little surprising. He kind of surprised us a little bit with like the quality of some of his analysis. Some of it was just downright like, oh, wow, that's really good. Whereas obviously this time around, the quality of the criticisms is like, well, let's be real. All right. Like there's not there's there was very little by way of like meaningful character or thematic criticisms. It was mainly just like, yeah, sure. OK, yeah, I guess cartoon physics. Yeah, OK. Yeah. And then, of course, wins dramatically failed in the nature of providing a comprehensive analysis uh, and praise of this film. He failed, miraculously. I feel like I know less about this movie now than I did before we started. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is what I've come up with for trying to figure out a winner for our predictions. What I did was just count the amount we were off, and you can just double-check the math um, <laughs> on both, and then add them together, so technically whoever's got the lowest score would win. Which is me. Which is you, yeah, and I think I lost uh, big time on this one. <laughs> 38. <laughs> yeah, yeah who was closest? I think it's... Meme? Yeah, I think I got second. Meme was only... Yeah, he gets... Because it's obviously lowest score wins. Uh, so, because you're one off with the win, so you get one point. And then, yeah, you were nine away with a sin, so yeah, you win with ten points. Uh, let's sorry, check though. What? Let's check. Well, I want to check. Sorry, RFT. What are you, what are you gotta... talking about? Mola won. He's eight. He wins. Mola oh, wins. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Comes okay. Second. Yeah, I was looking. Yeah, at I came okay. second. Well, yeah. I did say yeah. double check the math because wow. I may have gotten it wrong. I yeah, that's why I was, that. I'm going through and double checking. Uh, yeah, Mola six wins, and, and then is second place, and then six. um. Yeah. It's probably going to be uh, random, I think, is next, right? I think so, yeah. Well, I'm not metal, really a math guy. Wouldn't it? You got I can't believe plus, I overestimated uh, them both so six much. 6 plus 17 is what you've got? Okay, so that'd be 23. Yeah, because mm. so far, Mahler's the winner with 8 points, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, metal might actually... Wait. Wait, I think Metal... No, wait, is Metal next? Well, Metal's already 16 <laughs> off, uh, which is more than me, with just... From the winds. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah sure. But I think it's clear that it was you and then Meme was second. But Metal, I think, because if he... He was real close with Sins, so that's one. And then you got uh, 16 with... Uh, so that would be 17, which is... Um, so I think that's closer. And then Rags was... Uh, 25, so that's 14, and then with a plus 5 for Sins would be... <laughs> I'm just trying to do the maths in my head and I'm a little bit tired. Six is <laughs> that's six my excuse, 20, god right? damn it! 14 and 6, 20. Well, his is plus oh, 5 though, right? His oh is yeah, plus, so I it's fucking... more than that, so it's more <laughs> like uh, 16, right? So that'd be 16 and, and 14. Six... Yeah, 16 so that... 14. So 29? Which is... Much worse than I thought it was. <laughs> but still. <laughs> and then, of course, um, mine is the worst, obviously. Look at how wrong I was. But you're, but there's an intuition there that, like, mm. is you can't fault it. Because obviously, because um, obviously, mm. like, wins, he'll knock this one out of the park, right? This is, like, the perfect video for him. And obviously, Sins is going to maybe try and reach too far and get things right. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess you were surprisingly close to Sins there, so... I wasn't really. I was negative 20, so it was... Uh, I mean, metal. that's only 9 off. You know, it's metal not actually that. Yeah. That's true. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah, but it was because the... at the beginning, Sins looked like he might stand a chance, but then it deteriorated. Yeah, he started off think... strong, and then the movie began. I guess because uh, <laughs> the broad takeaway, I guess, from both of them is neither of them understood it. Um, well, yeah, dude, Sins, I think, may have misunderstood it Which more. Which means they both lose. Um, he might have. Because, like, that ending was horrendous. Yeah. Whereas, whereas the nature of, like... Because at the very least, cinema wins. 
Sure, his his read of death and Jack was like bizarre, but he understood that the point of the film is about confronting your own mortality, confronting it head on and fighting for a life that you want to preserve and protect and that that's enough. And that that's that, you know, like he got that. So it's like, oh, okay, well, so whatever, whatever problems, whereas in this case, he clearly didn't understand the point of the film and he didn't understand death either. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. So it's it. Yeah. But I guess it's, I guess, uh, who do you think cared more about the film in terms of paying attention to it or appreciating it? Ooh. What do you think? No, I just Maybe wind. can't answer that. It's, yeah, because Wynn seems super, like, dismissive and uninterested, and he still got it wrong when this should have been his wheelhouse. This, this is a gift to him, and he squandered mm. it. Like, one, like, like, one of Puss's lives, he wasted it and he didn't appreciate it. Yeah. Oh boy. It's, I guess it's in terms of a comparison of how well, because obviously last time Sins won, and the nature of his win was like, okay, yeah, all right. You know, that was kind of the vibe, I think, when he won. Mm -hmm. Whereas with this one, it's like, oh, geez, wow, you really screwed up, which I guess yeah. is interesting as a point of comparison. Yeah, he put so in Scrooge. Wins is like a summary. I remember he he was say, he seemed to have a reasonable understanding of what the film was actually about. I don't know if I can say the same for Sins. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That, that edge is it for me, I think. Oh, these are strange times. These mm -hmm. are strange, strange times. I they're think it's strange. beautiful that all of us, no matter what side we were quote unquote backing, um, all of us completely underestimated the horse we were going for as far as our upper estimates went and that's beautiful uh, I, did, I did when everyone else was given their takes i was like oh shit i've i've underballed my wins haven't i because like <laughs> he's like it, it's so easy especially with like the comments on just you know oh there's eight glasses or there's eight dongs or whatever and it's like yeah that should this this should work out real well but then he just uh most of it was nothing he just didn't say anything or made a joke mm -hmm. yeah because he clearly didn't care that much um, which is really frustrating because it's the whole like, oh, well, that I'm being positive is good, right? But being positive and not giving a shit, I don't know. I think that annoys me more than if you cared, but it's negative. Do we um as a as an outcome? Does anyone know? Because this one comes up as vapid. Mentioned the final score of um the the MOM competition. I know that we didn't keep counting for. Wasn't it that sins was like plus two something like that? I'm pretty <laughs> sure someone mentioned that. I think you mentioned was... that. Someone did. I think, um, if I remember correctly, Wins was on, like, plus two or minus two or something. Sins was on, I want to say, plus 69. Oh. Nice. Oh. Okay, that must be... Oh, that does make sense. Then. That does make sense. Because there's just so much uh, to work yeah, with in MIM. Yeah, yeah. He, didn't, he didn't have to yeah, make a bunch of stupid jokes or poor analysis. He could just keep pointing out how nothing makes sense. It's just funny, though, because the, conver the opposite was the case here. You can just point out how it's good. You know, you can point out how The Last Wish is a great movie, and he failed to do that, and consistently. What a mess. Cinema wins, but cin Citizen he, Kane. He literally could have done a joke where it's like, I just, I, like, he starts, and he, he seems desperate, and then he's just like, I, I, got, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't give sins. So then he's like, does a thing where he turns into Cinema wins, but his version of it. Oh, uh, but the problem is like, pointing out the good things, but... I don't think he wants to ever deviate from his formula. Yeah, I mean, what's the what's, his, what's really the whole special. motto like? Oh, no oh movie every movie is like no movie is without sin. But it's like, yeah, I mean, it's not without sin when you go out of your way <laughs> to come up with these <laughs> stupid jokes that you then constitute as a sin, and then it all adds up. Or if Especially you completely they... don't understand the ending, and then you just sin it. Yep, but maybe that was the intentionally wrong criticisms. You know, maybe, maybe. that's when it was intentionally maybe. wrong. Maybe, but doesn't I mean... change the fact that it's wrong. I think the real takeaway here is how sorry the state of, I guess, like mainstream, like a, like casual view movie criticism is with these two channels. And honestly, they're both like tremendous losers for not being able to get this movie. And it's legitimately, I mean, it's worrying because you would expect that they would be able to do it because they're film YouTubers and this is what they do. But at the same time, it's also um, like you have pity for him in a way. I say I'm but adjacent. They don't get to, like, get it. I'm adjacent to that point of please don't cover films that you don't understand at all. Come on, like you don't have to. But they obviously did because 
It was a big movie. I, I'm, I'm almost completely convinced that Wins didn't even really want to talk about it. But then they were like, do it, do it, do it, do it, do yeah. it. His comment section, he was like, okay, okay, okay. And then uh, looked Which at the, the, the top, 20, to. top, top 20 Easter eggs and then watched the film and came to some conclusions, made a script, pooped it out, done. Yeah, it's just the nature of, yeah. oh, the story's good. Oh, all right. <laughs> Honestly, it's okay. sad that like okay. there is room for Cinema Sins and Wins as a channel. In fact, the, I think the perfect synthesis is to approach with their format, but to apply the Wins and Sins where they are earned. Yeah, exactly. That'd be nice. And to have less of a reliance on jokes as a thing to just tide you through when you don't have anything worthwhile to add. What a but concept. instead, have yeah, the you... attitude of it's got to all be positive or it's got to all be negative. But yeah. at the very least, it's kind of hilarious because, like, Cinema Sins will at least sometimes take Sins away, whereas Wins will never deduct Wins. Does Has he ever done that in his uh, formula? He probably I has. swear I've seen him do yeah, it Yeah, every once in a while, but... yeah, he does it every once in a while. Yeah. Did he do it? He didn't do it this time around, though, did he? Mm, don't think I don't anymore. think so. He no. took a couple Sins away. No, 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 no. Cinema Wins. Does Cinema oh, Wins ever sins? take oh. Sins away? Ooh, I Sins does. Yeah, but I don't know if Wins I, has ever done it. I swear I I've know. seen him do it at least once. Maybe it was like something really like I would mean, picture like it's a room or something. I would picture it would be something like this movie was stars Kevin Spacey, so that's that's a win off or something like that. Like I, I, I could see him do it with matter information about people involved, but maybe I don't know if he would ever do it like just because a character did something he didn't like. Well, I mean, as you see, like, whenever there's a point where he has a level of criticism seeping in, he'll just be, but it's okay, though, or I like it, and then just, you know, like he did with the DreamWorks one, like he did with the animation one that was really weird, where, you know, mm. it's like, oh, I hope we don't won't learn the long, wrong, wrong, wrong lessons. lessons from anyway, but, uh, that's a win, yeah. you know? It's such a terrible thing. <laughs> oh, apparently, because um, I remember Jay talking about this, Cinema Sins' video on Everything Ever All at Once is a complete shift in the format. Um, I still haven't oh, seen it. I meant it? to watch it so I could find out what that shift in format was, because I don't want to claim anything before I see it. But, uh... hmm. I don't want to hear his voice right now. No, no. no. <laughs> I think... I could go for a good long while. Enough. Yeah, any... I've had a oh, good... One yeah, this, this EFAP season, I think... <laughs> I need a reset for a bit, so... Oh, well, we got, bit, it's yeah. funny, because next week we got a really big one as well. A big log boy. Uh, but we I won't do. say what yeah, it is, do. other than it's gonna be long. If it happens. Mm -hmm. some, so for some so no reason, complaining. things could get in the That's way, right. so no promises, but yeah. Yo, well, this one, nine hours. there's gonna be people right now who are like, this wasn't that long, it was five and a half. It's like, you yeah. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nine hours. Nine hours, goddamn. I was there, Gandalf. I was there. Yeah. <laughs> there are things you painful. haven't seen. Literally. That we have seen. Um, all right, then. Well, I guess it's, it's time oh. for us to uh, begin wrapping up. So, thank you so much, Random Film know. Talk oh. and Meme Repository, for hanging out with us for that incredible yeah, nine hour adventure. Always a pleasure. Um, yes, thank you for having me. As long as you're both interested, Bravo we will likely revive it. Time. That's what I just said. Yeah, good job, guys. You stuck around for nine hours. That's really impressive. No, oh, thanks. You say yeah, no. Yeah, I, had a, it, man. I had a bottle to help me get by. You know, it's really, I <laughs> really, bottle, wouldn't it make we, you, we really like, appreciate sleepy? you guys sticking around yeah. for the whole nine hours here, all right? We've That's really true, cool Fringy's no a good point. <laughs> They will, don't worry. Um, the, if if you're interested, just let me know and we will book you again for the next adventure into the Cinema Wars, which will likely be months from now, because <laughs> it's good to get a, we need a recharge, you know? Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll figure out. The next one's got to be a mid-movie. It's got to be a middle-of-the-road mm -hmm. okay yeah. film. Mm. Give them an even playing, uh, you know, an even playing field yeah, for the both of them. To be you know, fair, the results had currently movie, are had his one movie. all. They've, uh, <laughs> That's true. It was, it's each. one all, but this episode is mm. <laughs> way closer than it had any right to be. And both of our contestants are shit and terrible. Well, two retards fighting is that meme, isn't it? It's basically. <laughs> uh, well, the, I'm the degree to, to say... which. Sorry? 
I was going to say the degree to which Sins won uh, on MOM would put him in the lead, though, right? Or is that not how you're doing it? Uh, well, since I just um, even announced the fact that Waddle is, is, is a thing that none of us had even really were thinking about, but it's like, well, I guess so. if you're playing sports, the I mean, it, a win's a win, whether are... you li win by 50 points yeah. or one point. So oh, the percentage, though. There are, the percentage. There are particular remember. tournament rules that remember. can change that. Um, depending on um, what sport in what scenario, but well, it's you know percentage. Well, we score, have right? the data. The we can... sure. Yeah, yeah. The, the percentage score will determine your ranking if you uh, like for like. You've got the same number of wins and losses. Yeah, and honestly, I mean, we've got the data. We've got the numbers. We can workshop it. It will be a why. If we choose to do anything with it, we've got some time to think about it because it's not. It's something we can think about. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. wins was yeah. sitting on a gold mine with this episode, and he flubbed it. And yes, you know, because you again, to, we remind have everybody, for whatever concessions we had of, yeah, sure, you get the point. Th this hasn't changed anything. Puss in Boots Lost Wish is an amazing, an amazing movie. movie. Yes. And neither, neither of them have changed it. that. Well, and, and, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. oddly enough, if you, haven't, if you haven't seen this movie, a part of me was really worried about there being spoilers in these videos, but both of our contestants did such a shit job <laughs> going over the movie and you that still stand you guys watch really, yourself. yeah, you could see this and you'll see a lot of stuff in the movie that just wasn't in these videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I will say, without context, if I'd seen this result, I'd have been like, wow, Sins must have really pulled it together because he's only got a negative 11 when it could have been like a negative 100. <laughs> but when you, when you go through it, you're like, no, Sins was crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, well, before we leave you all, why don't, uh, why don't you guys want to start with random film talk? Why don't you tell everybody what you're up to, where they can find you? Alrighty. Um, yeah, I've got a YouTube channel, uh, relatively new, been doing it for what, like a year and a bit properly, kind of since Rings of Power came out. Um, I've got video series on Rings of Power on the and on the Hobbit movies. And I most recently did a video on Rebel Moon, of course. Yeah, did indeed. And of course. How yeah, could and, you? Well, yeah, I know. I, this is the thing is I, I've spent most of the last couple of months working on a series on arcane which is coming next mm. and uh i delayed that because i was not prepared for Zack snyder's rebel moon part one a child of fire He's a um, it, yeah very much very much so so he completely fucked up my schedule and now i don't know how many arcane videos i'm gonna get out before part two of rebel moon that will also um, delay the hell out of you because which it oh. also might, because I, uh, yeah, it's unlikely that I'll have nothing to say about that film. Mm -hmm. But yeah, right now, uh, the next thing that I'm going to be releasing is going to be Arcane. I'm not going to slot anything else in the meantime. All right, sweet. What's what's the nature of that? Like a breakdown? Yeah, so it's going to be the first like fully positive video series that I've done. So the format is a little bit different, but in terms of like, I guess the experience of watching it is going to be similar to the kind of stuff I've done before. It's just largely positive, um, generally very focused on characters and character arcs and that kind of thing. Um, but I'm doing, I've decided rather than do one video on each episode, I'm going to do three videos total. So one on each of the three like uh, acts from season one, because they're pretty self-contained stories, but like uh, they kind of, obviously they feed into each other and there's cliffhangers and all the rest of it. And it means I can discuss, for example, Act One like in its entirety without worrying about anything that comes next. Wow, sounds exciting! I'll so, check it out. Yeah, Plenty we may we may have arcane streams coming someday that we will grab you in for if you're interested. Ooh. Uh, yeah, let me know. I should be able. Not even just our season two. I was going to say ass season two, <laughs> ass game. Uh, but the, you know, there's some videos that uh, some people want us to check out in terms of arcane being very bad, actually. Oh dear! To find out why, maybe. I don't know if you saw our coverage of the video about Marcus, but that shit was trauma. That was, uh, I I was definitely <laughs> did, but I can't remember it. <laughs> it was a little maybe while ago. <laughs> um, meme yeah. repository. What about you, sir? Alrighty then. Well, um, firstly, I'm right now. I'm elbow deep in um, some some very uh, in a very uh, well. Hopefully, what will be a very good reaction series from a little um, series called EFAP TV. But um, the the show itself is uh, yeah. I'm 
I'm elbow deep in the shit right now with that one because it's just it is such a bad show. But uh, hope so. I'm hoping to. Uh, the aim is to get that out within the next uh, couple of months. Uh, so look forward to that. And after that, um, we're going to be this year will be the hopefully the soft reboot of the meme repository channel in the sense that media analysis and stuff will still be there. But I'm hoping to branch out into all sorts of different topics. And um, I'm going to very intentionally not tease what those projects will be only to say that they will be very different from each other because I want to get I want to experiment and do some do all kinds of stuff and just get the get my creative groove back um with that sort of thing and uh I read somewhere that if you announce a project um especially before you start it apparently you get the same dopamine rush it's a as um yeah when when you uh, uh complete it so I'm just going to be very vague with what the plans are just so I can keep that motivation train but uh at the moment my workflow is like um mostly editing and then occasionally i'll jump to like obsidian and then write a bunch of notes for an idea and then uh yeah and so i'll be able to more thoroughly commit to those once i get this so i haven't even been streaming lately because i just want to get this done out out into the world um for all of you people to see so uh that, that's what's going on with me at the moment gorgeous exciting um other words that are positive and lead to the sense that things are on the way because they are uh, links all in the description and once again thank you so much for being with us we appreciate it that's right everyone thanks for being here it was a long one both our um, both our wonderful guests and uh, uh, our amazing audience rags free yeah. anything you lads would like to say nothing that i'd like to announce publicly right now uh well i guess this is a question ball or is it what's the do you know what the have you already decided what the release plan is for the the things coming Loki? out yeah so well i was gonna say that for my side it was just anything you wanted to say about anything you're up to I guess. um i'm just working but uh, that that would be the the thing loki's done so yes. that'll be coming out based on whatever you're saying when it's coming out so well over to you so we'll start with lord of the rings <laughs> so uh I came up with a plan. I think I mentioned it the last time I talked about the copyright nightmare of uh, prompting the evil bots because there's chill bots and evil bots. The chill bots are what we usually put everything past and it's quite easy to deal with the chill bots. But the evil bots, they come in fucking full force when they've detected something and your video is very, very long. It's just something new to me. I don't, I don't really understand this. And so I came up with the idea of, okay, I'm going to work on our echo coverage while just seeing what prompts on YouTube, trimming it, see what prompts, trimming it, seeing what prompts, trimming it. And you just keep going because they keep supplying it one by one, and I'll just keep adding it, and I knew that eventually it would run out. And in my head I was thinking, it's going to be about 5 to 10. There's no way I missed more than 5 to 10. And, you know, by the time I hit number 40, I'm like, this is just un unreal. And uh, I was updating Rags and Fring as I was going along. They, um, they hit us for um, You Shall Not Pass. Just that. You know how long that clip is. <laughs> so they said that was too long and that that needs to be sorted. And I was, I was like, for real, like I don't know. And then um, the Balrog falling down the br like the bridge breaking and it falls, which again is like four seconds. I think that got hit. And I was like, um, I don't know what's going on here. And then there was one. I don't think I showed you it, Fringy, but Rags, do you remember me showing you one where it was clearly yes. wrong? Yes, it like, the AMR part, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, AMR shows up, and then it cuts to us talking about him, and in the timestamp, about two of the five seconds were clearly... It really is two not seconds. ...not the film. It's, yeah. it's, it, like, and I'm not saying, like, oh, no, it was uh, zoomed out, or it was, like, it was us in Discord, you couldn't see anything else. So at that point, I was like, oh, I think, I don't know what this system is, but it's broken, and it won't, it just doesn't relent. It would just... I think it would actually tag you no matter what. I would love to experiment, but I don't have the time. I like to just keep re-uploading and re-trimming and seeing how crazy it gets. But it was snip snipping things at this point that I've never even seen before. And I was like, so this is just a matter of triggering it with the chill bots, activating the angry bots on something that's longer than I, th I want to say five hours. I don't know what the cap or the activation point is. But it's something like that. And simultaneously, by the way, it was only doing it for two towers clips. Kept hitting us for two towers clips. Not Fellowship, not Return of the King. So I at least thought that we were clear on the other two and that I just had to defeat two towers, which is an inevitability, right? It's obviously an inevitability. 
And then uh, I, ch I trimmed out, it could have been the AOMA 101 after it, and then it came back with two hits. And I was like, wait, that's weird. And one of them was Return of the King. And I was like, I thought we were clean on Return of the King. And I and the first one of Return of the King was a five second one. I hit it, and then another one comes back, hit it, another one comes back, hit it, another one comes back. And I was like, so Return of the King now is in the exact same place as Two Towers. I am further back than I was when I started trying to deal with this. So, um... I've decided that the amount of work I did to cover it with copyright is just, that's, that is what it is, and I'll upload it as is. It has not been hit by the chill bots, and I hope that it never will be. Um, the, the first three we did, me, Wolf, and Rags, um, those aren't hit by, I think one of them might be hit by copyright, but the other two aren't, and they have more than five second clips in them. But again, they're only like an hour long, so I don't, it's so annoying. But what I'm going to do is just uh, upload that one probably the week after next. It's, it's just going to be the time, because we, we've got something locked in place for next week now. But I think the week after that we won't, so I'll put that out on the Saturday as a big, fun thing that we can all do, even though you've probably seen it. Chat was implemented, copyright was applied, this one might actually be able to get some level of AdSense on it, which would be nice, because it's been insane and absurd, but by then, which will be two weeks from now, I will have chopped up all of it to release in smaller videos. And those ones, I imagine, won't be hit even by the chill bots, because they'll be between a half hour and 50 minutes at most. And you are welcome to either watch them or not. Um, hopefully they, they are more consumable. They're going to, like I said, be topic-related. So I'll get all of them done, and it'll mean that the videos themselves ended up having some kind of, uh, uh, you know, benefit to those that worked on it in the form of monetization. That would be nice. I'm also appreciating this meme. <laughs> <laughs> That's Excellent end. memes. <laughs> so, <laughs> with all that in mind, like I said, I'd been working on Echo. Echo is almost done, so that'll be out Wednesday. What you're listening to right now will hopefully be out tomorrow. The only thing is I have a decent amount of editing to work to do to connect them and to cover them up for copyright and then bind them together, upload and release. So hopefully, and, and obviously we're late, so I should be heading to sleep soon, but I'll try to get as much done before I go to sleep. Trying to push it out for Monday. Echo on Wednesday. Next E5 episode, Saturday. And then the Wednesday after that will be Loki episode one. And I think the way we're going to do it is Loki, catch up, 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 Loki, catch up until we expend both of those because we're stocking up on things, but we also don't want to spam uh, content as well because we're still recording extra EFAB episodes to try and catch the number up a bit because we fell behind. We've got to do meme faps and we've also got... Um, I mean, it is done, so I could say what it is. But there's there's a special little that we recorded. Um, bringing around, you know what I'm talking about? This is the thing with the. It's, it's just a little bit different. We hadn't done something like that before, and uh, that's mostly edited and covered for copyright. So that'll be coming out too. I mean, that's about that's it. A lot of stuff. Yeah, and by the time all of that's out, I'm sure we'll have lots more ready to go. Um, and it was it was fun. It was fun doing this today, but I, I think, like I said, have a bit of a break on the Cinema Wars thing. <laughs> I think we fall oh, that way yeah, the first please, time. Oh, yeah, please, please. I can't. Yeah. It gets a We're bit heavy. Um, and yeah, uh, Lord of the Rings set me back in terms of working on mainstream stuff, or main channel stuff, I guess I should say, and uh, the, the that that will continue. Um, but yeah, that's that's the that's information. I hate copyright. You all knew this, but uh, never never encountered such a demon as this before. To the point where I think if I had actually trimmed two towers over and over again, they would just keep going. I don't think it would ever actually stop. It's, uh, it's like the bot was designed to simply choose the most likely to actually pass a human's eyes if they looked at it, but doesn't actually have to. I don't know. Ooh, I also recommend Silo. I watched that TV show fully with rags. Yeah, yeah. that's right. We enjoyed it mucho. It's a uh, premise, because I don't, I don't think it's bad to explain this as a hook. It is a enormous silo under the ground that houses 10,000 people, and they're all under the impression, told definitively, that outside in the world is so poisonous it could kill you in mere minute of exposure sort of thing. And some of the people who are living there, uh, you know, they're questioning that. They're like, hmm, not sure about that. I don't know if they're, hmm. And, uh, their history stretches back 140 years, but no more, because there was an event that scrubbed all of their history, and that part of their like Bible that that was an event that took place. There's lots of very interesting shit in the in the season, and uh, 
Uh, I don't know about rags necessarily, but I thought it ended quite well, though it is dependent I on how so. they continue I it. I would, yeah. I mean, ultimately, I walked away from the show with uh, with with a recommendation in mind. Yeah. Definitely one to check out, I think. And uh, I'm just trying to think of anything else we've seen. One Life, that was a, a, a Drinker Recommends. I saw it as a result of that. Very, very good film. Everyone should go check it yes, out if they get a chance. I can uh, Really good film. Another amazing Anthony Hopkins performance. But no surprise there. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, just on that note, probably going to say goodbye because I'm getting yep. closer to what it's Tired, so, tired. Hungry, hungry. Thank you all. I will get this up as soon as possible with the edits to ensure it can be watched instead of taken down. And thank you all for keeping us company. And obviously mm -hmm. your super chats shall be addressed in future. We are getting them recorded, no problem. But for now, good night all. Have yourselves a fine evening. Or morning. See everybody. Bye. That's Bye. right. Bye. See everyone Bye. later. Bye. 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 Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh.